It's WWE Champions time. Hey, bunch of tips. Hey, nasal drip. Hey, got some glasses and they full of gin. Gin is great. Penalty. Ha, she was a kid. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Hey, free. This one for WWE Champions. Pay to win like every day. Yeah, I don't play Wolverine. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Free. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. Oh no, I'm broke again. Better go break some more appliances. You were never gonna pay that bounty anyway. I need a member bomb and rally almost every day. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. Yeah, need them, need them. I need them tips. Need that alcohol in my lips. Cap me. Getting all in a fit when she get hungry, she a bitch. I ain't trying to be that guy, but she keep breaking all my shit. Fucking up all the food I get, burning through all of my tips. I mean, tips. So call of duty, 10, 20, 40, pay your fucking dues, bitch. Easily banned. All the trolls are always trying to screw me. Me. This shit remind me of my helicopter crew. This one's helicopter. WWE champions. Pay to win like every day, yeah. I don't play Bobo Geek. Funny how they still think I'm a broke man. Then I'm broke. Even though I be pulling Hogan. Me. I spent like 40 grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty men. Oh no, I'm broke again. Better go break some more appliances. You were never gonna pay that bounty anyway. I need a member bomb and rally almost every day. Me. I spent grand on a couple thousand pictures of some sweaty man yeah oh no you did it you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker i'm an alcoholic hello hello everybody hello and welcome welcome to the Anne was forced at gunpoint coverage of the shenanigans stream yes ladies and gentlemen i know you've been wanting this i have not i have not you got a golf clap that's all you got Ugh, my god you know how many discord messages i got today too many literally way too many you fuckers kept having to remind me oh and and are you gonna do this are you gonna do that are you gonna cover this well you know what i guess i'm gonna have to fuck me i guess i get no fucking rest whatsoever Pick up Craig or no. So here's the thing. Here's the deal. Uh, I have actually watched the better part of 20 seconds. But from what everybody keeps telling me, uh, this entire shenanigans stream was just full of nothing but shenanigans, I guess. It was so great. And you should have tuned in. Why weren't you restreaming? Well, guess what, idiots? It's because I was working, obviously. So much for doing thank you so much for doing this you're making it sound like i'm doing some kind of civil service or something come on it's literally covering a guy let's see we'll use the cobra throw oh shit we don't need twitch chat get the fuck out of here twitch chat before chat starts chatting over there and then i'm gonna be like what the fuck get out of here get get it to calmer music i need calmer music Oh my god. Now I was uh, busy having a life before I was asked, hey man, you should totally cover this. And I'm thinking to myself, my god, what the fuck happened? But apparently everything happened. Uh, a lot of stuff happened. I don't even know where the fucking Twitch chat is. I quite literally don't know where Twitch chat is. Twitch chat, there it is. Fuck, get out of here. We're literally gonna ruin everything. We're gonna fucking invade. Your contribution is much appreciated. Okay, now, before everybody starts, I want to reiterate one of the big things that I kept saying over and over and over again for this entire, this entire thing, this from the get-go, and I even said this during the That Being Said podcast, I said that Adam Krigler was going to be one of the main reasons if this was going to be a hit or miss. This is because Adam, the guy over here, this one basically has ran into this shit before specifically with people being scummy 
and people uh, liking money over their chat and their fans. Now, a good example of this is specifically during his uh, telling of the in real life story. And there's a particular segment in this story that I loved a lot because uh, it really showcased not only how much Tim was basically a piece of shit behind the scenes, but more importantly, it showcased a very specific story that I think actually hits home uh, regarding how I think he views people who treat their chat like absolute abject shit. And I'm going to play this, just this one segment. I like a week later in the P.O. box and it was marked for Timcast. So Tim saw it and was like, oh, I guess this is for you. I was like, this is amazing. Like this is, I was, I was hyped because it's so badass. <laughs> a week later, 30 Timcast IRL boards arrived in the mail. <laughs> Tim had, he saw that and immediately went to order his own skateboard. It was, it was telling. But all the things that came in the mail, what bugged me the most is they didn't give a shit what was in it. Both Tim and Lydia. They would just open the shit and like look for anything that was cool. I don't think he read a single thing. He may, he may have. I didn't see it. From what I did see and heard, all he did was look and see if there was any money in it. And it was so like gross to me because I I really love my chat I, I love the Timcast chat I love the Timcast chat it was so much fun because Tim would do the reading you know Tim Tim was the host and I give him that it took me a while to learn how it was to be a host to read things out loud I sucked at it when I first started two years ago geez it's been two years I really did <laughs> took me a long time to really get a flow you know, a, a vernacular of how to say things and how to read things in a way that wasn't jarring on the ears. <laughs> that was a, uh, you know, it. it was an experience, something I needed to learn. I wasn't very good at it. Further. But that bugged the shit out of me, man. There it is. Because the fans are everything. You know, the fans, the people that watch, your, your viewers, that's the reason why you're there. That's the reason why it's successful. That, justice. That, that really irked me. I don't know. Okay. That was uh, one of the big reasons, uh, among other such nonsense, that uh, I believed that Adam was going to be quite literally the only sane and rational voice within the podcast, so long as he was actually able to show up. Because I didn't know whether or not uh, fucking Krug, uh, Krug Craig, Craig was going to allow Adam to be on there. I thought it was going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. But this is, this is the number one reason, because I know that he had to go through a lot of this shit, specifically with Tim Pool, allegedly, allegedly. I gotta fucking do the finger, the finger quotations, guys. Quotations. Because uh, you don't want to get in trouble with the beanie boy, right? Um, but specifically, it showcased that uh, there were tension and uh, there were some times in which uh, Tim supposedly, allegedly, acted like a piece of shit. And Adam didn't like that because Adam was all about the fans. And uh, that's why I thought to myself, dude, if this dude is going to be on this fucking podcast, that's the only way you're going to salvage it. Because I had no faith in Craig and I still have no faith in Craig. From what I've been hearing the entire time. Uh, it's been nothing but Adam really helped us out. Craig redeemed himself. Now, I don't know 100% whether or not Craig redeemed himself. I got to assume he redeemed himself. But from what I'm gathering, from everybody giving praise to Adam, it was like one of the big reasons uh, why, you, why this even went through. Craig actually, uh, did pretty good, actually. Now, and here's the other thing, too. I'm willing to eat crow. I'm absolutely willing to eat crow, specifically related to Craig. Cause I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say that I was hundred percent right. Cause I definitely was not hundred percent right, at least from what I'm hearing. Craig did his due diligence 
And that's good because you can't claim all of this shit. You can't do all of this shit and then expect it to be like a free ride. Like you can't, uh, he, there was too much weird animosity shit that was coming in right before this, right before any of this was coming on board. And I kept thinking to myself, this is just plain up going to be a shit show. Romance cat. Uh, you know what? I agree. I can go ahead and time out. See you later, BITW awesome. Thanks for stopping by, man. Uh, okay. You know what? I don't think there's anything else I need to say. I need to get into the meat and the potatoes. Because literally, guys, this is like a first viewing for me. I haven't even looked at this yet. Bruh, this is like new shit. You know what? I also need to see. This is actually the big thing. Does DSP, because... Okay, their their thing has to be done with, right? Let me uh let me fix the leap motion. Right now it's way too fucking high. And it's like way too on the right. It needs to be on the left. There we go. Eh, it'll work. That's fine. Not a big deal. And if I look this way, it'll be fine too. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see. We need to uh see whether or not the guy is currently streaming. I have a sneaky suspicion. I don't think he's actually going to stream uh, today. I'm 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 willing to bet he's not gonna decompress <laughs> because this was this was supposedly the decompression stream, and we're waiting for DSP, and I don't know if it's gonna happen. Like it's just there. It's waiting, waiting, waiting. We have 309 motherfuckers in here. We're waiting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this over on the side because the decompression stream is number one in our list. We got to watch that. Number one. He's still in their post show. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, and I will uh, let people know ahead of time. If you guys try to message me on Discord, I'm going to ignore the shit out of you. Unless it's, there's basically only three people that can contact me on Discord right now that I'll pay attention to. And if you try to message me, you're on full ignore. Just 100% full ignore. All right, we have an additional uh, guest this. too. It looks like in your in your lap. Oh, okay. And we're also going to uh, put this at 1.25. Uh, yeah, this is Osiris. He's hanging out. Uh, say hi, buddy. Uh, he's like, no, no, I'm, hey, I'm trying to chill. Yeah. All right, he's chilling. Excellent. He well, look, yeah, he's hanging. <laughs> Before we get to our, our guest today, uh, I want to let you guys know some things we have coming up on Ray, the show. I think are actually really, really important. And hopefully you guys will uh, will want to come back for. I know we got a lot of folks coming in today. Hopefully you guys. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and only responds to telegrams, taxes, and carrier pigeons. Like a modern day streamer. Mail, mo mail only. Uh, the other thing I will say is uh, there's a couple people that I will allow as potential side guests. Uh, if they are wanting me, they know how to contact me. All right, they know exactly how to contact me. Uh, you know how it is. Also, uh, apparently somebody is streaming the post show, which I'm not gonna cover because if I cover, I feel like I'm gonna get shit for it. Somebody's gonna snipe that post show though, and they're gonna post it up, which I don't even fucking care one way or another because it's it's equally worthless to me. So I uh, wanna hit the subscribe button and uh, join us because we are a uh, show we go every Monday through Friday at 11 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, the whole idea of side scrollers is it's meant to be a breath of fresh air. It's meant to be a place where common sense reigns supreme. Uh, something that is very hard to find in the gaming industry. Uh, but we do have some great guests coming up. Obviously, today we have uh, Dark Side Phil, who'll be joining us very, very shortly. Uh, we also have Mark the Cyborg joining Yo, us, and uh, James Rolfe, the angry video game nerd, will be joining us here in the next couple weeks as well. So make sure you guys once again hit. I love the photo that they use for Dark Side Phil. It's quite literally from something from last decade. Subscribe button. Come join us and uh, <laughs> be a part of our great little positive community we have going on over here. Um, in addition, if you guys ass. are listening to us over on Spotify or iHeartRadio, make sure you guys hit the five star rating and, of course, give us a. Bruh, uh, bruh, bruh, bruh. Bra, bra. The man on the internet. Uh, we are doing an interview format, and this is something that was not meant to happen when initially asked uh, to bring Phil on the show, but uh, it is quickly morphed into that. Um, you know, I, I've talked about how um, I, I have this degree in journalism that I got 20 years ago, and I haven't used it, and uh, there's a reason why I didn't go into that field. It's because it sucks, and uh, journalism is, is just just trash bag of an industry. It's, it's just a huge business, and we can talk about that all day long. 
But uh, okay, okay. It, it has nothing to do with with your abilities as a journalist. Okay. <laughs> well, I, but I would like to point out that I am no, I am no journalist. I am no journalist. Okay. And, um, th I think that's that's the biggest thing. Is I I have a degree, but I am not a journalist by any by any uh, way, shape, and form. Uh, I don't even know why he mentioned the degree. Then. With that said, we are going to do our best today. We know there's a lot of questions uh, and uh, comments and concerns, and we're going to touch them all uh, because we have been Whoa. we've been assured that there nothing He's is touching. off the table today, and we're going to go for as long as we need to go for everyone to uh, feel as good as you can possibly feel, which is next to impossible because we can solve cancer. We can cure cancer today and find out who shot JFK and it still won't be good enough for some people. And you know what? CIA. <laughs> Easy. Sorry. No, I, sorry. I'm good. Established. I'm established. Good. Um, that should give you some kind of a, a level of indication of how uh, how Adam's thinking is. He knows. It's the CIA who did it. Come on. I actually, I'm curious. Uh, how many likes and dislikes did we get? How many... Uh, Oh, it's gonna be five hours oh wow you guys are tricking me into watching a lot of shit look at that 57 dislikes 1.4 uh 4k likes so they did a good job today we are uh diving in deep with the hey. okay <laughs> well I, but i would like to point out that i am no, i am no journalist i am no journalist okay hey, get 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 past this <clears throat> i'm good established I'm established good. um but with all that said, we're going to go today and I'm looking forward to uh, diving in deep. And uh, so I guess with all that said, let's get into this. I I'm excited to bring on uh, Dark Side Phil. Phil, how are you? That's uh holy crap. Phil, the camera's on now. You guys, you guys actually did it. I'm on we the did show. what? I'm on the you show. did it. I mean, wait, you guys he listen, here? Listen, listen, Bruh. you guys I can't hear you. Run. I can't hear Bruh. you. Hello? I'm just joking. I can hear you. Uh, you guys, <laughs> okay. you nice. guys have had a good run. You've been going for a month. I've watched every episode. It's a great show. However, Man, he's so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed right now. He's like, he's ready to take on the world. You I like how quiet he is. On your show. As of today, March 16th, you guys are officially I can't boost sorry. him, because if I boost him, I literally boost everybody else. So it's going to be ridiculous no matter what. It's over. Nah, you can't cancel something that doesn't care to be canceled, and we don't really care to be canceled. You can't, you know, so... We're sponsored. We're sponsored by the, the people out there, so we're good. We're exactly. <laughs> exactly. When you ha when you're not worrying about what sponsor you're gonna freak out today because you accidentally said something in the wrong way, it's a lot of relief. You can just be honest. Yeah, he's showered and shaved. Oh shit! You know what? I just realized I lost the bet because I thought he was gonna wear a gamer shirt. He just ended up wearing one of his like DSP. No, he wore the. Um, I can't tell if this is a DSP shirt or if it's the Chicago 2012 shirt. It's something, but it's like the, a 10 plus year old shirt. It's a very old shirt. What I do on the internet. Well, let's get into this, man. Um, I'm excited to have you on. I, I think this is going to be a, yeah, a really wow. telling, um, you know, hour, two hours, whatever it may be, three hours, 12 hours. six six days, whoever, however Five long hours. it may be. Um, <laughs> so I, I was told pretty much after we, after we announced this, uh, that you were coming on the show, I was told that you should not come on. I was told not to interview you. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, considering the fact that the name of the show is, you know, possibly the, the most hated guy on the internet, uh, I don't think it's it's rocket science. You know, people don't like me for various different reasons. The name of the show isn't hate, most hated guy on the internet. It's just literally Dark Side Phil interview. And, <laughs> you know, they, they come at me with so many accusations, so many Bro. crazy conspiracy theories, and I'm just a small time guy trying to make content on the internet and, and, and make a living doing it and loving the interaction I have with my little audience. I love the interaction. Um, and every time that I address it, any of the stuff that they say about me, it's it's completely counterproductive. It doesn't help anything. It just exacerbates worse. Um, so why have me on a show when people feel like shirt? all I'm going to do Oh, it is, is a fallout shirt. The question Yo, next. so that means I won the bet. If it's the Vault Boy shirt, then he did wear a gamer shirt. So I fucking won. Ask me. Not provide Hell any yeah. Information, information, things I've already said. You I know, knew he was going to wear a gamer shirt. Like, you guys are going to kiss my butt. I'm glad I stuck to my so. guns on so. that. I think this is an opportunity for me to come on a show and be honest, transparent as much as I can. Again, I've already said this up front. I got to protect my family. I got to protect He's my in his jammies too. Showing ridiculous oh my personal God. information about any of that. But at the same time, uh, the reason that I feel this interview will be different from what they're expecting is because I am going to be an open book. On my streams, I try to curtail the nonsense. My viewers are not there to hear me talk about my bankruptcy. They're not there to hear me talk about accusations of spending $100,000 on a mobile game or how I groomed someone in the past. This is ridiculous nonsense. <laughs> They're just there to listen to gameplay. They want to see me play a video game or talk about news or something. And every time it brings up, oh, God, he's doing it again. He's, he's entertaining the trolls. Why is he doing it? So now this and never will be an entertain the trolls. finally open up about all these topics. Oh, Nothing yeah. The table. I've said this to the Can't guys wait here. For Ask me anything. I will address every ask single me thing. Anything, anyone wants to ask me. I don't know how much I can talk about it. Again, there's some legal things going on and everything, but we'll talk. And uh, this will be the focal point from now on. You want answers to all the drama? 
Watch Side Scrollers from March 16, 2023. Phil addressed it. And if you don't believe him, that's okay. It's everyone's subjective <laughs> ability to judge whether or not someone's being truthful or not. Right? Okay. So sure. you can't make someone believe you. But I hope this doesn't come back to bite him in the ass at all whatsoever. At least we'll have one. We're like barely 10 minutes in. in. We have five hours to go. Ah! Ask certain questions. I'm probably going to bring up topics that I know people want answers to. So that way it's all out there. And then we can just move on. I don't want to have this crap on my content anymore. I just want to move on with my community and, and breathe a sigh of relief after today. And I'm hoping that some closure will come out of this. So there. nothing's off nothing's off the t off the table today. We can talk about whatever whatever we want to talk about, um, which is great. It gets um, good fast. Oh, thank God. I okay, okay. I, I feel I feel good about that. And I think that's one of the things that once again, there's going to be things that we're going to talk about that I feel is as long as you're honest and we're, we're going to push you on things, Phil. You need to understand that we're going to push you. And and mm. I think you know the one thing I said over and over again is is I feel that I'm a fair interviewer, a fair interviewer to myself, fair interview to the person I'm interviewing, and fair fair to the audience. And uh, that's one thing to keep in mind as we go along along here. So I guess could I, uh, could I very briefly just make one statement before sure. again? I want to publicly apologize to you guys, to your other hosts, to the G2s, and anyone else who likes side scrollers, because for the past two weeks, you guys have seen your content derailed because of me. He literally blamed Craig. He literally, in his dumbass little fucking email that he a, that he sent out to Craig, he specifically blamed Craig for all of this shit in the first place. Like, oh my god, I, can I jump to this? I want to pop this up. Let's see. Okay. The fuck, you guys can't barely see that. He literally points it down at the bottom. It's like, if that's okay with you, I'm still totally down to be on the show. But I and I know I'll be bombarded with questions tomorrow because you've now spilled the beans. Like he literally blamed them. He said you guys spilled the beans. That was th he said that right in this bottom line. But he's like, oh yeah, man. You know, uh, I want to apologize for everything, bro. You should have apologized in that fucking. E you should have never blamed them in the email. Oh man, I want to apologize though. I, I, you know, I for all the all the trouble I caused. I never intended for that. I kind of was worried it would happen, and it happened. I don't control this black cloud that follows me around the internet as much as I try, but I still feel bad about it. it it's it's not your fault that because you decided to have me on your show as a regular guest that now you had to put up with two weeks of. Yeah, I feel nonsense. like he's going to get ear got again, from the uh, headphones. It as well. It's not just about me. It's about you guys also being able to say, okay, <sighs> we did it. We had the interview. And can we get back to normality? I love your show. I am a longtime fan of Screw Attack. I used to watch everything you guys were I'm putting a fan, out in the thousands before YouTube was even prominent. I love Screw I, I've Attack. I've watched every episode of your show since you rebooted it. I, 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 I'm so upset that this has become about me somehow, and I'm done with it. Like That's why I'm, I, I want to apologize to everyone. He Never still hasn't intended, started this stream. I'm wondering when he's going. So, Phil, you just killed our show by giving us an endorsement. Thanks, man. Appreciate go. that. <laughs> oh, you're horrible. You guys suck. I hate you. Oh, you're going to ask me terrible questions today. I really hate you guys. All right. Well, well let's let's get into some of these terrible <laughs> questions. And I think this is this is something that I've heard. Um, um, the questions that I'm going to ask today, there, there are a good mix of questions that have been on the internet. There have been questions that I want to know. There's questions that uh, some of your biggest detractors have asked me to ask you. Um, so they're there and I think that's that's important. I want to get all sides of this um, So I, I think a, a great yeah, everything starting foreboding. point for here is when you're streaming. It's it's Phil, ridiculous who, who is streaming is it Phil or dark side Phil? Whew. Oh, so it man depends on, okay. it, depends, it depends on what bruh, I'm streaming. Bruh, it also depends bruh, on the time period bruh, you're talking about bruh. Is it a character or is it Phil? He's literally about to explain how back in the day he used to play a character. Are you kidding me today? You're pretty much almost getting 100% the real me. Of course, every once in a while, it's funny to over dramatize something that's going on. I have a segment on my podcast called Old Man Yells at Cloud, where, you know, I, I, I really ham it wait, up. If I say, wait, what? There's something that's going on. I have a segment on my podcast called Old Man Yells at Cloud, where, you know, dude, that is. Okay, you know, I, I, I really whatever. ham it up. If it's a dumb topic I'm talking about and I over dramatize, like I'm so concerned about yeah, it. It depends if he said the N word or not. Really is, if I'm he said the N word, I guess he was just joking. Game. I'll emphasize the fact that, oh, it's unfair, it's bullshit, you know, I'll always ham it up. But that's kind of my shtick. That's always been kind of my shtick. And I think my actual fans know that. But, it was a you know, shtick. the internet wants to pretend it's like a shtick. I'm, I'm real and honest. It was a shtick. It was a shtick back then. Also, it's a shtick now, depending on whether or not I want to ham it up. I, I won't tell the audience which part I'm doing today. I wonder if the Snow Carl segments is a shtick. It probably is, depending on uh, which bill you ask. 15 years that I've been a content creator on the internet, you would have seen this is kind of a the shit that I do Come in a certain situation. But today, I am so different than how I used to be. You know, when you've made content for 15 years, you go through several different stages and evolutions. And, you know, no way. started on YouTube. No way, Soka, for real? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to see that. I want to see that. Hold on. We're, we're going to take a look at Twitter really quick. I want to I wanna see this tweet. 
ESP Twitter. <laughs> no, he's just saying I'm done. He's just saying I'm done. He's he's not uh, he's not saying it as if it's like a whatever. But he's uh, getting ready to start his show. Uh, I'm now off the side scrollers podcast, setting up for my own show. Stay tuned. I can't wait. It's probably gonna be pretty good. Probably gonna be pretty shit. I can't wait. Uh, we're probably gonna focus in on that back when it was all about being a character it was about over exaggerating it was no this wasn't at all what i expected the grammar thing that's going to get people talking what did dark side phil say in his playthrough today are you kidding me i can't believe he said that um but what happens is over time things change you know and there was really uh, how can i say almost like a, an epiphany to me in 2017 a 100 percent right, decompression he's gonna do if he goes into games i'm gonna ignore him business-wise one of the things that rebooted i can't wait for how much money he's gonna get he's gonna get like fucking 300 dollars they're all gonna be weird tips interactive online streamer and when I became an interactive online streamer, oh I realized, God. wow, it's wait a minute. I've been doing this wrong the whole time because, like, for, you know, eight plus years, I've just been talking to a camera and pretending like I'm the only one in the room. I have an audience live watching me. What the hell am I doing? I'm ignoring them. And once I started having an interactive conversation with my audience, it became so much better, this social experience of having meaningful conversations, seeing their live uh, reactions to things I'm doing on stream. And so I realized I don't have to be a character anymore. I could just be me. I could just talk with these people and be honest and, and about my feelings about games or whatever. And again, yes, every once in a while there's an exaggeration. Absolutely. But that's part of the fun of it all. You know, we're not all just here to be Mr. Serious all day. How boring would that be? But at the same time, yeah, today I would say I'm a lot more laid back of a person and I'm a lot more honest and transparent with my audience with, with the discussions we oh. have. Although every once in a while, yes, there's obviously... Yeah. Everyone wants to every once in a while ham it up and be a cartoon character, joke a little bit to get a little a little laugh or a little rise. But for the most part, I would say what you see today in my content is, is more authentic than it used to be. So, so, Dark you, Side, so, so Dark Side Phil is your hamming it up, and and right now you're just Phil. Uh, yes and no. Again, I mean, I, it's <laughs> yes cool or no. Me. What is it? Yes or no. Like, oh, like, wow. Like, what, what what does it when you when you say there are times that I you know I'm over the top? What, give me an example of, of what that means. What does uh oh, mean DSP starting. Hold and, up, hold up. DSP starting, guys. Breaking news. DSP starting. We were probably gonna watch this. I'm sorry, guys. I know you guys wanted to hear the interview, but I have to hear the post code. It's probably gonna be pretty good. Don't worry, I'm guaranteeing it. It's like a million percent guarantee that it's gonna be post cope syndrome. We're gonna boost him up. He's like fiddling around in the background. Now, guys, now, guys, now, guys. I can't wait for all the trolling that's gonna come from this, too, because he's gonna get a lot of fucking trolls. It's gonna be from his regulars, too, so he can't avoid it. He's typing away, he's ticket tapping away on his keyboard. I'm coming, guys. I'm coming. I'm coming. We're gonna have. I swear I'm coming. I don't need to know that you're coming, Phil. I heard that once years ago, and look how that happened. Wow, you guys are here? Holy crap. Funny. Funny that you guys are here, huh? Everything working with the stream, by the way? <laughs> Funny how you guys are here, man. Pretty cool, huh? Everything good? I can't tell what's going on right now. Uh-huh. Uh, He's still holy floored. Moly. What is happening? Let's make sure everything is working. What a day. What a stream, right? Holy crap. <laughs> I'm not going to capture his chat. His chat's worthless. Oh, I don't have the chat up. I'm like, wait a minute. Why is the chat not moving? I don't even have it. Duh. I can't talk to you guys if this chat's not on, can I? Yeah, it's the guy. All right, hold on. That was pretty stupid. You know, bear with me. I was just on a marathon stream, right? <clears throat> I also have no idea what happened with my internet during that stream. I have absolutely no clue if I was DDoSed or not. What? Because it would have kept happening. What? <laughs> you no, know, it would have kept happening if it was a DDoS. Wait, so I don't know what happened there. He thought he I'm got very DDoS? Confused. What? <sighs> whatever. I'm getting everything open for you. Guys whatever. Right and I can talk to you. Okay, whatever. The shenanigans on this guy. He faked the disconnect. Oh. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It totally wasn't me. I didn't fake nothing. Obviously, I wanted to. I, I didn't fake nothing. Dylan. I wanted to hang out with, with them. <laughs> Wait a minute. It just went down. I'm like, what the frick? Wait a minute. I didn't fake anything, guys. Oh, guys. I wonder, should I get... Should I... Okay. One in chat if yeah. I should get DSP's chat. Two in chat <sighs> if I shouldn't care about their chat. Jürgen, you were already a troll. Because I can get their about? chat. I was just very nice to If you, you want me to. Now you can leave. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, ready? 
All right, everyone, what's going on? I literally just got off the Side Scrollers podcast um, a little bit oh, ago man. here. I don't know. Uh, it was like maybe I can't tell. 20 minutes ago, I actually did a post show with them um, we'll after I appeared on their show. Today is March 16, 2023. I was on their show from 9 a.m. until after 2 p.m. my time. Yes, that's how long the show lasted, and we didn't even cover everything. Which I didn't think we would, honestly. I did not think it would cover much or any, you know, <laughs> there's so much to talk about when it comes to the insane amount of stuff so that gets thrown at wild. me on a daily basis. So, I was we'll expecting that it was going to end up being an insane show, and now, you know, looks like there's going to be a part two at some point, which I'm okay with. I'm sure it's not going to be anytime soon. Uh, but, yeah, what are you going to do, right? <clears throat> so, are we ready? <laughs> Uh, to get started here. Are we ready? First of all, it looks like someone tipped me. What, how, why did you Whoa. tip me? Why is did you tip me? It no, it is absolutely not. Absolutely not. I thought Look maybe how one fake man. he's being he right now. Every day. No. Yo. This is an honest $20 tipper. He says, I thought you were good on the podcast. When Keemstar Randley came on, you stayed composed. You talked to him even after all these done. You still, you know, still being civil. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be an idiot. I'm not going to sit there and, and be uncivil to someone. You know, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, he wanted to, to jump on the show and make and it about him. Uh, good for him. Uh, I don't know how that was his show, though. It really didn't make much sense that he was there, right? Uh, but it is what it is. That's how he is. Again, what did I say? He has to be the center of attention. He has to be involved in everything, right? Oh, uh, uh, we're proved shit it talking. By appearing on the show, like he That's literally cool. proved it. <laughs> I don't even have to say literally anything else about him. it. I mean, you, you prove yourself every day, right? And through your actions, <laughs> he proved it through his actions. Correct. <laughs> so there you go. Um, uh, okay, so that was a tip that came in like half an hour ago. Thank you to whoever that anonymous tipper was. So let's talk. What do you guys want to talk about? <laughs> what do you guys want to talk about? I'm, I'm what do you guys want to talk about? 90 minutes. Yeah, hey, what do you want to talk about, man? Play now. We'll do 90 <laughs> minutes and I'll go on break to eat my dinner. And then after that, uh, I'll come back tonight with a nice chill, either just chill stream for two hours or like a dragon Ishan, whatever you guys uh, want. It's up to you guys. Wait, okay? wait. Did he say he was going on? Talk hold on, just, hold on. Did I mishear uh, that? Talk. What do you guys want to talk about? What did he, did he say he was going to What do you guys eat? want to talk about? I'm, I'm open again. We got another 90 minutes to just chill. Okay, so he's just going to do this for 90 minutes. Want. All right, cool. It's up to you guys, okay? <laughs> 90 minutes of this. What do you want to talk about? Disco says Keemstar's a drama queen for real. The reasons I want nothing to do with him, right? Yeah, Jeffrey I don't want anything to do with him. chat about side scrollers getting super chats. Okay, goodbye. Any okay, guy, I have no goodbye. Idea. Baba Duke says, I don't know. I thought Keemstar was pretty composed. Oh, no one said Keemstar Okay, was goodbye. Get out of here. Was. Goodbye. There's no way he could show up unhinged and start ranting at me on someone else's show. Then people would call him out for it, right? Thank you. Just saying, says, good job keeping your composure. I appreciate that. Can we not talk about the podcast, Green Goblin? Sadly, Green Goblin, I don't think it's really avoidable at this point, considering it's the longest thing I've done outside of my content and one of the things I've ever done outside of my content. I don't know how we would really avoid talking about that right now. I think it's going to be pretty pertinent to discuss it right now. Okay? Okay. Uh, I received a $50 tip. Oh, shit. Pretty thank cool. You. Remember how 18 used to be generous and now $50 is like, uh, thank you. And he just looks Anonymous at it. Anonymous fifty dollar tipper says you stood up like a man <laughs> on the podcast. Respect. Thank you to Oswald for fifty dollar tip. That is very. I thought it was anonymous. Awesome. Wait a minute. No. I ignored. I. I clicked on what? I merged two emails. You see how how shell shock I am here? <laughs> I had another email, and I read Oswald from a second email over to the fifty dollar anonymous tipper. Oops. Sorry about that. What? Um, so I got a fifty dollar anonymous Bro, tip, and I received which a one dollar. Just randomly doxing people. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very. I'm very <laughs> he speaking. read his name. I was on the show. I forgot to call him anonymous. Two cups of coffee this morning. Two. Yo, what? That, which I almost never had, and I was like, Oh my god. That dude. So Oswald, no, anonymous tip. Oh wow, Did big up Oswald. Anonymous He's so tipper. flustered. Thank you for a fifty dollars. He's so tip. flustered. I can't even do stuff normally. I'm so like all over the place today. Dude. Fifty dollars. He's so fucking tipper. shook. Then I got a one dollar tip. No from way. Who said good job on the show? Man. <laughs> oh Holy my god. Moly. What happened during this podcast? Okay. Thank you guys. Wow. Holy moly. Yo, I, I feel like he's gonna cry. Is he gonna cry? Why is he sounding like this? I, don't I sound talk like about Keemstar. This whole stream, by the way. So. Uh, he so sounds like he has a frog in his throat. For six months, and Dude, he, says, As he a hasn't man, even cleared his throat. It's worth it to watch the interview. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Will you guys <laughs> tell me? 
You, guys you told me, bro. You were there. I. You were ready. You were there. Very intelligently conducted myself Wait, on that show. I don't know whether or not it's worth you know it, bro. Saying? You oh, were the one who was there. The Twenty-two months at the ultra supporter level. Thank you, K Styles, and then Crasco did a super chat. I thought you did well, Phil. Thank you, Crasco. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> oh my God, bro, what's wrong with him? Uh, age sicky. What, dude? I have never seen this version of Phil. This you. is like a specific version of Phil I never seen. Appreciate that. So. I get 90 minutes of this. Says, do you feel it was a fair interview? It felt like an ambush. How was that an ambush? If anything, the only part that... that I mean, an ambush, did. Keemstar up. was there. All right. It was an ambush. I don't think that the Keem part was like... Like, if Keem had come on the show and was like, screw you, you're a liar, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't. It wasn't about that. It was about our interaction, which I don't even understand because no one really cares. Like, God, his no one chat cares is moving at a snail's pace. Nobody gives a shit over you there. Know, Again, he has to make it all about himself. I don't want to talk God. about it. So... Oh, hey, look, we got to snore it. SD Charger says they should have prepared more, had a timeline and asking questions in a certain order. I mean, maybe they did. You don't know. Maybe I don't know what they were following there. He can't really insult them right now. He has to not look like he's petty as fuck. But you can kind Showtime of feel the energy. I feel like it was a setup, though. How do you feel it was a setup? I don't feel that at all. I don't feel that at all. Dude, I don't no, like I've seen this film before. Feel it was a setup, exactly. I've seen this film before. This is a specific style situation type deal of Phil. This is the I'm faking it, guys. You gotta believe me, Phil. God damn. Right? Right? Uh, thank you, Meerkat Mob. And their viewers for joining little, this absolutely stupid there. stream they that I'm going to be doing. I have not even looked at the fucking interview. We're well, literally looking at this first. First of all, they weren't upset. This is the detractors questions and stuff, right? But again, the insinuation is that if I'm making money and I'm irresponsibly blowing it on stuff, right? Then, right? you know, there's going to be criticism there. And that's yeah. these, these people have con con made this giant semi-fabricated situation around Bruh. it, correct? Bruh. And Bruh. Bruh. I really feel like, you know, that, that you know, people want answers, you know, and I tried to answer as best I could. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? says, don't send the screenshot. It feels like a setup. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. <laughs> I, I, don't I, set I, a proof. Don't I'm set have a proof, have proof guys. It's him. a setup. Craig, don't set up the proof. Um, deny, deny, you deny. Know, I received another tip. Wow. I guess I'm just going to be oh. shouting out contributions. I hope he gets like $400 today. That would be so great. Oh, I just read that. No, I didn't. He says, here... Care about the huge discount Bed Bath & Beyond? No, Cooper. What are you talking about? A discount I hope he makes like 400 fucking um, dollars. So that way it could be just weird. Mishael All of this could be weird. Good job on the interview. Thank you, Michael. I appreciate that. Again, you know, for me, this was just like... <laughs> it's a Tuesday. To them, that was like a long grilling session. To me, that was like normal. They didn't make <laughs> the joke. You know what I'm saying? You didn't make I didn't, the joke. I, I didn't even feel like I was in the hot seat. Because this happens every day on my own streams. So, exactly. So the dollar. He did this for Arturo. I want to say he did as well as anyone could have on that podcast. I'm proud. Dude, I'll wait. It, hard. it was difficult. Bruh. Remember? Yeah, that's actually true. Remember when he ragged on Arturo for not sending, for he shouldn't send proof? If he sends proof now, it's like, what? So rules for thee, not for me. Rules for me, not for thee. I don't know. I, I actually don't know. It's very First specific. life confrontation in a long time. I'm sorry. Very specific. That, that, you know, people had to be brought into it like cat. I'm looking forward to part two. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. I bring on cat. Stuff, man. I bring on the cat. Stuff bring on no the cat. Knew. And uh, let's uh, you know, check out that fat bitch. That's Roll her out here. That. Wheel her out here. You know, I'm not gonna be talking about all that crap, but you know, that's you know, you know, sad. you know, people that have you know, said and done. It's pretty messed you know? up. Uh, Big Papa Phil did a ten dollar tip. I commend you for doing the interview. I think you're great. You stood up in the face of all the detractor BS. You delivered your defense <laughs> strongly. I've been a fan for several years. I want the best for you. Oh, thank you, thank you. Whatever your name is, I forgot it. If you have a chance to do the podcast uh, and have Keem shop that podcast to sponsors, do it. It would help your family a ton. Yeah. Your eyes above. Hell yeah. I don't know about that. Hell, oh, I wow. No, podcast. I don't want the money. 50,000? Nah, show, fuck that. I, I'm okay with doing it. I'm okay with Boogie. I'm okay with Wings. I'm not okay with Keem. So that will be the person that I really want nothing to do with. I don't know if it's worth it at all. It might that was a slight. That was an actual help. sneak Seriously, diss. I don't an want actual Mr. fucking sneak diss. For the rest diss. of my life. He did that because he knew Phil was just going to so, deny the money. He'd um, rather beg you guys. I got a $4 it's pretty cool. Tip. Thank you all. You guys are amazing. Radical Joss is a good job. Let's get high, bud, with a, a great animation. Craig seems like a good guy. Hope you have an actual fun podcast. 
I think eventually we will get there. Oh yeah, he loves time, this. Right? I think it he will. Loves I think it'll be a this. long, long, long ass time. Uh, he wants to do a podcast with fellow beggars. For the Keep record, the keen star I out have of there. absolutely no idea what happened with my internet. It went down legit. Now he's actually worried. He's actually fucking I was like, worried. What? And he needs to keep I don't up the know story. Me here now. Yo, I have absolutely no clue. They could have DDoS me for a split what second. My, you guys know my. They're not DDoSing me right now. It does it's like a blip? My basically my modem reset itself. Bro, so I don't know if that was a DDoS Bro. or not. How was it that it happened then? But then it didn't happen. You would think if someone DDoSed me, it would have happened again and again and again, right? It just happened <sighs> once and stopped. So I'm like, so maybe it's not a DDoS it bill. Was weird. I really wasn't a DDoS because if it was a DDoS, that means I now have to go through the trouble, the painstaking trouble of contacting my ISP to get this fixed. I don't, I hope it's not. He's making imaginary <clears throat> demons to fight right now. See, Butler Spirit, here's the difference is why only take negatives away from the Keem vid, what you've heard, but feel it's unfair. I've seen Drama Alert. It's trash. It's oh. trash game. <laughs> it's trash content. It's, da it's bad. Wait, did That's he say game? You can disagree. Hold up. Did he say game? It's trash. It's trash game. It's a trash content. Trash it's game. It's bad. He literally called it disagree. trash game. But one million percent, I <laughs> don't like his content. I have issue with it's it. It's trash game, man. It wasn't the documentary that made him like, dislike. I already disliked so him. Then flustered. I watched the documentary. You understand? He doesn't know what's up or down. <laughs> Naysay, re up his membership. You handle yourself well. I wonder if he's shaking you. in his goddamn Throwing boots Ennis right now. Like or in his clown. fucking for Vince. There you go. pajamas. No idea what that means. What the fuck? And uh, Amrit did a super chat. Props for hanging in there for five hours under fire. Not a detractor or a fan, just neutral. Credit where it is due, Phil. Thank you to Amrit for a super chat. That's very nice of you. And keep the money rolling. Come on, pigs. We need more. I need to see this, this dude like, like in a anything. funny hat. Feel. Maybe it will. I don't think so. I want to see him in but, the uh, fucking tits and balls hat. No, the balls and uh, penis hat. I'm sorry. I called it tits and balls. Big it's a uh, balls and penis. Boogie could be a great hope you guys work together i we, i want to work with those guys i would do what a podcast a, with them i want to work with them I want it's not happening. <laughs> mr orange said i find annoyed him, adam annoying and biased i did not find him <laughs> annoying and biased at all i find adam annoying and biased oh. nice uh stress burp it's pretty good the part where keemstar kept saying you were going to watch lal Kal boxing match was being why would i watch that i you guys know i don't watch any of that shit i you guys tell me about it I don't know anything about it. Oh, you're going to watch it. Keem, again, he's such a giant. Yo, do the bubble blow. Keem, you're so almost at 100. Oh, he's talking about me. Yeah, Keem. Yeah, when essentially. When we get 100 likes, that way he does the bubble blow. My interview. Now I'm gonna talk and that way we can just have a weird right? bubble blow in the middle of this. This would be so great. That he's like, yeah, you're going to watch my likes? content. I never watched Here's your the content, bubble dude. Blow. I don't watch your content. I, even the clips I can't stand. I want to vomit. I can't watch that shit. Sorry that I have morals in a different moral compass than you. But I do, you know, you're going to watch that. No, I'm not. I haven't watched any celebrity boxing. Not one piece of any of it. He's going to get paid to watch it, I before feel. Benadryl and Gas X? No, I did not. I woke up early. I had two cups of coffee. <laughs> if you didn't notice, I was constantly You have Gas drinking. X. And by the way, there was a mute button. Why weren't you burping? Okay. In that way that they stream, there's a mute button right on the Whoa. screen. Whoa. I noticed that went eh, a few times. Whoa. You're telling me that DSP figured out there was a mute button and he could mute himself when he's making disgusting noises? No fucking way. This dude's an animal. I clicked the mute button and then come back because it was no right way. there. No yeah. way. No way. So you can do it for them, but you can't do it for your fans. That's pretty cool. I consider cool. having Boogie on my show? Yes, I would. If he wanted to come on, I would extend that invitation to him. Adam was on my case from the beginning. I don't think so. I don't know why you guys feel that. I think so. Are being I think more so. He's that. trying to build. You have to understand he something. can't be shitty to they them. Are 100 he can't criticize outsiders them. Outsiders to me. Yo. They don't know me. Craig knows me in a casual way from anyone. He years. can't criticize them for shit. All, right? So they're coming from the outside. All they've heard is the negative stuff. This now the it's my fake opportunity to shit. This is so right? fake. So this is character I didn't take build. It in any negative way, man. I thought this it was fun. DSP space gaming talking to us right now. I don't believe a moment. Everywhere in business and jobs doesn't mean you don't work with them when you must to benefit yourself and your family. Again, though, here's what you have to understand is if I went on that podcast, right? Number one, you saw how Keemstar acts. He would literally try to be like, well, this podcast is the most important part of your life. So you got to bend over backwards for me for the rest of your life. Everything you do, I have to listen to me because I've got you on this podcast. I feel like he would hang that over my head forever, number one. And he'd be so controlling. And number two, just again, if you're on a lol cow cast, you're talking about a show that already the title is a negative association. It's an insult. You're calling me a lol cow. Why am I going to do that? Right? Happen to be a serious show, not you know. Oh, everyone's gonna just sit here to make fun of us all day, every day. It's ridiculous. Okay. I received a twenty dollars tip. Yo, twenty bucks. 
I wonder where uh, George. that I other guy. I want to ask you. The guy who gives him twenty dollars all the time. I thought interviews were. Yo, cool. let's get a hat. Is that who that was? Let's get him a hat. Was that Yucko the clown? I, is that from a Howard Stern show? Is I that who? It's I, a Gundam I, I, is? No way. Is that him? Yo, is that a joke? look at him. Look at him. Look at him. He's trying to make fun of fucking Gundam if he can. Is it really him? He's I trying to find it, anything he can make fun of Gundam. Hit it on the head. Maybe he just tries to sound like that, right? I don't He's know. trying his best. He doesn't even know. He was no ready to latch on to no that. No answering if, he, if it actually is uh, Yoko the Clown or not. He was so ready to be like, ah, oh, man, Gundam's that fucking weird person from a fucking thing that I used to listen to years and years ago that I found Adam the way to make fun of Jewish it's people. It's not Yoko the Clown. It's just, he just sounds like him. <laughs> what a, what a voice Howard Stern was great. They Holy used to moly. say the N-word over there. I used to bash on the Jews. That's pretty cool. I love them. That's why I watched them all the time. And I based all of my funny, hilarious moments off of that fucking one show, that radio show that nobody fucking watches anymore. And he literally turned his oh, back. He literally You're turned his back on what he used to do. He used soon. to be all about free shit, free speech and shit. Uh, Dude right, sits there and he uh, fucking, it's, time. Guys, it's like I'm ridiculous. Sorry, I, I would like to talk with you. I'm just going to throw on a hat. Okay. <laughs> no hat vote. He's not running no hat okay. vote. Well, Watch him put on the cowboy hat. Sounds like him. It sounds just <laughs> And he's got the jam jams. Okay. Well, look at him. 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 Jam jams ahoy. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We got the jam jams. We didn't even put on jeans. We didn't even put on jeans. What the fuck? Cowboy hat? Oh man. <laughs> And we put on the Los Santos hat. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Do I feel I did well countering some of the claims? Here's the thing. It wasn't about countering them. It was about answering them in one place. I've already countered all of those claims. Uh, I already said that. I've already done that. Did you have any real we get a tea new segment? definitive we information in that? You, you found out a few new personal things about me and my wife. And that's about it. Things that I've never disclosed before. That are issues, ongoing issues with us, right? I really don't wish Does to elaborate further issue? on them. I don't want to tell you about our problems behind the scenes that have nothing whatsoever. You tell us all to the do time. You understand? It's bitch really no broke a business. shower. Um, bitch broke a washing machine. Or no, a dishwasher. I, I didn't have. That wasn't the intention of going on the Bruh, show. Now we're always being well, talking questions? about shit. Yes, he did go watch the show. Do you believe him? That's your call. Believe him yeah, or not. That's your right? call. Right? Believe him or not. If you don't believe him, that's fine. Hate him. Don't watch his content. Or do whatever you want to do. You know, but at least it's there now, right? At least now there's a definitive answer to all of that stuff, correct? That's right, I gotta represent Grove Street. Uh, Drunken Weasel did a super chat with the recent podcast. Is there gonna be a part two? Well, with a part two. Mm. Is there talking with Tech USA? No, absolutely not. American Manga Undertaker did a super chat. Keemstar was there, how was it? Uh, basically, Keem came on to argue with me about last year him offering me 50K to be on a podcast, which never happened because he never talked to me. And he, he went on to argue about, you know, offering 50K to do a podcast. It never happened, man. What? What? Excuse me, what? Last year, him offering me 50K to be on a podcast, which never happened because he never talked to me. I don't know. Basically, he said, oh, this was the offer. There was no offer. You never offered it to me. You never contacted me. You couldn't even listen to simple instructions. You never contacted Dragon, me. Uh, Dragon Davy Ray did a super chat. Great job. You never Keep contacted cool me, respect. man. Thank you, Dragon Davy Ray. Appreciate that. Uh, he is such in denial. This dude. If you guys want to ask me a question and you're not contributing, please tag me in the chat. You don't have to contribute, but I do need to see your message. I received another tip. You guys are being awesome and don't have to oh, Thank you so much. Keep giving him money. Of of keep giving him so money. So Let's see the best. Let's see a dumbass vest. Um, I want to see the orange vest, the $20 safety tip vest. From One Minute Man. Good job keeping your cool during a five hour interrogation. One Minute Man in a rare move has spoken. He, he never speaks. I think the last he time he spoke with Christmas, he said Merry Christmas. Wrong, he used to speak all the time when he used to give you $21 because he didn't always give you $20. That's what it was a joke. $21 from One Minute Man. Thank you so much, One Minute Man. I appreciate your always staunch support of me and my content. It is very nice of you to come out today and actually say something on the stream. I appreciate that. I mean, are there any questions I wish Craig and Adam asked? Uh, there's so many questions. There's so many questions to be asked, right? I don't know. I don't know what to say. Yo. 
I gotta give credit where credit is due. You actively showed up on the show and just like Lana Rhodes and you took on three guys at once. It was a great watch and I'd love to see more. Mad respect, bro. If he reads this, if he actually reads this super chat and takes it seriously, this is literally a fucking insult. It's a sneak diss saying that he was like taking on guys sexually. Bro. <laughs> If he reads that, I'm dead. I'm, I'm fucking ready to clock out. Please don't actually read it. Don't say it. If you do, I'm dead. George, no, I mean, I, are Keemstar and I cordial? I have absolutely no relation to Keemstar, and I have no desire to really talk to him. Oh, no. <laughs> is that cordial? No. Do you really think Keem is going to contact me? Here's he the real to. question. All right? He said on the show, oh, no, the offer's not off the table, but the offer's off the table. Like, he literally said that. He said, oh, no, you know, the door's not closed, but the door's closed. He said both, right? So when you say both like that. Both? With a like, W and an L? <laughs> both? Like a bowl of what cereal? Mean? What does Talking that mean? Talking out of both huh? sides of his mouth. Again, what? I don't know about Keem all day. Huh? I really don't. Um, what does that mean? We got 100 likes. Time for a bubble blow. celebratory bubble blow. I'm slowing Very this nice. down. Here we go. You guys are going to get an enjoyable half Excuse speed. Me. Burp infused bubble blow. Very nice. There you go. <laughs> there you guys go. For the support on this stream. We got basically I'm going till 4 p.m. like usual. All right, so I'll be here till 4 p.m. just like always. Um, and the I'll money's not even I'll come affecting back tonight, him. Yeah, so you, you guys want to do? Yo, do you want to do a like tonight? Do you want to do another chill stream tonight? I'm down for whatever you guys want tonight. Okay. I'm down for a chill stream, bro. He is. This is. I have never seen him this affected. I've never seen him this shook. The money is doing nothing to him right now. The likes are doing nothing to him. All of this shit is doing nothing to him right now. It is, oh God. By the way, we have over 700 people on the stream right now. I'm so dumb I didn't say this. Welcome to anyone who's a newcomer. We <laughs> very well may have some spillover right <laughs> hey, now. Hey yo, he's from that show. If you guys were watching the Side Scrollers podcast, maybe you're even a patron of Side Scrollers, welcome. Sorry I you didn't say I'm being stupid because I'm kind of shell-shocked after the show. Um, this is a 24-hour sub-only mode chat. There's a very good reason for it. It's because if you're not, if I didn't do that, this entire uh. chat right now would be trolled. Okay, it would. So I have to be careful about that. Um, and I have to basically shut shut down that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if yeah, you are, trolls, if you yeah. like that show and you'd like to join in the chat, you have to subscribe for 24 hours. So please sub to the channel. If you don't like the content in the next 24 hours, unsub. <laughs> you don't have to stay sub, but you do have to sub if you want to chat. Okay, it's 24. Hours. Okay, this is a really good post by uh, Forbidden Math. I haven't seen one of these in a hot minute. DSP prepares for a podcast 2023 colorized. I don't know. This seems pretty good. I like this. I like what I'm seeing right now. Yeah, I like what I'm seeing right now. Or wait, tomorrow all my content will be regular. Gameplay and everything will be usual, normal stuff. Okay. Um, so purple pickle to the super chat. Ten dollar one, thank you. I gotta give credit where it's due. You showed up to the show. Like Lana Rhodes. All right, this is some kind of a sexual joke. I don't even know what it means. It was a great watch. I'd love to see more mad respect from the pickle. <laughs> Yo, he almost Lana actually said it. At, but thank you, Purple Pickle. <laughs> oh he almost said it. Yikes. <clears throat> oh well. Holy crap. All right. He needs a Karen wig, too. Mr. Oinks, ultimately it's your choice. I don't like the way they conducted themselves. Can we run a poll for which game? For tonight? No, tonight it would be like a Dragon Eshin if we do a game. If not, we could just do another chill stream, whatever you guys want. Bro, you now. better do a game. Do I ever think of the 15, 50k when I give Keem a fair chance again? No. There was no 50k. Keem never actually went through the process of contacting me and offering it to me. He Bro. tweeted on his own account. We Bro. had a conversation in DMs where he didn't tell me what the was. There was no 50k, was. man. Then he refused to call me when he there was, was no money. To, but this is somehow my fault. I was supposed to drop everything in my life for this guy because he's a, a controlling egomaniac, which I said on the show. You know, so uh, this is not anything I didn't already say. Oh, let's see here. Being well, I think so about some petty. of the input I got today. I will. You know, some of the input I'm already implementing. It's funny because they say, oh, but you said you've changed. Well, I mean, I think I have. I'm listening to your input. We're doing stuff we've never done before. I'm trying to change for the better. I'm trying not to bring up drama. I'm that was trying. the whole purpose of going I'm on the trying. show. That's where I was going to I'm address trying. It, right? I'm trying. Get it trying. out of the way, right? Right? So, that's a weird you know, nod. Hopefully, yeah. this will kind of be the end of it. I don't know. Nope. It's that will never be the end of it. I received a $20 tip. Yo. Best time. Best time. Best From time. Was good here. Okay. Let's see. He's really think about how to read this out loud. Here? He's reading it. He's proofreading it. He's not sure if he should say it. He's read every single line. You can right, watch it. So here we go. They said, I don't have to read this, but I can if I want. So I'll read it. $20 tip came in. Listen to this. And let me play the animation when I read it. All okay? right. Let's play the animation, guys. It's very important. 
Look at me, it's me dancing around in class. You don't have to read this on stream if it's too much, it's not. You're incredibly too polite. It's, it's fair when you're being a guest, but that was not an impartial interview, it was an interrogation. You say that they were outsiders, but outsiders in a situation like this should not have been preconceived notions about you or your content. Mm. Craig's a nice guy, but he believed anyone should be able to spend money on whatever they want once received. They proceeded to grill you about your WWE account, pressing for screenshots like it would solve something. Adam was worse. He actually stated blatantly he does not believe you when you got disconnected. Don't even get me started on Keemstar. I know you're a fan of these guys, but don't let that stop you from defending yourself. Stand on principle, not the next of others. Appreciate you feeling good luck. Nope, he can't. Go. He can't, and he can't make a comment to it. Because he can't stand up to anything against them. Because <laughs> right? he knows how much it rubs him the wrong way. I don't know. I, don't, I again. He literally can't say anything against them. Like was fair. He's that. I can't make that you lame. You know what I'm saying? Like, Yo, he's I can't that fucking lame. You believe me? <laughs> how could I do that? It's weird because they say the pignosis. The what? Am I some kind of a magician? Am I a warlock? An evil warlock? Here I come through the power of the internet. Oh, hold on. Excuse All right, full me. screen shenanigans. He's Through the power of the dude, internet. I'm using dude, my magical powers dude. now to control your mind and tell you to believe me. Everything I say is true and everything else is false that people say. I can't do that. You know, who do these people think I am? They think I'm some kind of a crazy. Oh no, you know, I'm falling person. for the pignosis. You know? Yo, somebody's nuts. actually um, posting up the fucking pignosis emojis, it's just nuts. too. I don't know. Uh, the pignosis thing. And then, yeah, you know, I didn't, I didn't want. If they, if they end up. Let me put it this way. Uh -oh. The two best outcomes is that either those guys either believe me or they just don't care. Correct? It's uh -huh. one or the other. So it's one or the other. And they don't have to like me. We're not friends. You know, we're not going to be close personal friends. I'm sure, you know. And there's <laughs> Would the I like hope. to show up on their podcast again? Yes, I will. I will do it again. But at the but same time, you know. I'm probably not if they don't Target believe me. I felt Craig and Adam didn't really get that the negative stuff is minor from your overall amount of content that you make. Exactly. Here's the oh, thing. Is, there's yeah, a mountain of evidence. Yes, bruh, but I'm a 15 year long, bruh. one of the most. You're a 15 year long content creator. You've been on the platform forever and ever, which makes you an old fucking dinosaur. And of that 15 years, you've managed to produce content in which that's managed to piss off people so much. You've cultivated an actual hate mob against you because you used to call yourself the king of hate. Yeah, I agree, Phil. 15 years of creating shit content. And what does it mean for you? You've been on your way out for the last 10. You've been irrelevant. And you used to make a lot of really spicy jokes and, you know, try to walk it back. Well, I'm sorry, Phil. You kind of used the hard R way too many times. Prolific content creators out kind of like bites It's funny because eventually. it's like, well, look, we just pulled this recent clip from July of last year. Yeah. And in my opinion, it's, it's a joke that's bad. Wait, no way. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Hold the phone. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did somebody show him? No, did somebody pull up the clip for the slave trade? Because that would have been the slave trade. Bro. Yes? <laughs> no way! No way! No fucking way! What? But it's not a joke that's racist. Oh. I don't think the joke was, was racist because I didn't intend it in that. Wait, I'm going to hear this again. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yes, but I'm a 15 year long, one of this. the most prolific content creators out there. It's funny because it's like, well, look, we just pulled this recent clip from July of last year. Yeah, and in my opinion, it's, it's a joke that's bad, but it's not a joke that's racist. I don't think the joke was, was racist because I didn't intend it in that way. But of course, you could spin it that way if you would like. Sure. Um... And the situation is that, you know, wow, we found one thing in the last few years to say Phil does. Now we'll now we'll do a clip from three more years before. Now the clip from 2010, you know? Bro. 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 I can literally look up the slave trade joke. Everybody has it. I literally could pull up a video that has 20,000 fucking views. Almost. <laughs> anyway, I promise no one from our family is going to die. Wow, a complete lie. What an asshole. That's far enough. I'm Sheriff Romero. I guess you must be Vince. Best if we make this quick. All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a ride off for profits. You know how much I love you, right? All, all the way to the moon. That's right. You get scared, you just look up at the sky and remember that, okay? Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. You see how absolutely ridiculous that whole pause is? 
it's like a whole fucking 20 seconds and then he eventually says something to justify what he just said yeah see what a weird thing to follow up with stay with her right she's too valuable to escape she's worth lots of money it's corrupt crooked cop the game had nothing to do with race the game had zero percent to do with race nothing at no point do they imply that the cops are racist or selling children or selling black people off because the, the insinuation that you got to make is this is a black child that's being sold off to slavery you're either doing it from the aspects of a child so it's either like it, it, horror it's it's i don't even know which one's worse it's hard to really tell on the scale of atrocities but it's either you're selling them off to slavery because they're black or you're selling them off to slavery a different type of slavery because they're a little girl and both of which are horrendous fucking jokes if you think about it but what if you and mommy don't come back that's that's insane that's legit insane and his take on all of this is this it's not a joke that's racist i don't think the joke was, was racist because i didn't intend it in that way but of course you could spin it that way if you would like sure it wasn't racist i didn't intend it to be racist but you could spin it that way bro what was it supposed to be were you talking about sex trafficking were you actually talking about sex trafficking i don't understand the context of that joke i have i have played that that one fucking joke to two other random ass people who don't know nothing about dsp or what the fuck i do literally their their jaws dropped because it was like what the fuck is wrong with this dude or um and the situation is that you know wow we found one thing in the last few years to say phil does now we'll, we'll no because we'll you're spamming and i'm definitely before. not checking now, it now. 2010 you know i'm not checking this isn't, it, you're I not spoiling me videos 100 000. Hey, you're spoiling me you're fucking spoiling me i this is the one clip that i'm gonna look at the one clip and after this i gotta watch it legit absolutely and i'm stupid and i do dumb stuff when i get over emotional this is not the norm on my streams people see that clip out of context like you guys just did and if all you knew of dark side phil was that joke you would hate my guts you'd be like what a, what a scumbag he made a joke about child trafficking what kind of a horrible person thinks child trafficking is funny when you watch it in context it's yeah. not as bad but it's still bad but when I don't you know, watch the, con all of the context that you explained didn't make it any better i'll be honest that's fine i agree because I, that's fine. i'm not i'm not sure which character you're even like portraying so you were were you acting as the sheriff in that situation yes. that's why i did that's why i did like the accent yes yeah you want to know a big uh, a big fucking faux pas with this um uh, mr krigler is uh i wouldn't say a big supporter but he is pro police he's not against the police he's he's pro like local sheriffs and shit so if you're trying to make a joke that the local sheriffs are selling children to to trafficking rings he's not gonna support that he's gonna think that's actually fucking shitty so if your context was i make you a joke on behalf of the sheriffs which have displayed no fucking indication that they're into selling people for slavery it's gonna upset people and it's gonna upset adam oh god the negative stuff is the drop in the bucket but they don't want to believe that the distractors they just want to focus on the shit. you know what i'm saying yeah the problem is you have too many drops in the bucket and when the bucket becomes overflowing with drops in the bucket then there's a fucking problem that's the goddamn problem people tell him every single fucking day phil there are too many drops in your bucket you literally make way too many jokes and you're way too fucking racist and bigoted you make way too many fucking out of context things that get that get spun and then when you get told about it you say no you're being fucking trolls and i can't i can't take you seriously bro but then what if it's not from trolls just saying the whole show was supposed to be about the negative that was the premise he says it was 3v1 only talking about negative. Lurk, it, 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 work. it wasn't right, a Sarah. let's praise Thank you for stopping by. it was supposed to be phil addresses stuff show you know that was the point of me going on there originally it wasn't it was supposed to be on a normal guest then it turned into phil is now interrogated you know interrogated yeah there's over 60,000 videos on this channel between all my other channels out there i believe it is around 100,000 videos at this point i could be off by a few oh 100,000 sure videos right? of actual nonsense naysayer says when you stream six times a week all year one or six times a week, six days a week two streams a day 
Hundred yeah, a waterfall is just a bunch of droplets, Drew. I have lots of them, <laughs> right? I agree. I'm glad you're here to hang out, Kagome. You think going five hours was nuts? Do you want to know the truth? It went by like this. I had no concept of what time it was. Zero. None. I didn't know. I just kept going, and I had no idea what the what you know what was gonna what, what, what time was Dominic. going by. No clue. Some people are saying it was unfair. If you feel it was unfair, you have the right to feel that way. I'm the one on the show, and I don't feel it was. Uh, look, he can't. Yeah. He literally cannot fucking uh, deny him. Let's do. Let's grab. I need a light vest. It's very warm today, for good reason. Let me grab a lighter vest. Yo, we're getting a lighter vest. Big ups, Jam Jams. Big ups to Los Santos. And let's see, are we gonna get you the? Guys like. <laughs> the stupid one. Yeah, let's put on the gold vest. We're gonna look extra weird today. Fuck me. Oh. All right, man. Pretty cool. Fun and positive. Will I go back and watch it? Oh, Yo, King Goken's in that, that fucking chat. King Goken, you dumb show, motherfucker. I don't know if I'm, gonna go back I'm calling it, you out. You dumb piece of shit. You never show up for half his fucking streams. And you finally show up for this. God damn, King Goken. You fucking deserve him. I swear to fucking Christ. <laughs> Actual fucking piece of shit. I'm going to start logging and see whenever you're we'll over see, here, we'll too. Wow, thank you, guys. Let me open my window. Only use me blade tip. This is not really them. $3 tip. Love the interview. Crazy conspiracy I heard is that you ran a cult. They say OIC was like a general and Derek was a high priest or something like that. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Thank you for that. And uh, let's here see here. I wanted to, to cool down a little bit. Do I think, it's a dollar tip, do you think I defended myself well? Seems like they called you out numerous times. Literally, they said, well, you know, you're saying one thing, but you're not providing evidence, to which I responded, you're right. I, you know, there's some things that are going to be- You're saying one thing, but you're not showing any evidence. Risk. A evidence. There are absolutely yeah, positive right, times. When I thought there's no risk evidence. here, let me just do this or that, and it 1 million percent blew up and hurt me badly, okay? Being honest, it's happened before, it's documented, this has happened. Um, so, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what it is why, that I'm, I'm saying? I'm putting myself in harm's way by He's putting himself putting in front of bullets. putting anything out there of a bank statement or showing my mobile phone or anything like that. I am, Bro. okay? So, I'm he literally has shown his phone multiple times in the last six months on front of the camera. He's put his fucking phone on the camera just to show off some dumb little thing that he's going to purchase. I can't show off my phone, guys. I might be accidentally doxing something. Really? Right? There's the risk there. It's okay, too sure. What are the Jaspers up to? Myself, why would They're I do that, right? being assholes. <laughs> They were fucking says, up uh, some of the questions they asked multiple times. Like you answered well the first time, vice versa. Some answers you gave more skirted your questions. It was a pass. There you go. I did my best. I really did my best. Five hours, man. Who only says we make mistakes, and that us being human, but I agree. I made more mistakes than a lot of people. PS3 Troop says you don't owe them anything. I mean, I don't owe them anything. Absolutely not. I don't. Don't owe them, owe them anything. I saw it on TV. I told you guys I wanted to be interviewed, right? right? Well, I got my interview. That's His for sure. Voice is it was so certainly different than different. I saw it kind of going down, but uh. Butter says you don't want to put yourself in danger for nothing. Exactly right, because here's the thing. All right, here's the, here here's the deal. The thing. Here's the deal. All right, being honest. Right. He's honest this chilling, time. Correct. He and was right, lying We have some newcomers here today, possibly. Welcome if you're a newcomer to my content. We're all here. We're chilling, right? So ultimately, with what happened, has it affected anything? Yep. Will it be positive know. or negative? I don't know what the net result will uh, be. Oh, yeah. Has it affected anything? Thing, I don't know. My detractors will never be satisfied anyway. Craig said it himself. That no matter what I say and do, they will never be satisfied. Because they're, you know, they're, and from my perspective, they're in it for personal gain. That's why they keep doing it. They DSP, I'm in it because you're a fucking laughing stock on the internet. And I like to laugh at a fucking idiot on the internet. That's why I watch Cyrax get his ass beat. That's why I watch fucking King Cobra eat himself to death. Gorge himself to death on dumb ass recipes. You're not the first, you're not the last. I will literally laugh at lol cows. Why? Because it's funny. It's literally internet drama. I'm sorry that you're literally a TV show. I can change the channel whenever I want. And you just happen to be on right now. You're the current TV show that's on. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry, you're just no more than that. They love making fun of me so they can keep rolling this popularity train on YouTube. So why would they ever stop? There's situations like that escort saga story. One million percent proven false. They were just on to the next thing. So why do I care? Why do you care? But then, because I don't say anything, I don't disprove it. Oh, it just continues forever. It must be true. It's right. No, you true. must care. But why? Because you and care. You know what Keemstar said resonates. It sucks that he's right, but he's right. I, I don't know if I got DDoSed or not. My modem got knocked oh off the internet. Oh, my God. And came God. back about, what, a few minutes? Really? I don't know what happened. And then when I come back... Back to the DDoS you know, story. Basically, Keemstar says, well, it doesn't even matter anymore. You had your opportunity. You didn't send the pick to Craig right away. And because of that, now it doesn't matter if you sent him one. Now it's over. You can't anymore. He, he's right. Then again, it doesn't matter anyway. Look at him. Because no one would have believed him either. Look at him. Look at <laughs> you know him. You know what I'm saying? Like, Look at him. No one would have believed him either. 
Even if I send him the screenshot right now, they won't believe him. They'll say he's making it up or he's dumb. He doesn't understand the game. He doesn't get it, right? I give him more benefit so, of the doubt than you right now, Phil. There you go. Yeah, this Craig shit's just poisoned him. Well, you know what I was thinking of doing, but I don't think I'm doing it anymore. Here's what I was thinking of doing. Oh, uh, here we I go. I was going to take screenshots uh -huh. of not uh -huh. only WWE champions, but also other games that I've played to show him that it's the same account name. And I was planning on doing this. I was totally going to do this, guys. I wasn't going to hide any of this. I wasn't going to, you know, lie to you guys. I was totally going to do this. Uh, I had it planned for the start. You had to believe me, dude. Yeah, I, I believe you, dude. I believe you 100%. All the games. So that way, at least if he saw that, he'd be like, he's got an account here, here, and here, and they're all the Four same. Four Dog Leader, if you paid attention, he he's a, there's your evidence. Here's the other thing, too. For people who keep spamming about the he admitted to playing uh, WWE Champions, he's already admitted to that. He actually admitted to it about six months ago, roughly. But he's already previously admitted to it when he was like, yeah, man, I play uh, mobile games. Uh, you know, I'm not going to tell you the accounts on it, but I play mobile games. I still play uh, WWE Champions. I know. I uh, He said it before. It's just his little wiggle room, his little catch-22, his little uh, bottom line, his little, uh, little escape route out, as he'll never tell you what the account is. So when he does this little segment, I was going to do this, but now I'm not going to because I'm too afraid. It's just another way of saying, uh, you guys could have got something, but now, you know, it's all your fault. How, whose fault? Whose fault is it? Is it Craig's fault for questioning you? Is it Adam's fault for questioning you? Is it Keemstar's fault for existing? Who knows? Who actually fucking knows? But he's going to sit there and he's going to pretend that, like, he was going to do all these things. Bro, he pretended he was going to do a green screen years ago, and look what happened that. He pretended he was going to improve his fucking camera quality. He didn't do it for years until somebody gave it to him. He likes to pretend he's going to do a lot of different things. Unless it's actually fucking hand fed to him, he'll never do these things. Ever. But now you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, If I do it now, probably no one will believe it anyway. So there you go. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. You do. Yeah. There you go. Dark Jack said, I found Keemstar. What he was saying was stupid. Someone could say you photoshopped. Exactly right. I mean, yes, that's exactly 100% yeah, right. Yeah, Phil photoshopped it. it. Okay, sure. Sure, Phil. Literally can super show it to your interview live. I recommend you and him have a chat. That would be a fun one. We all would support that. I have no, no. problem stalking the wing. Would you like to know the truth? I, I've asked Wings over the last several months if he would like to have an interview with me. Yeah, he is never sure. Him, so I don't think he's interested. Sure has, Phil. But don't harass him about it because if he's not interested. He's oh, not don't harass him though. Like don't don't him. ask him the question. Uh, he might say something different. He might be lying. He might show his DMs. It is my intention to have a, a, you know some interviews and stuff going on there, and I, you know and? he would definitely be someone I would like to sit down and talk with. Man, I would like to talk with him before um, the fight. I would love to talk with him before he has that boxing match with Boogie. I really would. In normal speed. I feel like I'm <laughs> at normal speed. No, I'm not. This is actually some 1. people are actually 5. sending me some nice supportive messages via email, and I appreciate people who are doing Whoa. that. I'll read those later. Sorry, I can't read those. You can now. email him from like butt buttsex.com uh, and just say we love you no Phil. see we hear Bob Duke here you go he says Adam thought of the possibility as well come up with a solution you could do a FaceTime with Craig again there's no point there's no, no point. point because no point people just won't believe Craig things. either now that's <laughs> yeah no point it. it's you know I gotta keep the story up forever dude it's always a lie all the time 24 7 I can never disprove it he was quick to disprove a lot of shit but this one thing he won't disprove it I wonder why hmm. oh, I, mm -hmm. I wonder why don't worry when the account goes dead and it goes right, away I, forever. I, I Sorry, Suddenly I'm, I'm it'll be okay. Suddenly we can show screen. things. We'll show a fake account early, then. Like yeah, Guys, they've been playing this account the entire time. Was a strudel with two cups of coffee and a bunch of water. That's what I'm fueled on right now. Whoa, Mr. strudel said, I water. Care for drama. Team stars, a children's entertainer. I prefer game streams. I agree with you. Does Jasper like cat treats? Yes, he does. Willow. You know, wow. theoretically, wings of boogie could go easy on each other for a payday. I mean, yeah, but the point I'm making is what a set of questions. I like I was that talking out of the right side of his mouth. Embarrassing them. His left side of his mouth really doesn't it's move. Disgusting. If you look at it. Don't like that. You know, I don't. And Anders personal risk involved as well. What if one of them has a heart attack during the fight? You know, like, I, I can't be for that, man. I agree, Phil. Was it is it hard to sit there and talk openly about everything? Uh, yes. Do do this way? Yes. Okay. He said yes. Essentially. Yes. It was hard. Yes. It was hard to... Be grilled. Ugh. 
<laughs> I had to maintain train of thought and rational mind. Keemstar has a way when he talks. He goes on and on and on so that you don't have a chance to react to anything he's saying. He'll say- Bruh. Have you ever listened to your own fucking monologues about a question that you get for like $2 from Snow Carl? Have you ever listened to your own fucking monologues? One point, then say two more points. Oh, okay, you're responsible. Okay, Wait, you said three points. Sure. It's, it's a way of talking. Keeps our only way of talking to try to confuse you. Okay, I felt like Adam and Craig were being very straightforward uh, with their questions. While you know, his team starts a completely different kind of guy, right? Um, but you know, was it tough? Was it hard? No. I, at this point, literally, literally, I mean that 100%, absolutely, positively, nothing phases me. You literally read out somebody's name for anonymous fucking tip because you were still fucking frazzled. And you admitted it not 30 minutes ago at the beginning of this fucking dumbass cult cast that you're doing. Uh, I, I very, uh, I very all over the place, man. I'm, 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 uh, you know, I feel kind of weird right now. Yeah, you, know, you know, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, I'm kind of uh, all over the place. All right. Nothing phases me though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not phased. through everything, so that was like ethereal side Phil. If I was in your position, Phil, it'd take years off my life. No, it didn't take years off my life. I'm cool. Cool well, as a cute here, and Another ten dollars. Just like with those Latinas, at high school. Keep in mind, this is not my opinion. This is a tipper, an anonymous tipper saying this. Keem is a hypocrite pretending that it's ethically okay to let Wings and Boogie box against each other. Two men who could easily suffer a heart attack doing it. That's indicative of his character. I think you did a great job. Thank That's you. That's literally I Phil's fucking point. opinion, though. I even brought it up. That's well, literally adults, Phil's yeah, opinion. Nothing, That's his bit as opinion. You need to get help and hope for the best. Shit, both of them have joked about suicide and stuff. It's like, dude, do you not understand how this is wrong? I, I... Phil, you joked about suicide. You literally had a moment where you were talking about the little thing, the little thing in the back of your neck, the back of your mind, telling you all these weird things. You thought about it. You literally thought about being in a car crash. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Great. Well, someone sent me a five dollar tip saying they're from a detractor channel. It took balls, but they still think I need to deal with alcohol and mobile game addiction. Yes, you do. Have, again, you don't have to believe me. I mean it. You don't. I'm not going to convince everyone. In fact, I might not convince anyone. Thanks for the five dollar tip. That's nice of you. <laughs> At least you said I had balls. That's something nice, I guess. <laughs> yes, I am male. I have testicles. Yeah, the guy who can't even see no, his own wife. Regular. Sure, man. Whatever. Big Daddy did a super I'm nice time beginning to think to that DSP is of the same caliber of Wings of Redemption. They both have low T, and I don't think he's ever gotten an erection ever since the whole masturbation incident. I don't think his wife... I don't think he's consummated his marriage. I'm going to be that guy. I'm going to pretend that DSP is the same level of Wings. They have not consummated that marriage. If they have, that is a fucking loveless marriage right now. Podcast. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, about a dude. Of mine, which I don't know why he'd be taking an L, but okay. Thank you for the Phil lost the T, dude. Appreciate that. Whew. I'm glad you're feeling better today, Jay. Thank you, Jay. Thanks to you as well. I hope you're feeling better. Butler Spirits says Kim already said Boogie and Wings lost weight for the fight. He says it's a danger for them, but hype of this fight convinced them to improve their health. Uh, they've already done that. They already both did that. Remember? You ever watch their documentaries or whatever? We saw one of, of uh, Wings. He had went personal training. That was all documented. He lost weight and came right back. He didn't have the discipline to keep it off, correct? Doesn't mean anything. The risk is still there. Just because you lost weight doesn't mean your heart has magically fixed itself from all the years that you've put it through, all this stuff. Phil, Wings is still a 500 pound blimp. He didn't, he may have lost a little bit of weight, but he just put it right back. He's still a fucking big ass blimp. I, oh, whatever. Are they going to a heart doctor? Are they getting cardiograms? <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope so. Again, it's not my business. Keem is bringing me into his business. I don't care about that. Why do you think he was on the show? Because there was a lot of hype around it. And he wanted to promote his stuff. That's why he was on there. 100% oh, sure. Man. It's a sure. Sure. Sure, he was just there to promo. In. Dude, he was there on a 20,000, no, a 30,000 sub channel on a podcast that had like less than 5k viewers to promote his own stuff. Makes a whole lot of sense when you think about it that way, Phil. I guess I guess they really do have more reach than they actually believe that they do. Makes sense. The podcast is entertaining. They made more than $20,000 of contributions. Will you be seeing any of that? No, and I didn't know that, and no. I, it's not about <laughs> no, and I didn't know that. At all. 
<laughs> yo, yo, I was I paid zero, zero dollars, <laughs> zero point yo. zero. I will be receiving. Yo, it's not about me making money. It's not what I went on the show for. I was not paid. I that perked him up a little bit. Um, that Danny did a super him. chat. You did fantastic. Thank you, Danny. <laughs> I can feel the little Shit, bit of jadedness that came from that. 20K, wait a minute. The vest goal. Hold on, 20K? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? My 20K. So if you want to talk shows, I'll keep getting my vest goals. I'm sure that's what it was about too, right? I wanted to revive oh, the vest look goals. at him. There you go. And then he talks about money right there. Purple Pickle did a super chat with enough talk shows. We can revive the vest goal. <laughs> what? <laughs> so if I keep going on talk shows, I'll keep getting my vest goals. I'm sure that's what it was about too, right? I wanted to revive the vest goal. There you go. Every, every stream now, I must hit the vest goal of $150. That was the intention of going there for five hours, correct? Yo, <laughs> yo, right. yo, yo, this dude is delusional, actually delusional. August says, I'm not sure that's fair. He seemed to handle himself in good faith. I mean, he handled himself in good faith, but he also shilled. He did, absolutely. Did he have to bring up that fight between the two? No. You shill your own content, you jackass. I'm a streamer, man. I'm a variety content streamer. You shilled it, dude. Oh my God. Oh, I feel like I'm going to get a headache. Bro, it's okay. He was on the show. He shilled. You shilled too. Who cares? Did he have to bring up? Oh, they're losing weight. First time I'm announcing this. It was promotion. It was free promotion for him. And Craig and Adam fell for it. You promoted your own dumb he shit. You probably he prom fell promoted your own reaction. One million percent. That's shit. how Keemstar operates. Come on, man. Don't be Why this didn't way. I stay for the after podcast? I did. The after podcast was 15 minutes for their patrons. So I stayed. And I actually had some more conversation with them. That was not interrogation stuff. It was more fun. So... I wonder if Kid he's going to miss the nipple from of the bottle from and it just spills all his, over him. His drama alert stuff myself. That's what I'm judging off of. Did Kat watch it? I, she told me she watched some of it, not all. Oh, I still, yeah, I still have five hours of interview to survive. I'm going to skip through shit that I don't want to hear. <laughs> but if it's all wow. gold, then great. Jade, there will not be any gaming on this probably stream, Probably Minecraft. There's no time for that, as you can see. I mean, you know, you actually play Minecraft instead of commit Minecraft. Tonight, I'd be down for Like a Dragon Ishin if you guys want that on the late stream. I'm also down for just interacting. Maybe we'll do a poll. We could easily just jump back into me. regular gameplay content tomorrow. Gotta decompress. Depending. Also, I didn't do a level one podcast today. This is a long week for me, guys. I'm streaming seven days this week. Whoa. Yes, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm here seven days this week. Man, so we're gonna make big pushes to seven try to days. finish Hogwarts Legacy, to try to get really far, maybe even finish Wolong. My goal is to try to get as much done before Resident Evil 4 comes out. Spartanius one says, do you think Keem will be back for part two? I don't see why he would need to be. He said his piece, right? If he wants to contact me about being uh, doing a podcast and behind the scenes, he will. Um, and that's that. I don't see why he would have to be on a show interviewing me again. PF, yeah, I know. PF says he's asking about the bank leaks and, you know, the actual identity Order, theft. Why am I getting you know, this that, game? We literally never went into the true identity theft story. Instead, it was just the bank leaks, but not just what really happened. I'm not getting Maybe it. That'll be just because you told me to get it, I'm not getting two, it. Part two, they'll ask questions, and I'll be able to tell more my side of stuff rather than just directly answering questions. I don't know. We never got to a lot of stuff, quite frankly. <clears throat> no, Green Goblin, I'm not asking them for any percentage of donations whatsoever. I refuse. Absolutely not. God, man, this is absolutely you see how he kind of slowed down to a crawl now that he got all the money segment out Hoy. ah jeez. part two coming soon yes and yes and no for i understand there will be a part two but it's going to be a ways out don't expect it in the next few weeks to month maybe maybe a month or two out it's not going to be you know they want to do their own show man they just had two weeks of drama around me they're going to publicly likely publicly announce uh, that they're not doing it anytime soon they want me back i want to go back but i'm not going back in you know in next week next month it's going to probably be like you know April, May, June-ish, oh, okay. at the earliest. You gotta give it, you know, give it some time. You gotta you give it I'm some saying? time in the oven to bake. I can't wait for that. Nobody's gonna actually oh, care about here. those segments unless they can troll. five dollar tip. Let's see here. What did the message say? Is it a troll? It's a I troll. Mean, I'm impressed with your performance when you openly talk about mobile game addiction. Here we go again. I'm generally interested in keeping up with you now. I thought negatively about you for a while. Today you stood your ground as a man that took balls from nothing, to, nothing but the best. Oh, uh, can't wait for that guy to stick around. Thank you for another tip. Pretty cool. Again, um, what was I gonna say? What were you I said this say? on the show. I mean, I used to have addiction to mobile games. I admitted it. I admitted that I used to have addiction, but it wasn't the games people say today. It's the older games that I used to play. You know? Yeah, we kind of knew that, though. We kind of actually knew that. And when you got called out for it, you used to say that you used to play these games a lot. I, I don't even know what to say about that. I used to have an addiction. I have an addiction now, but I used to have one, too.
Why do they say you have delusions of grandeur when you brought up being the most prolific content creator when you literally are? Because because Adam doesn't know that. He didn't do research. <laughs> he doesn't know that. He actually doesn't know that I put out that many videos. Just look. DSP I'm very Gaming prolific. Has 60, Dark Side Phil has yeah. like 10,000. I can find... My vlogging channel has like... I can find automated channels that have put out like a million fucking videos because they're literally automation channels that put out like randomized videos. That doesn't make them prolific. It just makes them actual content trash dumps. So, yeah, you can say your channel... You can say you're prolific, Phil, but I don't think you're prolific for the reasons you think you are. It's not for the sheer number of garbage fucking pieces you put in the fucking pile. It's the fact that it's a pile of garbage. 20,000. Just between there, you're almost at the 100. And I have all these other channels, too. <laughs> yeah. Look at but that. But they don't know that. Nice sneak bet. Uh, ni nice sneak brag. I'm pretty... I'm pretty important, guys. I don't know what you mean, Felix. Are famous. you official guest of side scrollers? I don't know what that means. I was on the show. Am I official? I guess I was officially on the show, no? I wasn't a standard guest. Me being on the show was a different kind of guest, right? Most prolific uh, spammer, yeah, I'd agree. Definitely a spammer. Jeff says, I think when you talk about these things like your struggle with addiction or, uh, let's see here, your mental state around an inc the incident humanizes you. I'm just yeah. being honest, right? So you should be more oh, honest. Chat, you're losing money from your show like Wings did with Woody and Kyle from Painkiller already. You skipped out on your own personal camping trip. There you go. Thank you, Purple Pickle, for the super chat. <clears throat> wonder how long till Purple Pickle gets banned. PS3 Troops says it's so easy just to go straight to the source and watch your actual streams. Yeah. Here we are. We're on my actual stream, right? You see the content, correct? Yeah, this is pretty mild content. I wouldn't brag about this kind of content. Although I, I wouldn't brag about my content. Uh, am I going to buy a Beat the Dragon t-shirt? They mentioned that. Was that the slogan they used? Hmm. I don't remember if that's what they used or not. No, I'm not buying that shirt. Adam says he doesn't trust me when my internet's off. That's fine. He do Again, he doesn't have to trust me. They don't, you know? It's everyone has these subjective abilities. He is trying to make so hard not to shit on him. To, to, you know, he they, can't they can. say that's nothing. Fine, right? He literally can't Simon say Super nothing. Like to Keemstar. And everybody knows it. I do like them, Simon. They can only, he can only talk own, shit about Keemstar. That's it. Literally comes out of nowhere, tries to blindside me, and tries to do something, you know, promoting his own They could have literally raped, and I'm going to say this, they could have literally yeah, raped Cat in front of him, and he'd literally just sit there and just do nothing about it. He can't do shit. When you told me to call you, no, you didn't. You never did. You literally ignored my messages about when to call. Or you can't tell what time zones are, I guess. I don't know. You're, you know, can't tell time. I can't help you with that. You're an idiot. You fucking idiot. Should have called me. Because Why weren't you picking up the phone? Life. Come well, on, Keemstar. Underwhelming with drama. It is. The truth in life is usually very, very underwhelming. You know. When Louis says you had so many internet problems, I believe it. What do you mean by that? What uh, do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean? Can man? I drink seltzer on stream anymore? Huh? No, I love seltzer. I'm gonna continue to belch every day. Do I think got Keem got confused about time zones? I don't think Keem cared. I think Keem feels like he controls every situation in his life, and therefore if Keem calls, I should just answer. No. If I'm doing my daily live stream, I will not just answer the phone in the middle of my live stream and say, this is an important call. No, I'm working. Why don't Sorry. you call him? Yes, my work is my work. You guys are my priority when I'm on a stream. Not anything else around me unless the house is burning, my wife needs my help, or, you know, the cops are outside. He's literally stopped you a stream just so he could investigate whether or not there was a truck outside of his fucking house for a whole three minutes. You're going to tell me that this dude is going to sit here and prioritize the stream. How many times has he literally fucked with like the AC or the blinds? Or he thinks whether or not there's somebody weird walking around in his neighborhood. And he's like went over to the fucking window and he's went outside. He li This dude literally went door to door looking for his goddamn shrimp. This dude doesn't care about the fucking stream. And he's showcased it multiple times on stream. Guys are, the, are what I'm doing, man. Not them. Not, not him, for sure not him. Mango Jewel Pods, come on. You've already been, been saying negative things about me for weeks. Now you're going to try to pile on. Come on, dude. Just, just stop it. You can't you're ban really, him. If you really don't let me to leave, don't yeah, say that. He can't even ban him. Here. I mean, he, dude, he's not even showcasing his ban skills right now. He is trying to do kid gloves. No, wait, no, he's getting banned. Never mind. He's getting banned. I managed not to belch the whole interview. No, I muted it. When you, they are using a, a streaming program that your controls are giant buttons in front of you. So when I felt like I had to burp, I muted the mic and then burped and then came back. It was very easy to do. Whoa. There's a difference between doing that and doing it. Like right now, if I was going to burp, I could go, okay. Wow. You mean you could do but that? If I'm gaming over here, I can't go do that. 
And that's when most of the time when I'm bur when I'm burping or when. No, that's not. You actually pause the game. You start typing out and you literally look towards the fucking mic and you burp directly into it. That's the problem, Phil. Yeah. I don't right. want to look at a montage of you fucking burping. Well, that game, would be horrifying. Saying? Even I don't want that. And I like watching you eat because you Double look like an animal. Jeff, why don't you steal Keem's idea, create an exclusive podcast without him? Why didn't yes. Keem delegate the task of contacting you to his team? I outright, again, I'm, I I would do something with Boogie and Wings. Okay. I would. That was Double J was your name, by the way? I think. Thank you for the super chat. I would do something with Boogie and Wings, for sure. Somebody the contact Wings. We don't need Keen. I don't we got to get this done. See Keen. how long it takes for Phil to say no. Just us doing a, a podcast on YouTube ourselves would be successful. Why do we need him involved? Why is he going to take a cut? I don't think hey. there's enough value added there at all for him to be involved. Let's make it Wingo. We need Wingo on this and right you're now. absolutely right. If Keem was serious, why couldn't he have other people reach out or whatever? It was ridiculous. The way he expected that I was going to say, Keem, if Keemstar wants to contact Darkseid Phil, my life ends right now until I talk to the man. He thinks he's that important. He's literally he turning into okay? a Keemstar he segment. Not in my life. He's like, I'm you know, already getting not a big very deal. bored. I got a dollar tip. Purple Pickle Yum Yum, you're afraid of anime boobs, bro. Laugh my ass off. Sell the fappening merch. How no, I'm not. I've already explained. It was a depressing time in my life. It has negative associations. I don't like talking about it. My wife doesn't want to hear about it. We move past it. It's not happening. Your wife ain't mm -hmm. online. Who cares? We can talk about you jacking off. You jacked off. You jacked off and you made funny faces. I'm sorry, Phil. Maybe you shouldn't have jacked off and made funny I faces. I have no feud with Keen. <laughs> I don't. I don't care about the man. I do not care about the man. I, I don't know why I keep bringing him up. Could you guys like not mention him anymore? I don't care about the man. I don't want to talk about him for the rest of the show. It's a waste of time. That's the guy who keeps talking about him. And he's going to still keep getting notifications. Why do we need Review Tech? Why do we need Review Tech? Of all the people involved there, I think Review Tech would be the least interesting. Right? Kelly 2.0. Kelly has some... I don't uh, think he adds anything You know, when people honest. make fun of Kelly, but... Kelly at least tries. She at least tries for herself. I don't know about for wings, Marley but Cody's she tries for herself. Well. All right. Do we have any moderators? King Gokin, you're here, correct? King Gokin has a unique situation here. He's one of my moderators. I'm uh -huh. curious. What did you think, King What did you think, King Gokin? What did you think, King Dent? I want to know, King Gokin. What did you think? Can I get your perspective? He's reading. He's literally waiting for King Goku and he's ignoring everybody else. About? We did it a long time ago. What's Goku your opinion, King Goku? Are you going to delay on the stream today? I thought I'd set it up to have low latency, but it seems like there's a little bit more latency on this stream. Maybe I set it up wrong. Uh, I don't think I can check that now, though. It seems like I did. It seems like there's latency or something. Like, everything's going a little slow. I don't know why that would be. It seems like you guys are reacting slower to me. Guys, his reaction time strange. is pretty slow. You need I'll to be a lot quicker. Maybe they're just kind of dented, Phil. I like there's a lot you know, of messages getting I thought the interview was fair way longer than I thought it would. Oh, no, I thought it was going to go long. I knew it, man. I knew it was going long. Absolutely, I knew it was going long. Craig warned me of such. I told him my time was their time, you know? Nienna says, I thought it was mostly fair. Keemstar showing up was very dumb. I don't think that they'll have you as a regular guest because they think you're lying to them. There you go. And King goes <laughs> to send them the screenshot. Charge X says, there is a delay right now. I wonder what happened. Maybe I didn't click the button that says, you know, be live or whatever. Yeah, like, oh, hold Man, on. We are nuking so oh, many yeah. people's messages it's, I didn't right click now. It. It's, it's set to normal latency, guys. That's why. I'll fix that for tonight's stream. Apparently, we're not at ultra latency for some weird reason, even though I normally am. It's something changed it. So there is a little bit of delay right now. Sorry about that. What would have been you, Phil? Void to the super chat. You three would be getting a guaranteed 50K bad how? I, how? Dude, how would it be void, bad? I already answered the question. Why are you asking me the same question again? How would it be bad, Phil? Right? Guaranteed 50K. Me the same question? Why would it be bad? Answer the question. You've never actually answered the question of how getting 50K would be bad. You just say it's blood money because the fucking weird okay. gnome is giving you the money. I don't want the gnome controlling me, man. I don't want that money. I don't want that blood money. I want actual money. I want beggars money. Void to the super chat. How would that 50k not help you tremendously? It didn't say who said it wouldn't help me tremendously. Again, it's a weighing of short-term gain versus long-term impact. All right, it's dual. It's dual thing going on. Thing number one: doing business with someone who I don't respect, whose content I don't like, who I feel has made a lot of blood money on the internet, and taking payment from that guy. I'm not okay with that. Apparently two, so. I haven't even looked at the, uh, there as a the podcast. Um, and people who and we were supposed to look at it, but imagine he booted this. up. Imagine if I thought I he was going to boot. Correct? It blows up in popularity. It gets tons of attention. Makes money. I make a lot of money. Now, my streams double to triple in viewership, but literally everyone here is a troll. Ha ha, you're a lol cow. Ha ha. Troll, 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 troll. Immediately, we lose what we have. We lose the interactivity. We lose the meaningful nature of my streams because I put myself out there as a lol cow. You know what I'm saying? Like
you you abject idiot you abject fucking moron the majority of your views now today are trolls you think purple pickle yum yum the guy who keeps making fun of you for not liking tits and constantly talking about weird ass jokes about you getting railed by three dudes you think that guy is not a troll he's not a troll because he's giving you super chat money but then quasi over here literally gives you 10 bucks you're on your best behavior because all the trolls are watching after your interview never had donos and views like this let's be real phil i wonder how he's gonna react to that because that's gonna happen in like five fucking minutes dude he's literally on his best behavior he can't say nothing about the podcast he can't say nothing about adam krigler he can't definitely can't say anything about fucking stuttering craig he's sitting here and he's moping even though he's getting a whole bunch of money and he's complaining about fucking keemstar because keemstar is the only thing he can bitch about right now wow we that could completely change wow we the way that people perceive who i am and what i do right now everyone makes fun of me as a you know laughing stock of the internet that's fine but i do have dedicated fans i don't want to ruin that for my fans i don't want to ruin what we have right now is this good for your fans is this a fun time for your fans you canceling tonight's stream potentially so you could do a fucking talking session a therapy session is that good for your fans who just want to watch you play hogwarts or fucking like a dragon or any other fucking game is this good for your fans does derek want to listen to this maybe actually you know what maybe derek does want to see this maybe derek wants to see a sad depressed old fucking middle-aged man sit here and cry and complain and talk about like some podcast that literally anally raped him maybe that's what he's into i don't know I worked 15 years to have this. Why should I throw that all out for short-term personal gain? That doesn't seem to make much sense to me. You know what I mean? You, you know what it is, 2, I mean. people in this chat right now all talking with troll messages? How the hell do I even do a show? How do you do a show now? Right? Is that, do you guys understand that line of reasoning that I'm saying here? How no, he... Chris, I had zero clue that Keemstar was going to appear on the show. Zero. Uh... Yes, Big Papa Phil, it was supposed to be called the Lal Cow Podcast or something to that effect. It was supposed to be an insulting name on purpose so that people would watch it. That's exactly you know, what the premise of the show was. How do you know? There wasn't a fucking offer. But your own words, there wasn't an offer, Phil. How do you know? So, Voice, I think you're, you're right about selling. You know, like how he does that? It's like, oh, wow, uh, Keith was thinking it was going to be a Lal Cow Podcast. Well, there wasn't an offer, Phil. So how can you make that statement? Well, he was saying it was going to happen. So he was also saying he was going to pay you 50K. Oh, but he, he didn't put an offer down. Well, bro, which one is it? Do you believe him or you don't believe him? Stuff off, selling off, I can't read it, it went off the screen. Which one is it, Phil? Oh, Green Goblin, I don't really care about Review Tech's personal issues. I don't know why you even bring that up on my stream. What does that have to do with me? I'm not Review Tech, nor do I care about his issues. Clearly you don't. When did I last have pizza? I think my wife and I made one of those oven pizzas the other night, like like last week, some point. I don't Whoa, know. Whoa, oven pizza, pizza. pretty cool. Yeah, pretty pertinent question. Well, this is the caliber of questions you get from your chat, Phil. You don't want to read the actual questions. You're reading dumb questions like pizza. Ah. Big ups oven pizza. Look at him. All right, uh, Jade. I'll see you hopefully tonight. If we do, Hi, Jade. Like, do Yakuza. See you later, man. We'll Thanks see. for coming by. If the, if the, the hoopla we only stop there for a stream. fucking hour. We actually have like a normal late night stream tonight of gameplay or... If we need to basically take the whole day to decompress or not, I have no idea. Whole day <clears throat> I guess we'll have to decompress. see how it goes. Maybe I'll do a poll during the break. Uh, who the fuck needs to decompress? Craig's idea about sponsors not necessarily being shilling is a good point. Yeah, I mean, but Savoy, what do you mean? What was his idea? His point was just be, if you're with Team, he'll get you sponsors or whatever for the show. It wasn't like, oh, he can get you sponsors for your stuff. It was only for his show. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see what it is that I am saying currently? The interview gave me more respect for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, uh, man. Look at all this false so, praise he's getting. Easy to quit when you I, could, yeah, I, I love all this false praise he's getting. He has 700 motherfuckers currently watching. 100%. Million percent. One trillion percent. You're going to have, like, a dwindling amount of viewers come 24 hours from now. He's going to have 250 people after break from fucking uh, Harry Potter and he's going to have 200 to 300 motherfuckers on a Like a Dragon stream the next day. I don't know why he's pretending, because these people aren't going to stick around. They're just not. These people who are giving him, like, little 
false positives and shit. Little little ass pats and shit. They're not gonna care. They're not gonna stick around because they never do. Not even King Goken sticks around. He literally is here post drama. The dude is never around a mod for your dumbass chat. Could have backed out at any moment. Nobody's Even ever there. Friends. Again, I have been through it all. I'm not afraid of it. They only come for the drama. No They're literally trolls at this point. Were you out of your mind? <sighs> let's see here. Let's see here. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see. Better or worse, depending on weather, uh, humidity other factors it just so happens today okay. i didn't have it i thought i might have had it because i didn't wake up early and i thought my body would react badly so what is the big deal about this because you snort into the mic all the fucking time and it's fucking annoying okay um okay nobody likes Yummy. that nobody fucking likes that except fucking mentally insane people and me but that's only because i'm mentally insane at this point Nobody enjoys that. So, Phil, it's not the question of whether or not you have postnasal drip. It's whether or not you can control the urge to snort by simply muting yourself. Put a noise gate. Do anything to better yourself. The postnasal drip, the snorting. What is that's like making fun of someone because it's something they can't help, right? Right? Can't help you have a small dick, man. If someone could explain to me how awful this thing is, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is I'm saying? He says he, snort. he literally did a little miniature snort. Look well, at this. This thing is, you know what I'm saying? That's a little mini snort that he did right there. He pulled it People in and he swallowed it. Afraid of anime boobs. Yes, I'm terrified. Dark Viking says, I saw the interview. I would say they really tried to help you out. Big ups to you for doing it. Kim is not the best person, but you know, it could maybe help you a bit. All right. Thank you for that. See here. Lane Litwick says, what's the difference if everyone already labels you a lal cow? Because there's a difference in how you portray yourself on the internet. I put out legit content in my opinion. You said that you were playing as a character. I'm literally like 10 minutes into your fucking dumbass interview and you said you were playing a character and you had to define that and you couldn't define that. All right, I'm not putting out, if you look at this stream right now, what on this stream besides me putting on a hat and a vest, which doesn't matter, it's just still me under it. What exactly is lol college what we're doing right now? You're addressing drama and you're not learning from any of it. You're sitting here and you're being like a weird individual. You're being a weird bitch. And you're trying to cancel your own content. You're a video game. You're a, literally a video game player. You stream video games and you're wanting to cancel as you can decompress over a fucking interview that you said was no big deal, but it frazzled you so much. You were reading out people's names, even though they were anonymous. The thing that you can't even see, right? But then you were able to see it. It's so weird. It's so dumb. It's so, it's so specific. It's so peculiar. It's so everything. It's so DSP. Right? Freaking out, reacting like it. Every once in a while, I do something stupid over the top. And you can say that's lol college, but for the most part, if you look at my content today, it's nothing like that. If I do a lol cow cast, you're and literally we love creating DSP that Get environment. Everyone will just say, well, he's on the cast, you know? And that's it. Now, now you're the joke, right? That celebrity, the reason that Boogie and, and Wings are doing that boxing match, can we be honest about this? They're desperate. Boogie has said it outright. He's desperate. He's in bad straits right now. He doesn't know what he's going to do moving forward for money because he lost all his money. They need that help. They need it. They can't Does Phil they, need they that help? Do, right? Phil was talking about how he needed help for those two big bills. He needed it. He was desperate. He needed the money. So how come you guys didn't tip? So far, right, as of now, I'm not in insanely desperate straits. I'm, things are tight, for oh, sure. He's not in desperate you know straits. Look I, at that. Why am I going to degrade myself down and ruin everything that I've worked on for 15 years just for the sake of short-term personal gain? You literally wear a fucking clowny vest and a clowny hat for a hundred and fifty fucking dollars. You've completely broken down what your stream used to be, which was video games, and you made it about money and about likes, where you fucking get a hundred likes and you blow some bubbles. You've got to be kidding. And he has 200 likes, so he's going to blow another set of bubbles after saying all this. The dude says he doesn't want to be a clown, but he's literally a fucking clown. This is a definition of clownish behavior. I don't think it's worth it. That's my take. You can disagree. That's fine. That's my take on it. He just can't accept reality. And that's kind of what makes him a fucking low Of course, low I can use the help. But again, he's it's delusional. short-term game versus long-term perspective. What's the point of getting a short-term help if it dries up within a year or whatever, right? It's a one-time deal or whatever. Maybe there'll be some residuals on the show. But what's the point of doing that if then all my streams are ruined? 
I can't even do a normal stream anymore. All my hardcore fans who literally support me through it quit because they're like, I don't want to, I can't, it's ruined. Every time I go to Phil's streams, there's a bunch of trolls saying he's a lol cow, joking about disgusting stuff. I can't put up with this. I, I don't, sorry. Putting out the meaningful Whoa. stuff for you guys is way more important than a, a quick payday. That was a weird thing to admit. I want to hear that again at normal speed. And it stream anymore all my hardcore fans who literally support me through it quit because they're like i don't want to i can't he, it's ruined every time i go to phil's streams there's a bunch of trolls saying he's a lol cow joking about disgusting stuff i can't put up with this i, I don't sorry fictional reality out the meaningful stuff for you guys is way more important than a, a quick payday is he talking about a fictional reality or is he talking about now because that's kind of like how it is now that's a weird thing to really say, Phil, considering your current circumstances. I don't know if you should have said this. You see? That's my take on it. Bruce, I don't know. DLX did a super chat. I think King's narcissistic. He did make a good point. The fact you make well above the average American, but you still ask your audience for more fuels your current detractors more than anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's a problem, Bill. You act like you're poor, but you're not poor. poor. I respect your reasons for holding up morals. When you really need it, it would help you with taxes. That's why I think you're not thinking. Yeah, you're not oh, I thinking. thinking. Trust me, I was thinking. There was a lot of thinking going on. For yeah, sure. and my thought thinking. process was I need to beg harder. King Goken, I, I see, I disagree. I don't think your fans would leave. I think they would. I think what's happened is we've now, over the last several years, we've created a community here on DSP Gaming, and now we're growing a new community over on DSP Reacts, correct? Uh -huh. Um, And this Whole is a community that is the reason I do this. As I, as I said on the show, and I've said this with you to you guys many times, I love what I do. You know, Craig says, why not just quit? I don't, quit, quit. You want me to quit doing what I love because of these people on the internet being disgusting to me. What? Quit. No, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to continue. I'm going to persevere. I'm going to succeed going, past Bill. this nonsense. You see? I mean, why would I quit? I love it too much. So if it means, oh, success, but at what, at what means? By getting paid by Keemstar, now everything's ruined. No, that's I not success. I hope he keeps doing this forever. That's changing and being I want like saying, Bill to be around 10 years Electric, from now. I, am I love this. This is a that great show. Electronics, all bins and things. Well, we, we failed. I'm going to become a finance company now. Do you want to see DSP Finance? We can do that. You want to do DSP Finance? Yeah. That would be a bad idea to have me handle other people's money when I can't handle my own well. But I'm just saying, you see the point I'm making here? A lot of people have issue with that. Uh, like, why would you change? You know, it would essentially mean I'm changing my entire my backlight. business model to being something different. I don't want to be someone different. I like who I am. And I would be more successful if people would just leave me alone. But as Adam said, they will not. You're right. So it's either I, pr I move forward positively, I ignore the nonsense around me, and I just keep striving to be better personally for myself, or I give up. And you know what the best part is, Phil? Because you're so deluded and you're such a lol cow, you will never do the former. You will never actually move forward positively. It'll always come back to the trolls. You can never ignore any of the negative attention because this is quite literally how you make your business. The majority of these have been troll tips and troll donations, and you know what? And they literally have been giving you ass pats, and they're not going to be around later on. That's so what's cool, it going to be? Is it going to be push forward? Keep doing this. Give up. I love this. This is a great way to respond to everything. Uh, Quasi Let's did a super chat. You're on best behavior because all trolls are watching. Never had donos and views like this. Be real. What are you talking about? You think 700 views is the most views I've ever had? Really? You think that, huh? Bro, you have been clocking in sub 200 views on your day stream. This is what I mean when he is deluded. He's actually delusional. I was waiting for him to read this out and just hear how he's going to fucking react. He has had no fucking, there has been so many day streams where he's had no support, nobody talking to him, nothing. His chat hasn't been moving at all. It's been dead. And this is the first time in quite literally a year and a half where his chat has been moving and he had active viewers. And this is how he responds to it. Never had donos and views like this. Be real. What are you talking about? You think 700 views is the most views I've ever had? Really? You think that, huh? You think I've never exceeded a best goal? Like what? Talk about someone who doesn't watch the stuff, right? That's what I mean by king of delusion. This dude cannot accept reality. You could tell it flat out to his face, bro. This is like the most popular you've been for a hot minute. Yeah, man, I've, 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 I've went past the fucking desk goal before, bro. You haven't had this kind of viewership unless there was been drama. Where's there was drama? Wow. Anyway, wow. thank you, Quasi, for the super chat. Even if you are a troll, I don't care. I'll still put you on the leaderboard because I'm. Just I can't wait. Nice I can't wait. There you go. I can't wait. It's going to be literally no, a maybe week Quasi from now. Maybe Quasi is a first-time viewer for real. Maybe he only watches the detractor stuff. He's like, oh, you're just being nice now because you know all the eyes are on you. Uh, actually, no. This is a normal stream for me. This.
Like, you look at this. You see how quickly he went back on this, by the way? He was like, uh, oh, wait, maybe this guy's actually a legitimately new person. He literally goes back and he's like, oh, shit, I was shitting on him. Let me let me take it back. Let me take it back right now. Watch the detractor stuff. He's like, oh, you're just being nice now because, you know, all the eyes are on you. Uh, actually, no, this is a normal stream for me. This is actually exactly what it's like on a regular stream. Just that that's not what they just portray. walks it back. <laughs> walks it back. We just shit on the guy. Maybe it doesn't make $400. This is bullshit. I wouldn't go to another interrogation. They're not your friends. You don't need to show shit to anyone or any explanations. They do not pay your bills. Cheers, mate. Yeah, Thank these you. idiots pay your bills until they start leaving. Go, the then there's less people paying So many paying different your bills. opinions. So many different King opinions King right pays now. Your bills. Pretty interesting. He doesn't even I seem to have a crown. This, opinion, this, this input. I am like Johnny Five from the Short Circuit movies. I am alive and I need your input. I want to hear your input on this. Please continue to give me your input. Thank you. Except for that one guy who said that you took three people's inputs like a champ, like a porn star. Then you were like, ah, you're being a troll. He took those three Benjamin inputs says, like a no champ, though. You, personally, I disagree with Keem. There's a million dollar market for a podcast between Me Wings and Boogie talking about games. I don't. I, I agree. Here's what would happen. Every time that that podcast gets serious, no one cares. Only when drama happens would anyone care. And I am not a dra Mr. Drama. You know, it would have to be we go on there, we're insulting each other, we're pulling stunts. We're, you know what I mean? You know, that's not what, what who I am. If it's a serious podcast between three guys talking about games, who the hell's going to listen to that? You didn't talk about games. I probably wouldn't listen to it. And I'd be on the show. I'd have earplugs in. <laughs> you know? I don't think there's wow. a market there for that at all. I agree with you there. I think the, the popularity of the show would be based upon us being lol cows and doing lol cow actions, correct? Yeah. So what happened is after one week, it would be, all right, guys. So here you go. Here's all the shit we got, all the stunts we got to pull at, you know, personal risk and all this stuff. No. That's what people Arthur's care about. You, go for interview. They it should be really telling if the people that are going to support you and give you money only care about you acting like goddamn clowns. It should be really telling what your market audience is and how fucking how far gone you are from being an actual prolific content creator that puts out anything meaningful of substance. I need to ease up a little. Adam had a lot of passive aggressiveness. There you go. Tyler enjoyed the interview very much. I'm glad to hear that, Tyler. Mr. Oink says, do you feel like they were ganging up on you and it so happens a wild team star appeared? I don't feel like they were... Again, that was the premise oh, yeah. of the this show. Do you not understand what the premise of the show was? Self. That was what the show was supposed to be. 100%. That wasn't like, oh, I agreed to go on their show and then all of a sudden, out of the blue, they're asking me these questions. That was what the show was. That was, you know, the whole idea. It was not that Phil is a standard guest. At all. What should we right? do on tonight's late stream? I got a $5.77 like tip. Like a dragon. I'm gonna actually a vote for like a dragon. A lot of the things you said in the interview with Keemstar is a snake. What you witnessed. If you want to be a fucking troll, to an opening of an envelope and streamers. If you want to be an actual troll and you want to vote for anything in his fucking dumb shit, you should vote for like a dragon because he shouldn't have time to decompress. He should just play a video game, because that's also what a fan would do and a fan would want. And if people want him to fucking do two hours of decompressing, it's literally worthless content. I'm not gonna cover it. Always give him a pass because the perceived clout he has under the circumstances you handle him well and ignoring him is by far the best option. Exactly. It's well, literally the dumbest thing if feel. you vote for Again, you really uh, think this guy's the going to decompress. Contact me legitimately. Honestly, do you want to know why Keemstar appeared on that podcast? There's two reasons. The first reason is because uh, he wanted to promote his fight between Wings and Boogie, and there was you know thousands of people on that podcast to watch it and get that promotion. And the second thing was because he's upset. If Keem didn't care about me and it was no big deal, he never would have went on that podcast. It had nothing to do with him. Nothing. He would have said, oh, it doesn't matter. No big, no big deal. The dark side fully ignored me. He can't stand it. Again, when you're an egomaniac, right? When you're an egomaniac and everything is about you, 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 then literally when someone doesn't go along with you and what you're expecting them to do, like drop everything and talk to him. Oh my God, that's a slight. So now he's like, well, how can I exert my dominance over this guy again? Let me appear on his podcast show and dump a bunch of stuff, right? He proved it with his actions on that show. Can't There's keep more than last person sorting. I'm sorting disrespectful figures easily avoidable. It is not easily avoidable at all. If I, if I have post nasal drip going down really badly and I don't snort, I will cough repeatedly. And when it's bad, it will drip down my throat non stop. And if I don't snort, all you will hear is me coughing the entire stream. If you don't have it, uh, so you have to I received enough likes for a second celebratory bubble blow. Oh shit, okay. two bubble blows. Look at that, he's not a clown and he doesn't do stupid stuff. Hell yeah, very sensual. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for the support. I have about 20 minutes left before I have to go for dinner, and I'll be back later tonight. We're right, still buying 10 minutes. Another stream. Maybe this is kind of lame. I kind of wish I didn't pause page. so much, but there was too want. many good you moments. Or just another kind of talking? I'm not sure what we want this is why I also don't want right. to... I want to ignore every single time you guys uh, send me a DM. Because if you do, then it's just going to delay everything the more, and more you feel and there's more. a subset of people who are trying to gaslight you, being overly positive of you and critical of the advice... 
Craig and Adam were candy. I don't know. A lot of people in here, I don't know. I don't know what that means. A lot wait, of people in here saying they're- Wait, hold No, see, it's like this. It's like moments like this. When he says something, he reads out somebody's normal shit. The thing that I'm saying. The vast person is, do you feel there's a subset of people who are trying to gaslight you? Being overly positive of you and critical of the advice Craig and Adam were giving. I don't know. A lot of people in here, I don't know. I don't know what that means. A lot of people in here saying they're agreeing with, agreeing with them. Um, I don't see that. Again, and I disagree. I think that the, the show was fine. I, if, I'm, if I'm the guest on Bro. the show, I was the guest. And if I was okay with how it went, why wouldn't you be? You're, I mean, you can formulate your opinions however you guys want. I thought it was good. I, I can't wait to I see what I thought that's what, what I was good. going for, you know? The interview was already up to watch. They made it They made it live. It's an archive. There you go. You can watch it right now on Side Scrolls. Check out some of it. Uh, check out some of it during the break, right? No, we're not doing Wolong. That's, we're not doing that showtime. No, we're not doing Wolong today. Sorry. And if anything, the next main daytime stream tomorrow will be bubbles. Hogwarts. We have to try to finish Hogwarts. We're like two you need me to blow away bubbles. from finishing Hogwarts. Gonna we gotta grab it and blow right? the bubbles. Other ways we can move on to other stuff. How am I going to blow the bubbles? So here's another tip. Wow, you guys are being amazing. 20 bucks. From Swaggo Nito. I enjoyed the interview. I think you're correct. A podcast with Boogie and Wings would not be successful without silly lolcow crap. Team Star was very, very, very disingenuous as usual. Pray for you for doing that. I appreciate it. Thank you very we much. Swaggo Nito. You know, we still have the beer hat prop. Why <laughs> do we still have this? The fucking Modelo. Get out of here. Big Papa Phil says, your view on how the podcast would be as valid but pessimistic. Three of you together would be very popular and there would be many legit fans. No one's saying there wouldn't be. I'm just saying it wouldn't be a million dollar show like Keem is trying to push it. You know, uh, no let's way. See here. It would have to be antics. It would have to be drama and antics constantly. It could not just be three guys talking about video games. That's not going to be popular. Okay? Oops. And again, if I do the show and Keemstar is involved, I would be beholden to Keemstar forever. Forever. Because then he could even tell, I was the reason. I pulled you out of the situation you were in, so you're going to do what I say forever because, yeah, you're beholden to me. Do you understand? And you don't think that's the kind of guy he is? That's exactly the kind of guy he is. That's why I would not do that. You see? Oh, I got a $6.66 tip from Laquisha. There, there's Thank your you bubble blow. Fun and fancy free you the bubble you blow. Thank you, Laquisha, for tip. That's very nice of you. Fun and fancy free. I don't think anyone has ever said to me that I was... You guys can't free. complain. I did the <laughs> bubble blow, okay? You can't That's complain. Showtimes, I felt it was a setup. I'm positive that Akeem Ling in the cut. They had Gundam pre-recorded. They had a ton of detractors pre-recorded, and they played one. <laughs> That's all they got to. Time was time ran out. They were probably going to do a segment of it, and yeah, that did not work. They ran out of time. Joel's got owned, dude. I got to figure out next time if there's a way to show stuff on the show. Like, I know that I, you know, I watch the Side Scrollers podcast, and I know Adam sometimes is able to bring in stuff. Like, he's able to bring in... <clears throat> pictures and stuff and I don't know how to do that like I know the first time I ever had experience with that streaming service and I was like man I wish I had known maybe I could have brought some stuff in you know I, have no, I don't even know how to do that to look at it um I got uh -huh. a $2.50 cent tip I understand why Keem acted like a why Keem acted like a victim you literally told him the times you're available for a call then they asked why you wouldn't answer the phone while you're streaming it's unprofessional to drop what you're doing live and answer a phone call I spent years on the channel I feel like they didn't respect that they said what's so important you couldn't answer the phone yeah it was my, it's called my job that's what was so important sorry I can't drop my job and again I didn't even know that it was him I didn't have his phone number or anything so I had absolutely no idea did I just screw that up no, that's correct. I had absolutely no idea if that was even him calling me. You know, he didn't leave a voicemail. Let's see he what's just called and, and missed call. Again, there's oh, so many things so many wow. say, But because he's Two star, hours he chatting to decompress is winning. I hope I you guys uh, love oh, that because I'm not covering it. You said, hold on. You said if you send a screenshot to Craig, no one will believe it. I don't, I don't necessarily agree that with that. The tractors will never change their mind. You don't know if it would help your image by having a person who seems pretty likable and trustworthy, has a dedicated viewer base like Craig Vouch for you. You literally have no allies or anyone with an audience who would defend you online. Huh? You mean right now? Yeah. Yeah, because no one knows. No one cares. No one fucking cares. No one cares about WWE champions but my detractors. Why do they care? Because that's the gravy train for them. That's exactly why. It's the always at the gravy train for us, you jackass. I don't make any money off of you playing WWE champions. People lose money because you're tossing it away on WWE champions. Well, how is that the gravy train? People used to just talk about how bad you were doing in video games. They used to be funny as fuck. And then they found out you just literally piss money away. It doesn't make me a fucking dime. It literally makes me nothing. I don't chill the fucking game.
You know what that's what I should do? I should get a sponsorship from WWE Champions. That way I can say that I'm actually actually legitimately making money from them. That'd be pretty good. Gravy train for them, folks. That'd be pretty good. Cool. 100% the gravy train for them. They keep it rolling. Keep it gravy rolling, rolling, train, rolling. baby. You know? Keep it rolling. Just like what Phil's doing I'll see right you tonight, now. Sounds good. We got 10 minutes left. If anyone has any any final things you want to ask, anything you want to say, any contributions, anything, now would be the time before I take my break, right? <laughs> We all know you're the re you're the secret millionaire. I wish I was a fucking millionaire. Get out of here, fucking millionaire. I'll see you tonight, Willow. Sounds good. In the future, would I consider a complete run of Dino Crisis from PS One? Nope. Maybe we played it before. I don't know why that's being asked now. What's for dinner? A Mexican bake. Why was that a there question? There was no golden opportunity to debunk everything. There was, this yes, never there was. <laughs> this never happened. There was no perfect opportunity to do this. Yes, no there was. what I said and did on that show, the hate wouldn't continue. It didn't matter. <clears throat> and debunk anything. Do I like Street Fighter Duel? Um, I think it's okay. It's a good time killer <laughs> game. It's exactly what it is. It's, you know, yeah. by the way, it's a superb amount of content you get for free. Like I said, I've spent... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's free, get, guys. You know, the freebie packs or whatever. The, the, the... It's free. It's free. It's free. I play it for free, guys. I play it for free. It's free. Very low charge uh -huh. packs. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. And I've been playing it and, you know, you get a lot of free characters and everything. I'm not going to talk about it at length or tell you, tell you my account or anything about, you know, that extent because you know exactly what would happen. I mean, you know, let's not be stupid here. Uh -huh. right? you know what these would do with that information. But it's uh -huh. a game. It's not even like Street Fighter at all. It plays nothing like Street Fighter. It's like one of those tap, like like Adam said, almost like a tap RPG, but you don't have to tap. It just auto plays itself. It does. It auto plays. You build your team. You build your order of like how, how, what order they're going to fight. And then the game just plays. You don't have to do anything. It's interesting that that's Street Fighter. I don't know. It is cool to have a bunch of Street Fighter characters in a game like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool to have a mobile game where all your favorite Street Fighters are in it, and you might or might not get them. But it's cool to see, like, the Street Fighter, and they're portrayed pretty accurately. Like, you know, Zangief will do a spinning pile driver, and, you know, Dalsy. Yeah, will do that was the thing that if you were paying attention as he was, like, spitting out all that information, low charge packs. What he's saying is that there's, like, if you purchase anything, it doesn't cost a lot of money. Which, you can be like that, but you gotta remember something. He's admitted that he's playing mobile games, which he's admitted before. He's now admitted that he's playing the new fucking Street Fighter mobile game. He's now also admitting that there's some low charge packs, which he probably has bought a couple of packs, right? So when did he do it? At what point would he have done it? During the time in which he said that he had no money and he had to pay fucking two big bills? Or that he had a whole bunch of money, but it all went away so he could pay for really, really dumb shit? Like a new controller and a new monitor and a new TV and a new Xbox for his wife, his fat ass horse? At what point are we supposed to believe that he bought these packs, huh? Think about it for a second. You actually don't even have to think that hard to say, hey, wait a minute. That's actually pretty fucking scummy if he's buying anything on that game. If you really think about it. But it's Phil's money. He can do whatever he wants. Yeah. Yeah, it is Phil's money. He can do whatever the fuck he wants. That's why you better keep giving him the money. Keep giving him the money, you fucking idiots. It's only going to keep this stupidity going. I want 50-year-old Phil. I want 60-year-old Phil streaming, asking for money, asking for tips, asking for payments so that way he can pay off his fucking weird-ass bills for his, like, busted hip. Please. I need this. The flame or, or the big flame ball that he had. I think it was Street Fighter Five that he had that. I don't know. But they have all these different abilities. That's kind of neat and kind of, you know, in line with what you would expect from a Street Fighter game. It's not like, oh, they didn't know who the characters were or anything. They actually nailed it. But um, it's nothing to write home about. That's a game that's like, you, oh, I want to talk about Street Fighter Duel. Okay, do it once ever. There's nothing else to say. You know what I mean? It's boring. It's grindy. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, I got an $11.55 tip. A Lolco podcast would be great. The whole point of Lolco is you guys naturally produce comedy. No extra shenanigans needed. You did well in the interview. This is coming from a detractor that does want to see better things for you, honestly. Thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Thank you for the tip. Again, you guys are awesome. <clears throat> right. You, uh, you, you detractors are awesome. I agree, Phil. Here we go. Thank you. All right, a few more minutes, guys. Man, I got to pee. I did pee between the streams, but man, I got to pee again. I drank two bottles of non-carbonated water. <laughs> two bottles. Whoa, I water. I am like, about to burst. No way. You're telling me that this dude drank non-carbonated water, something that he can get for free out of the tap? And he did so in front of a fucking stream so he didn't have to burp all the time? No way. What else did he do? Do you guys think we should just do a normal stream tonight? Let's do a poll in the chat. 
We're gonna do a poll right now with everyone here. I'm skipping past this when he sets up the poll. It's on the first stream and either like a dragon or oblivion on the late stream. Saturday we're doing my react stuff. This is all normal schedule for the rest of the week. Schedule, 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 schedule. The progress, the stream, and the break. This stream and the break are decompression. You know, some people are gonna be confused. There's no level one podcast today. I'm so consistent with that. I wonder how many people are gonna be like so confused that there's no podcast, right? I don't know. Maybe Derek will be confused. The night streams are gonna go on for a long time. I know that without like a dragon and oblivion are gonna continue. I don't really feel pressure there. You see. Okay, so he's trying to tell people that he should decompress. We're definitely leaning towards a decompress stream tonight, for sure. It's like 56%. Oh, so. Yeah, I guess you guys get cucked. Will you guys come back for the decompress stream is the question. Will you just come and chill with me for a couple of hours and talk? No, thank you. It was already pretty gay right now. I don't want to listen to any more of it. Thank you for asking. <sighs> I'm shell-shocked, dude. I'm still shell shocked. Tip me some more. He made a good amount of money. I, I was betting 300. Right no, he not. was really well, close. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, you don't know who Deller is? Big ups, Deli Belly. You know what? Why didn't he stream it? Even if it was just. <laughs> Kiddish, I pay to see if I keem star in a box. Uh, in I don't know. I really don't. You guys are something else. I really you don't know why he doesn't block do off or something. My block off. That's what you want. You want DS 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 pugilist. Well, I fight like this. See, most people, they actually, like, they leave with their left, and they go forward with their... I fight with the old... Okay, Phil. Yeah, we're not doing that anymore, sadly. <clears throat> Until he kind of burnt I'll himself out. for KO Gaming, says Ken the Boss. Now, that's a good one. He found his stride. He stopped uh, being all flustered now. now. He's been talking enough. Now, I guess. We still work. The name. The money buff's pretty high. Whatever, in involved in creator content, not the boxing, maybe something else in type of content creator. No. Nope. Says Big Papa Phil. No one wants to be in an event with me, Big Papa Phil. Because of the trolling. Unless it's a lol cow related event, no one wants to collab with me. Did you know that? <laughs> That's very much the case. Okay. That wasn't the case uh, several years ago when people wanted to collab with you with shit like Monster Hunter. Or when you did that shit with your other two streaming pals who were also your admins. Your fucking moderators. What was it? Uh... The guy, the Kexter and uh, Brian, the cool, smooth guy. And then you end up playing third wheel because you can't talk in a normal conversation. And they're able to talk about normal shit like movies and video games and like music and shit. And you just sat there and you chilled. You chilled and you pretended not to talk because it was re really weird and awkward. Those are some great streams, by the way. If you ever want to go back and listen to DSP, talk with normal individuals relatively normal by the way because i'm saying kekin is normal compared to dsp because dsp is just wild so the bar is really fucking low but if you want to watch the wildest wild of streams watch him play uh what the fuck was it it was uh the fucking it was the team-based shooter game that he only played a little bit and it was like 3v3s i can't remember it's like uh something Apex. Yeah, Apex. God. <gasps> and it was that one stream that he had that weirdo on. Bro, he had that one weirdo on. That was like, he was just, he was, he was just a shy, like, autistic individual. And he tried talking to him. And DSP thought it was a troll the entire time. Yeah, loot the Kuja. <laughs> Yo, oh my god. That was horrible actually thinking about it. He 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 thought that dude was a troll and he was just he just had a speech impediment and was like a little dented. Come on. He never came oh back. Oh my god, thank you, Simon, for becoming a channel member. We are we now never at four o'clock. Guys, it's time for me to say goodbye for now. We I'll never see show. Luther Co Kucho I'll anymore. Tonight, he went away. He disappeared after that. You. I think you all will, will join me tonight. Um and, you know, it looks like you guys want another decompressed session. It looks like you don't want Wolong. Excuse me. You don't want Like a Dragon Ishin. Then tomorrow we'll get back to it. Tomorrow will be Hogwarts and Like a Dragon, which is what today was supposed to be. I mean, he's only oh, day, man. Right? <clears throat> well, there I'm you just, go. Just going. Your stream you has been, uh, okay. your plan has yep. been shit All right. On. Well, guys, thank you. $250? Thank you. I guess we'll come back and talk. And Very and chill. Some tonight. Decompress some more. Time. Sound good. I hope it chill good shock you. over. Oh, these glasses are bothering me. I'm not playing a game. They actually bother me staring at the webcam the whole time. Um. So I hope we'll relax tonight. Whatever you guys want to talk, you know what we could do. You fucking Holy know? crap, we could do the level one podcast tonight. What? <laughs> Wait a minute.
No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the fucking phone. Hold the fucking phone. We're going to do the level one podcast? Really? So, the level one podcast is generally you don't have anything to talk about until the game starts. But now we're just not going to play the game and we're just going to talk about shit that you don't want to talk about, which turns into an overglorified Q&A. <laughs> I can't stand this. I, I, no, 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 peace. Don't restream it. I'm not restreaming it. You all are going to get fucked. You're all getting fucked in the ass. You're all getting fucked in the ass. Every single one of you. I'm not going to listen to this. This actual fucking nonsense. I'm not listening to it. Nobody should listen to it. You're all banned. Because we didn't get to do it. Why not? That'd be perfect. No, I can tell you about my day off. I can tell you about what I did yesterday. We can talk about some game news, right? And we, you know, we could have our interaction. A big, it's a longer segment, so it'll be a long interaction. That actually, that's pretty good, I think. That would work because then we could actually talk. We'll, we'll talk certain segments you guys like, but then we'll have a big, you know, again, open Q and A for those who want to talk. How about let's do that? All right, that was a good idea. Thank you, Wolf Like for a super chat. Probably would be good to play a chill game. We're gonna have a chill stream tonight. Tonight, six forty-five. The level one. Well, the stream starts at six forty-five. Then we go to, uh, you know, then we go to. The late night stream at around 7.15 will start with the level one podcast. All right. Please don't fall we'll for it. Don't fall Never for it, please. Before. That's a first. Don't right? fall for it. They're all trying to a trick you. Dish, post, They're trying to trick you. Post side scrollers edition of the level one podcast. I'll even set up the stream with the logo and everything. Yeah, Jesus. Hell yeah, let's do it. Sounds good to me. That was a good plan. That was a good plan. I don't know how I came up with that. I probably stole it from someone. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Let's end the show. Thanks for watching. See you tonight. And it's Puck's birthday on top guys. of that. And uh, yeah, thank you very much, guys. Oh my God. Really good audience. Thanks for watching their show. If you did watch it live, thanks for watching their show over there. And uh, I hope that you guys will join me. Hold on. I hope you guys will join me tonight, 6.45 p.m. Pacific time. See you then. Peace out, guys. <sighs> the lean in, the manual, peace out later. What a fucking, what an absolute ridiculous fucking free stream. Not free stream. I don't even know what this was. A decompressed stream? And it's just dead. It's gone and it's dead and it's gone forever. And it got a whole bunch of dislikes and a bunch of likes. That's pretty cool. Hey, look at that. It got a lot of views too. 2.9K. I've, uh, I've had those kind of views before. Those are pretty good. Okay, uh, let's watch the rest of this. We can watch the rest of this, but it'll be at 1.25 speed. Why I can't would you, interrupt too you know, much. If there, the internet has changed, right? Uh, there, was a, there was a point, you, you are correct in saying that uh, back in the early 2000s, you know, uh, into the, you know, when, when you kind of rose to prominence, there was, you know, you, you took your personality and you, you put it a little, uh, it would exponentially make it a little more, a little more over the top. But the internet has changed to authenticity. People want to get to know. And, and I don't disagree with you there. But when you, when you mix up and you're, it's almost, it's almost like you're sending mixed signals to your audience. And most people, they, they haven't watched you for 15 years. You know, the, the idea of saying like, hey, I, I've been, uh, I've been on the internet for 15 years. You should know you should know how I act. But the reality is, is that most people see you through clips, uh, through Twitter or or YouTube, and they, they don't know you. So regardless okay. of how long you've been on the I'm going to I'm going to remind people one more time. Look at the pin comment if you're wanting to know what my feelings were for this interview, because here's the thing. Here's the thing, chat. I actually haven't seen a single bit of this interview. We're literally 15 minutes in, and this is the first 15 minutes I've watched. I, I have no clue what's going on literally no clue so i'm actually experiencing it for the first time and for some of you you probably are experienced for the first time some of you for the second maybe even the third time we have five hours of content i'm gonna skip through some of it maybe i don't know we'll see internet i mean I, i've been doing this forever and and the vast 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 majority of people watching right now have no idea who i am so uh you know you treat every viewer like a, like a potential new viewer so i don't know, kind of walk me through that because i i do think that's kind of you know like provide me with an example of, of what what DSP is versus Phil. Sure. Uh, right, right now I'm playing a game. It's called Wo Long Fallen Dynasty. All right. It's one of these games made by Team Ninja, not from soft, but it's very much meant to be like a, a from software style game, like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or Elden Ring. It's ultra challenging. Things are going to kill you with one to two hits, right? In my opinion, this is my opinion. It's not very good. A lot of people disagree with me. They love this game. God, okay? I don't, don't like it. I okay, think that it, it's God. a cheap knockoff. I feel not like it's very wonky. It's not polished. I will say those things in my content. But in the heat of the moment, if I'm running through a stage and I get, oh, instant kill, cheap death, I freak out. Oh, you son of a bitch, this game sucks ass. It's the worst game ever. The game devs don't know what they're doing, blah, blah, blah. That's that's the dark side feel over the top persona kind of coming through. I could just sit here and say nothing and be like, oh, that sucked that I died. 
people don't really tune in for that. In fact, the reason people are watching me play that game is because they want to see that on. top reaction. I can't wait. So I'll ham it up every once in a while. Let me get some candy. I don't hate the game. I need some, I don't hate the game. I need some I sugar or something. You know, they tried to make I'm, a good game. I, I, I think low it's decent. Energy. I don't think it's great. But, you know, you, you'll, you'll go over the top every once in a while. Now, just like but, but is that just something that Phil would do also? Right. Well, I don't know when I can leave. Phil wouldn't be like, like, for example, okay, the game killed me. It's a cheap debt. Do you really think that I'm that upset about it? It's a game. You know, it's a big deal. Oh, Everyone gets triggered by games. I mean, I get triggered. Exactly. And I. I allow that to flow freely. A lot of people put a filter over what they say and do when they put out their content. Why? Because they're trying to be marketable, right? They're trying to say, I want that sponsor. I want that opportunity. I have never filtered myself on the internet. That's why a lot of people don't like me because they don't. Bro, you filtered yourself when you played that dumbass ELO hell. What are you talking about? They want truthful reactions. They want Mr. Marketable, Mr. Smiley. Bro. When I say things like, I never oh, did anything. Uh, I've I never really been, uh, like you know, this, Mr. This Marketable. Unfair. Do you think that game companies are happy about it? Of course not. You know, but. You yeah, know, but, but, but Phil, but, but Phil, hold on. Like, you, do you think that they're really. Do you think that those game companies are, are like looking to establish a relationship with like, like they're not. I mean, the, the reality is, is that these companies are looking for streamers who, who stream to 5,000, 10,000 people as opposed, as opposed to, you know, a couple hundred. And exactly. Like, like, what, whether it's you saying it or, or, or DSP saying it. Um, they don't care. I, I, don't, I think that if people were watching to see those over the top reactions, I think they were watching for that a decade ago. And I, and I really mean that, right? Like I, so look, I had a character named Evil Craig, right? I, and Evil Craig was the was meant to be the essence of, of just the internet troll, right? I did it for 10 episodes, 12 episodes, whatever it may be. And I stopped doing it because I realized that that I was I was um, growing an audience of people that were negative and trolls, right? And it's funny, it was funny, and it was so still so silly. But by by you starting with the idea of saying like, look, I'm going to overreact big. I think there's there's two prongs to this question. Number one, if people were really watching to see your over the top reactions, don't you think they'd be making clips of that instead of instead of other clips that they were making, and those would be going viral? And number two, if if you're really not enjoying the game, why are you, why why play it? Oh man! Why play it in the first place? That's a great question. Oh that's something that's man! Actually but but, but start with start with number one though. Start with number start one. Start with like, number what? one. If if people were watching to see your over the top angry reactions, don't you think they'd be clipping those as opposed to clipping other things? Yes. In truth, yes. I don't know what they clip because you do I have know so much what stuff they clip about me that I don't really watch a lot of. You it. do know what they clip from my viewers or in a chat or whatever. Um, no, I I, I understand what you're saying totally. Uh, case in point with Wo Long, there's totally some people who are turned off by this playthrough. And they're like, I don't want to watch Phil play it because he's going to get angry and he's going to turn into this rage ball that we don't like watching. We like seeing the real Phil. Rage At ball. the same time, there are people, but I've told my audience, I don't like this game. I would like to move on. This kind of does meld into the second half of your question as well. I say, I've been very transparent with my honest, with my audience about this game. So I don't like it. I feel like I, if I'm going to play a FromSoft game, why don't we just do a second run of Elden Ring, a new game plus run? And a lot of people are down for that. And others are like, no, Phil, we like seeing you rage. This has been a part of your shtick for 15 years. This is a lot of the reason why we tune in. I'm seeing more attendance on my Wolong streams and I'm getting more, honestly, more support on my Wolong streams because they want to see that rage come out of me as opposed to me playing a bunch of games where I'm more laid back and relaxed and chill. I have a bunch of those in my rotation. That's my core fan base will show up for that and support it, but you will always get a different group of people. That, that really, I feel, is one of the reasons why I'm still here 15 years later. I have different audiences. I have one audience that'll come and watch me be the real Phil. The relaxed Phil. I just sit back. I'm chilling. I'm playing the game. I'm not going to rage. The game's, you know, nothing really too challenging, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm playing Elder Scrolls for Oblivion right now. That's exactly what that playthrough is. It's relaxing, right? But then when I play Wolong, now it's time for that old Dark Side Phil to come back out. And now a whole new audience shows up. It's funny because you'll watch one of my streams. You'll say, well, Phil gets around 200 to 400 viewers a stream. Okay. But in reality, no. when you look at my metrics on YouTube or my analytics, actually, those are like thousands of different people. One stream gets 200 viewers, the next stream gets 300. Those are 500 different people because people are coming for different kinds of content. When you've been around as long as me, you realize you get people from all over the world and for different reasons. I can say that for my own dumb shit. I can say that literally for my own dumb shit. Uh, by that logic, I'm getting thousands and thousands of people for all of my dumbass restreams. It happens all the time. I don't like to go by that metric, but if you want to go by that metric, then I'm getting thousands of people too. It's kind of stupid. By that logic, I've had like fucking almost 4,000 people watch DSP play uh, fucking Oblivion. It's dumb. Don't think about it like that. Some people just watch multiple times. Come on. Um, if I were but to are they be... sticking? No. Are they for staying sure. though? Because, no. because, you know, if you have 500 people come in and, and they're just kind of coming out, that's that's actually bad for the algorithm. That's bad. Yes. You, you want people to stay and subscribe. And, and uh, you know, you have these, these new people coming in because they want to see a new game, not necessarily because they want to see you. 
right? Yes. They're interested in the game, not necessarily you. If you're playing a game that's that's topical or new or something. And they stick around, too. Phil. Uh, again, yes and no. I would say back in the day that was the case. Like new releases, I would get. Not back in the day. In How about now? I actually used to have. You got metrics. Gaming, which is my gaming channel. You literally you got metrics. One of the most prominent gaming channels for Let's Players on YouTube over a decade mm -hmm. ago. Mm -hmm. I was in the algorithm. I play a new game. I would see my, my attendance double trip. How do you see that in the analytics? If I wanted to see it in the analytics, all I have to do is see the retention time, the average watch time for my viewers. Cause you can have that. All of that shit is in your fucking metrics that you have. Let me see if I could pull up my own. Cause I'm going to pull it up while I'm playing this. Just cause I'm playing a new game. I don't get that. The way I can make a you know, point. And some of the things we'll probably talk about today. One of the it's really that stupid. That um, trolling Cause you have so watch time hours, but each one of your algorithm. pieces so today, of really content what have honestly, like I mean, their yes, own I'll, I'll watch time too. A bit of a spike, but as for audience retention, it really depends on what I'm playing and, and who's there for what. Um, there's some people that don't care what I play. I could I could sit here and play. Right, you, get, you got your hardcore. You got your hardcore. You can play tiddlywinks and people will show up, right? Exactly. But right, I, do, I, I will get an increase when I play a rage inducing game or a multiplayer game. Where here's what you can see. If you actually pay attention to your fucking metrics, if you actually look at this shit, here's the things that you should be paying attention to, which DSP does not pay attention to at all. When you look at each one of your fucking videos or your streams, you can look at how many views you got, what the watch hours were, if you got any subscribers from it. You can also see how frequent everybody fucking chatted and where the peaks were. You can also see when those people were there and whether or not they dip off and where they dip off. And then finally, you can see the average view duration. If your average view duration is something like fucking five minutes, that means nobody's paying attention. This was a two and a half hour stream. I had people that were there for on average 25 minutes. It's shocking to think about that for a two and a half hour video that I was able to retain people for at least a fifth of that. But this dude can't admit to any of that and he can't show any of that. Because if he showed it, it would probably reveal that people don't stick around for half the shit that goes around. Like they just don't. People dip out. That's just what it is. You know there's going to be an element of challenge where I can either persevere or I can really fail miserably against people online in a competitive He's setting. too people stupid like to actually that's the think about I these bring things. In, but yeah, I, like, I understand what you're saying. It would be great if maybe I was just one kind of content, but I found in the 15 years playing kind of both sides, it gets you different audiences and it's worked for me. At least that's what I feel is one of the keys to my longevity is tomorrow, if they never made another FromSoft game, I'd be okay because I still play everything else. I would I'm not okay. be okay with that. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't be okay with that either. I love those games too. As much as I rage at them and I'll be angry in the moment, I absolutely appreciate and love them for what they are. Well, you clearly know? you just need to get good. I'm just, I you know. think exactly. it does carry player. over Shion. I'm not Well, let's, let's just talk about something real quick. So, so you early on, on had this perception long. of the king of hate. That was something that you, that you marketed, you created or whatever, Ooh, right? Whatever it is, that was your thing. The king of hate. You had the king of hate.com and all that stuff. What are you now? And now you have, now you're Phil, right? But do you feel that, um, do you feel that that still follows you around? This idea of, of built around, like, look, James Rolfe, Angry Video Game Nerd. He's clearly a character. People know that there's the Angry Video Game Nerd and then there's the character. But your perception is that there's this there's this hate around you, this negativity around you, right? Do you think that that has followed you to the point to where, um, you know, regardless of if they're coming to watch you, Phil, or DSP, that um, that, that has been a negative detractor for you, the whole hate moniker? Absolutely. Um, and of course, I guess this would be a good time to talk about what the moniker means because a lot of people think the king of hate means, oh, that means that Phil's just a hateful person towards games and game developers and everything else. He's just going to rage on his stream and just hate everyone. And that's never what it was. Anyone who does five seconds Oh, that's kind of funny, Hermit. Like, what does the that's mean? actually kind of funny if he so picked up on that. Years I've been a content creator, because if he did, the answer. then the answer is, I want to see what his answer is. Player, what is he the king of now? Okay. And back then it was a really weird situation because street fighter wasn't big like it is today street fighter was on the downturn there were no new fighting games out so the way to get attention on the competitive street fighter community was building up drama so right. i would go online and i would be the biggest internet troll to everyone in the street fighter community i would make fun of them i would just destroy them online and everyone okay, so, like so fast, let's, fast, let's fast forward right we, we was, sure. this has been well established this is a decade ago let's talk about today though like do you feel okay. that do you feel that this this has followed you around do you feel that people do, th do you think that the king of hate moniker is still relevant today it is not it was because when I started, my whole, my, the meaning behind it is when people hate on you, you don't use that to become a victim. You don't use that to crawl into a ball and hide in your corner and oh, I'm defeated. People don't like me anymore, so I quit. Instead, you use that as a way to motivate yourself to do better. For example, you be the king say, of motivation, you're never going to beat Phil. this game because it's so tough. Ah, you say I can't do it. You're hating on me. Say I'm a bad gamer. I'm going to beat that game just because you said I couldn't, right? You say I'm, I'm a bad content creator. I'm this. I'm going to fail. I'm going to. No, I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to use that hate around me and mo I'm going to be the king of it. I'm going to motivate myself with all that hate to be a successful person. I, this is a mantra I've used in my entire life. 
to continue on and be successful. I and that's why I have so many on the internet. I just I have to fuel, fuel myself every day to come back and say, no, I'm going to put out a great, meaningful stream for people, regardless of what these idiots say on the internet about me. Um, but it follows me. You're absolutely right, because people say the king of hate is not that Phil owns the hate against him and motivates himself. They say, he's a hateful person. Take a look at that thing he said 10, 15 years ago. That racial joke he made. That ridiculous sexual comment he made. Hey, hey, yo, 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 hold up, hold on, hold on, hold up. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that. thing he said 10, 15 years ago. That racial joke he made. That ridiculous sexual... Racial joke? Raises eyebrow? What? Racial joke? Now, wait a minute. Look at that eyebrow raise the moment he just processed. Wait a minute, a racial joke? What are you talking about? Well, comment he made, you know, that's what the king of hate is. And then they'll say, look, he's got a website, thekingofhate.com. And then they'll reference that stuff and say that I'm a bigot. Or I'm, a, you know, I'm a racist or I'm a sexist. You know, they say it to this day. They're, they're probably saying it right now in chat. You know, okay. it's not true. Well, well then let's, let's, I, I wasn't uh, planning on talking this till later. Over. Yeah, well, go ahead, when, when you climb to the top of, of like the hate mountain and claim to be the king of hate, don't, don't you think it, it's almost inviting people to try to take you down you know you you said that you made that your thing in the street fighter world and then as time went on in the youtube realm that's what you were i guess made your 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 position on the internet no you're the king of hate so like you can almost expect people to come back at you and try to use that same kind of vibe and you know i i've seen plenty of clips of of random shit throughout the, the past yeah, couple weeks because i didn't i didn't know who you were right so i i'm I'm still kind of new oh, to this YouTube realm, and he uh, up clips. you know, I, I've seen, I've seen the way sometimes that you, I, and of course, this is what people share, right? So what I've seen is you, kind of letting it get the best of you in some cases, where you're letting that almost get under your skin. Where, I mean, if if you want to be that person on the internet, you kind of have to be able to take it as well. Um, I, I just I just wanted to point that out. You know, it's almost Thank like you kind of asked for it Thank by being you. the king of hate and making that your thing. Oh my it god! It kind of was like, all right, well. I, I, if Jesus I'm gonna dish it, I gotta again. be able to take it as well. Uh, can we can we not have stream dips, please? Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. How far back did it go? Because we just had a minor blip. We had a minor blip. We had a minor blip. How far back do I gotta go? You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna replay the last fucking thirty seconds. That way you can listen to it and it'll be cool. By being the king of hate and making that just, of course. This is what people I'll share. Let it, I'll let right? it happen. So what I've seen is you I'm gonna grab a, a kind of letting it get the best of you in some cases where you're letting that almost get under your skin where, I mean, if if you want to be that person on the internet, you kind of have to be able to take it as well. Um, I, I just I just wanted to point that out. You know, it's almost like you kind of asked for it by being the king of hate and making that your thing. It kind of was like, all right, well, I, if I'm going to dish it, I got to be able to take it as well. I 100% agree with you, Adam, today, but I've been on YouTube for 15 years and when I started on YouTube, there were no successful Let's Players making a full living doing it the way that I ended up doing. I was, I'm almost kind of like a case, a history lesson. Look at what Phil has done and don't do it, right? Look at all the mistakes Phil just made in the last 15 years. And if you want to be a, uh, someone who makes gameplay content on YouTube, don't do what that guy did because he screwed up. You know, when I started 15 years ago, I, I, I was like, I'm just going to roll with what I do in Street Fighter. It worked there. Why not do it on YouTube? I wasn't doing it for a living. It was my hobby. I had a nine to five job. And this was something I came home and did two, three hours a night. I would pump out some gameplay. I never took it seriously. I never thought it would be my job or anything. So I was the king of, hey, I just rolled that moniker over to YouTube. Now, fast forward two and a half years after I started on YouTube, I lose my job. Oh, crap. What am I going to do? Can I monetize my YouTube right, presence? Right, right, I right. guess I can. But now I'm the king of hate. Everyone knows me as the king of hate for two and a half years. This is my shtick. This is my moniker. What do I do? You know, I, how do you how do you erase the past that you've already established? And that's what you're known for. And well, so it's uh, been rough. It's been rough. I'll, I'll tell you this. Two years ago, well, excuse me, about a year and a half ago, I had, I, I had a revelation. I was like, I have to move on from my past in any way that I can. I have to try to get rid of this moniker. This is something that people were actively using to weaponize against me. They were going to businesses that I was associated with and telling them, you have a bigot on your website. Do you know that? Look at all these things that he did. And they would link to things, little one-off jokes from 15 years ago. Right. That's something I did today. Well, and they would say, he's okay. the king of hate. So I said, I have to stop this. I have to get rid of the website, rebrand myself. And now that's why I, I'm, I do not live by that mantra anymore. I don't even mention it. You know, so, but what right have you now. done? What have you done, Phil, to, to change the perception of that? What have you, have you changed the look of your streams? Have you changed your production value? Did you take a break? Did you say, look, I'm, I'm leaving and I'm gonna come back, but but I, I need time to kind of rethink this. Uh, like, did you, because you're still going under the, it's the same, still the same channel, still DSP, still Dark Side Chill. Uh, like, um, what, 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 what have you done to, to change the perception of that? I mean, it, it's been a consistent line the entire time of, right. of Phil, Phil, Phil. So what have you done to change that? Because it, it sounds like you're saying, well, you know, what was me, but ultimately it comes down to your actions. Yeah, and if if you were to watch my content, I missed a whole lot. 
five years ago, 10 years ago, 15 years ago, hell, two years ago, and you were to watch my content today, you would see a difference. Like, for example, I look miss. how everything looks behind me right now, right? Up until just, you know, six months ago, I still look like shit. Let me know I'll if I gotta that, rewind. You know, I, but, you know, it's because I don't have the know how. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm very much crowdfunded by my viewers and fans, and it's they who contribute to everything. And I got a banana. In this last year and a half, there's been kind of a reinvigoration. Let's change everything I'm doing. Let me listen to feedback. Just in the last year, I started re doing React content. I was the biggest critic of React content. I crapped on it constantly, saying it was terrible content. Wait. It's the lowest form of content. You already did the racist thing? No. It, like, did you, because you're still going under the, it's the same, still the same channel, still DSP, still Dark Side Phil. I, like, um, what, what, what have you done to, to change the perception of that? I mean, it, it's been a consistent line the entire time of, right. of Phil, Phil, Phil. So what have you done to change that? Because it, it sounds like you're saying, well, oh, you know, what was- We still have to get there, okay. Up until just, you know, six months ago, I still look like shit. I'll admit that. You know, I but you know it's because I don't have the know-how. I don't. You know, I'm I'm very much crowdfunded Tiny by banana, my viewers and fans and they who banana, to everything. Put banana yeah. in my in mouth. Last year and a half, it kind of comes in Let's change everything I'm doing. Let me listen to feedback. Please Just in banana. the last year, I started re doing React content. I was the biggest critic of React content. I crapped on it constantly, saying it was terrible content. It's the lowest form of content on the internet. I hated it. And then. I started listening to my viewers. They're like, Phil, what, why are you so ignorant about this stuff? You know, you got to start to open up and be a, a more laid back guy about all this crap. If you don't want to be the king of hate, you got to listen. And I started listening. I started doing different kinds of content. I changed my setup. I'm trying to change the perception around me. But the problem is, it wouldn't matter if I went away for two months and rebooted my channel and renamed it or whatever. There is such an overwhelming stigma against me on the internet um, that it wouldn't work. These trolls would just follow me no matter where I go, what I do, no matter how much I change. They don't want to believe it or they pretend like the change hasn't happened so that they can keep rolling on with their their hate trains and you know it, it sucks i would love to do a full reboot and rename dsp gaming it wouldn't matter within within a day that's dsp gaming don't be fooled it's the same guy you know so well, i have ch tried to change and, and do better things and make more laid-back content you watch my content today way less of that rage kind of stuff way more chill content interactive stuff meaningful content with my viewers i feel but the stigma remains well, let's 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 talk about something real quick that, that can add to that stigma oh, right shit. um and, and i think this is like this is important you said the light bulb went off you know, about a year ago, you got to change, you, you change your background and stuff. Um, but, but, but I want to bring up, like, there's still jokes that are made that, um, mm. that don't necessarily, it's like, fun. they don't fit today. And I want to, I want to play one for you really sure. quick and just kind of get your reaction to this. Okay. So this is, <laughs> this is, yeah. So, you know, you know where this is going and I, I want to watch oh, this. Yeah. So, so we all understand what's going on here. All right, boys, prepare the slave trade. We're selling a right off a of profit. You know how much I love you, right? Oh, oh, wait, no. Okay. Put the kid in the vehicle. Stay with her. All right, she's too valuable to escape. She's worth lots of money. <laughs> That's okay. Up. Yeah, so, so. So what's going on there, man? Like, let's let's talk about that. Like, how what's does that? What's going on there, when man? You see that, oh, when, when you see that, how does that make you feel? What are you thinking? Do you regret <laughs> that saying that? Like, is that edgy humor? Well, first of all, I have an honest question for you guys. You you now seen it? I don't know if Adam has ever seen that clip before. Okay, no, is I that haven't. The first time. Okay, what do you think the joke was there? I'm just curious. What do you think I was trying to joke about? That you're selling that girl to the slave trade. Okay. That's what it sounded like, and that's pretty fucked up. Okay, now from what reference are you? Are you think? Um, how can I say this? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll I'll approach it from um, the detractor perspective. Okay, okay. from I'm the detractor one, perspective, no, I want to hear I want to hear your perspective of what you yeah. meant. Right? Okay, yeah, like, we'll do both. It's we'll do it's both. pretty obvious what the detractors mean. Like it, for, like for me, that would have put me on the detractor side because it sounds like you were making a joke about selling that little girl to the slave trade. How is it not that? Like, what did you <laughs> mean? Oh no, is that's it, that's absolutely <laughs> that's the joke. But there's a difference between saying that's oh. okay and it's funny or the ridiculousness of the situation. See, you just saw that clip completely out of context, correct? You don't know what the, what's going on in the game right there. Okay, well, explain the context then. That sheriff is a corrupt sheriff. He is actually orchestrating a situation to try to murder people inside a building to protect his secrets. He's like a dark guy who controls the whole town and no one knows this. Everything, th everyone thinks the sheriff's a squeaky clean guy. So you, this is being revealed throughout the plot of the game. He's a scumbag, right? So the joke is this guy's such a scumbag. He's he's saying to the dad, I'm going to save your daughter. Give me your daughter. Let's take him in and rescue her. But in reality, he's such a scumbag. He probably do something like that. He probably, you know, traffic Bro. people. That's the joke. Now, Bro. is it a joke that's acceptable by today's standards? No. By 80% of people, probably not. 
I agree with you. Do you think that's a joke? Like, do you think that's a what? joke acceptable by any standards? Like, like, like I, I don't, I don't. Even, even a decade ago, two decades right. ago, three decades like, ago. And, I and think... uh, it's, it's um, like, uh, I just want to hear your thoughts on that because I, I think there's edgy content, then there's inappropriate content. And we've, think... we've, look, we've all been, we've all been guilty of edgy content before, you know, so. I think it's, it's dark humor. It's definitely skirting the risque. Okay, not to say that I, I've heard much worse, obviously, from other people, but that doesn't make it okay for me to do it. I know that. Um, and you know, there's well, especially, but especially with 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 what's following you around, this this mm -hmm. the, you know your reputation, right? Do you think that if you truly, if the light truly went off in your head to say like I got to change, don't you think it would be like, well, maybe maybe I should bite my tongue on this one. I may be thinking it, but but how about I bite my tongue on this? Yes, I 100% agree with you. And it's, it's a working process. It's something that has to happen naturally over time. It's not something that can be a switch that's flipped because, you know, again, I was someone who's done this for 15 years back in the day. That's what people came to watch. That's the content they wanted from me. That's what got me popular on YouTube. That kind of ridiculous, so why do you produce unacceptable, over-the-top, dark humor joke, okay? Um, why today, it's not acceptable. It? I know that. And but the thing is, those jokes still click in my head. I absolutely should have not done that joke. I will tell you that right now, one million percent, you know, mm -hmm. but it's a working process. And here's where you have to have some kind of an air of fairness or at least fairness. Yeah, the big picture. All right. I've been doing this for 15 years. Okay. I've been doing 15 it full time again. for a job since 2011. All right. Helicopter? I do it six days a week, full Helicopter time, job? six days a week. I'm here full time streaming. Um, I have over a hundred thousand videos on the internet. Okay. Whoa. People. We'll always find something that, that that moment of weakness, that stupid thing that I said, I know, ah, oh, stupid Phil, why the hell did I make that joke? But once it's out there, it's out there. And all you can do is apologize for it, say you're going to do better and try not to do it, and move on. You didn't apologize for it, jackass. For all of these dumb clips, you didn't apologize for any of them because you said you didn't do anything wrong. You did everything correct. That's the problem with you, Phil. You never apologized. You know that it was wrong and you still did it anyway. And now you're just looking for some kind of forgiveness. Fuck you. Now there's a reason why I'm on the show today. Okay. This is what March 16, 2023. And you had to show a clip, one random clip from last summer. You didn't show something I did in the last week, the last month. You showed something from last, the one moment of weakness. Whenever I do something stupid Bro. on the internet, it gets hyper analyzed, you know, looked in with, with a microscope and blown away. This is what dark side Phil is. Have you watched the last five years of content I put out? There's probably, okay, yes, I'm a human. I make errors, absolutely. And I'm stupid. Look at him, I do look at him. When I get over emotional. He's this confused. This is not the norm on my streams. He used to always say, well, it's like from a decade ago and it's literally from a year ago and he's literally trying to find any way out of this because he knows it's a bad look. And then what is he gonna do? He's gonna say three years from now, it's like, well, it was like almost five years ago. It doesn't matter anymore. But you can clip him from like something from last week and he's just a, being a fucking tool and a piece of shit. People see that clip out of context uh, like you guys just did. And if all you knew of Dark Side Phil was that joke, you would hate my guts. You'd be like, what a hey, it probably did joke defend child that trafficking. Joke. What kind of a horrible person thinks child trafficking is funny? When you watch it in context, it's yeah. not as bad, but it's still bad. But when you know, watch the, con all of the context that you explained didn't make it any better, I'll be honest. That's fine. I agree. Like, that's fine. I'm, not, I'm not sure which character you're even like portraying so you were were you acting as the sheriff in that situation yes, that's why i did that's why i did like the accent yes i, okay. I don't know i i think that like in a situation like that like we live in a society that society now where like look i under, i understand that going into this interview that literally every second of this is going to be analyzed and adam understands that and you understand that right but mm -hmm. and literally everything you say there's a camera on you at all times especially when you're a live streamer you know and i, I mean for somebody who, who does this for a living i just i just feel like you you have to be able to bite your tongue at, at some times and you need to know better. You, I mean, you said it yourself, you did this switch was was flipped and uh, I understand that, I totally understand. I am very forgiving of mistakes, right? But when there's a pattern of these things uh, that go back over the course of, oh, of, of time, him. like it's, it's no longer around. a mistake, it's it's a, you know, it's a continuation. It's like so, he's being talked I, I don't know, I, I think, to, look, like by a teacher. If you're saying that that the, con I, I'm, I'm also a yeah, believer man, in I know. people at their work, I did bad. Right? Uh, up until their actions show different. Um, so you're saying that over the over the course of the last since that joke, you've been pretty squeaky clean and you, no. you haven't made inappropriate jokes like that that are that edgy, I guess. I, I look at him, 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 look at that, look at that. He asked the follow-up question that is actually pretty good. 
which is okay have you done anything since then and he knows he can't say no because it's definitely happened and look at this I don't, here's the thing. I don't want to say that because I'm here six days a week full time. You know, that's a lot of my life. And I guarantee you if I say right I now, changed, I say, dude. man, yeah, that I changed. Great. that's all I remember. Immediately right. there'll be other examples tossed out right now and they'll find it, right? They'll I understand. It. And that's the problem is when you are 100% on the internet at all times with the amount of content I put out on the internet, they will always find another example or whatever. I am actively trying to change. What I will say is this, you would be challenged yeah, in busted. the last maybe two, three years to really find a running pattern of me doing really bad jokes like that you've made you said the n-word like two times you called somebody a retard uh you uh you said the black pack joke we literally have somebody in chat right now that's named black pack and on that black pack joke there's technically another joke as well about i don't want to talk to all these other white people in here like there's all sorts of weird jokes you've done does he forget how he was doing the Southern Baptist racist kind of shit with the whole KFC outfit? Does he forget that he did that? That happened within the last two or three years. There's a lot of weird things that he's done. Okay, maybe you'll find a few. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a flawed individual, but you're not going to find it as like, like you wouldn't say, oh, here's 47 times within a year that Phil did that. I know for a fact he's a scumbag, right? You'll find one time here, one time here, one time here, and then they oh, blow Phil. up on the internet. You just you just gave so many different people a, a reason to do exactly oh, they, that. Oh, they will. I know that, but the thing is, they do it anyway. It doesn't matter what I say or do. This is what they do. So now you, you said that the, the switch in your brain, you know, was was off, so that you you made that joke. Like, do do you have it in 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 there that it's like you thinking like when you said that you're like maybe that was too much, or you were just free flowing, and that's just kind of you. Um. Oh shit! Yo, he just realized what the question was. Look at him. It's like, oh my god! I just realized that Adam basically said, "Are you just normally a racist?" If I'm streaming and a joke pops into my head, and and I feel, oh man, that's probably too much. Today, I usually will not say. It. Usually, usually, maybe, maybe an usually. Ding dong die. Uh, Ding dong just die. For a second, a momentary lapse. I feel like th what that was was a momentary lapse because I've done it for so long. I get this weird observational humor in my head. And my, you know, my brain is going a million miles a minute. It's just, here's a joke, here's a joke, here's a joke, here's a joke, here's a joke right? But do you think and, that's observational mm. humor though? Like that's, I don't, <laughs> like it's, it's I don't know, like, I'm not one to like, th there are people who make, like there are comedians who make jokes and they're edgy and such like that. I guess, do you fancy yourself as a comedian? Like, because you're, tell, you're, telling, you're telling us that people come to your streams to watch you, you know, uh, rage react to streams and, and you know, uh, things like that. I don't necessarily, and I don't know, I'm, I'm asking. And I think there's a better, probably a better question for your fans. Are they are they coming to watch for, for those edgy jokes, or are they coming to watch you rage? Because I don't know, man. It, it just it doesn't it doesn't fit. You know that, no, that's I agree really. With you. I agree. I actually agree with you today. I should not have made that joke. I know that. That today you're 100 percent correct. 15 years ago, even 10 years ago, it was a different climate on YouTube, and people were looking for that. That's who I was, and now so I'm th not. So this was last year, you said. That was yeah. probably summer of last year. Yeah. So because it it just feels mm -hmm. like a, a big leap from going from a sheriff who is like trying to kill people to seeing a little black girl and thinking a slave trade. You oh, I mean? no, now you said it. Now you said it. Bill, you said it, you idiot. Say you what? Said you said black girl. It was that, on, on that's screen. That's correct. That's correct. And herein lies the problem. What? I didn't think that. In my it doesn't mind, matter. It doesn't I, you're matter. You're right. You're right. You're right. I agree with you. But in my mind, I didn't even see that. I didn't think that. That, okay. you know, the joke was, this is a scumbag sheriff. He's literally lying to everyone. If he's going to traffic someone for profit, I wouldn't be shocked. It wasn't, she's a black girl going to the slave trade. Look at, look at their faces right now. Look at their faces. They're so fucking confused right now. They're like, wait a minute. Something doesn't seem right about this. You're saying it's not about their pers the person's race. And what is it? What is it, Phil? And that's that's stupid of me. Why the hell did I not make that connection in my head? Because I'm stupid. Okay. You know, I admit that I'm dumb. I don't I, know I, if I, I believe that. You don't have to. That's fine. Okay. You don't have to believe me. I, you know, I can't make you believe me. I didn't think of it at, at one moment. Did I ever think, oh, she's a black girl, make a slavery joke? Absolutely not. It was about Look child trafficking, Craig. essentially, and that this guy was giving him a done stink that. eye. Garbage. <clears throat> okay. Let's talk about. Your, I, I feel like we can. Uh, I feel like we can go on for. You know, uh, for an hour about this clip, but we, you know, 12, 12 yeah, hours. it's even worse if you think about it. If he made the Jake a joke about age and gender, because if he's saying, Here's an underage little girl, we're gonna sell her into, we're gonna slave, sell her into slavery, bro, that's not any better. 
I'm going to make a joke about a little girl being sold into sex slavery. Because she's a little girl. What the, bro? Really? I don't know if P PD, especially after Epstein, I don't think that's the joke we need to be making right now. If it's not about race, it's about her being a little underage girl. Oh, coming up, folks. Right, right. <laughs> Let, let's let's talk about this. Um, so it seems like your biggest detractors Will, please. Uh, are some of your earliest fans. They, they were fans who have turned into detractors. Why, why do you think that is? <sighs> um, so, I mean, this might be a long answer. My fans will know it, but... Again, I've been doing this for 15 years. Oh, my first 15 five years. years that I did it. I haven't heard that right? before. I had absolutely no effort to make it professional at all. I was being a jackass on camera, okay? And I didn't even have direct capture. For five years, I was having a camera pointed at my TV. Everything looked like junk, okay? But it was a joke. It's like, I don't care. I'm just some normal guy filming games. I'm terrible at them. I make risque jokes. I'm swearing at them. That was the shtick. That's what everyone liked back then. And then, basically what happened was after doing it for about four to five years, someone made a video. And the video was called This Is How You Don't Play Metal Gear Solid 2. Hey, and big up this was a playthrough I had done on Metal Gear Solid 2 where I did my usual shtick. And my usual shtick is, oh, I suck at the game. Do I, is it my fault that I suck at the game? Of course not. It's the game's fault. It's Hideo Kojima's fault. So I blame him. I insult him massively during the playthrough. I'm just raging at this game constantly. My viewership loved it. But someone made a parody video essentially taking out the moments of me doing that. Taking out all gameplay moments that would have been considered good or fun or entertaining and only focusing on basically the cringeworthy moments. They made this montage and it blew up with popularity on the internet, okay? <clears throat> and essentially what happened was all of my shortcomings as a content creator for five years, Look these things that Adam people liked kind of now became, oh, Phil well, is not like you, all the funny parts, he's not putting right? effort into his content. He's just a jackass, look at him, he's a, he's a joke. So now let's make fun of him. And what ended up happening was people would take every playthrough I did moving forward and make a this is how you don't play video about it. And my uh, my fan base turned on me. Admittedly, if you would like, I'm not going to go into a giant explanation. So, so been, your, your fan base turned on you because of what a video that somebody else did highlighting, like, it, that doesn't make sense, Phil. Did, like, did you, did you get, did you get bitter when that happened? Because when, oh, I, yes. when I hear it. Oh my God, yes. So do you think that, do you think that bitterness changed the way that you were a content creator? Did you, yep. did you like add that into your, yep. your shtick, as you say? Uh, yep. I don't think so. <laughs> I think what happened was I reacted so bitterly to it. In hindsight, today I look at it and I'm like, that was an opportunity. I could have taken <sighs> that and run with it. I could have done my own or I could have highlighted those and laughed at them. But instead, again, it was a different climate. Today, everyone who makes content has all these methods of making a living, correct? We have Patreon. We have crowdfunding on our streams. That didn't exist back then. Back then, I was someone who had a full-time job and the job was putting videos on the internet with monetization on them. That was my so only this was this was after 2011 when you lost your job. Oh, correct. Yes, I lost my job in late 2010. Please don't say for helicopters. For about two years when the decision don't play. Don't say the helicopter, okay, please. Um, and basically, the way I saw it, and this is now I know this is stupid, I thought people are stealing my content, man. If someone takes my content without my permission, edits it together, and only shows the worst of me, that's going to highlight myself and my business in a very negative light. That's going to make me look like crap. And instead of people laughing with me, now they're going to laugh at me. And therefore, that's theft. I outright said this in my videos. You stole my content without my permission. How dare you? This is bad. This, you know, today I realized how dumb that was. You know, many years later. And let's be honest, the bubble was going to burst on ad revenue on YouTube one day anyway. I don't think that was ever going to last forever, but, but I was an idiot. I thought I actually went 1 million percent bitter against it. And when that happened, people saw that change in attitude of me. Wow, Phil used to totally just not care about anything. Now, all of a sudden, he's always bitter about people joking about him and stuff. And that just goaded them on to do it. So the answer was yes. You changed the way in which you approach content and that bitterness became part of you. So the answer is yes, Phil. You became bitter. Because that was the core question of what Adam asked you. More and more. Well, and uh, that's what you just said right there. So you're admitting that you you added you added this bitter. And, and Adam, oh my God, thank the Lord. Thank God for Adam. So he didn't get lost in the sauce either. He remembered what his question was because Phil just goes on and on at length. Remembers what his question was like. So the answer is yes. You said no, but it was yes. yes. But initially, <clears throat> like two minutes ago, you said that's when they turned on you before it, admitting that you actually were getting bitter. So don't you think that like that kind of correlates? Like maybe it was that moment when you didn't own up to the fact that people were making fun of you being this king of hate guy now going to, they're stealing my shit, I'm fucking pissed about it. Uh, what the fuck? And now everyone's like, well, who the fuck is this guy? You gotta own it. If you don't own it, then like why, sh you know, then, then you're just a joke. So it felt like you just kind of like let that run your ship that you were you were sailing. Correct. I have, I have nothing I could say to counter that in any defensive manner. That is, it's a mistake I made. My my reaction to this is how you don't play directly fueled the fire for more people to keep doing it and to escalate further because it started as just a movement of 
Phil's a bad gamer. He doesn't deserve the success he has on YouTube because he has no production quality. He just, he's a rager, you know. There's no, you're not going to watch a Dark Side Phil playthrough and get any kind of... I got a real rager right now, guys. Level because he's not a really real game. rager. You're to watch him rage and make bad jokes and stuff. But it became, instead of watching his raw content to reward him with ad revenue, watch the This Is How You Don't Play video so he doesn't get paid for it and just make fun of him instead. And my reactions, 1 million percent fuel that. I will admit that. Now, over the years, it got worse and worse. And that's, I'm sure, we're going to get into how it didn't, wasn't just about doing pretty good so far. everything else under the sun. And we can talk about how that evolved. I got to eat crow because Craig actually looks like he's doing a good job so far. Internet, 100% it is. I'm, I, I got to see the entire way through. Sure. But so far, Craig's so doing decent. So you feel that your reaction to the this is how you don't play is what really parlayed your fans into becoming detractors. Yes. And it's not all of them, but absolutely back then, I saw people who had been longtime supporters and fans disappear only two years later, crawl back into, you know, as, as someone who was crapping on me. I'm like, whoa, what happened? I didn't, the way I saw it was, and this is, again, this is my, I, I'm such an idiot. I admit this today. You know, after 15 years of doing this, you realize how you change as a person and how you can see from a different perspective. My mantra, or my mentality was, I'm the popular YouTuber. I'm the guy putting Brad's out all these press. videos and everyone's watching. I'm making I'm money. The popular my shit doesn't one. stink, man. Me. How can you say me. that I'm doing something badly? I'm gotta, the one who has a successful business, it. not you. So who are you to throw criticism at me? That was my attitude. What a dumb Damn attitude it. to have. What a, an idiotic attitude. I'm the everyone popular knows that one. You need to me. Actively listen to your viewer base and your fan base and working with them to create a product that's it's meaningful. It's me. I'm popular. And at that point in my career, it was just put the same shit out every day, and hopefully people watch it. And, it, and you know, hey, at up to that point, 2012, 2013. I hadn't seen any plateauing. I hadn't seen any decline. It was still going up. So I'm thinking, hey, everything's good. If people are saying I'm bad, I don't believe them. That's bullshit. That's just them trying to ride my coattails, right? But in reality, they were all correct. They were 100% correct. My, my shtick was tired. It was old. No one wanted to watch someone with a camera pointed at their TV, raging at Hideo Kojima. They wanted to see meaningful content, and things were changing. There were people coming yeah, to YouTube with better production quality, much they higher quality, going up, interactive and then stream. They going I let down. all that pass me by. I was an innovator at the beginning, and I was a dinosaur five years in, and that's totally my fault. And what would you, you know, I got one right you, now, Shiok. At the beginning. I want. At the beginning, um, the improv commentary style and the ability to basically do a full-length playthrough with commentary over it, I was not the first person who did it. There's other people, everyone will argue, there's actually argument between it was either Slow Beef or someone else who originally was like the wow. very first Let's Player. But I was the person who started doing it rather than, back then when I started on YouTube, 2008 so he didn't year, innovate I really started it. doing active playthroughs. The people who were doing gameplay on YouTube were mostly known for being like a guru in one genre. This is the Call of Duty player. This is the fighting gameplay. I was the jack of all trades. I could play any game, do commentary over it. That was kind of improv commentary. And people thought it was funny because of my, my, my mannerisms, my jokes. Yes, back then, that kind of stuff was funny. Guys, I invented the Let's Plays. That genre was invented by me. Re. Oh, it was other people who did that. And I wasn't actually the individual. Um, and, and you say that kind of stuff. What, what do you mean? Well, we just talked about it. You were talking about risque jokes. You know, back then, my commentary was like 90% sexualized content. It was making fun of every woman, made dick jokes, you know, sex jokes, bad stuff. That today, you don't say that stuff. That's stupid. That's dumb. That's lowbrow comedy. But back then, that was a big part of my content. I watch now. I, I couldn't right, even stomach come here, come watching here. stuff that I did from 2008 to like 2011. I, 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 it, it turns my stomach to listen to like who I was, how cringeworthy I was back then. Look, but, we, all, we, all, like, look, we all get it, right? We understand that, that people change over time. Totally understand that. I guess my thing is, what have you done... So you've had these light bulb moments, right? You said you had one last year. You had one, you know, in 2012, 2013, where you realize that you're getting left behind from a technological standpoint, and you're doing gameplays that are, uh, you know, you're, the big difference for Phil was Phil could, hand, could play all games, not just fighting games or Call of Duty or whatever. What has changed? What are you doing differently now in 2023 that, that you were doing, that, that you weren't doing in 2013 when you had this realization? Because mm. it's, it, sound, and when, it sounds like you're doing the exact same thing, Phil. It sounds like I'm, I'm the guy who plays different games and occasionally come to my, my channel to get some, some sort of a shock, shock value joke, right? What oh, differentiates you now nut. from who you were t a decade ago? Okay, wow. Geez, first of all, uh, full-time streamer I wasn't back then. I was just a YouTuber. Now I'm a full-time streamer, six days a week full-time, you know, get mostly gameplay. I, now I do React content as well. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, those jokes I don't really make anymore at all. Now, when I turn on a stream, it's about having a relaxed social conversation with my live audience. You know, I have people who come by and who are regulars now who I recognize in the chat and I can talk with them and as they're, as they're a friend, okay? Back then, I didn't know anyone. I, maybe I knew, you know, people who helped me with moderation and stuff, but I didn't know my He said he knew his regulars, his regular, regular supporters. It's like a friendly community. It's a totally different vibe watching 2023 Dark Side Field than 2013 Dark Side Field. That's for sure. Um, and, and, you know, having that now when I play a game, it's a community effort. I'm playing Oblivion right now, 
I don't know anything about Oblivion. It's the first time playing it, but people helped me with the game. And because of that social aspect, the game is a relaxing chill session. There was no way I could have done a chill session in 2013. That wasn't what I was. I was a rage, you know, risque com commentary kind of guy. Today, that's all gone mostly. Now, yes, there are moments of rage. I'm playing Wo Long. There's definitely moments of rage that come back. But for the most part, you know, watch a stream today versus all the things that people say that I am. And you'd be like, I don't get it. I get this all the time. Someone will come by a stream of mine and at the end of the stream, they'll say, Phil, just so you know, this is the first stream of yours I ever watched. I've heard all these things about you. Been into and I don't get circles. it. I just watch a three hour gameplay stream. None of the stuff that people it's say about you just happened in the stream. None of the stuff that they say fact, it is relaxing. there. So what just happened? Yeah. Like, How many of those people They exist? highlight the moments that are the, the, the shortcomings. That's How what many of those today. people or exist? they reference 2013 Dark Side, Phil, as if that's today and saying that's the content I put out today. It's, it's not. It's just definitely not. You know, I have a whole new channel where now I'm doing React style content, which again, I used to be an, an idiot. I, I hate React content. Reacting, that's low brow. That's little, minimum effort. And people are like, Phil, people are interested in your thoughts. They just want to hear you react to random stuff from the internet. They want to hear you talk about a new stuff. Why would you think that's bad? And then I go, you know what? Let me give it a shot. I start doing React content. People love it. People love it because they're giving you money. And even now, they're not giving you a whole lot of money. They kind of don't love it. And it kind of shows with the attendance and how many people actually give to you. But he's tricked himself into thinking that Reacts are the future. Reacts were the future 10 years ago. How long ago was the Fine Brothers? I feel like that's quite literally been almost a decade ago. It feels like it. But DSP is adopting a, a model of streaming and making content that's like way overdone. It's old now. So that's on me for years being an idiot and saying dumb shit on the internet. And now I try it and it works and it's more relaxing and it's fun. It's interactive with my audience. That's the difference is that I've now oh become God, a more laid back guy. I want to put out meaningful content for my people every day. It's what's the difference between yeah, I did one rage and like thing everyone laughed at and talked about it versus, wow, I just put out a four hour stream. But he's like so late to the party. They were able to separate from well, their daily lives and relax with me and look, have a good time. That's more Greg knows that he's been going on way too long. He's been talking way too much. He's given a long-winded answer and he's trying to like interrupt him. Meaningful to me than getting one rise out of a stupid joke. This is the way you can interview him. Like you gotta what, what is a, stop um, him. What's a day like look for you? Uh, like when you wake up, what is it? What is your average day like? Walk me through a day Oof. of Phil. Oof. Like when you, from, from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Yeah, let's hear it. Uh, usually I don't wake up. Usually my cat wakes me up. Usually I don't wake up. My cat wakes me up. Okay, so Phil is usually dead. And uh, you know, I get and out of bed and get you ready for the day. You know, just like a normal. What person. time? Like shower or eat breakfast? What time? Or coffee. Do chores around the house quick. You know, depends on the day because sometimes my wife's at work. So what chores? Not, uh, you know, jump into the office here. So I, I, you know, time wise, you know, I probably get up between eight nine a.m. every day. Um, I get into the office usually between ten ten thirty a.m. Uh, I'm setting up for my stream for the day. I'm, I'm, I'm reading news off of Twitter to try to have news stories for everyone to talk about on my podcast, which I do every day. Um, my stream. The last second Twitter news. That's pretty cool. Usually goes on by 1045 a.m. my time. Uh, you know, we do a little bit of pre-stream, you know, get some people on the stream for about 15, 20 minutes, play some music or whatever. And then I do what I call the level one podcast. This is about an hour to an hour and a half long show where it's just discussion. And it could be a wide variety of topics, whether it's my gaming schedule. Uh, for the next week whether it's special events coming up getting feedback from my viewers on how you like the, the things i'm currently doing news stories all kinds of stuff this is something i just started about a year to a year look and a half ago look at him that i didn't use he's, I this is he's detracted himself content so i do the podcast usually the podcast ends around 12 30 ish pacific time you know maybe take another few minutes break then we start with gameplay so we'll do about a three to four hour gameplay stream games are as we talked a wide variety and i have a set schedule i do every day i'll, I'll post it up everywhere on my socials so people know what i'm doing it's three hours of gameplay, not four. Um, that gameplay will usually run about three, four hours. Then when that's done, I have to upload all that content. So, you know, another half an hour, roughly, setting up uploads or whatever. And then usually I spend some, if my wife's home from work, I'll spend about an hour with my wife having dinner, uh, you know, running errands around the house. Again, depends on the- Running errands around the house. He doesn't even know how to fake doing shit in the house. He's literally saying, I'm running errands around the house. What does that even mean? What does that even mean? He literally forgot that he's talking about his day to day, not his, what do you do on your day off? Because he loves to use the errands excuse, but you don't use errands around your house. You're not running a fucking job for your cat to deliver a pail of water. That's not the errand. Day where anything I can squeeze between streams, I'm right back on stream again around uh, 6, 6, 6 30. I'm in the office again. Um, and I'm streaming again for another two to three hour, you know, gameplay stream. These, the late night streams are more chill streams. What I say is the daytime streams. And now are more he's over explaining the night stream. So he over explained the day stream. Now he's over explaining the night stream, which that wasn't even part of your question. The question was, what is a day to day schedule for Phil is? And basically it's just wasting people's time. He's even wasting their time by answering the question in such a long winded manner. And he wonders why this was a five hour fucking interview. Let's say there's a major new game coming out. Uh, you know, in Bro. a few weeks we got Resident Evil, Resident Evil 4 remake. 
that'll be my daytime streams. That's the one everyone wants to see. More people can watch usually on an earlier time zone or time frame. So I play that on the first stream. My late night streams are chill. You just want to relax with me? You don't care about rage. You don't care about a new game. This is a schedule thing. Come to my late night stream. That's like 6.45 p.m. It's literally a schedule. It's about two, three hours, and it's just chill gameplay. It's not about the gameplay. It's about me talking with my audience. And if there's gameplay, great. We'll advance with the game, but it's more just relaxing. And then when that's done, you know, that's... Look at Adam. Adam's so checked out right now. He's like, bro. I'm closing down for the day. I'm out. I'm probably out of my office. Later. Between 10 to 11 p.m. So all in all, you know, we were talking work day wise. My workday starts roughly around 9, 30, 10 a.m. and ends around 10 to 11 p.m. Then after that, I maybe have an hour to spend with my wife and relax at night. Uh, you know, watch the, watch a movie, watch a TV show or whatever. And, uh, you know, and then chores around the house. It's time for bed and on to the next day. Chores around the house and then on to the next day, man. What chores? What chores are you doing at fucking midnight, Phil? Yo, he really, really, really likes to pretend there's a lot of shit going on. When in reality, that whole explanation really revealed that he can't even describe his own day. He can't tell you what a chore was. He legit can't tell you. I wonder if Craig or anybody fucking challenges him and say, Phil, can you define a chore? Can you just tell me what a chore is? Because he doesn't vacuum. He doesn't sweep. He doesn't mop. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't even do his own dishes. Bro, he has fucking paper plates. Paper plates and fucking sporks and shit and paper bowls. Oh, God damn. I bet you it's just cleaning out the cat box. I don't even know if he does that. And that's six days a week. That's my life. Uh, one day a week I take off from streaming and content creation. Uh, and that day is essentially every possible thing you can think of that I need to cram into one day. Whether that's grocery shopping, doctor's appointments, running errands, uh, everything. you More do. Errands. Oh, by the way, that's the one day I have off to spend some time with my wife other than an hour here and an hour there. So if we're going to do something, we try to cram it in on that day. Um, and that's so, my life. So let me ask you this. Just based off of what, you, what you're saying right now, that, that doesn't seem like the most healthy lifestyle. It doesn't seem like the most conducive, like, you know, wait, from, wait, from, wait, a, from he's, a he's thinking he's agreeing. perspective, or a content perspective, yes, he's you're thinking he's a agreeing. lot of content, but it doesn't seem like a very healthy lifestyle. Do you feel, do you feel that your community and the people who donate to your streams are enabling that lifestyle do you feel that they are encouraging you to live a lifestyle that may not be the healthiest lifestyle he's thinking he's thinking how do i respond so you're saying through people showing up and supporting my streams they're making me work more is that the question maybe no. well, maybe you maybe you have a um a pressure that you're putting on yourself to do that because this is your only job and then you're therefore working as much as you are because you are you know working for the support that you have so it, it, it's like cyclical, like they, they come and then you're like, I need to be there. And then like, now you need to be there and do it all day. And then if they're not there for you, then it's kind of like this mental um, yes. addiction almost. I mean, I've been right. doing yes, YouTube for it about is. three years. It and, actually uh, is. I, I know that it's a thing, um, getting addicted to super chats, numbers, analytics, like the way that you spoke about analytics about 20 minutes ago, or no, 40 minutes, I don't know, earlier in the stream, you know, you're clearly very much like watching it and-, and No, you know, he to is it. not. So it's obviously- an, Bro, he does not pay attention to the analytics at all. That's not even close. I wouldn't even pretend to lie about that. On your mind. Right. I think the biggest thing is, you know, we talk about mental health, right? Mental health, physical health, and how they're how they're so tied together. And the one thing I didn't hear during there is, is a time to, you know, whether work out or have time for yourself. You know, everything that you're doing right now seems to work be out. for from a streaming what about perspective, the gym? from a content perspective, right? Now wait a minute. Right. Now with his wife. You know, right. Well, but, but but an hour. What about the, the day, gym? Right? Yeah, and, and that's that's awesome. I, I'm just thinking once again, like you, you it seems like you're in this this never end, never ending, I don't know, for back, lack of a better metaphor, like a hamster wheel where you're, you get up and you start running and then you finish up at the oh. end of the day and you, you finish up running and then you get off, you go to sleep and you wake up and, and you do that six days a week. Yeah. And I understand we all have our, you know, we all have our hamster wheels and our, and our, our uh, rotations and our schedules and the way we do things. But um, it, it just appears that just from the outside looking in that, um, if you weren't making the money that you were making, you probably wouldn't live that lifestyle. Okay, fair enough. Um, I've talked about this many times over the last several years with my viewers. They say, what would you change if you could improve anything about God. your life? Somehow or another, DSP has gotten quieter and quieter as the stream has progressed. Because he's, he's leaning back further and further away from the chair. So I've been having to, like, decrement how loud the music is. Every single time he has to talk because it's just getting it's just getting softer and softer he's just backing away he doesn't even want to like talk into the mic what would you do and the answer would be somehow to take financial pressure off of me so i could spend more time with my wife 
We've been married since 2019. We never went on a honeymoon. We haven't been on a trip since we got married. Um, we can't, can't afford it, you know? And I'm sure this is, stuff will come up. You know, I went through a bankruptcy because of really bad choices in my past and a combination of online trolling ruining a lot of my financial income with my business. Um, and a combination in tandem of that ruined a lot of stuff for me. Since the bankruptcy went through, I have not been able to fully recover because of, it's always something else and I'm tired of it. I really am. I'm looking, where's the light at the end of the tunnel? So I can have an extra day off with my wife once a week, which I think I deserve and she deserves. But every time, and again, I, I, I wanna make something very clear here. I am not trying to put myself out as a victim, all right? The reason that- Yo, he literally remembered that fucking pre- No, not pre-stream, it was that post-stream. It was the post-stream that he did where he was like, Bill, why are you acting like the victim? And uh, he had to say, I am the victim without saying I am the victim. Because that's basically it. He's just the victim because he is the victim. A lot of the things that happened to me over the years is because of me. I know that. I'm a flawed human. I'm sorry for some of the horrible things I've said and done over the years. I, I've, I've publicly apologized. That's why a lot of people hate me. But every time that it looks like things are getting better, these people will do something horrible to me or my family that ruins financially things for me. This has happened several times over the last few years. It was two years ago. All right. There was a light at the end of the tunnel. This I was still on Twitch. This wasn't when I was full-time YouTube streamer. I was a Twitch streamer. I've been streaming on Twitch for four and a half years. I built up my viewership and my member, or excuse me, my subs on Twitch were at like 900 subs a month. Things were going good. I said publicly to my audience, guys, this is great. You know, the bankruptcy went through last year. That's not great, but that took a lot of financial burden off of me. If things keep going, how they're going, I see a light. I'll be able to, oh, I'll be able to improve my business. I'll be able to maybe take time off, spend time with my wife, reduce the amount I stream. This would be outstanding. What happened? My trolls took the king of hate mantra which we just discussed earlier and they got me kicked out of the twitch partner program because of it now i've been with the twitch the trolls can't do anything to me because the trolls uh all of their fucking submissions they go right into the trash every time they uh make a complaint about me on twitch that's the difference between twitch and youtube and then he's like yeah man the the twitch people uh they listen to the trolls and the trolls are saying i was a horrible fucking king of hate which i was factually and I had a lot of things that were labeled the King of Hate. I actually had merch that said King of Hate for multiple years. Okay. And they called you out for being a King of Hate. And then it somehow or another got Twitch to say, hey, this dude's pretty bad. Okay, sure, Phil. Twitch partner program for four sure. and a half years. Sure. Twitch had no issue with me. Twitch, had, knowing who I was in my past and the kind of content that I put out and everything willingly to me under their partner program they signed me up for promotional opportunities they had me promoting certain, uh, different things on their streams and stuff and then they actually campaigned to get me kicked off of twitch and they did so i'm not kicked off of twitch but i can't make money on twitch anymore what, so what wrong wrong actually wrong you can make money you could just be an affiliate you can make money the amount of lies that this dude comes up with every single time just to pretend that he has a point bro you didn't you didn't get kicked off of Twitch. You got kicked off the partner program. You can join back in the partner program now. It's been over a year, but you don't want to because you know that how how volatile it is. And you don't want to go to the affiliate program because you know you're going to be stuck there for a while. So he would rather stick in YouTube so he can have a sob story there and say that the fault is my trolls and of Twitch's fault instead of YouTube's fault. Even though he used to blame YouTube and that's why he wasn't a YouTube fucking content creator anymore. You see how weird it is? He used to be a fucking YouTube content creator. He moved over to Twitch, said that Twitch was a, a business worth, a, like, built off a of bank. Comes back to YouTube, jumps back over to Twitch saying, YouTube is not conducive for my business. I can't make money off of it. I'm just making nothing on ad revenue. Makes money off of there, then jumps back over to YouTube saying, Twitch kicked me off. I can't make money over there. I got to go back to YouTube where I can't make money. And what ends up happening if he gets kicked off of YouTube where he ends up having like where he can't make the same amount of money anymore? Then is he going to jump back to Twitch? Are we going to kick? Are we going to Trovo? Where are we going after this? I need to know. Tim is about to make a good point about the affiliate partner thing. Oh my God. What did they do? What What do you feel that, that they did to you uh, to get you removed off Twitch specifically? They organized a campaign. They did it. And I, you, the thing is, these people are so... They, they, everything they do, they try to do publicly so that way they can get a laugh out of it or at least get credit for it. So there was an organized movement against me where what they were going to do was say that 2011, excuse me, 2021 Phil, because that's the year this happened, is the same as 2009, 2010 Phil. They took out of context clips. They took those bad jokes from back then, which I've already publicly apologized for. And I don't do that kind of stuff regularly anymore. Okay. I've grown from that. 
Well, I just saw a bad clip from a year ago, so that's pretty recent. Correct. That's correct. And again, I'm I'm that's totally great. fallible. Oh, that that's great. Totally fallible. Yeah, you see how he did that? So he couldn't use that excuse. Wait a minute. Uh, hold up. I gotta rewrite the story. I make mistakes from time to time. Okay, but for the most part, that's not me anymore. You can. I, I know, but 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 what you just said was just disproven because you had just made it that same kind of racy joke. I, I'm not trying to like mm -hmm. make it a big deal, but I'm just pointing out that what they were saying is 2000. A, uh, 21 Phil is the same mm -hmm. as before when you're you just told me in 2022 you made a joke So this was after they'd said this and it was you're making the same kind of like Inappropriate jokes that you were back then He put two and two together and now Phil's like wait a minute He's right After I got kicked off of the partnership uh, after I got kicked out of the partnership program on Twitch I made the joke after the fact yeah, Phil, you made the joke after you got kicked off of Twitch. Supposedly, allegedly. Did you learn anything? No. Correct. So it's kind of, so they're right? Are they no, right or are they wrong? I mean, they're, they're right in saying that I still make mistakes and I'm a flawed human. They're wrong in saying this is who Phil is all the time. This is his content because that's what got this, this happening. And by the way, it wasn't just the Twitch partner program. They, they basically did this exact same thing to all these different business relationships that I had. They said, he's the king of hate. He has a website called thekingofhate.com. Here's a bunch of bigoted, racist, sexist, you know horrible jokes he's made over the years and they compiled this into like a montage and they basically had hundreds if not more people pummel these businesses with it to the point where they said listen it's not that you know we had phil on our site for so long we knew this was him but we can't have people constantly harassing us for this so we have to end it that way the, 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 it will stop they won't still did, keep did twitch it up. tell you that did they say that to you no nope. Twitch told me oh, uh -huh. here's what I, told me. <laughs> we launched an investigation into your history and we found that over the years you have used um what was the word? It wasn't racial. It was harmful slurs. <laughs> harmful slurs. That's not even the fucking word. It was hateful slurs. Hateful slurs. He even gets the fucking meme wrong. Harmful slurs. Harmful slurs. Harmful. As if basically I'm I'm saying really nasty racial or things that I do not say. I do not say those things. You you'd have to go back so far to see me say something like that, and it was a one-off comment that was again. I'm sure people will bring it up what it was specifically and we can address it individually if you want to but the, the way they're portrayed oh we found that you said this 100 years ago sorry you're gone we found that you did this 100 years ago craig's like 100 years ago now wait a minute we haven't been alive that long like what i was under site for four and a half years making money you know you never had an issue with it now you find something from the past and that's not acceptable and all of a sudden what changed overnight and the funny part was it happened to me it happened to another streamer called wings of redemption and others all at once almost as if twitch was having a culture shift where they decided they wanted problematic people off the site they wanted well, that, you know. that is true i mean that, that happened to plenty of people right. I, I know so, people who got uh, booted off of twitch because they're christian and they're proud of wow. it and it's it's pretty crazy so i, so I don't right. like twitch so here i am i've never received any kind of a warning i never got a community strike everything i'm doing according to twitch terms of service is fine i'm not banned Bullshit. Bullshit. You have gotten a strike before, you Mr. Bluebeard. He had had that was like his fourth fucking strike. I've never gotten a strike before. Get out of here. From Twitch, I could stream there right now. That was but his fourth to their one. Criteria, all my past actions are unforgivable, and therefore you can't make money on our site anymore. Did so you go I to them and, and bring them, you know, did you explain to them this like this comment was made? Did have you had any sort of discourse with, with Twitch to kind of explain nope. these things? Because if you're saying that these these comments were made a decade ago, five years ago, seven years ago, whatever, and you know, culture was different or whatever, whatever it is you want to say. Have you had that opportunity to speak with Twitch about these things? And if you did, do you feel well no, we'll start we'll start there. Okay. Uh, it's, and by the way, it's not just Twitch, this happened to several other businesses too. No, no, focus, focus, focus Phil. Because it's just gonna open focus. the hornet's nest. But basically, these businesses, the way that they approach it now is well, we have terms of service. If you break them, too bad. We have absolutely no legal obligation to tell you what you did wrong because we just don't have to. I don't believe that's true. I think if you do something wrong, they should tell you what exactly, specifically, what you did and how to remedy it. Because if you're telling me I did something to break our legal agreement, obviously I want to fix that. I don't want to keep doing the wrong thing, but they don't care. I tried reaching out to the legal team of Twitch, and essentially they, they that, we have no obligation to, to have further contact with you. If you'd like to reapply for the Twitch partner program, come back in 365 days and reapply, and at that time we'll reevaluate the situation. So well, now I'm me... out of income for a year. Okay, so can you can you still be an affiliate? Yep. I was out of, completely out of the partner program for a full year. So it's been a year. Why, why don't you try to rebuild the affiliate side of things and uh, and try to reapply? And I mean, it, it's been how many years now? I mean, and, and if you go the affiliate, so if you go the affiliate route, I mean, 
uh, being a partner on, on Twitch, and it, let's let's be real, being a partner on Twitch it, it allows you no nothing. You know, there's nothing. There's no benefit of being a partner on Twitch at all outside of them. It's actually to worse because right. you have to. Yep. You can't share your content in multiple places. You have to mm -hmm. be exclusive on Twitch. Yup. Yup. Technically, being an affiliate, you got a couple more advantages than you do being a partner. Right. So it, it would seem like the best route would be go the affiliate route and not be a partner on Twitch. That way, you can stream to YouTube and cast your net as wide as you possibly can and and uh, grow your audience as much as you possibly can. I don't, I don't know. Like, it, why why not do that? Well, that I've told you one half of the equation. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you other stuff that was also going on within that same time frame of that happening the whole year. Uh, Twitch had basically several times shut down my business entirely for things i never did so for example with the summer before i'm i never got hit with strikes let me tell you about these times i got hit with strikes streaming a game and my stream just goes offline right in the middle what happened oh you've been hit with a copyright strike <laughs> i never got strikes strike. dude this Someone was my first time company that i was playing let me talk about these strikes impersonated employee and twitch doesn't vet it they just shut your whole stream down this happened probably three to five times within a small time frame and I'm like, wow, like, I hope Ian. it goes away. Eventually it did, but they left me with basically no avenue to really fix this issue besides going to their support and saying, you know, what are you doing? Do you actually have confirmation this is real or not? Um, then at the same time, okay, that I got kicked out of the Twitch partner program, I decided I'm going to just what you just said, Craig. I didn't just quit Twitch that day. I stuck around for about a month after that. I said, you know what? I can't get super chats. I can't get paid subs right now. I'm going to roll with it anyway. Let's see what happens. Can I make a living? I had a Patreon. People were sending me tips, you know, direct donations, as you call them maybe i can still make a living doing that and you know what more power to it because if i can now who cares if i'm not in the partner program what are they gonna get me kicked out of right as i'm streaming i get shut down again what oh you you said a racist term no i didn't and then I what, what did they back. say you said what did they say that you said i believe it was the n-word but i don't know because they don't say that in the log that they submit they just say oh you were caught saying a racist term did and you say you the n-word oh no i was playing a returnal and when I was playing it, I was in the middle of saying something and then like an enemy attacked me and it was like a jumble of words that just happened to make me no. sound like, like that. You didn't even get attacked, Phil. You weren't under attack by anything. You really weren't. You were just picking up some items and for some reason you wrote, you you read stationary N-word and it just kept going. If you were not listening in context, you might say, oh my God, I heard it out of context. It sounds like he said, it. but it was, it was actually like me getting tongue twisted. You know, everyone, and it could happen to anyone. And then they some mass submitted my trolls mass submit that to twitch oh he said the n-word so now i get kicked off of twitch temporarily my whole stream gets shut down it took about a day i got, I got brought back but it's like at one point when am i going to realize this business is not being professional they're going to kick me out of their partner program for stuff i did 10 years ago not give me any recourse to appeal it or stick up for myself we don't have to do that legally so you know oh so now i'm out i'm out money that I'm, I, I was making for a living now you can shut down my stream at any time for something i didn't even do and then i have to go out of my way to correct your mistake because you're an unprofessional business. I mean, and I was there for almost five years building a community. I had so many people who loved me being on Twitch and I lost a lot of viewership and a lot of income moving from Twitch and coming over to becoming a full-time streamer on YouTube. YouTube is not as profitable to stream, man. There's no real uh, discoverability over here. It's very hard to get noticed on YouTube. I lost that, a Look at him. Look. There's no discoverability on Twitch either. Yeah. 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 Why, why do you want to even be a streamer anymore? Like what, what is your <laughs> reasoning? And I, I, I like streaming. I understand. I, I love being on stage. I'm a musician as well. There's something about having an audience that I really love and I, I love having an audience so the reason that you know I'm successful and it's like if you're struggling if you're facing this like wouldn't it be better for your well-being and like your relationship with your wife and your family to just stop doing this for a little while to get a normal job and just you know kind of take a breather get a job a lot of people said that to me my mother said that to me when I got married she's like you know look how things are going you know on the internet everyone's crapping on you and you know don't you think that maybe long term things should change and at that point this was that was around 2019 uh, before the bankruptcy, I'm not bringing up the clip, McDougal. Uh, I kind of agreed with her. I was like, "Yeah, look at this. You know, I'm, I'm trying my best. I'm trying to." I want to get through this. If we keep doing like, too many care. pauses, people I'll never get through this. No matter what I do, and my mom says, like another important to me." She said, four hours. You're not beholden to anyone but yourself and God. Like as long as you're okay with who you are in the morning, and that you feel that you're okay with God. And my mom's religious. I'm not okay. But when she said that to me, it, it, it was like she's right. You know, why do I have to answer to an angry mob of people every day? Why can't I just live my life like everyone else on this planet? Right? Um, He's trying his best, but, man. And of course, there's always a but. Uh, a lot of things changed between 2019 and now. Um, I love what I do now. At one point, I, I will openly say this, I hated what I did for a living. Around 2016, uh, a lot of things were going really bad for me. Uh, YouTube had really started to just totally hate me. Um, I was getting, you know, all kinds of horrible things were happening to me behind the scenes. My, my personal life was falling apart as well. This is before I met my wife, by the way. Um, and I was gonna, I didn't know what to do. I felt like I was trapped. I was like, I'm so much debt in my name. There's no way if I quit YouTube, if I'm gonna make, you know, if I'm gonna get a nine to five job somewhere, 
I'm going to lose everything. I'm going to lose my house. I'm going to lose everything because I, I, I can't afford it. If I get a nine to five job, I would never make as much money, uh, you know, as I do on YouTube or Twitch or whatever. Um, so that's really, I, that's really what it comes down to is, is streaming is more profitable than getting a nine to five. That's 50% of it, I would say. About 50% weight. <laughs> because the well, other half, since looks. I became a full-time streamer in 2017, and I changed my formula. It's not just about pumping out a ton of videos a day. Instead, it's about having meaningful content with an audience that I connect with. This now, I would say for 2017 till today, has been the absolute best time of my life. Whoa. Professionally and personally. Because no I met my wife, and I have a great personal life. As little time as I get to spend with her, it's the best experience I've ever had in my life. It was a life-changing experience meeting my wife. And then becoming an interactive streamer and leaving that past behind. I have to fill dead air constantly with a stupid, risque joke and dumb commentary and growing up and maturing. You know, I'm 40 years old. I'm not some teenager or 20 year old being an idiot on the internet. I don't, my audience today is not the same audience I had 15 years ago. Now, if you look at my, as, as Adam says, I'm Mr. Analytics, right? If you look at my, my analytics, you'll notice I get almost no teen viewers, almost like less than 1% of my viewership are teens. It's people in their mid to late 20s, 30s and 40s. Why? Because now you come to my content and it's chill fun, fun, you know, every once in a while the rage comes out, everyone laughs at it, but it's more meaningful stuff. I love that connection I have with my fans. I, I really feel like my fans are my, in some ways, not that I'm going to that they are personal connection, answer. but they're kind of like my, my friends. They're really it's just going so I know. long. We can chat. We can dick around. This is at 1.25, you know, by the way. I stuff from my audience. He's just now, now on and on and on and on. Craig just wanted to ask a thing. I could have been having for years and years. Look at him. And instead, I sat making dumb jokes. He's waiting for Phil to finish. I love that now. What does meaningful mean? What does that like? Walk me through. What does that mean? Do you feel like you're like? Is this? You say you have your your audience is your friends, right? You feel like you have a, a now. I've seen clips of you say that that you know your audience is not your friends, right? So like, is it? Are they your friends or are they not your friends? Are they because you're kind of speaking of on you know mm -hmm. just based off clips I've seen. Sure. Um, you're kind of speaking of both both sides of your mouth here. My my audience are not close personal friends. I'm not going to come on stream and tell you about super important behind the scenes stuff in my life you know what i'm saying at the same time i'm here six days a week this is my this Bro. is my social interaction outside of my wife and the one day a week that i leave this house to, to to do stuff when i'm not streaming this right here this laptop this chat is my social interaction with the world so that is that me is being sad with people. that's you know, legit you sad to to place of work hi how you doing your co-worker bro i got co-workers i got friends kind of it, it i got family like um, I got a lot of people to and, talk you know, to. People coming in all the time, and that's this dude has this, one dude um, to talk to, I, I really and that's do feel Kat. Like today, it's more meaningful what I do, and a bunch again, of fucking Derek's in his chat. Like, I love your content because I got a laugh today watching you rage. Today it's like Phil. Let me tell you something. Something horrible happened in my life, and I came by your stream, and I hung out with you for two hours today. You were playing Oblivion. We talked. I helped you with the game. We had fun conversation about something going on on the internet. At the end of that stream, I felt so much better. You know, I, it was just a, a, a fun, meaningful experience to me. And when people give me that feedback, that lets me know that what I'm doing is worthwhile. With all dude. I had a terrible time. A terrible thing happened to me. We talked a bunch and we had fun. I mean, I guess, but they still had a terrible time. That would kind of bring me down a little bit. It's not a thing that you should reflect on saying somebody came in, was very negative and they had a bad thing happen to them. And then I talked to them and we had fun while I was playing a game. That it kind of makes it sound like you didn't really pay attention to them or their issue i don't know I, you can take it different ways the hate and all the shit that gets thrown at me every day that what i'm doing is meaningful i don't since i've become a full-time streamer and i've taken ownership of who i am and the content i put out rather than just making dumb jokes i feel like now this is the best time of my life because i'm helping people i don't I'm know if that's crazy or not people. but that's what they tell me look and at I him love it. it helps me look you at know him what i mean it's like kind of reciprocating back and forth ow okay let's um I, I think that every every streamer has a relationship with their audience that's unique, right? Um, as somebody who's doing it, I, I don't know your- Chat, I'm gonna be real with you. We don't have a relationship. You guys are chat and I am me. Uh, sometimes I say hey to you guys and there are some people who are regulars and I recognize them and the memes that they put out. I'm just letting you know right now, we're not friends. We're just, you guys are chat and I'm some random asshole on a stream. I'm gonna treat you guys nice, but you're not my Derek's. You're not my Derek's. I'm not, but here's the thing. If you're going to tell me a story while it's like in the middle of stream, if you're going to tell me like stuff that's happening, I'm going to listen. I'm going to talk to you. But at the end of the day, I can't be a, an emotional crutch for you. I can't be, I can't be the solution that you're looking for. Cause I really am not. I'm just a, I'm just a guy. And never liked you. 
<laughs> That's the thing. It, it end of the day, it's like uh, I like hanging out with you guys, but at the same time, I know what it's like with the whole parasocial relationships and shit. And it's like, yeah, like I like ha having fun and hanging out and getting a laugh with you guys. That's what it is. And if somebody tells a dumb story, I'll listen to it. And I'll try and remember things. I, I try and remember a lot of things. I really do. I don't remember everybody's names, but I remember like the different mannerisms that everybody has and shit. You know how it is. But that's how it is. And it's not friend. Unsubscribe. <laughs> yeah, basically that. Who gets custody? I get custody. I'll be your Derek, dude. No, McDougal. Nobody's my Derek. And is being toxic again. Basically that. What I'm trying to say is you shouldn't rely on somebody who's a YouTube personality or a streamer or anything to be your friend. They're just, they're just a person. I'll be as friendly as I can, you guys. That's why I have a secret discord where I talk to a whole lots of people and we talk about a whole lot of shit. We have movie nights on Saturday and we watch dumb shit like bum fights or anime with sexy ladies and shit. That's just kind of how it is. It's just hanging out with folks. I don't like doing behind the scenes crap because it's kind of lame and I don't like to get in the drama unless it's about like this dude over here. That kind of shit. Personal relationship with, with your, with your audience. <laughs> um, is that you? Oh, Adam? Fuck. Was that you toasting? Okay. okay just make oh, you're, sure. <laughs> you were talking about a relationship with the, the audience, you know, and right. Just, just giving them right. a What's my favorite color. Testing. Okay. Just, just making sure. It's a, so, um, almost like a Navy blue. Almost. But it seems like maybe a your, your relationship is, is a little different when it comes to, um, you know, you're very open that you are, funded by your audience, right? You And you've said many times that, uh, you know, you don't want sponsors, well, but you started Velcro talking wallet, today about how no sponsors will touch don't you, Don't give me right? money because, for because stuff of, uh, like that. Uh, for, for a number of different reasons, for your reputation, mm -hmm. right? Um, Bell which, for the what is it? which one is it? Would you rather have sponsors? What's wrong with having sponsors compared to, uh, like if, if a sponsor is gonna come and pay you $500 to talk about, you know, uh, whatever their product is, uh, wouldn't that be better than, than having to rely on crowdfunding or your audience on a day-to-day -day basis? Oh, you know, it's a double edged sword. It really is because I could say right now, if I had a bunch of sponsors on my stream, absolutely would things financially be better with the, would the pressure be taken off of me to earn on a stream? Yes, absolutely it would. Um, we'll make this weird. But at the same time, God damn it. And again, just this being is something real. that people will bring up that feels stubborn. You know, I agree. Um, I have always, always in the 15 years that I've made content, always been critical of people who shill and there's a difference between oh i have a sponsor today and i shill there is i know that you know you can watch people out there who they put out a 30 minute video and two minutes of the video is a plug Three i think snorts? that's we've had right? no but snorts then people who like they try it to has been an hour and 24 minutes and i don't think i've heard a single fucking snort the entire time nothing i don't know if he's doing mini snorts and then the mic just can't pick it up because he's leaning so far back because he's so uncomfortable I have seen no visible snorts. I have heard no visible snorts. There's no face touching. Nothing is going on. Not a single burp. Nothing. If he's if he's muting it, I'm just not seeing it. And that's what that's what it is. But he's being so subtle about it. Monetize everything they possibly could. Every aspect of what they do is a monetization. I wish you could do in like my this content all last the year, time. I watched someone who apparently is supposed to be doing a heartfelt message to, to about something going on. They're crying on stream, and on top of the stream, there's ads running. I'm like. You can't turn that off for five seconds to do your heartfelt message to your audience, right? Um, for me... Well, well, but, but hold on, hold on, Phil, because because there are times where you say, look, hey, I really need, I, you know, I'm in a really tough spot now. I got this coming up. And on this on the same screen, you have a you have a tip tracker. You know, it's, it's the same same type of thing. Like you're, you are, you're, you're tracking you. your revenue on, on the stream. You. I, I don't have any problem with that. That's done by millions of streamers. But but it's the idea of saying like, hey, I'm in a really tough spot right now. Uh, I really need you guys to help, help me out. And in your words, you know, I, I'm going to be eating, you know, uh, lunch meat sandwiches, right? Like, like, what's wrong with lunch meat sandwiches sometimes? There's nothing wrong with lunch meat sandwiches. I eat them a lot. <laughs> They're delicious. Um, no, I see what you're saying. For, for the tip tracker, that's really there for rewarding my audience. And I know that sounds weird. I, I would prefer not to track tips because if I didn't have to track tips, I wouldn't have to count all stream. I could just kind of <laughs> focus on what I'm doing with my audience. Um, <clears throat> but you know, uh, there's, there's incentives. There's rewards that they like, right they like certain things I do That's on stream. They've, they've come up with ideas, not me. They come up with the idea that if I raise a certain amount on a stream, I put on a stupid hat or a vest. They they donate hats and vests for me to wear on a stream to look like an idiot, and I'm okay looking like an idiot for them. I don't care. What do I? You know, I'm self-deprecating. Who gives a crap? You know, they're they're supporting me. It's a way to give back. Um, no, I hear what you're saying. The difference is, 
all right? There's a tracker on the screen. Okay, big deal. I'm not going to sit there and talk about it constantly. If you watch a four-hour stream I put out, yes, every once in a while, I'll tell, hey, guys, it'd be great when you get some more support on the stream or whatever today. And then we move on, right? And I'll hit it up upon it a few times during the stream. Some people say I hit upon it way too much. And I understand that. Everyone has different perspective on that. I agree that sometimes I do it too much. I'm trying to get better at that. Um, but there's a difference between that and you could tell that a stream is being done because someone is enjoying themselves and having a passion or someone turned on a stream today to make money. You know yeah. I mean? um, Which one is yours, Phil? Like the only reason that they're in it is that there's no passion. You know, they don't love what they're doing. It's because they saw dollar signs and they but want Phil, to monetize as much as It sounds like projecting right now. That's yeah, Phil, 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 Yes, Phil, you, it's projecting. You just, said, you just said a few minutes ago. It's projecting. I mean, it's man. You're, Bro, you just, you said it just a few it's projecting. Ago, the reason why you still do this is because you, you can make more money than a nine to five job, right? And, and half it's, of it, right. Mm -hmm. Right, so like that, that's a pretty big half, you know? And uh, I don't know, man, it just, it doesn't seem, it seems like when, when you're asking your audience for money consistently, look, Adam and I have both worked with people who, who like the worst thing you can do is 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 value is look at your audience as a dollar as a yes. dollar right and yeah. yes. and this is something that that I don't have a whole lot of you know I've left companies over this right um, and this is something that I I don't I don't agree with but I would say that when money comes in and you reach a goal let's say you reach a goal and you put on your vest or whatever how are you taking that money and are you are you reinvesting it into your content? Are you reinvesting it into cameras? Are you uh, doing special streams outside of no um, way outside of no way uh, just your day to day gameplay stuff? No what, way. What, what value are you adding by people? I, I mean, I get you have to pay bills. I get it, right? But what value are you adding to your to your audience's experience to further that meaningful None. relationship that you're, that you're offering? None. Um, yeah, we, we've had big goals. Like for example. Um, if we hit a monthly members goal on YouTube, if we hit a sub goal on Twitch, now instead of just doing our normal routine gameplay, I do an interactive event with the viewers where we'll talk for a series of weeks. What do you guys want to see? Do you want to see a big react event? Do you want to see a special party atmosphere? We just did one uh, a couple of weeks ago. It was a Super Bowl event. I never. What is what is a event. react event? What is what does that mean? Is it, it just you watching stuff or? It, well, react would be, for example, let's say there's a a, a long form documentary out there that people really want to see me react to. It's like two hours, right? But for me to react to it, it's going to take like three, four hours. Well, that's going to take a major chunk out of my, my normal schedule to do. You know, people also don't want to get backlogged on the games that I'm playing. But you hit that event. Now we're going to do special things. You know, this big react event. It's separate from all my other content. A lot of times it's high. Read the pin message or the rotating that message. That That'll do. answer your yes, question. Yes, some of that money gets reinvested. Uh, I have a series. I know this sounds stupid, but my fans love this. It's called Feasting with the King. Basically, I order a meal and I eat a meal with my audience. They think it's funny because they think it's funny to see me eat. I look stupid. They say I look like I'm... I'm in pain when I eat, they like making fun of me, right? When well, you say the still, king, you're still using the king moniker, I, I see. Right, uh, the king of hate. Not the well, king of hate. That's the thing. There's, it doesn't there's matter. You, you say the king, and you know that that's what it was. So people are gonna make that connection. You're 100 percent right. correct, and I need to, the thing is, I should, I do need to try to fully phase it out. Feasting with the king, <laughs> after the king, two adult shows or events that I do that have the king moniker. <laughs> them, that I probably should try to phase out or re rename. But when you have a sh things that have been running for so long, people actually have pushback. Like, don't change it. We love it. It's been like that for so long. Those are my those are my true fans saying that, not my haters, you know. But you're right. You're right. I agree there. Um, but anyway, no. Yes, I try my best to reinvest, you know. There was... How uh, is it? Well, well, like I just said, do it. Oh, I guess that was on their yeah, stream. I, I, I'm gonna so that doesn't cost any money, though, you know, doing another stream, reacting. Correct. That's just making more money. But correct. But then, you know, the, the ordering of a giant meal that normally I wouldn't order. You know, I'm talking ordering two entrees instead of getting DoorDash. It is their stream, right? Ordering of a giant meal that normally I wouldn't order. You know, I'm talking yeah, it is their stream. It's kind of like fucky on this part. Ordering two entrees instead of getting DoorDash. You're talking 50, 60 bucks in my pocket that I normally would not spend. You know, mm -hmm. it's not budgeted, but because, you know, we did a special event. And I know I hear what you're saying. What you're saying is if you have these goals every day, where's the money going? Would you really like to know? Yes. Really it's money? not, it's not, honestly, it's not that we are asking. It's that mm -hmm. you, I feel like the people out there that have been supporting you that now have turned against you because they feel you lied to them or uh, you saw them as dollar signs and that's all you that they were to you. It's like, I feel like they want to know most. Well, let, let, then let's talk about that. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that for a minute, right? Set it up. There was a, um, you know, you went through bankruptcy, right? Mm -hmm. And that's pretty public. You went through bankruptcy and there was this, um, the, the $5,000, um, you know, business expense thing has been talked about by your detractors quite a bit. They say, mm -hmm. what could you possibly be spending $5,000 on? Look, a month that you are a streamer who streams, you know, by your own schedule, you're, you're, you're active 12 hours a day doing this, right? And, uh, there's, and by your own you know, admission, you, you said like you didn't fix the set at all. It's been just a shoddy set for most of your de over a decade of, of doing this. Mm -hmm. Right. So 
there's there's this whole like what what do your business expenses look like i mean i've done this for a long time the business expenses are your initial cost of setting yeah, up King your Jan. camera your mm -hmm. lights and, and that's It'll about be it cool. and then after that it's if you want to dip your, you can dip. your cost Internet, is your time yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna make sure like i can't tell if it's their stream or not i really is your time right and uh so so walk me through what does that look like what is it specifically is it, you know there's this five thousand dollars okay okay we're gonna just let me let me make sure i'm gonna fucking refresh this just in case like something's weird and something's going it's five thousand dollar business expense every right. month so yeah we, was it like this on theirs it is their stream oh my god it's like it's bugging the shit out of me because i can't i can't not hear it and it's so lame it's, uh, it's oh, wow they got a lot of fucking uh views out of this 19k holy shit all right big ups it is their stream it was like this when i was live okay all right what what, what is this okay so first of all we're talking about things that came out publicly during a bankruptcy uh proceeding correct and i believe mm -hmm. that the five thousand dollar a month number came off of i i believe it's from my my a tax return is that correct that it was filed or, or, or you know the data i'm trying to remember exactly where it came from no um, you guys probably know more submission. than me because you've probably been inundated with this for two weeks while this is i don't far removed from this i want to hear it from you i, th I think again i'm just speculating <laughs> i think what happened was when i filed for bankruptcy a lot Adam's of like I, I don't know anything about it i want you to explain it you idiot information goes public <laughs> so they look at a public filing i guess there's certain information that's made public i don't think it's all your tax returns i think it's like one year's worth or something um and I guess there was a number that was thrown out there that it looks like Phil does, spends five thousand dollars a month on business expenses. You guys now, Google. Number one, I don't do my own taxes. I have a tax guy to do. I pay him to do it. Okay. Well, here's what I can yeah, tell and you. Yes, right? I and do. I, I'll I be right now I'm working on it right now for this year. <clears throat> what are considered expenses that a tax attorney wants to know you're spending every month? Yeah. Geez. Um, your mortgage. Because if you work from home, I guess that's part of it. I don't know. Again, I'm not a tax guy. But I don't you know. Your mortgage. Um all of your utility bills that apply to you operating well, the business well, hold, hold on phil phil you've been doing this for 17 years and you don't know what your business expenses are you don't know what you get tax write-offs on and stuff i mean like wait I, uh, specifically uh, no i don't i i give it all i pay a lot of money to a tax guy i have a giant you know spreadsheet of data that i provide they work it out because every year it's different you know i get to feel the tax loss chains and stuff and they figure it out i give them all the data in fact just got an email from a tax guy. Yo, like, we still need this data for you for this year's tax filings. We need his chat How was. You pay for utilities. Their what, chat was like nuts this during what's this, what's this need point. All that information. And I got to get them to, and then they do it. So, what you're, what here's the thing. Right. Do you? <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm really tempted on putting up their chat because it was just flying. Mudahar was in there, fucking just going off on him. You can only use a percent of your mortgage, not the whole thing. Mudahar is in there. <laughs> do it all right cool uh shit where do we want to put this chat that was awesome oh shit i can't fuck no i probably could it's like a really really dumb way to do this oh my god okay 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 i think i know how to do this but it's gonna be really fucking stupid and i don't like this idea at all uh what's this one what filters do I have on this? Color key. Okay, we just need the color key. So we take. My God. Okay, we'll just take a a thing, and we'll activate it. Not that. That no, we need that. We don't need that. Fuck. We'll just do a uh, a window capture. We'll call this uh, other chat. <laughs> All right, we'll call it other chat, and we'll take that. That'll that'll be the window. That'll be okay. Uh, we'll get rid of that. We'll do this. We'll put a filter on it really quick, like so. Copy. That did not work because I did not copy it. Hold up, guys. Give me a second. I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking manhandle this. I'm gonna finagle it. Right, take that. Do this. Then take only the chat portion. Take all of this down. Oh my god! This is so this is so stupid. Not even gonna get it. Well, actually, we'll get it. The kind of. We're just gonna have to put it somewhere. 
Okay, we're gonna shrink it down a little bit more and do it like this. And then we'll take our chat and we'll it'll be like this. I think this will work. This is this kind of works out. I don't like how that's done it though. Perfect. Alright, and then we can blow it up a little bit. There. All right, we can have their chat on as well. This uh, does this work for you guys? Is this okay? Is this overwhelming? Way too small, bro. How big do you want it? The the problem I'm gonna have is like, no matter what, it's gonna be like, it's gonna be like that. Enhance. But you guys are asking for too much. We're gonna we're gonna keep it. We're gonna keep it. Let me see. I can shrink it. I can just remove their profile pictures. That way we can just see it like this. And then this will kind of blow up a little bit more. There we go. It's perfect. It's not perfect. It's fine. It'll have to work, guys. That way you can see the speed in which it was going. Right. Everyone, what, we're really going to get to the meat of it is this stupid WWE champions bullshit, which I can't we'll, 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 we'll get to that, but I, but I want to I stay on this for a minute. I want to stay on this for a minute. Like, just once again, walk me walk me through this because, like, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to put myself in your shoes and I'm trying to, trying to think Craig, through. While you're, that. while you're uh, piecing it together, you know, building that up, I just want to remind you, uh, Phil, like, mm -hmm. you, you said at the beginning of this stream, you want this to be where people can go to finally, like, Oh, you just go watch that video, right? Yes. I don't, I don't have to say it anymore. So, Correct. like this, you, you said, like, what do we want to know? This isn't for us. This is for the people out there that are like, what about the five thousand dollars a month? You sure. know, so you know, what about WWE Chan, which we'll get into. Like, what about these things? So it's like, you're, this is your chance to now say, all right, it was the freaking business expenses, of whatever. I mean, it was mm -hmm. the mortgage, it was this. I don't know if, mm -hmm. if that's actually considered a tax write-off. I, I don't, I don't want you to get in trouble, but I don't know. It just feels no. I see. That's the thing. Uh, again. When I went to that bankruptcy, oh my god, uh, that was the person who the is messaging me. Can you DM attorney, me really quick on me, uh, my, attorney, I my bankruptcy on attorney Discord had no idea what so they I can were confirm into with me being a public persona, and there were things you can do, I guess, to protect from online harassment, which they did. That I way I know because I need to be a hundred percent sure. And so when all that went public, that was the the most drama filled bankruptcy hearing ever. The judge was inundated with thousands of messages. Thank you. From haters about Appreciate stuff. it. But anyway, let me answer the question first, and then we can get to anything you want to talk about there. I would assume that that the, the expenses are including everything that I do. Okay, that's that's related to the business, and that could include mortgage, any insurance that I'm paying that relates to the business. Um, well, why is that health insurance hot? and or medical I don't even costs? Care about that. Um, legal costs, and that, what I'm talking about is my tax attorney, but also other attorney and things that I've been involved in over the years, which. Maybe we will get into that today, or maybe we won't. I don't actually. I really can't talk too much about certain things. We'll get to that about identity theft and stuff. I know it's the first time I ever mentioned that, you guys. So love you too. Um, among other things, you know, all, all the normal things in a month. Well, you know, like utilities and all of that. It adds it up. Here it is. Here's my tax return. All of a sudden, I'm being accused that that was a lie or something. All right. Here's what I can say. Because I'm not going to sit here and go back to a 2010 tax return and say, here's what my accountant said or whatever. Right. This is from 2010. This five thousand dollars a month. Oh, excuse me. I'm not, I, I say 2010. I meant 2020. That's totally my fault. I meant 2020. It's this was my bankruptcy was 2020. So I believe I think the tax return that must be referenced is like 2019, something like that. Okay. Um, here's what I know. Because of the amount of trolling Don't clip that happened it. to me, this judge that was involved in the bankruptcy hearing was attacked online with so much shit. I had to go into meeting after meeting with both my bankruptcy attorney and this judge. Hours of work. We went through line item by line item. Yeah, the all identity of my theft expenses. lie is just so ridiculous. I have explained to a judge who has no idea what live streaming is. Don't the post entire it. concept of being a live streamer. Don't post and it, Word every dogs. single expense and line item and, and rationalizing what it was to my business. This is this, this is this, right? You know, and it, it took so much work. At the end of the day, after all that extra work and time and money that had to be put into my bankruptcy, it went through. The judge understood. I showed them everything. If anything, if anyone should see line item by line item what my business expenses are, should probably be the judge who's going to make a ruling on if I should be granted bankruptcy or not, right? That's the government, a government representative, correct? They saw it all. They went through all of it. And at the end of the day, they said, this all makes sense. Approved. Well, so, so, it, but in the vast majority of time, winners in bankruptcy experience. Mudahar said it best. He's dodging the fucking expenses because he's not listing out any of the expenses. He's just saying the judge looked at it and approved the $5,000. Bro, what are the $5,000? Because I don't see it like some sort of relief, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever the debt is that you were paying, it's gone, right? 
So why do you feel so? Why do you have to go back to the well, going back to your audience, um, and and ask your audience to to crowdfund your, your content mm -hmm. uh, when you claim and, and you you know you still say that nothing has really changed financially for you? Great question. Thank you for asking it because this is one of the ones I get hit with every day. Um, we just talked about 2021 and what happened with Twitch. Okay, so the bankruptcy goes through around mid to late 2020. I'm relieved of all this you know, revolving debt that I had in my name. But there's still debt that remains. There's still my mortgage. There's still my car payment. There's still taxes. And taxes is a big thing because for years there, I was not able to pay my federal taxes properly. And well, it came back you, to you, you, you couldn't pay them or you didn't prepare to pay them properly. There's a difference. Because I thought you hold on. I thought you said that you paid a guy to do your taxes. I do. Correct. To file the taxes. Because because <laughs> I think <laughs> the one thing that people need to understand. Adam, it's like, wait a minute. No, it's, hold on. Something right. Is that you are acting as an independent contractor Adam's confused. with YouTube and Twitch. Adam and got whoever, hit with right? confusion. So when you're paid, when, <laughs> when somebody gives you a dollar super chat, YouTube takes 30% of that, right? And that, so you get 70%. That 70% then needs to be taxed by by uh, Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam comes in and they take however much of that. So, so you, you know, by the end of it, you could be getting anywhere between 50 cents of that or or 35 cents of that, depending on what your revenue is for the year, you know, and, and you're the tax brackets here. It sounds like, bill that that you didn't necessarily plan accordingly for that and you didn't save your money to ultimately pay and if you if you have a tax person to do this a cpa which is for any online creator that's like the number one expense is is having a cpa to do your taxes that's the number one thing because oh, yeah. going through and you know that's that's extremely important but your tax like has your tax person ever ever came to you and said hey, you should probably prepay your taxes. You should be paying quarterly instead of having one big lump sum at the end of the year. Ooh. Because it, that just seems, it seems really irresponsible for somebody who who works online and has done so for 17 years to have a tax person who hasn't suggested that and no, haven't no, had no, you no. prepaid. Do not please, that, that my tax guy is great. You okay. Know, he, 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 you know, I have an well, estimate of what I should be paying, not even quarterly, monthly. Like basically, can I make this monthly payment? And some months I can easily make it no problem and other months I can't, I have to pay less depending but, on the income that I made that month. But that income is based off of your tax for that month is based and your quarter and your year is based off of the revenue that you're making that month. So if you make $10,000 that month, then then you're going to be, you know, then you prepay whatever $2,000 in taxes, three, whatever, however much it is, right? So the money is already in your account. So why why would you have trouble spending? Why would you have trouble with that? I'm, I'm, I'm really having a hard time following this because sure. if you have the money, it's either being spent before it's time to pay taxes or or I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know. Please walk me through it. Whew, okay. So I have two revenue streams. One revenue stream is very much daily income that I get from my viewers, meaning like <laughs> tips, let's say. Okay, on edge, yeah, on I'm, I'm kind of on edge. Revenue stream I'm, is I'm the like, other income that I get from YouTube. That's ad revenue. I got my chat, hand on my like all of that. my okay. uh, face. Daily I get tips, and I'm like, oh and shit. And that essentially this is the money that I'm using day to day to uh, pay pay some bills, go grocery shopping. There's a really specific uh, meme face I'm doing right now. It's very uh, all that kind of stuff. Specific. The YouTube money that comes in behind the scenes. Is what I use to do all my ongoing recurring payments, my mortgage, my car, uh, you know, health insurance payment, or whatever. What's ha here's what's happened, okay? The bankruptcy happens. Great. End of 2020, things are looking up. I'm actually getting more popular on Twitch. I'm starting to make good money. I announced to my audience in early 2021, hey guys, guess what? There's a light at the end of the tunnel. You guys are supporting me so much. The bankruptcy went through. It's looking like if we keep this going this year, not only for the first year in many years, because now the bankruptcy is over with, now I can pay all my taxes properly for the first time in a long time. Because, you know, my problem is you have that much debt and everything. You can't, you know, I, I couldn't do it. It was my fault. I was in financial ruin. All right, 2021, things are looking up. And then what happens? They get me kicked out of the Twitch partner program. They shut down other revenue streams for me that I can't really talk about. And later on that year, identity theft, which we might or might not get to today. I don't know if we're talking hey, about it that. Is, it is one. a cyber leak. I really want to talk about it. it, it, we'll, it we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. It cost me we'll so there. much money to fix the identity theft thing. So now I went from I'm good to, oh, I immediately have lost a revenue stream from Twitch. I have to go to YouTube. I'm making way less money on YouTube now than I was on Twitch. All that money that was going to make everything even, I'm good to go now, is gone again. I'm and way reduced income again. dodging this so you're question right. so hard. Just, now, what, nothing else adjusted. My mortgage still exists. My car still exists. All those regular expenses still exist. And now I'm making way less. So it, it, here, this is a running pattern, and I hate this shit. Every time in life I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens and screws me over. I'm serious. It's, a, it's like a comedy of errors. It's but once again, once again, Phil, it, then then why not remove all that shit and just do something different? I'm not I'm not telling you what to do, but like mm -hmm. if if there's if you keep running in if if you keep running into a wall, eventually you need to take a second to a different direction, right? And and like I I love that you love what you're doing right now, but if you're still struggling with this so immensely, 
at, at a certain point, don't you need to like self-reflect and say like, look, man, I'm running into this wall fucking five times. It's I, I should probably not be doing this or change my approach. Yeah, to it. Craig is about to lose it. I hear you. And like I said, I had that conversation with my mom in 2019. Um, about changing it and you know not be beholden to people do something different with my life but you um, don't I mean, want yeah, to commit to it a major, major factor is money have to be honest here right that's what this is about i'm going to be transparent major uh, factor I mean, it sounds like it is the factor i mean it's not it's not yes. like you, you're just spending the money as it coming in instead of saving and preparing for the next month yes. where it might not be as profitable so that you could be like i already I, i'm saving maybe i'm not going to buy that new game maybe I, even though it's probably a write-off because you're doing it for a business it doesn't matter right uh, you know it seems like you just got to start saving money maybe be a little smarter for the future i mean i'm not trying to like lecture you oh my no, you're god right. you're it right. seems like you i'm telling you i'm telling you what saves it craig is doing an okay job like i i can't even give him shit for this he's he's asking follow-up questions but god damn do i love adam right now adam i'm telling you is the only real big reason why you're having all of the pushback because craig is doing the follow-ups but Adam is doing all the pushback that needs to happen. It has to happen. Oh my God. This is why I told you as long as Adam's allowed to be on, you have a shred of hope that this can be fixed. I've been saying this over and over and over again. And yeah, he does look scared. Cause he's like, he, he got caught out. He doesn't know what he's supposed to answer now. seems like you need it. So yeah, I need uh, what I need. I've, I've said this before. I'll just, just say that. Sure. Phil. I need like a year and here's what i mean by that i need one year to to, to make content and not have my trolls fuck with my income it's they, never gonna I, happen i agree never. with you i now agree with you i know that now but that's what's happened is every time something happens that screws my income again well wait oh, here we go i worked my ass off i changed who i am i'm a different kind of content creator all the things that they had issue with with me this is why they do it to me right there we don't like phil for this 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 okay i'll change all of that nope still do it anyway ruin his income so why no. change why change what's the point yeah. it's not doing anything yeah. Why, why wouldn't you just stay the person that you were and that you you or you are or whatever instead of like trying to like adhere to people on the internet because the exactly people on the, internet are gonna hate, the haters are gonna hate like who fucking mm -hmm. cares so what's what's the point you're doing well, it for nothing I agree, exactly I what you're saying at the same time i feel like that a lot of the changes have been very productive i, I like like i said now why I even I bother i didn't before i do now i actually genuinely wanted to be here every day with my audience it's fun i wake up in the morning energized ready to go i used to wake up in the morning like oh, i gotta go play games and film again that was a horrible mentality. who wants you know it's, i treated it like any other job this now i love it for the last four or five years but um i hear you um but yeah if i were to quit youtube let's um, say right now and, cold turkey um, i quit youtube i can't find a job out there that's gonna pay what i'm doing now you know, in, in addition to that, there's always the factor that I've been out of the job market for a decade. Who's going to hire a 40 year old guy that hasn't done anything besides, you know, operate an online streaming business for 10 years? Nobody, ago? nobody with that attitude, though, you know, exactly. So, you know, it seems like you're you're already defeated, not even worth worth trying. So, so you're putting yourself in this hamster wheel that Craig was mentioning earlier. It's just like I, there's no option. This is it. So I have to grind. I have to do this. And like that sounds miserable to me, even though you're, you say you're having fun. It seems like you're just trying to convince yourself that instead of actually it is. It might be true. It might be true. But two th these two things could be true also. I'm, I'm just pointing that out, what I'm seeing. And I'd I just like to kind of continue on with that, right? The idea of like, uh... do, you, do you have a business plan? Do you have what it looks like in what your business looks like in a month from now? Do you have a business plan for a year from now? Nope. Um, you have a tax guy who runs your numbers, but are you are you saving money? Because it, it doesn't sound like you are because just based off what you're saying. And it, mm -hmm. it very much sounds like you're going to be doing this when you're 60. Right. And if you know, and if you want to be doing it when you're 60, that's fine, but, but this doesn't seem very forward thinking, you know, when you seem like you're, you're living day to day as opposed to mm -hmm. thinking about long term. Um, and, you know, dude, you're 40 years old. And at a certain point, you got to look at things and say, like, well, do I want to be doing that? Like, will I ever have enough money to retire? Will I ever have enough money to to not do this? You know, so so walk me through that. Walk us through that. The idea of like, do you I mean, and it's OK to say you don't have a business plan. It's OK. It's like. We're putting it all on the table here, Phil. And if you don't, that's mm -hmm. fine. Uh, just kind of walk me through it, man. Uh, currently, do I have a business plan? No. Have I had business plans in the past? Yes. And no, no, that, that's not the answer. That's not. Do you have a business plan? No. But in the past, I had them. Well, what, what the fuck were the business plans? Keep doing this? Every single one of them has been destroyed by my income over and over. You know, you have a plan, a long-term plan. You have to know at least what the stability is going to be today and depend on a little <laughs> bit of that echoes drop. And it sucks. Like, like Adam said, over there. YouTube, Twitch, any kind of online <laughs> is a constantly fluctuating thing. Tomorrow, everything could be turned off for all of us. We can't even stream, right? We all do law. This is we can't do it anymore, in which case then I guess I am bone and I got to go out there and get a, a, an offline job, right? Um, but I, how can I lay out a business plan when every month is different? 
when it looks like there's consistency. Exactly, should I series? The 10 year plan was a business plan. And he even admits over and over again, I worked it out with my mom. We were going to fucking do something. I was going to have to change. I was going to have to make different content, blah, 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 blah. And he never mentions the 10 year plan. I wonder if, I wonder if they ever bring it up. But DSP has referenced his mom over and over and over again, talking it out. Well, what the fuck did you do with your mom? Just eat her pierogies and say, okay, man, thanks for the money. Dude, she's like, you got to get a job. She said, you got to get a job. Everybody's been telling me he needs to get a job. His fucking fans have been telling me he needs to get a job. And now these random ass people, one of which he worked with and another person that's just an innocent bystander on the internet who has made a successful career compared to Phil is telling him, yeah, maybe you should consider getting a job to my life oh here's what i'm making every month that's again that's exactly what was happening in 2021 there was a series of months like the first three months and four months of the year things were going great i had a business plan here's what i want to do let's do this for a certain amount of years let's expand let's improve the setup can't even let's say what it is. let's do this he can't even say what that business plan is because he knows it's fucking made up dsp has never had a business plan other than let's just keep it going let's keep the gravy train going if i continue streaming for another 10 years maybe i can make it well i mean he's making it He's surviving, but how many more years can we continue with this dumbass business plan that doesn't exist? Because let's be real, the business plan has always just been, let's keep doing the same and hopefully it'll work out. And then if it keeps going, you get to the next stage of the business plan, right? And what happens? I lose my partnership, identity theft, income's destroyed. Now what do I do? Business plan's gone. So how can I set a plan when these people won't allow me to even You've have never had a plan. Months you know what you do? Stuff that they're doing. You make another business plan. Yeah. You move forward. That Thank you. Adam with the actual sensible reason. How can I have a business plan if they keep destroying everything? Bro, make another plan. Make another fucking plan. That's what you do. Like any, any, I mean, I don't. What choice do you have? Right. The, the only choice is to make a new one and continue moving forward. I right? agree. Like, I, I will not be beaten by these people. The, you know, it's not, it's, what you well, just said sounded like you you were. You were. Oh, no, you have been over not. and over again. One of the I'm, I'm letting things... you know. I'm letting you know what you just like the, what you had just finished with. Mm -hmm. You know, I had a business. He asked what your business plan is. He was like, I had a business plan, but they kept shitting all over it. Like that was your response instead of this is my business plan, mm -hmm. right? You didn't you didn't you don't have a, a future vision. That's I think that's what. Oh, Craig I was do. Going okay, for. okay. I spoke. I do have a future vision. The problem is if I fully explain it, they're gonna try to ruin it. What? What? Excuse me. If I reveal my future plan, they're going to ruin it. Bro, how? Your future plan is to keep doing this. What did it say? Exactly. What a fucking insane answer. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. I should have said that. I, I'm sorry about that. Like, do I have an idea of what I'd like to do? Yes. I know exactly. Actually, I have steps in place to know exactly what I can do to try to fix my situation. I don't want to listen. Good. I don't want to be here on stream every day saying to people, toss me a few bucks. Oh my God, that's the worst feeling every time I effing do it. I don't want to say, hey, tip me, do this, do that. That's obnoxious. I just want to play games and chill with my audience. And this is the funny part that my detractors will never mention. Before wow. my income. It took them that long to fucking do this? All these different times by them and uh, by my choices. It's not just them, it's it. also my bad choices that did this. I never had any kind of crowdfunding. It was always just Phil's making a living on YouTube via ad revenue. I had no sponsor. That's super chat. Phil doesn't know how to save a dime. Also, he starts work at 11 a.m. Most of it, most of us work out, have a part, or appointments before uh, work at 8 or 9 a.m. Because that is life. Phil is a child who never wants to grow up, which is correct. DSP is a perpetual, eternal child who has re absolutely refused to grow up. The dude is 41 years old and acts like he's fucking four. I didn't take any money, extra money from anywhere. I wasn't asking my fans for crowdfunding. Everyone else was. I wasn't doing it. It wasn't until the revenue started to get hurt by that that I decided to do crowdfunding because everyone told me to do it, right? Now, my income's ruined over and over by these people. And what's their number one critique of me? You beg too much. I wouldn't beg if you didn't keep messing with my income. I, the only reason I have to do it weird. is keep ruining my, my financial income. You keep ruining it for me. So beg how begging. can I have... Go ahead. Sorry, I'm sorry, Phil. Begging, begging for money is never a good look for anyone. Completely anyone. agree. Completely agree. I can't, I can't dispute it. Well, it's indisputable. Th okay, then, then, look. We all, we all established. Look, the idea of like going on stream and saying, "I really need help for these taxes. I really need help for whatever. I got a big thing coming up." Um, Trav, can you please kill it with the, uh, with the chats, please? Um, the, the biggest thing, and people asking, "Is this live?" Yes, this is live, right? Of course, it's live. <laughs> um, 
the, the, the you had an opportunity with with Keemstar and Drama Alert to go on to go on there for uh, was it fifty thousand dollars was being offered to you to, to go on this podcast, right? Fifty. He's agreeing. He's agreeing. Why not? He's agreeing with it. By the way, he's agreeing. He's like, yep, yep, fifty thousand, fifty thousand, yep. Fifty thousand. Do that. He's not like, that's, that's a that's a giant amount of money. And yes, there's taxes attached to that. It's, after it's all said and done, it's probably thirty k, right? But why not just say, okay, I'll take your money and I'll spend a couple hours on your podcast, uh, and it, that would clear up so much of your financial burden. Mm -hmm. Okay, Keemstar story. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> but, just, but just answer that question. Look I at him. Hear look story. at him. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> fucking Craig's like, I don't want to hear the fucking story. Don't give me the goddamn story. Give me the answer. I just want to know, like, why would you not take 50K? <laughs> because that's not what happened. You, you've been told a story that's not true. I have to tell you what actually okay. happened. Please. So Wait. So this is the reason why Keemstar jumped on. Because DSP was going to tell a lie. And he went on to clear the fucking record. Oh, that's why. That's why DSP was actually fucking mad. It wasn't the fact that Keemstar was there. Keemstar told, just went in to clear the record. Oh, okay, okay. So, there's a history with Team Star where, you know, over the years, this guy's a horrible reputation on YouTube. You know, everyone knows it. I'm not going to crap on the guy here, but everyone just go look on YouTube. You'll He's find out crap all about on him, him right the now. He's people and things over the internet. Um, I've had a little bit. bit of history with him, a little bit, but not a lot, you know. Um, and basically, he had been pretty nasty to me a few times with tweets and things like that. I just, what it is is people will ask me something on a stream. What do you think of Keemstar? And I'll be like, you know, it's not just Keemstar. It's a lot of guys. I don't like these drama YouTubers. I call them misery brokers. Okay? Mm -hmm. What they do is if you have a bad day, they're having a good one because you had a bad day. What kind of content is that? To, my, to me, I feel that's the worst kind of content. You're benefiting from someone else's Everybody's like, fast forward, get him out of here. definitely one of those people in my eyes. You can disagree. That's okay. That's what I think of the guy, okay? So I, I said this one day, casually, he starts insulting me and everything on the internet. So we have a little bit of bad blood there, okay? All of a sudden, earlier, it was last year, okay? Unbeknownst to me, Oh yeah, that's telling, right. Team Star is trying to that's right, Expand you. Dog. What? Technically, even about? step forward with the offer. Public, Craig knows. Craig emailed me. Even I though email. he wouldn't answer the call. Contact me. Let's talk. Let's figure out. You know, it's a business relationship. No email. Nothing. Okay. He is. He's sitting on his Twitter and he's making public tweets. Twitter. Someone tell Darkside Phil I want to talk on to him right now. Twitter. Contact him. Tell him I need to talk to him. There's fifty thousand dollars on the table and he needs to contact me right now. Is that first of all? Is that how you start a business relationship? Is you scream on your Twitter to have someone come talk to you? If he has something to offer me, should he not? contact me bro did you not do the very exact same shit for every time you needed money for every time that you wanted a fucking interview for any time you wanted any kind of response to anything from like burger king you literally jump on you hop on twitter to complain about a goddamn sandwich the corporate for a franchise store i don't want to hear this whole well do you do you, do you hop on twitter to start a conversation Bro, do we hop on via email to start a conversation? That's kind of lame too. Oh my god! So I only well, know about this because people come to my stream to tell me. Look, Craig's okay. fucking so, done so with it. So to answer your question, I think that in, in a traditional environment, no, that's not how you start a start a relationship. Uh, when you deal in the space that Keemstar does and kind of the drama, like look at me space, um, yes, that is how you would start it because it, you throw out fifty thousand dollars on Twitter, people go, whoa, you know, yeah, I, you know, I want to want to get get this attached, so. Um, is traditionally no, but we're not dealing with Coca Cola. We're dealing with Keemstar, right? And that's yes! what he does for a living. So exactly he wants to put eyes on his product and drive mm -hmm. interest. So I, I'm I not say, dealing with a traditional yeah, sponsor right in in his world and in his interest. It's the okay. same thing as the people making a. This is how you not don't play a video game. It's the same shit. They're using your, I don't know, for lack of a better word, clout, to make content, and it works. So Keem did it, and you know you're you're doing that same thing. You're bitter that he's not approaching you respectfully. You know, you, you if he actually wants to get you on his stream or whatnot, he maybe should have reached out to you. But, you know, he's he's basically using you. It's like the right Correct. thing would be is to use him back. Exactly. Right. And if there's, if there's, right. And if there's 50 grand on the table, what better way? There's no way he's going to make 50 grand back off of an interview with you. Like, why? Why don't you? Why don't just take it, cash the check and then you're golden? Yeah. Okay. Or even, even, even yeah. if it's 10 grand, even if it's five grand, even if it's a thousand dollars, like, mm -hmm. why not just be like, yeah, I'll take it. Sure. Okay, let's continue because that's this isn't what happened actually. There's, Please, it wasn't it wasn't an interview. I'll, so I'll, explain I'll, that part because uh, you know there's I, I just want to know about that. Like you said that that's not what happened. So what did happen? Correct. So eventually I had to DM him on Twitter to even get his attention because he wouldn't contact me. You know I learned it from drama on my stream. Everyone's drawn up drama on my stream. He wants to talk to you. So I DM him, and he's like, "Call me right now." I, was, I can't. You know 
just tell me what is this about? You know, I'm streaming. I'm busy. Just let me know what this is about. You did do it on so a stream. I, I, I'm serious. I had to go back and forth with this guy so many times for him to just tell me in a DM. What I'm interested in is I want to do a show with you. I want you to host a show. This was not an interview for two hours. This was some kind of like an a big project he wanted to be involved in. I don't know exactly what. Let me explain. So he says, well, I don't want to talk about it in a DM. We got to have a phone call. I'm like, okay, that's reasonable, right? Let's have a phone call. Here's my number. Here's when to call me. I, I'm available at these times of the day, okay? I wait. The call never comes. It's been like two days. The call never comes. Maybe he's not serious about it. I don't know. I don't know what's going on in this guy's head. Yo, All of a sudden, I'm on streams. He the starts calling fucking me I'm rewrites. On I'm like, is he, I, you know, I don't know what's going on again. So I DM him after the fact. I'm like, hey, you want to? So basically, it's like, it's like stupid telephone phone tag. The guy won't even contact me to talk about what he wants to offer me when I'm available, right? So at that point, I'm like, let me figure out what this is and i talked to my wife about it and we sat down and i was like sounds to me like he wants me involved in the project i don't know what it is and my wife says you know you know about him right I was like, of course i know about him you know everyone knows about keemstar and we talked about it seriously and we're like you know right now fifty thousand dollars if this was real would be hugely helpful for us it would put us you know back you know jump ahead to square almost square one i would say um with all the things that are going on financially behind the scenes and, this fucking you know, liar day, you got to do what's best for you, you yeah gotta do best for business you got to do what's best for Okay, I'm going to assume that when Keemstar comes in, he's going to dispel all the retcon. But, bro, DSP was constantly complaining. You need to email me. I don't want a phone call. You need to email me. I'm busy at all times of the day. I hope Keemstar comes in and is like, bro, you told me to email you, and I said that was dumb as hell. Holy shit. Everything. Everyone's good interest. And... If this were someone who I felt had like my that is true, he had to unblock him to talk possibly, to him in the first um, place. Was not had the history that he has. I probably would have done it, you know. But this is a guy who has a history of online. He gets you involved in something, and then everything he does is for his own personal gain, and it doesn't matter how much he hurts you, as long as he's still benefiting from it. Okay? There was no offer to me of being on an interview for fifty thousand dollars. That's a lot. All right, we're gonna get right. there. So, no okay, spoilers. I'm gonna right, just, just for if it sounds like there's miscommunication here. Yes. Right. If if we were to get Keemstar on the show right now and kind of kind of walk through this, because I, I'm I'm very intrigued by this, right? I want to know more about this project. Would you be open to that? Absolutely not. Not after all the stuff that happened after that. Okay, so 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 you you would not be open to talking to him right now. I wow. never do business with Keemstar. Not after okay. the things I now know wow. about the things he said and done. Absolutely not. Yo, he's okay. running. Okay. Then I will delete my tweet that I was about to send asking Keemstar to come on the show. <laughs> I, I, I didn't send a tweet out to see, you know, as I was going to. Um, Here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. You could say there, it's a difference between short term gain and long, long view, right? I feel like having any association with that guy in the long term is just going to hurt rather than help. Exactly. Like he never did a follow more, up. More trolls, call. more toxicity. He wasn't, me, he wasn't uh, serious about it. He didn't want I've it. I've seen this guy's, I've seen documentaries on this guy. It's factual evidence that he. I don't, I don't, I don't want to worry about, I don't want to talk about Keemstar. Um, yeah, yeah, but, but, I, 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 I want to say you should use that mentality towards money. It seems like, you know, you're, you're holding him on, on that, but instead in your own world, I'm, I'm just saying, it's just going to help you out. I, I feel weird because it feels like I'm like lecturing you, but I, I'm just like, I'm the type of person, I, my friends call me an honest asshole and I'm mm -hmm. cool with it. Like, I don't mind. I'm, I'm brunt. I, I'm freaking vicious sometimes. And, uh, it just, just seems, you know, you're being really raw here and, and honestly props to that. So. Yeah, um, major props for sure. I just, that's just, oh, just, just so who I am. So I just. Uh, that's where uh, they all got the meme just to say, oh, man, you did a good job, Bill. Good job, ass pads. Because he was like, yeah, man, they were complimenting me and everything. Just feels like. No, I take no that. offense from anything, and I, I appreciate all of the input. I really do. Having conversations like this can only help. Well, so so how do you square the idea of not not taking Keemstar's money? but taking it from your from your audience who you may not know maybe they're slinging crack maybe your audience you know you don't know where the money's coming from right and they may be getting it morally in a, in a you know in a way that you may not agree with morally um how how do you square yourself with that you know maybe maybe that i think everybody you know, if you have a sizable audience online you, you deal with people who are favorable people and you also have some unfavorable people in your audience right um and they may get money from other ways so how, how do you square that in in your brain with uh you know keemstar versus oh, unknown yeah. money I don't equate the two. Like, Keemstar money is, I'm taking money for a direct project that apparently is going to be a long-term business relationship with this guy. I'm associating myself with a guy who I don't respect, don't like the content he puts on the internet, versus people who watch me, like who I am, like what I stand for, want to support that effort to keep it going. You know, my crowdfunders are the people who let me allow me to do this for a living 15 years later. I'm a small-time guy, but I can still make a living doing it while others of my size can't because I have the amount of support that I get, and I appreciate that so much. They know that. I tell them every day, thank you so much for allowing me to keep doing what I feel is meaningful for you guys and what you tell me is meaningful every day. Um, but here's the thing, and this is an interesting point. 
<clears throat> as a, someone who's crowdfunded, mostly, you know, it's mostly income coming in from streams, ad revenue from people watching ads, all of that. This is a question for you guys, too, I guess. This is interesting. Sure. Can, or can you be held accountable for your viewership, correct? Like, for example, right now, the G2s. Mm -hmm. I, I hope that they're all upstanding individuals, right? You always want that, but you don't like know what they're so. all doing, right? Sure. You don't, you, do you micromanage your G2s and say, well, you know, there's someone who's nice on my stream and they come by every day. And I just found out, I went to their Twitter to find out that they're a horrible person. They say racist things on their Twitter all the time. But the headphones like throw but me If off someone too. came to you and said that, would you say, oh, I got to ban them from my community now because they say things on their own personal Twitter? No, that's censorship. I don't yeah, that's censorship. And I, I don't agree with that either. But I, I do think that it starts and stops with expectations, right? Your expectations and it starts with, with leadership, right? Whether you like it or not, I think that you Yo, are the leader of your community. His you entire are chat just and lighting up with Derek. Act, how somebody should uh, interact with other people in it's your chat. Derek. And how you are the, the flag bearer of how, uh, what the community should be like, right? So uh, I think ultimately your community emulates the hosts. And um, that, be that being said, I do, I do say I, I absolutely yeah, I love understand. That not wanting to go in, into business with someone that you don't respect. Uh, yes. I, I per personally know um, many different people that are very successful that I don't respect. And I'm like, I couldn't be happier not working with them. Right? Exactly. I mean, the right. That is exactly real ones to know. there. With yeah, I, I mean, I get that. Drama I get that. alert, I tweeted. So, <laughs> so we'll, we'll, let's, let's kind of, okay, let's, let's kind of dig into this a little he bit. Saw right? it. So he saw it. where's the line, right? When you, when you have, let's just say you have a community member that you know, you know via their Twitter, let's just say they are, yeah, that was coke, a Tim Pool right? segment. They're selling illegal drugs, whatever. Don't you want to be like, hey man, like I'm not I'm not into that. This is why I, I preface the very start of the stream with the Adam clip about him talking about Tim Pool. Because I knew from that moment and him being on here, because he's also on uh Nerdrotics podcast too. So he tangentially knows about Phil in, in certain ways. He has resources that can tell him whether or not this is bullshit or not. So there's a lot of people that have told him a lot of things, but I know that Adam, like he knows what bullshit is and he knows when people are being money grubbing assholes and he knows DSP is like showing off way too many signs of being a money grubbing asshole. So that's that again, that's why I said that there was no way this was going to work unless he was there. It, it just, he had to be on here. Like there's visual evidence of them doing something bad or, or at least alluding to something negative, something that would be uh, shunned. Uh, in a normal society, right? But you you know they're a part of your community. Um, I, you know, and once again, they're coming into their community, potentially, uh, you know, potentially bleeding that into the community. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't think you censor them, but maybe have a conversation about it. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. It, it's, it's, it's a line of, is it influencing you and your content in your community or not? So I think, I think we're going towards a certain topic. I don't know if there's a particular person you may be referencing, Craig. Uh, I, I don't. I'm, I'm not going to reference any specific. Community uh, he members. knows nothing that's not about what this, Adam. This, this is not about. That's this is not was, about you know specific community good, members. We're here to a talk good to you. Call. Okay. I, I do. I do. I, I want to actually address something real quick. Um, so Kim, Kim actually just tweeted and, and uh, responded to what you just said, and I, I want to hear your thoughts on it. I'm going sure. to read his tweet. Uh, Kim, he said, "DSP is lying in this live interview. I called Phil at the agreed times, and he ignored my calls and claimed later he was at work. He ignored my calls for 50k up front." Uh, for the uh, low cow podcast to stream to under 200 live viewers, begging for them to pay his rent and his utility bills. Both Wings and Boogie agreed to low cow, uh, low cow podcast. The only reason it didn't happen was because of DSP. Thoughts? Response? It's a lot blatant lie. He called me when I was on stream. I looked at my phone when I was on stream, wondering why I was getting a phone call. After so he did call you. That was Keemstar calling me when I was on live stream. It's just blatantly false. I gave him okay. the times. I said there was time frames between streams he could call. At one day, I actually sat here for an hour in my office after a stream waiting for him to call and he never called. Well, if it's not true, he's gonna he's gonna post, you know, when you were streaming in the phone call. And if not, then, you know, it's pretty easily provable. Yeah, that's fine. So, he never, I tell you right now, to, to my knowledge, he never actually called me when I when, during the times that we talked when he was available, to my knowledge. So that's all I can say. And then, you know, after the fact, I, here's the thing. I just wanted to have the conversation. As I told you guys, I personally have issues with the guy and the content he puts out. I do. So at least, at the very least, knowing it's in my family's best interest to have the conversation, find out what the conversation is about, at least. To find stop out, the know. cap. But, but he wouldn't even have a conversation. So if you, the conversation doesn't take place, of course I'm not going to say. If, if you can't even have the call, how on earth could you ever enter a business relationship with someone for a big amount of money, for a big commitment of time, or whatever it was going to be? You know, it just didn't make any sense to me at all. So that's why it never happened. Okay. And by the way, Boogie, I've talked with Boogie behind the scenes. He really wanted me to be on the show. But I, I told him personally, I can't do it, man. I can't do anything with Keen. I just can't do it. I, a guy, I can't be involved in business with what he stands for. It's kind of like the same thing. I know this is going to sound crazy, all right? I'm the kind of guy that I, if I can help it, I won't shop at Walmart. 
Okay, why? Because I don't. I hate that company. The company has destroyed small businesses, little towns. Bro, you said you don't shop at Walmart because of the people that are there. You literally said because you don't like the clientele. You hate going there. Oh my god. And this dude is the same dude who picks up Walmart orders. Chad, if you've been paying attention to his day off segments, like eight months ago, he literally said he went to Walmart for the first time to do an online order pickup. And ever since then, Kat's not been going with him. He's been doing online order pickups more often than not. So he's being a liar right here and he's being really weird about it. He could save money by going to Walmart. I don't want to go to Walmart. Walmart's got all those weird people over there. He does a little weird eye squint and everything. Yeah, those people. Right? Now everyone right? shops at Walmart because that's the best price. I, if I can help it, I won't. Like once in a while I go there. But for the most part, I, I can't. I got That's the kind of guy I am. Maybe that's a huge flaw with me, right? But I'm not going to take money. I would feel like taking a paycheck from Teamstar is kind of like blood money. That's money he made. Blood back money. To people, drama content he put out, people he's hurt to earn it. I'm not going to do that. Like blood Did diamonds? Did you start a career on, on like drama and hate? But not as people. I, never, I will say this. I never, wait, if I could help it. Wait, 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 wait. Like drama and hate? Drama content he put out, people he's hurt to earn it. I'm not going to do that. Didn't you start your career on, on like drama and hate? But not as people. I, never, I will say this. Did you start your career on drama and hate? And what is Phil's answer? I never, if I could help it. But to people in the street, fighter, the street Fighter community, like that's who you said you were targeting. Oh, okay, that's different. And here's the thing, you're right. I've How's totally... that different? <laughs> How's that different? Look at his face, look at his face. How's that different, Phil? You son of a bitch, I was about to answer. I was about to answer. It's di no different because I've changed now. I will agree. And I've I changed now. Documentaries about <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Look at that face. Look at that face. <laughs> I'm sorry. You sound, you sound like like the abusive ex boyfriend trying to get back with his girl. I've changed no, we, now. Don't worry about it. Adam, so you're talking about something happened the first time. I, I know. I, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> calling as I said. It just sounds funny. Like hearing that, yeah. um, I, that I changed now. That that line is so, I, I don't know, overused by. The I was wrong an online people. troll in the Street Fighter community. Absolutely, there was online harassment that happened. Absolutely, I've learned from that. I've been through it myself now, and I realize how harmful that is and why you would never do it, especially when you're someone in a position of power who has an audience to actually troll people, to do drama against people. That's so it harmful. It gets better. I never do that for personal gain. Yo, Anymore, you know, ever again. It gets better. Team, so I feel like I'm taking money from all the people who've been hurt in order to benefit. I can't do that. Have you reached out to anybody that you were, that you feel that you wronged in the Street Fighter community to let them know that you changed and that you're sorry? Did well, you? people from back then, I would have absolutely no idea how to contact, but I have publicly said things. No, you example, haven't. I went, I did a react to the down the rabbit hole video about me. This is by Frederick Knudsen. It was Bro. millions and millions of views. It's one of the videos everyone was watching. It was in 2017. Where's Triforce? Where do you get Triforce? And I admitted publicly to how bad I was back then. What a awful person I was just to get over in the Street Fighter community. You know, there's people back then that for no good reason I trolled them for no reason I've no you know I'm just an asshole and I apologized in that video I mean I mean do you want me to name names I mean this well is sure yeah, yeah because because I want to know who's so hard to get a hold of uh what's his name Sh Shady K I don't even know if he's even around anymore in the Street Fighter community I mean in the early 2000s I destroyed this guy for no reason no good reason I don't know you know I just I latched Shady on to people because look if I, the, more, the more I make fun of this guy or the more I try to attack these people yeah they're I looking for him and it caused so much drama you know people we almost fought at Evo it's so stupid now I look at him like boy I was dumb what kind of dumb shit was I? I thought I was a pro wrestler. I thought, oh man, I talk shit. We're gonna, you're gonna. We're looking for him at you know, fighting game championships. It's the dumbest shit, you know. Right. So is, that is this long, long tram? I, I don't know. You tell me because that's the thing. Like it's, these, these people are not hard to get a hold of, and his DMs are open. So like, I feel, I feel like that's, that's pretty disingenuous to, to say. No. Well, I, you know, it, it's more like I don't. You don't want to put forth the effort in saying that. You know, I, I'm gonna say this Yo. publicly, and it should, it should, it's a big blanket to cover all the things that I've done wrong. When mm -hmm. if you know that you that you've done things that, that you regret, you should probably reach out to people and say like, hey, I, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm sorry for what I said. Because the reality is that on today's internet, it's not impossible to to find these people. It's it's very easy, and it just comes oh down to God. like a little bit of effort. And I'm not I'm not saying that you're not, but I'm saying that maybe there's it's an opportunity better. to provide a little more effort. You you know what, Craig? I never even thought about it like that. Here, here's here's why little mini story when I was in high school I was bullied a lot okay and years later one of my bullies actually contacted me like probably around that time frame when I was in the Street Fighter community and he found me online he contacted me out of the blue he's like I just want to let you know we got to stick I'm, together I'm just kidding no, no, you, no he basically said I'm sorry for what I did to you in high school like I think back on it now because I've grown and I've matured and I, I realized what an asshole I was and I said that I responded I said thanks but I don't really care you know I moved on with my life you don't have to worry about it anymore and that was it so to me 
I'm so far removed from those days. You know, we're talking 20 years ago. Does this guy care to hear from me 20 years later in a DM? Yes. Never, never even crossed my mind. But you know what? You've made the point. And now I'm gonna have to think about it. I have to think about who are those people that I wronged back then, uh, who possibly I could maybe reach out to. He's definitely probably number one, because that was one of the people who, you know, man, for no no reason. It was just every day hammering that guy to the point right. where. At the, at the end of EVO, we had a, a grudge match on stage, and then when it ended, I wanted to shake his hand, and he was so upset, he refused to shake my hand, because I had told him so badly on the internet. He basically was like, irrevocable harm that you've done to me, I'm not going to shake your hand, you're a piece of garbage, right? Now I look at that, and I'm like, I probably would have felt the same, because I've been through that shit. I'm on the other end of the trolling now, and now I get it, right? But you're right, I, you know, well, I, I think it like, makes sense. You know, what, what, you're, what you're talking about, you're talking about growing, growing as a person. I think those are things that, that people, you can absolutely learn from. You know and absolutely should learn from and, and those are those are things that are incredibly important to do and to answer your question does he want to hear from you i guarantee he wants to hear from you he doesn't know he wants to hear from you these people don't but but taking time to just say hey man i messed up it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing you know uh, if, if especially if you know you messed up like people said oh craig you messed up but i don't know why i messed up they just they just point their finger you know um <laughs> no you know, i know why i messed up those it's me every single day life. on the right. show with, with it's craig. been, a, been yes. a consistent theme with adam he's always pointing his finger but you really messed <laughs> up um all right Oh, wrong way. There we go. Um, I'll say this. Don't, don't um, point your finger at me. I'm not pointing any fingers. No way. Damn straight. All right. Uh, let's continue on. All right. So we've made mistakes. We're going to attune for them or do Whoa. our best. Um, let's go into WWE Champ. Oh, no. Okay. Number one, how much? Okay. How much does anybody want to, like, guess? Do you think DSP will do an apology? Like, do you feel a DSP will do an apology to this long tram guy or whatever? I feel like we might get one and he may like do a public thing. He'll do like a public tweet and add him and, and that'll just be that. I feel like we're going to get one of those and, and he's going to do it and he's going to get it over with and he's going to feel like he's done something. <laughs> no. Oh, wow. You guys have no faith whatsoever. You guys suck. No faith. No faith. Well, I'm going to believe in Phil. I'm going to believe in honest Phil. Phil has been honest and true and and been telling us no lies for the past 15 years. And every single one of you are fucking darn dirty trolls. And he's the true and honest gamer. You fucking, you fucking idiots. You no life trolls. Yes. Sure. Let's talk about this because this has been a consistent theme uh, with, with all the detractors. They want to know about your experience with this game. Um, just a real simple yes or no. Mm -hmm. Do you currently still play WWE champions? Yes. Okay. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Here's the thing before you get your panties in a bunch. He's already admitted this before. About six or seven months ago, he admitted this. This was already known stuff. We know that. And his wiggle room through all of this has always been, you don't know what account I'm on, but he's already admitted this. This is not new information. Keep that in mind. Yes, you do. Hmm? Why are you so, um, why, why are you so uh, hesitant to talk about that or to talk about uh, WWE champions? And we'll start there. Oh, why am I hesitant to talk about WWE champions? Um... Well, the thing is, I wasn't at first. I did talk about it publicly years ago when the game first came out, very innocently. Talked about playing it casually, uh, you know, that I was a fan of wrestling. This is a game that I played, you know, over the years, every once in a while, I will casually mention a mobile game I'm playing or whatever. But, um, you know, it's nothing that I would think that my audience would be super interested in to hear about, me, what, what, you know, what mobile games. I casually will talk about them. That, that would be like something I would mention on my podcast, you know. Oh, let's talk about I'm playing a new mobile game today or whatever, right? But what's ended up happening is over the years, every little thing that I mentioned, that's not directly related to my content or my business, what I'm doing on stream, somehow gets twisted into something distorted or messed up by my my detractors to make me look bad. And this is a prime example yeah, of a them, small Adam smart. in my opinion, and you can disagree, trying to orchestrate something. Well, just one of the many things, because we can go through a lot of the things they've done that have been completely disproven. But this is one of the things that I never went out of my way to disprove because it's stupid. It's ludicrous. It's Can, it's, I, can I ask you, Phil, have sure. you ever spent money on this game? Of course I have, yes. Have you spent a lot of money on this game? Good question. What does a lot mean? Anything over a hundred dollars is too much on a mobile game. So probably it, when the game first came out, yes, I spent over a hundred dollars uh, on it. That was okay. 2017 when it first came out. Trust me, I'm first on this game now for all the wrong reasons. So yes, in the first you, year. 
Wait, wait, so, you just flex on how good you are at the game? No, 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 I said I'm versus the game because I, I have to know about it because they, they're freaking putting me in conspiracies about it and shit. It's ridiculous. Okay, I don't want to know about it. Then, how sense. much money have you spent in this game? You might, you, do you mind saying? T total, I couldn't tell you. It's it's definitely total under $1,000 over the years that it's been in operation, for sure. Okay, not over $1,000. No, no, that's not, not. That's not what That's not what people think. That's cr they think, oh, they oh, I think know. That you're, you're some sort of a, a whale in that game. Oh, I know. I've seen every, you know, I, well, okay, I haven't seen every video. I've heard it all. For, first it was... Like uh -huh. thousands, then it was ten thousand, then it was twenty, then it was forty. Now it's a hundred, I think. A hundred thousand supposedly I've spent on this game. Well, well we started no. talking about it and you instantly went into just attacking other people. Like we don't have to like your detractors. Like they, they may deserve it. I don't know. But we, we can have this conversation without even bringing them up. Sure. Right? We'll we'll bring them up if they're okay. if they you, you know, you're you're saying you're instantly going to the they're making up shit. But you do play this game, you have spent mm -hmm. spent money on it. And Correct. I think what ha what's happening is when you're begging your audience for money and then complaining that you know this king's feast is too expensive for six, a sixty dollar meal, and you're you're stressing for money, and then putting money into a game that is a mobile game that is, I mean, let's let's face it, mobile games are not necessary in life. No, nope. spending yep. any any amount of money on a mobile game. Uh, yep. I, I've never played this WWE. I don't even know. I I, I saw like a picture of it, and it looked like Candy Crush mm -hmm. or such. I don't know what the hell it is, you know. But it just feels like they feel like you're you're just using them to like using your audience and like i don't want to be used I, I personally i don't like feeling used i've been used by people in the past and i don't have time for that in my life so when people are watching someone online and supporting them and then feel used like when you know you, you say you beg too much and you, you know you're working on that which is good because as i said it's not a good look but even talking about hey this other game that they believe you're a whale in why, why do they think you're a whale where, where are they getting this so here's the thing I don't exactly know. They, there's been so much to this thing over the years that, you know, if, if, so I'm, I'm just going to briefly in my head try to go over what I remember. Apparently, at first, it was that there was an account in the game that the name of the account was They Call Me DSP. Okay? Which, is, which is also your Twitter handle. That's correct. Mm -hmm. And so just by that association, they're assuming that's me in the game. Okay. Now, from what I'm going to understand after that, after I guess at some point it had been asked on a stream or whatever, is this you? And I said, no, that's not me in the game. It is not, by the way. That is not my account in the game. Um, what is then, your account in the game? That I'm not going to say. That's, that, that, and if you're going to say why, because back when I signed up for that game in 2017, there had never been any drama around mobile games or anything like that that I had been involved in. No one ever mm. asked me the question of what's the name of your account. I have a, 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 an account name on basically my Apple device that kind of crosses over a lot of different accounts. Okay, And if I were to tell you information, about my account, these people will absolutely use that to hurt me. They will try to use this data to get into other accounts. They will probably try to commit identity theft, impersonate me with Apple. I can't do that. I've already been- Okay, so, so on the so record, you're, you're saying that uh, that account, they call me DSP, is not you. That's correct. Okay. Well, now, so, well, okay, but that, here's the thing that, that I'm having a hard time wrapping my, wrapping my brain around, right? Because apparently that, that name was changed later to down from the rafters, right? Why would somebody, if this is a troll, that is a whale, right? That in this game, why would somebody, after let's say, let's say after this was brought to your attention, it was it, the name is later changed, right? And they're spending all this money on this, right? And they know it's being you know this it's being tracked in this game. Why would they change the name if they're just trolling you with with they call me DSP this this name? Why would they then change the name if it's just a troll to begin with? What's what's the point? I'm trying to well, wrap my head around this idea here. Sure. I want, oh my God, I cannot wait to hear Phil's rationale behind it. Because this is every thinking person's like understanding of this. If they're there to troll DSP, which let's just pretend there's some rich fucking detractor that just really wants to fuck with DSP and just makes an account under his name. Phil, why would they change the name of their account if they want to fuck with you? I, I... I, I don't even know if I'm bra I, I don't even know if I'm properly braced for this answer. So let's hear this answer. Sure. Apparently, there's a couple theories. Theory number one is like you just said, this person was actually a troll who was trying to make me look bad, and that was the theory until the name changed. But I agree with you. That doesn't seem to make sense, does it? Why would you try to ch change your name if you weren't? You know, maybe. And again, this is me just guessing. I have no clue because this is not me. Maybe this person was a legit player. Maybe it was a fan of mine. Maybe it was, a, you know, who knows? Or maybe it wasn't. Maybe it's complete chance. You know, this is not Dark Side Phil. This is not DSP Gaming. This is it's, they call it's me Dark Side Patrick. I, I know, again, who knows? You're right. I, 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 that's the point. Is it's not, it wasn't my name. It wasn't like Phil Burnell or whatever. It was a, one name that I use on a Twitter account 
So maybe this legitimately was someone who was playing the game and over the years was getting like harassed. I don't know. Here's here's what I can tell you. Since this started happening, all right, I was afraid that the, my actual account name was going to get out there and they were like, I just told you guys, they were going to try to like harass me or change, you know, harass my, my Apple account, hack my Apple account, whatever. I well, reached Phil, out. I got, I got to say real quick, if, mm -hmm. if that, the, whoever, they call me DSP, change it to whatever the hell they change it to. Why haven't you changed it to some That's, uh, that's what I'm about thing? to say. That's exactly what I'm about to say. I asked the, the you know, they have the help chat or whatever. I asked them, I said, listen, this is happening and I'm, I'm really afraid. And they told me they don't do that. I was like, what? Like, yeah, we don't do that. We don't do name changes. I said, there's evidence that, that, that there is. They wouldn't do it for me. So maybe, I mean, I don't know, maybe this this person, because of the level that they spent supposedly in the game, because they're a whale, maybe the company did them a solid because they, they keep spending. And so they did it for them. Uh, apparently you can't just change your name. There's no option in the game to change your name. I've tried, it's not there. And you contact support, they say, we won't do it. He knew exactly how to change the name because he went directly to it, which was go to chat. Because yeah, you can't change your name to what you changed it to. Because it's over the character limit of what's allowed. I don't know how many of you guys know. You probably know the story. But there's probably like a small amount of you who don't know the answer to this. The name down the rafters exceeds the character limit allowed in the game. You're not allowed to have a name that long. DSP knows the way he was able to get around that. Which he needs to put out a support ticket and go through their help process. That's the only way they can change it, which is why he brought that up as the first story. And that's not a very well circulated thing, but that is how you do it. And I can vouch for it because they don't allow you to do the name change when I tried to do it. And TJ Gamebox had to go around asking about it too. Yes, yeah, down from the rafters. But you can't, you can't make your name that long. It's too long. You have to open up a ticket for it, which is what he just said. He had to go through a chat and ask about it. And they don't allow it, which is true. They don't allow it unless you're a big spender and you make a big stink about it, which is what they did. And that's how he got a new name. Okay, look, I, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. And look, I, I'm of the mindset of once somebody gives you money, you can do what you want with the money. But True. I think that there, this is, there's, we're, we're here to put all the cards on the table here and, and, and work through these things. So when you have, when you play this game and you, ha you have this whale that has the exact same Twitter handle that you have that is pulling this elaborate... Yeah, you got to remember this. The, we can't even pretend this is some random asshole. The exact same handle as his Twitter handle, which is, wouldn't even be a first because he's had other accounts like this. This is not a first. And he's bragged about playing the game before. So it's not like it's not new. In fact, I guarantee you, if you probably went back into the past for six years ago and you asked him, hey, what's your handle on there? So I can see what your account looks like. He probably would have told you, uh, uh, they call me DSP. And you can't even say, well, they call me DSP. DSP is such a common thing. It's like, no, it's not. The only things that you're going to get up with DSP is going to be either Dark Side Phil, uh, Des Desi Sri Pradi, which is a uh, musician out in India, or you're going to get Digital Something Processor, which was a thing for the Super Nintendo. Like, that's all you're going to get. That's just it. So oh, you can't even make the argument, well, it was just somebody who was fucking around. No, DSP is very specific. Elaborate troll on you, right? If they are, if that's what it was. I don't know. Right? But, and, and I, I, look, I I hate to bring this up. I hate to bring this up. But but I'm, but I'm going to because I feel like it needs to be addressed. Yeah, DPS okay. maybe. People have been very aggressive with you to the point to where they have leaked bank statements from you, right? And that's obviously not cool at all. It's it's ridiculous that somebody would go to that length. And it's, it's honestly upsetting. Digital signal but it's out there, okay. right? And there have been, you know, according to these leaks, there have been dozens, hundreds of transactions mm -hmm. to uh, to the Apple Store. Uh, some many over hundreds of dollars um, that that have been there. Were those your transactions? No. What? 
Yo, look at his. Okay, no, we're we're seven. That's point seven five. No, I want you to look at his face when he fucking answers that. I want you to look at his face. Um, that that had been there. Were those your transactions? No. Does that look like he's telling the truth? Bro. These are your lay your leak statements. They have multiple entries for purchases to iTunes. Were they your purchases? It gets better? Are you no how? So so those were not tied to you at all. No. Those okay, the bank leaks. Now see now we have to get into the identity theft thing, okay? Um well, let's just talk about the bank leads first. Well, they're tied to that. Okay. You know I mean, like they go hand in hand. Um, those bank. Leaks, explain it then. Sure, the bank leaks are not accurate. Those are not. That is not my account. Uh -huh. So it's the person who took your identity was spending money on out in the Apple Store. No, that's that's not my account at all. Whatever so that is, is not me. That's fabricated, or or it's someone else's account. I don't know whose, but that's not my account. That was leaked. I've so, had a lot of issues that happened with identity theft that same summer, but they use that to run with some kind of this crazy conspiracy theory and say that was me, and it's not. Nani the fucking wait, wait, hold. On. Are you serious? Wait, wait. You're kidding me. Kidding me. His excuse, his rationale, his ace in the hole is. Bro, those weren't even my transactions. That's not even my account. It keeps going? Bro, okay, I'm going to tell you something, all right? When I listen to, like, two hours, I have those audio clips, so I don't know if they ever went down on Kiwi Farms, but I still have, I think, like, 17 of them. It's a lot of them. And I stitched them together initially to do the, uh, the robot lady talking, or no, dude talking to robot lady uh, video. I had to listen to about like an hour of it. I listened to when the dude went to take a shower, when he got back, when he was farting, everything, everything. He farts twice, twice in that video, in that, in that audio leak. And here's the other thing too. I pointed out specifically and other people did as well. There's an easy way you can prove it's filled because the same day that he admitted to getting the stupid dumbass chicken sandwich. The one that he keeps showing on stream, this is the chick king. Oh, look how messy it is, blah, blah, blah. That messy ass chick king, you can actually look into his records and it showcases the day in which he made a Burger King purchase that equates to two fucking meals. Wait for it. Okay, I'm going to listen to this. So you're saying, just, just so we're on the same page, mm -hmm. you're saying that this account that is not yours that had thousands of dollars of of fees to the apple store consistently that are uh these these amounts just happen to tie to exact amounts in the game that we're talking about wb champions um and, the, and it's a game that you also play mm -hmm. just so just so we're all on the same page yeah. you're saying that that is not your account at all and they were unsuccessful in finding in hacking your bank account they did not hack my bank account they did not have access to my bank account it seems awfully convenient and right. just, just right. <laughs> that's not awfully convenient, <laughs> but that, that's the truth. It's, you can understand how us looking from the outside in looks at this and, and, and raises an eyebrow and doesn't yeah, quite yeah. buy it, oh, right? It, to, to me, I mean, from an outside perspective, who, who doesn't know anything, would look like you had to go and yeah, he's file super for nervous. He's you had rocking. all these issues and people calling you out for spending he's taking way a too drink. much money on this game when you should have been saving for taxes. And then, you know, this shit comes out and you're like, you're freaking sweating. You got to freaking do something about it. It's like, oh, I was hacked. That, that identity theft, like maybe the identity theft happened. I'm just like painting a picture for like these people on the internet that hate you mm -hmm. and are trying to convince the world of what happened. And then like Craig said, I mean, you are playing it. Mm -hmm. It is your username. There are all these bank statements that actually correlate perfectly with this game. I, I, I'm leaning more towards that side of the story because it makes more sense. I mean, it, you needed an out. You were having, you have money issues and have had money issues for a while. Yep. And it's just like, 
uh, it's the hard reason, to believe, dude. The reason that this story has not died out like every other one is because this is the one that I really don't have a way to prove my innocence without further exposing myself. You understand? Do you have a police report for the, a, the a police identity? Report? You don't. Oh, you no. can redact certain things. I did not. Did, I don't have a police report. I. Oh, geez, how do I? Did, did you not go to the police when your identity was hacked? No, I went to. I went to all my financial institutions. I went to the credit bureaus. You didn't go to the them. police though when someone no, was I stealing didn't. your identity. No. Why wouldn't you do that? I didn't even think to do. It. I don't think. What would they do about it? Uh, Yo. Try to fucking get the person and arrest them what? for stealing your identity. I, I mean, you're, I guess maybe, but here, okay. I guess what I got to do is tell you a little bit more about all the crap I've been through. Oh. Uh, I have contacted the police about the harassment. No, no, listen, I have contacted the police about harassment over the years. It gets better uh, you know, still? Um, years later, when someone was actually doing tons of fake transactions against my PayPal account that were all fraud, they were actually fraudulent credit card transactions. I contacted our police here and I had a big conversation and they said, listen, this, I swear to God, this is <laughs> the conversation. We don't do that. We don't have an online task force for this stuff. We, they said the only thing we deal with is human trafficking. That's it. That's all we can do. Here's the number to the FBI if you want to call them. But unless you're talking about ginormous sums of money being tossed So about, you did contact them or you didn't? Not, not about identity theft. I contacted them years earlier about other issues. And you talked to them about identity theft? I talked to them about a lot of different things that, that had happened or could happen. And they but why, why would you have talked to them about identity theft years earlier if no, none of that was even happening to you? Well, I don't, I don't know if we specifically said oh, oh, no. you know, identity theft. I, like I said, there was a case Oh, where, no, it's falling apart. First of all, I received death threats. It's like, falling apart. Pretty serious death threats. Someone saying they're going to come okay. around to murder me with a gun. Adam, well, stop. Like, completely Please. different Please. subject. Correct. Right. And I contacted them about that. And while I was talking to them, I also brought up PayPal issues that I was having with fraudulent transactions and other things. And they basically said, we don't handle that. We can't. We don't have the capacity. Local PD doesn't care. You have to go, you know, if you want to go to the FBI, but they even said, here's the number. If you ever get into something really bad, you're afraid for your life or something, you know, call us 911. Outside of that, anything else, it's, you know, big transactions or whatever, like you lose a million dollars, you call the FBI. That's it. So I didn't think, you know, I know I didn't file a police report about the identity theft because I didn't think they could do anything. They told me years previously not, nothing's going to happen about it. Well, you know? it didn't so seem we'll, like you were talking about identity theft with them. So, well, so yeah. let me let me ask this, right? You you address the bank leaks oh on your on a stream? God. Why? If they're not yours, why? I why did you why did why did you why did you feel the need to to talk about the bank leaks if if they weren't yours? I did, well, what do you mean by that? Like, to, are you referencing a specific stream that I did? No Just way. in general. I mean, if, if, no if, somebody, way. if somebody hacks an account and they say, this is this is Darkside Phil's bank account, right? Why don't you say, well, it's not mine. What are you even talking about? And like, I, did, I, think I that, did. Okay. I'm sure that I did. I, I've never said that that was my account. Then how come, and this is, you know, the internet doing what it does. Oh, God. There's been matchmaking based off of your, your, you know, your life, going to restaurants, big events and WWE champions, things like that, that line up perfectly with this bank account. Like, and, and I think I said, it's it's your money, dude. You can do what you want. I, I don't mm -hmm. care. But but why? Are, like, it just if we were in the court of law and and somebody was to bring all this evidence in front of say, like, look, hey, there's a bullet here. Here's the gun that he used. It has his fingerprints on it. This person is dead because this person pulled the trigger. And the other guy's like, oh, I didn't do it. Well, like, there's clear like DNA there there. And like. I think that's the thing that I'm really struggling with here, man, is mm -hmm. is it's it just seems like if you would just say, yeah, it was my bank account. It was really fucked up. Uh, it lined it aligned with all these things. By the way, I played WB champions. I'm you know, I, I have a hard time quitting it. It's it, those games are addictive. Uh, and you, you just kind of said, yeah, these things are accurate. I think people would like just be like, OK, and, and they'd be cool with it. But it just seems like you, you, you're you keep digging and digging and digging. And I, I mean, walk me through this because there's just evidence here, like mm -hmm. mounds and mounds of evidence. And that's right, a, you, you claim that it was someone else, but and, why, and, why do a lot of the things on the bank statement actually correlate to things that you actually did and paid for? Right, and the only evidence that, that, that you're putting out is, well, no, it's not, or that's a lie, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, just walk me through this, man, because I'm, I don't, like, I'm, this is, the whole purpose of this thing was not, I, I not can't to make close you look my bad mouth. at all, but I just want to walk through this here, man, because mm -hmm. it, it doesn't make um, sense. My it jaw is just open, so what, I can't. Specifically, like you said a couple things there. First, you said big events in the game correlate to money being spent on the account. No, I don't think he, I don't think he meant in the game. I think he meant in life. Well, in life and in, and in the game. Apparently, like, there's like special events that happen in the game, and it's you know a certain characters released or whatever. I don't know. I don't know enough about the game, right? I, I didn't do a deep dive into the game. Just Demeter, stop taking pictures of me. Hey, you know, it's like you see this on on any game, Call of Duty, Apex. For this time only, you can buy this character, or whatever. Um, that that's that's all. I'm just trying to mm -hmm. to walk through this, man. But I see. Here's the thing. I don't I don't know specifically what you're referencing. I guess what you're saying is there's transactions. Intensify. That that I can't help it. Proven that I spent money on. How would that even be proven? 
What does that well, mean? Well, I, mean, I mean, maybe you went to a restaurant and you said, hey, I'm gonna go to dinner tonight. And then there's a transaction at a local restaurant for an, for an amount that may add up to a couple people dining at a restaurant. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, no. That, that's all, like I said, I'm just no. trying, to, trying to walk through this. Yeah, I don't know. That's not, I mean, first of all, from exactly, from your perspective, if I were it's sitting here right sandwich. Now, hearing this story, you know, I'd be like, he's probably lying. I, I, I don't know how to defend, again, I don't know how to defend myself without putting myself no. in my family a personal the chicken that's sandwich. The I don't that's, know how, that's how that lines up. I wish I, that's I, wish I knew. I wish I knew I could explain those transactions. Here's, I guess, man, I'm trying to figure out how I can tell you from my perspective what really happened that summer. Um, and well, why, I'll, I I'll tell you, here's, here's something very easy, very simple, mm -hmm. very simple. You have my email, and this is, this is a small ask. It's also a big ask. You can say what you want. Will you, and you can say no, and I'm totally fine with this, but just confidentially between us, will you send me a screenshot of your of your account, of your WWE account, and just so I, I, I personally, I will not share share your name to anybody, but just between us. Can't yeah, do it. And, and vouch for you. Put out. Yeah, he and, can't and do I'll, it. I'll vouch for you either way. He can't I, do it. Kind of risk that. I don't want to say, here's the thing. I, I'll consider it, but I can't agree to it yet. I have to. He can't do it. Is, you know, and I not say that I think you would do anything with it. I don't. You, I think you right. got to look at what what's to benefit more than what's to risk. You have no idea. You can dismantle the, the trolls. Of how this is going? I, I, I do. Happened. I see it. I, I'm well aware. I I have chat up. I mean, I I know. I, I mean, people have been tagging me relentlessly <laughs> since it was announced that you were coming on the show. And I like again, I didn't know who you were. I had never heard of you before. Uh, it, before this moment, when Craig was like, "Hey." So do you know who DSP is? And I'm like, no, uh, what's the deal? And everyone's like, oh, we got to freaking tell Adam who DSP is. You know, it's like, I see the amount of attention that you get in a negative light, mm -hmm. right? So like, I understand. That's so why I'm like, I kind of understand that you don't want to be too forthcoming with your, uh, any more information that isn't public already because it, as there's a, a lot out there. So, you know, but, but you're in a pickle, man, because yeah. the, in the internet is a fucking pulse and it's a new brain that humans are still learning how to adapt to and right now, there's a big chunk of the internet that has a target on your head. And, right. you know, you, you've said it multiple times that you fucked up. You held your hands up. You said, I didn't handle this right. I fucked up multiple times. You did this and that. So it's like, if you want to remain on the internet, which you seem to enjoy streaming, and you like what you're doing now, which is good. I'm glad you like what you're doing. But it's like, if you want to move in a direction that's going to alleviate some of these these haters, any anything might help. Uh, obviously not giving them more ammo which i mean i've i've grown to trust trust craig um of course you know don't tell him i said that uh but you know i i uh i i think that that would actually do more for you than you think if if craig came out and was like all right guys he he sent me this the, the proof and i can confirm to everyone that his account is not they call me dsp the whale account you know like or or the uh, or the other the other name down from the rafters or what it changed it to yeah right, right. Right. Like almost like what is the likelihood? What is the likelihood that Phil would somehow or another work his way around getting like cat to do a screenshot, something like that? Oh, you can easily tell. There's no way he can't. No, he couldn't. Even if he did that, think about it for a second. Even if he had a secondary account, there's no way on earth he could fake it. Because we can all look it up online. Think about it. If he if he gave up a stupid ass account and say it was this one, all you got to do is say, "All right, Craig, plug it into this and see how long it's been playing." You could actually just figure it out. The playtime will give it away. There's nothing he can do about it. And I would preemptively say to Adam, I'd be like, "Look." Before he gets away with it, just simply do this check. Don't even you don't even have to give it to us. Don't give us the account name, but do this check and see what the playtime is. And if it's something suspicious, then that that ain't it, Chief. That's how you debunk it. That's two steps ahead. He had a separate account when the game first came out. Yet the playtime would give it away. Yeah, exactly. Playtime would give it away. If he's not playing on it, then it's not it's not it. We could tell this uh, when the special cards were bought. Ah, uh, yeah, that is true. It'd be super hard. <laughs> the, this was so exciting. Yeah, this is fucking ridiculous. And we're only like halfway through. At this point now, it's like it's almost suspect that you're not wanting to just do whatever you can. Yeah, again, I, I hear you. If I was sitting in your in your position right now, I would feel exactly the same way. 
but just the levels of shit that I've been through and, and people who betrayed me. Not that I'm saying Craig would. I don't think he would. But I, I, I have no interest. Phil, I, to be, I want to be really clear with you, man, and just like this, we were talking about this, I have, I have zero interest in making you look bad. I, I think there's a tremendous opportunity here for, for you to be humanized to a lot of people who don't see you as human. You know, and, and to err is to be human, right? That's the old saying, like everybody fucks up and you've owned up to a lot of those things. But there, no, there are certain things it. here, man, that, that I just, you know, no, they, they, you they don't add up. And you're saying, you're saying, hey, if I was in your shoes, I'd be saying the same thing. Mm -hmm. It, it doesn't, I, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's not connecting. It's not connecting. I'm trying to help you out here, man. I really am. And, I hear you. And so I, I, feel, I feel like there's, help hey. yourself. I, no, I feel like there's nothing else to be said then, you know, because um, could I, could I bring up one point about these bank statements? Sure. Right. So I've, I've seen limited amounts. Cause here's the thing. You guys just said, why, why do you bring it up on your stream? I only bring this kind of stuff up on my streams when someone else brings it up. And there's like, it's such a loud fervor on the stream. People are talking about it in the chat. I'll address it. Okay. I did look into it. I looked, I saw some of this supposed bank statements that are mine. Mm -hmm. Um, there's a couple things that don't make sense to me. All right. Number one, if this is me, okay. There's a bunch of transactions on there, I guess from like pet stores. Okay. And people are like, well, that's because Phil has a cat. Yeah, but those, those transactions are like big. You're talking like hundreds of dollars a week or something like that. I have one cat. Now again. That's not it, Phil. And I hate that he's trying to pull this stunt where it's like hundreds of dollars a week and shit. Cause that's, nobody was claiming that. Nobody actually was claiming that. In fact, if you want to be really super specific, there are payments that he makes on that bank statement that points to local area, like local water municipality payments that he ha that he would have to do or like his garbage bill it, it's it's on there if you listen for it like there's one that's like seuss creek or something like that it's it's all on there i i i don't know the, uh, craig picks up on oh no that's, he said she said it's not gonna prove my innocence but everyone knows i have one cat he's been on the stream all this time i don't have a secret herd of dogs in my basement i don't even have a basement so we're you know some of the transactions in that that I've seen don't make sense at all for what I, it's funny because you say circumstantially, some of these transactions could be yours if you went out, you know, and ate. Okay, you're right. But some of them also don't make any sense. Like, okay, there's a bunch of transactions on there that say iTunes, okay? Now, I don't know, but here's the thing. The, the narrative that Dude. they have put out there about me. Is he really about to pretend the iTunes thing doesn't work? Is he actually about to do this? No way. Is that I'm begging and shilling to my viewers the viewers give me tips every day and that money goes right into wwe champions correct like that's the narrative that they that they say on the internet if that's the case why are there bank transactions for, for itunes right the money is in my paypal account 672 fucking super chatted let's talk in phil's chat no slow mode fucking get out of here 672 you fucking dent why are there bank transactions for iTunes? It doesn't make any sense. Why would I take money out of a PayPal account that I have, that I get my tips from, transfer it to my bank account, where then I take a hit because there's a transfer fee anytime you transfer money from PayPal to a bank account. So I'm taking a, a big financial hit on that money. Then I'm making transactions in the game off the bank account. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't it be made out of the PayPal account? That doesn't make sense to me. It makes no logical sense. To well, me. there's a lot of things that, that haven't made a whole lot of logical sense here, Phil. I mean, let's just be real. There, there's a lot here that doesn't add up. Right. Well, yeah. isn't, isn't the iTunes like where the microtransactions from games get charged? Yes. So uh, actually... Yes, it is. That is where it gets charged. It all gets just labeled as Apple iTunes, but that's because that's what it's classified as. It's the same way whenever I like pay into my stupid uh, boat game, it goes to uh, what the hell is it? The Google Play Store. It's just literally a payment to Google. I'm not buying a Google card. I'm just paying into Google. Which it would make sense. It would make, no, no, no. You're, you're, okay, you're correct, but the point I'm making is the money's in the PayPal account. So okay. if, if there's- Yeah, but on, hold on, I know what you're saying. But on PayPal, you can actually use PayPal and you could click use balance or use your bank account. Uh -huh. And it'll just pull the money from your bank account, but using PayPal as the payment service. So that that's that's irrelevant because you can you can choose, choose where the money's coming from on PayPal. Okay, I see what you're saying. But my, my, I was going off of their narrative, and their narrative is every day I'm begging my audience for money. It's, it, it goes to my PayPal, and then I immediately it's spend that. It's slightly on WWE sped Champions. up. Just That's slightly. I, I, didn't, I didn't believe that narrative, but it does seem that okay. you, you do get money and you just spend it on the things that need to be spent on instead of, you know, planning for taxes the next month or whatever, you know? That's, um, no, that is absolutely correct. Yes. Right. And, or well, things that aren't necessary, which could then, include WWE. Not saying that it is, but right. it could be. Do you feel 
that um, you said you still play the game. Do you play any other mobile games? Yes. Do you feel that you're addicted to them at all? No. No? I, I play them casually. I play them, you know, for example, uh, I'll be off the stream and it's night and my wife and I are watching a TV show. And as we're watching and the show, I just them. open it up. And, you know, these mobile games are not big narrative experiences. They're just like kind of busy work game grinding games, right? You, do, you mash a little bit. You do like, like Adam said, this, this stupid WWE Champions is just a freaking uh, puzzle game like Candy Crush. It doesn't take a lot of intelligence to do them. They're more like, I mean, you know. Do casual players play, pay over, under just under a thousand bucks? No, you I, don't know. I feel like you, right. you, you elevate exactly. your level when you actually put any money into it. But then when it goes over a hundred dollars, you, you kind of elevate from casual to all right i'm, right. I'm a, one of the core players this this all started because you guys probably don't know the full history this all started many many years ago before there was tons of financial issues that were public uh i was playing a different wwe game it was called wwe supercard all right this you one, spent a I bunch of money a lot of money on i will tell you guys this i can't tell you the exact i definitely i got addicted to that one everyone knew it i talked so you about have been streams. addicted to mobile games yes i have i've publicly admitted this that i spent way too much money on that and there was another one it was called dragon ball z dokkan battle that one as well this was before you know way before the years before and the you and also it, had I was the spending, i was spending too much fucking, money on it. what and was at that it? point i i, I the stopped, marvel I one off. i stopped playing the, the marvel card and, game and battle completely when i saw what i was doing i stopped myself from doing it and then you know i've casually played other mobile games over the years and basically what happens is with, with my and i know you guys are going to say you're changing the narrative i please bear with me with this no it's it's not okay. helping your case at all though you're i know but but i'm being honest i'm going to be honest with you i'm not gonna lie to you. I'm, I'm not it's not helping my case but i'm being honest i'm being honest dude you're not being honest though you're not being honest because you weren't honest back then you guys this is all public record you know i talked about those games in the past and adam looks so fed up these detractors what they do is they find a narrative and they stick with it if i can dispute it or disprove it or if it gets somehow disproven then they drop it and they latch onto the ones that they can't that i haven't been outright been able to disprove this particular one they've been looking for something to get me on for years and years and years and every single thing is disproven or just forgotten about this is the one i can't find a way use craig use craig send him send him a screenshot i haven't i haven't found a way to do this without putting myself at personal risk up to now bro and so this is why the narrative has continued even though there's been so many different things bro there's people who make videos about wwe champions that have made entire exposés about me in the past that were completely disproven they don't care about that what's the next thing that we can make drama about for phil so we can have personal gain on the internet and get clickbait views and shit you know um so that's what I mean. because this all started so years done. ago with those other I'm games so i publicly admitted to everyone yeah i was addicted to them i spent too much money on them i'm done with that now you know and then i casually people at one point like 2017 when this game came out asked me are you playing any other mobile games yeah i started playing this one and every once in a while i mentioned it i think i think the last time that i actively had admitted that i had played it was 2019 i said that i was on a plane to connecticut to get married with my wife and i played it on the plane and then people use that as if you still play mobile games you're still spent you know so let's okay so so you say you play the game you say you're not addicted although you have been addicted to mobile games in the past right yes. And I'm just I'm just gonna lay this all out in front of us, all right? So you used to play a mobile game that was WWE related. Yes. Okay. You were addicted to that game. Fast forward, new game comes out, right? You play that game. And by the way, you 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 separated yourself from that game because you knew that you were addicted to it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Usually in the case of addiction, just usually there's there's some sort of intervention in life. Some sort of intervention that happens, whether it's brought on by friends, family, or just personal. You know, uh, you look inside yourself and you realize something needs to change, right? Right. Do you feel that you're addicted to to these games? I've already asked you this, but I just feel like, once again, you have you have you have transactions that line up with major events. I'm getting DM pictures of, of you of of your Discord, you know, your Discord handle in the WWE Champions Discord, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. I have, and I it just it. seems <laughs> there, there's all the, so make it make sense. Like this doesn't make sense. Make it make sense. I I have such a hard time believing that there is a a group of people that are so hell bent this evil plan to make you look bad that they're willing to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on WWE champions just so they can make you look bad. I I'm I I don't <clears throat> buy it. And and once again, there's an easy out here, Phil. I like I'm offering you the yeah the easy out. All you got to do is just take a quick screenshot. You can email it to me. <clears throat> it's done. We all move on. The detractors move on, and everybody goes okay. You know what? you know and, and and we all move on that's it that's it it's it's very simple man and we want to make this happen like i i want i want you to be able to move on from it i want i want the detractors to be able to move on from it. i want the internet to move on from it i want all the wb content to, to to be done like it's it's there man it's there like yeah. let's 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 make this happen like mm. and then we're, we all move on and we can start talking about other things
I'll, like I said, I'll think about it. I gotta see how I, if, how I can do it. And uh, how I can you know, again, do it. I'm not gonna 100% agree to it, but I'm very strongly considering doing it. Oh. Let's see if we can do it before the end of the stream. We have a captive audience here. They want to know, right? Oh, I no. Hold on, hold on. I told you I'm not even doing anything with my phone or anything on the stream. I'm definitely okay. not doing it today on the stream. Bro, okay. it's just, you, know, you gotta understand there's liability here. This okay. Is, this okay. is not just a discussion. Doing either, what? Wife, you know everything here because if this okay. account gets out. That's a lot of stuff that now can be compromised. Okay. All right. Look, like I said, family, I get it. Right. Totally understand it. Okay. And then, then, you know, when you decide that it's, this is something yeah, this that you're comfortable with, you can, you can email it to me. The email will only be seen by me, not anybody else. Okay. And I will delete it immediately after. And, uh, and I will, you know, I, I will serve as your confidant in this process. So, all right, well, let's, I, I mean, I don't really know how to move on. From this i don't i don't know i know i, I just feel like there's no. this mountain of stuff here this is not like arturo this is somehow worse than arturo this is somehow or another worse than arturo because not only is he lining it up for a t-ball response but dsp doesn't even pretend to like give the lawyer speak he's just saying i can't do it i'm gonna put my family at jeopardy he just straight up can't do it Oh my lord, have mercy! And it just Phil, I Phil, gotta, I gotta, I gotta show. Look at all those tabs! This is how you don't game. I think this you need. To, I think you need to own it, man. I think you need to fucking take back <laughs> what they took from you and just fucking lean into that, dude. Fuck them. You know, I mean, just do what you want to do. Do you, man? But like, the best thing to do is be honest and and own up to whatever, right? So. If you if you truly yeah he's you, leaning you, you in said multiple lot. times you don't know what you could do i think craig is giving you a good out at, uh, his if you want to use it like i understand you gotta like his think about chat. it that's fine and um, people yeah, will again, we didn't him. even get into the identity theft stuff of what's happened to me and that you know that's why i'm so afraid it, it almost ruined me you know and that's what i mean even just doing this is a risk I, like as pointed out in the chat several people have said like the charges to your bank account or to the to the bank statement that is not yours the alleged uh, account the, 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 that is not yours uh they include you know shops that are around where you live you know right. and, no, and I, restaurants right. and like exactly that just seems right. like once again phil help me out man like we're looking at an account that just so happens to be around where you live mm -hmm. that <sighs> just so happens to be shopping and dining where you're at that just so happens to have your social a, a social security number that is extremely close to yours I mean, that's how they access it not not you know i said we talked about how we totally disown that that's ridiculous but it's out there mm -hmm. let me let sense. me ask you a question because sure. this is interesting let's say you know, I, I, the screenshot, I send you a screenshot, you see it. Okay, this is his account. This is, you know, this is not what he said was true. So then how did that happen? How did they make this bank? How did they do that? I don't know how they. Okay. Uh, thank you, Dragon Slayer, for this video. This is uh, very pertinent. All right. This is actually very pertinent. Pat, get your wallet out. Okay. Goodness lesson number one. You see someone drop their wallet. Patrick, drop the wallet. Now, what would you do? Excuse me, sir. But I do believe you've dropped your wallet. Doesn't look familiar to me. What? I just saw you drop it. Yeah. No, it's not mine. It is yours. I am trying to be a good person and return it to you. Return what to who? Aren't you Patrick Starr? Yep. And this is your ID. Yep. I found this ID in this wallet, and if that's the case, this must be your wallet. That makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. That's literally, that's literally the situation we're in right now. That's literally the situation we're in right the fuck now. Somehow or another, somehow or another, this dude is like, these are your these are purchases around your area with an account that was made with a similar social of, of yours. And DSP's like, yeah, it's not mine, man. It's it's not mine. Fuck it, eh? I did it. I but wish I knew. Just like the, you're, like you right. mentioned, those Discord, the Discord uh, chat stuff. I don't know how they did that. I have no idea. I guess I'm, I'm stupid. I'm a dinosaur, right? Like, I don't understand no, how they but... faked all that stuff. I really... Bro, how did we fake being in the Discord? Guess what, Phil? I was in your Discord, too. About 50 of us fuckers were in that Discord. I was in that Discord. I can proudly say that I was in DSP's old Discord. It was
was fucking stupid. Everything was stupid. I have no clue. And people say, well, how could they have done it? It's like they took advantage because I don't know. I don't know about Discord enough to answer how they could fake those logs. How do you fake a bank account? Or is it a real bank account that they somehow had access and found one that's close to? I don't know. How could do that you be think? Do you think that somebody went in and created a fake, fake bank account and made eight, like whatever, 12 hours, 18 hours, however, however long it was uh, to, I mean, do you really think that somebody dislikes you that much that they were they're willing to make a 12 to 18 hour audio recording of every single transaction from a bank account that that uh that just happens to be right where you live right in the same area at shops you may or may not visit like this just seems like an inc like way like dude do you hear my honest answer yes yes i believe it they what Yes? How does it get better than this? How does it get better than this? Hate me that much. I have uh, other situations that are similar. You're kidding me. me. And I can tell you about them if you want, or we don't have to. It's your call. It's just, it's just way too elaborate, man. It just, I hear it you. Just... I hear you. Cat I've had people who catfished me for two years saying they were someone to get into my group. They moderated for me on my chat for two years, saying they were a person. They had a whole persona of who they were. Every, all my other moderators were friendly with them. And then after two years, they revealed, I'm a secret detractor and I was here to try to ruin Phil. Like what? You spent two years of your life doing this? And you're like, that can't be true. It's true. It's documented. I, I- What about, what about Phil? What about that? What about that these accounts, the down from the rafters, the DSP account, why are they tied to your phone number? That I don't know, and I don't know what that means. How could they be tied to a phone number? Oh, well, when God. you when you register an, an account, you have to put a phone number attached to it, right? Why why would that be? No, to my knowledge, if you're going to play any mobile game, there you don't ever enter your phone number into it. It's tied to your. Well, I guess it could be tied to many things. Line it could be tied to what's that? Light the line. Oh, 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 look at his face. Look at his face. Look at his face. Look how quick he jumps. Tied to your. Well, I guess it could be tied to many things. Line. Be tied to. What's that? <laughs> what? What? Huh? What's that? Look at him. Look how quick he jumps. Into it. It's tied to your. Well, I guess it could be tied to many things. Line. Be tied to. What's that? Line. The line app. A line. Perhaps. Oh, li li that's one of uh, the apps. Correct. There can mm -hmm. be. Well, wait. Hold on. I'm trying to think like currently, Yo. okay, I'm trying to put it in perspective of a game that I played. He's today, confused. Like, for example, WWE Champions, I believe it's your Apple account, it's a Facebook account, or there's a third one. And I don't know because I don't think I use the third one. So I use the Apple account. Twitter. Yeah, I mean, I never entered my phone number. You know what I mean? Like it was just the Apple account you log into when you download anything off the Apple store or whatever. There's no phone number entry there. So I don't know how that would happen or how you would even tie it to a phone number. I have no clue. I've never entered my phone number into any mobile game that I've ever played. If you bring up the line account, that's something else entirely, which we could talk about too, because they've tried to spin that into it too. <laughs> we have What's almost it? been going for three hours. Um, we have? Holy crap. And, and it's been a, a great interview. I, I know it's been tough. Um, mm. I, I'm certainly um, taking the stance of being very critical. Um, you know, I, I don't, don't want to make you uncomfortable hungry. or anything. The um, banana I think didn't that we do should anything move to Super Chats because, uh, uh, and I don't, I don't know if we're going to have the time to read them all because I saw Super Chats going the entire time. Right. Um, well, th there's, there's a lot more to get to here. And I, and I, I think that those who are contributing, they will be read and they will be appreciated. Better. I feel like there's more substance here that we need to I'm hit on before, before we, we talk about that. And I think those who are contributing will contribute because they want to contribute and they appreciate uh, they appreciate that this is happening. And Phil, I want to be clear. Like, dude, I, I told you all along, man, I really appreciate you doing this. Like I said, you you had other offers. Uh, this was not meant to be an interview to start with, but I, I right. appreciate you coming on and being a part of this. I, I know that those who, who want to contribute, they will contribute. They will give memberships. They will super chat. They will buy merchandise, whatever, because they want to support. Um, but I think that there's more substance here. So, so let no, me let me continue I wish with I this real quick. Yeah, it's your show. Um, right. What's well, our show, buddy? It's our show. Um, right. Let's 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 talk about this, man. Um, so we'll move on from WWE, and we'll we'll talk about something else. Um, you have been you you have been doxed. You have been doxed, and that is ridiculous, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, to be clear, there's been a lot of. Uh, you know, the, the idea of what doxing is, right? Like leading up to this, I was asking people, like, I wanna know who I'm getting my information from. People are like, who are you doxing us? Well, I was asking to, to see who I was speaking to. 
I feel doxing is putting personal information out on the internet for people to find, for people to see, um, and uh, that, that normally wouldn't be available to people, right? And you have been doxed. Your personal information has been put out. Uh, like, why do I know that your personal phone number is tied to this account, right? Like, you know, your your address, you know, all these things. It's, it's, it's insane. Now. But you have also been accused of not necessarily doxing, but um, but holding the information of that you have over people's heads. And I, I wanted to kind of show you this clip real sure. quick, and then, then we can talk about this. So, uh, well, let's... The fact that his fucking Twitter account is the same exact avatar that he's fucking using for this troll account on my website. Oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. So, congratulations. You fucked up. You really did be awesome one on Twitter. I have all your fucking personal information. Now, I'm going to say this up front. I'm not going to give it out. I'm not going to give it out. This is not a doxing video. I do not condone it. I will never give out someone's personal information or anything like that whatsoever. However, understand something. I got you. How about the fact that it's okay. fucking Twitter? Do you think that's okay? It sounds like a threat, right? That's the first time I've sure actually this clip since I said it. Pretty actually. sure it was a threat. Yeah. yeah. That is a threat. That is definitely a threat. Be awesome one. I know you're out there right now. I know you're in my Discord too. Big up, uh, be awesome one. It's a really cool guy, and he is pretty chill, just like everybody else in the super secret Discord that doesn't exist but totally does exist. Whoa! But uh, yeah, he uh, that was a threat. That is, I mean, okay, no, it's not. But my again, this is kind of goes back to I was you know you tell a dark joke, you yeah, it was. One way it came out a different way. What, wasn't I, a dark what, what I was getting at in that clip was this is someone who had hurt me. I don't know if you want to get into the specifics of what they had done. It's kind of a moot point, right? Um, really badly. It's actually one of the things that have actually actually hurt my business overall financially since then. Okay, I've never. So really it justifies it. it. No, it doesn't justify. That's it. what you're. That's why you wouldn't have said it otherwise. It, it got me that angry. It got me that angry. They had actually hurt me so it. bad for no reason. I don't even know who that guy is. All right, and the only reason I knew is because someone had found that information, sent it to me. I didn't find it myself. And I said that on the stream because I was so upset. And essentially, what I what I should have said was, you know, this is a situation you hurt me so bad. I don't know who you are, and you know, I think I'm going to go to the authorities with this. That's what I should have said. I shouldn't have said, "Oh, I got all your information." Blah, blah. You're right, 100. percent You're right. I never, so, I never doxed so that So it guy. was a threat. So you admit that it was a threat. It was, it was. It was a threat. Anger, That's a threat, but, dude. It was, it was me, correct. It was me venting anger Thank in a threatening you. manner. Yes, so it was a but threat. I never did anything with it, nor did I ever dox that person. It doesn't matter. On the internet publicly, or if it did, it wasn't me that did it. Like I said, someone sent me the information. But but you understand, like that that's that's not something that that you should. Uh oh, Craig, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Craig, Craig, your audio. Yeah, what happened? Uh, not sure. His mic seemed to have been muted. Oh crap. Um, yeah, I mean. I, I I have people that support me. I have a few different companies. I have a coffee company, and like I have people's information, and I would never ever use it ever because, and I would never claim to, even if someone pissed me off, even if if they bought my coffee company, I knew where they lived. That just feels like a weird, like you say, you your anger or whatever, and and it just slipped out. It's like, is there things that go on that like in your head that might because because the way it sounds, like it seems like you kind of just fly off the handle sometimes and do do shit and say shit that you're you know that gets you in trouble like i, I mean at the, it, it almost yeah. feels like i need to be worried about you dude like I, I, what, what's going to happen next it's, I, I, you say you've changed but you know it, it turns out that uh racist mm -hmm. video with the little girl was only like seven months ago it wasn't a year ago that's yeah. that's pretty recent dude you, you, know, again, so like, you say it's right you, you can say it's racist that was not what i was making bro, a joke about. bro i'm telling bro. you it doesn't matter the internet and bro uh, thinks it's racist i saw it and it's fucking racist so you're talking about a, a killer who's killing people in their basement and then so you're bringing up the slave, you're like sending a little girl off to the slave trade. I, I don't know. It just, it's pretty obvious. All right. Mm -hmm. So I know you claim that it isn't, but it really did sound that way. But that's, that's whatever. I don't know, Yo. man. It just feels like. <laughs> no, Craig, Adam. Yeah, I still can't hear you, Craig. What the heck happened? He's he's trying so hard to ignore it, too. Look at him. He's not even answering. He's just, he's just, yeah. Let's uh, go over to Craig's problem. Craig's problem is more important than uh, me talking about slavery and fucking racism. <sighs> I got tired of his bullshit. No, just <laughs> no but anyway, to, to, to follow up on what you just said, so that clip, just so you know, 2015. You know, that clip is okay. from 2015. Not to say that that's, that means anything. Yes, I will check, admit, check, I check. made... Uh, there, there you go, go. you're back, Craig. All right, got me. Cool. Thanks. So that clip was from 2015. That's, again, one moment in my 15-year career that maybe I made a threat of doxing. I never did it, but I shouldn't have done it. And I openly 100% admit that. I didn't even know I had ever done that. I don't remember that. I really don't. I never know that it even happened. So I apologize Bro. for that. I should have never done that. 
I don't remember it. Yeah, you don't remember a lot of things. Lost me, you know, tens of thousands of dollars that year and onward and to this day. But that's a moot point. I should, I did the wrong thing. Oh, you, you can't fight a wrong with a wrong, correct? You can't fight fire with fire. It just makes things worse. And I shouldn't have said that. PW Dubs with a two dollar super chat. You leaked my license, bro, or two years ago, bro, bro, bro. PW Dubs. Oh my god. You're right. You're right. But I feel like that that statement in itself, the idea of like you can't fight fire with fire, you can't fight. Um, you no know, way. Like, I feel like a lot of this conversation, Phil, has been you. Like it's it's been deny, 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 and it's you know I don't know you know that's not true. Uh, that's that didn't happen. Um, but you haven't given. Please tell oh, me they bring that up. Facts. Please facts tell me they bring it up. up. I feel like just across the board, there's this entire mountain of evidence here that's saying. Um, a super you know, saying, This is these are the things that Phil does. These are the things that that uh, that has happened. Um, and, and you're just saying, well, no, no, it's not. And oh, I didn't that, say no, it's not. I said, or, or that's not true. Or that's not my account. That's not me. That's oh, not okay. my. You know what that I mean? Is. Like th 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 that's all I'm saying. You know, it just just when there's a mountain of evidence, you can't just oh, say, like, they well, don't, no, lame. no, that's not true. There you know? is definitely a reason why I'm in the position I'm in. This stuff doesn't happen overnight. This is 15 years of me all day, every day, putting myself on the internet making mistakes when i started 15 years ago there was no groundwork of seeing oh here's someone who's done it and here's the right things and wrong things to yeah do. adam is definitely looking at it mistakes over the years like i was just saying that clips from 2015 when that happened i'm sure everyone called me i said how dare you make threats against that person even if they've hurt you oh you know what you're right i probably shouldn't have said that and now i won't do that stuff anymore and then maybe i did it again i don't know I, but you know i'm doing my best to improve and not make those same mistakes again i do slip up i absolutely do what i would say is and i you know craig i have no clue if you did this or anyone else if you just watch a stream of mine you know, just come by one day, watch I, I have, half, yeah. an, half an hour of stream. Mm -hmm. Did you see anything like that on the stream? Did you actually see me? You know what I mean? No, th th look, there is something to the idea of people picking and choosing things that people say in, during during interviews, during streams, during whatever, right? There is absolutely something to that. And it only takes, you know, 10 seconds to, to screw things up, right? I, I totally understand that. But it just, you know, Adam, you said something yesterday when we were talking about this. Do you, you want to, you're talking about uh, a collection of moments. Do you want to kind of say what you were saying yesterday? I don't want to steal your thunder on that. I, I don't remember what you were what we were talking about well you're, you're saying that you're saying that in the event of these these collections that that your detractors put together of you saying these things there's a lot of them like there's a lot mm -hmm. and if you were to go through most people over the last you know most people just in general there wouldn't be as many they wouldn't be as long there, there's there's just a lot lot to sift through and maybe you have a maybe you have a, a more watchful eye on you than most it people did, but but black mage you better not have been like giving me bits lot, during this lot there man mm -hmm. and uh I think that's, that's probably the biggest thing here, you know? If I, so, I thank right. you I mean, for the bits. It comes with being one of the most prolific content creators. Of Black Mage, that have been, you know, they over confirmed. Videos. Did you give me There's bits earlier? Granger. No, I don't care. I'm not saying it's good content. I'm saying it's just happy, you know? <laughs> you can say it's shit if you want. I don't care. But when I put myself out there that much, there's just that much more to microanalyze. And when I'm a small-time guy and it, you see concretely, oh, if we make that video about Phil... Go back. ...to sift through. And maybe you have a... Maybe you have a uh, more watchful eye on you than most people, but but it just seems like there's there's a lot, lot there, man. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that's that's probably the biggest thing here, you know. I, th uh, I think you're right. I think it comes with being one of the most prolific content creators of gaming that have been, you know over a hundred thousand videos. There's that illusions of grandeur. <laughs> the delusions of grandeur. No, I don't care. I'm not saying it's good content. I'm saying it's just happy, you know. <laughs> you can say it's shit if you want. I don't care. But when I put myself out there that Yo. much, there's just that much more <laughs> to microanalyze. And when I'm a small-time guy, and it, you see concretely, oh, if we make that video about Phil, number one, you're getting the clickbait views. You're getting money because you're probably running ads on the video or people are donating to you to continue to make fun of me. Phil, I wasn't making a fucking dime off of you. And it wasn't until I got fucking erroneously removed from YouTube with a bunch of false copyright strikes that you didn't help defend. I did after that, when I came back, yeah, man, I, I went ahead and just went over to Twitch and I decided, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll just fucking monetize you and I'll monetize whatever the fuck I'm doing. So you're actually the cause of it, Phil, your inaction, your stupidity and all the shit that orbits around you. I wasn't making a dime. I was just laughing at you for fun. Piece of peace is still true to his word. He just gives it all to, uh, the, uh, animal foundations to help all the animals, all the puppers. But uh, you know what, Phil? Fuck it. I, I don't even care. I'm not going to take Google's blood money. Uh, just like how you don't want to take Keemstar's money. But uh, you know what, Phil? Uh, you know what? All the goodwill just uh, went out the toilet. Went down the toilet, dude.
you know, this is how you don't play. I became the whipping boy of the internet. People made entire channels that were profitable based off just making fun of me, right? So when I'm out there as the target and people realize, well, people have been doing this for years and they get away with it. You know, this started making fun of my gameplay. Hey, then Adobe Suite's pretty good to fun. I've been of, giving a whole bunch uh, of subs to just random ass of, people. You know, it's just, it kept going big, 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 as much as you can, as toxic as you can. Um, I feel like I've spent I mean. half like, of it in like just I'm the one, literally like, gifting subs to other people for let's, let's a bunch of random shit. So you got Wings of Redemption, you got Boogie. We're targets because we don't really, we make mistakes repeatedly. We all do. And we kind of, sometimes we make the same mistakes over and over. I feel that other content creators make those same mistakes too. Maybe not as much as us, maybe not to the extremes that we do. But those other content creators are big and they have ginormous audiences that back them and defend them. And, you know, the crazy stuff. The other day I saw a video on Moist Critical picking up an assault rifle in his video. And? Are you still mad at Moisty pointing you out when you were fucking doing the weird scorn and cry? Because that's the only reason why you're fucking mentioning Moisty right now. He was holding up an assault rifles. And? So? What's the point? What's your point? Should he be demonetized? Should he be punished for that? Phil is literally saying, why isn't he in trouble for that? What the fuck was he supposed to be in trouble for? Maybe he got demonetized on that video. And what's the point? Did he point at it and say, I'm going to shoot up all my viewers and shit? No. He was pointing out how to disassemble that fucking, that, that rifle and showcasing that it's not a uh, clip, that it's a magazine. He was correctly identifying what the fuck it was called. You absolute fucking empty-headed idiot. Mm -hmm. Without, if I, right now, if I picked up an assault rifle, I'd be off the internet. I, that would be ended for me. I'm out of here, right? It doesn't even matter what the context is. If I pick up a weapon, but I think it does. I'll it, be it, off it, the internet. But it very much does. It very much does uh, matter the context, right? Like if, if you know what he was doing was he was he was making a point. I saw the video you're speaking of, and he was talking mm -hmm. about some beef he has with some other guy. I don't really know the whole deal, but the guy that he was talking to was talking about uh, you know clips. He was talking about clipping streams and clipping and, and the guy who was who was kind of threatening him with a gun who was talking mm -hmm. about the clips 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 and he's like no listen this is not that's not a clip this is a magazine and, and he was explaining these things in context for what was going on i, I think context very very much does does matter though I, and, I, and I, I, it is against terms of service on youtube to be live while holding any gun <laughs> Well, he right. wasn't live. He wasn't live. Yeah. Oh, he wasn't it, live. It, it was a video. Was yeah, it was a video. So then, it, then there's okay. nothing wrong with it. He may be demonetized and such, but well, so let, let, let me. Let me... Yeah, you see, you see how quick Phil backed down on that. It's like, yeah, okay, yeah, because he knows he has no leg to stand on. What an absolute fucking piece of shit! I swear. Let me say this, Phil. You look. You have your detractors. You it have people baby. who are who very much want to see you fail. That is true. It wasn't in response to a threat, being, but or you fail. I think it was more showing off that does not anything else. sound very fun to me, right? It doesn't sound like something that I would want to be a part of. Have you thought about um, going to therapy or anything along those lines to help you get through this? Because this is obviously not, nope. not an easy easy life that Filling you've chosen therapy for yourself. Ain't I mean, happening. There's, there's a lot to talk about. And I would imagine that going to talk to somebody, therapy is not a bad word. It's a, it's a very good thing for a lot of people. Uh, where you can just go and get these things off your chest and talk about these things. Have you, have you yeah, absolutely. That He's going to watch some uh, of this. At one point, I did, for sure. Where's my gun? Uh, I would say where is my gun? Wait a minute. Was one of the worst years Where's of my, my life. firearm? My, job. my personal life was falling apart, um, but I didn't. I didn't. I've never formally talked to anyone. I'm not anti-therapy or anything okay. like that. But no, I've just never gotten to that point where I've considered doing or seriously pursued that. I, do you, I'm just throwing this out there. Do you, is it because you think that it's not you? Still. It's everyone else? No, that's the, that's the feeling I get. I'm a flawed human, man. I, I, I know you, you've admitted your flaws from the past. Like you, there you it say is. like, yes, I found my in gun. 2015, I said that fucked up shit. And I, I took that, Wait, hold up. you know, this is how I, not I guess to play Kenny's way thing. wrong. And I, I admit that now, but it's like, it's really easy to do that. Right. To mm -hmm. convince someone that you've changed. Not, not saying that that's what you're doing, but it, it could be. All right. So it's like, you know, it feels kind of like hmm. you're, you, you can do no wrong Ariel. almost. And that's oh, the vibe I'm whoa. getting. And I could do no wrong. That's it. No, 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 like, uh, um, not, not in your past, but it does feel like you kind of have like, what well, I've changed. So people should understand that. And, like, um, I, I don't know. It, it's just a, a vibe that I'm getting that you're, you, cause every time do there's it. been so many times where we've asked a question and your mm -hmm. response was instantly blaming other people. Uh, and that, that was a, uh, a consistent uh, answer throughout the entire three hour, three hours and 10 minutes that we've been, been live. So, you know, it's like a I got it here. addition responsibility elsewhere. Um, I, and I think I, that's like if I can echo what Adam is saying, right? Like, mm -hmm. Phil, we want nothing but good things for you, right? We don't persona. want persona. Negative things. Yeah, from this I can just use a persona. Was, you know, to allow you an opportunity. It's to how I summon out my persona, things. guys. Persona. You, I mean, it, it, and Adam is correct. You know, pretty much. What about this? Well, my detractors or the people who, who, are, who are after me. At what point 
you know, you have taken you have taken accountability for some things, right? For for this is how I was in the Street Fighter community. This is how I was then. But I feel like there's there are other things that that have yet to be you, know, you have yet to attune for or atone for whatever the word is um, that that are just. I just go back to it, man. It just seems like there's just this amount of evidence, and this we're talking fucking JFK level conspiracy theory here. If 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 all this stuff lines up the way it does, and mm -hmm. if you were just to say like, yeah, I play WB Legends. Yeah, I'm addicted. Yes, I have a problem with spending money on it. Yes, I yes I um, you know um, I need to need to improve. I think people would be like, yeah, cool. Let us help you instead of stop lying, you know. And that's that's what it feels like right now, man. It just only you know the truth in your heart, right? right. And, and, right. The, and the, well, and the evidence attached to it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, which there is a mountain of, right? It's- so, Craig, I'm, you, I'm, sound I'm, like you sound like a detective right now trying to get a confession. I'm just no, saying. No, 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 I, 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 and it's, it's not trying to, I'm not trying to, I'm more trying to sound just, like fucking Dr. Telling, Phil. I know, you know? but that, like, it, the, there's a fine line yeah. between the two and-, and I, I understand honest, it. it. It feels like you're trying to get a confession and I, you, I know, it, you know, I'm not trying to like, it, make it weird and right and, and i apologize for that you've already been there a couple times so i know like, i know but i i'm having i'm just having a really hard time get through it and i apologize if that's what it sounds like that's not what i'm trying for you I'm might more, you might not be able to get through it craig uh, you're, you're right i may not and, and <laughs> for that i understand why why people would be critical you know right. I, it just too much lines up with the situation um, i'm in it's it's a it's a lose lose there is no win there is no win in this situation there just isn't no well, so, matter what i do I'm, I, there's a risk there's a, there's a liability boy, I don't just know like what you're you talking said about. even if i send you the screenshot they won't care they will not well, care. Where's the bad dragon? Well. It depends, yeah, it, right? Yeah, I, I don't agree with you. I don't agree at all. There, the, there's people out there that would, would be like, damn, would be genuinely shocked, myself included, because I, like, I don't think you're gonna send that screenshot. But I truly believe it would be for the better. I think that, you know, I, I mean, I don't know how many people who hate you know who Craig is or can even trust Craig or think that you. They'll probably just be like, oh, he photoshopped it. He he edited right, out right. exactly his, right. his thing. One million you know? percent. That's, Whatever. It. that's the explanation. So I photoshopped so it today. so FaceTime with him. FaceTime and pull it up and Craig will be like we FaceTimed and and he he opened the I saw him open the app I mean there's ways around it that Craig would be like I I saw him do it live right I mean right okay there's ways I, around I will that. I will yeah, see how I, he, dude to, he was so quick he was so quick but then all of a sudden he was like uh no oh shit he already countered my point I was about to agree with why I am so not convinced that anything I do will help at all can I please just tell you a story? No, it's, with me for this a minutes? it's your show, Phil, man. Yeah, absolutely. Go crazy. It's not my show. It's your well, show. Our show. Okay, our show <laughs> well, listen, we provided you a platform that for you Thank to do you. it. And listen, you, you have you have thousands of people at you know ready to listen to you right now. So by the way, you guys have been great. You've been great interviewers. You've been completely fair with me. You've given me thank you. You guys have been you're the fairest shake I've ever gotten on the internet. Where right the now. hell Seriously, is it? You should be commended for being as neutral. I know you're saying he's I'm trying to get Mario a confession knows. out of me. I don't feel that way. I don't feel pressured. This no, he's trying great. to help you. That's really I what know. I'm saying. But he sounded like it. So right. and the well, thing is, he's not he's not going to get a confession because I'm telling you, it's just, what I'm telling you. Is I know, true. but it's it's it's, it's it's clearly Craig trying to help. Okay. So so here's the story. Okay. When when I was first talking with my now wife okay i was so scared that people were going to harass her or do things we didn't live near each other we had online communication after talking for several months we started dating okay she flew out here on her own dime by the way it's another conspiracy that i paid for that way no that's not true started dating and after wait hold up hold up wait a minute 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 she flew out on her own dime Bro, come on. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Just, just, no, don't, don't, not with this shit. Not the, he literally wants to tell this escort saga so bad. It's like, oh man, the detractors were in the wrong, bro. I'm so glad that he's willing to tell the story three hours in because everybody's like, dude, he's a piece of shit. And like, by the time he tells the story, nobody's going to care. After a few months, she visited for Christmas. Okay, this was Christmas of 2017. I took some pictures while she was here, but I didn't take a picture of her face. I just took a picture of her back, decorating my Christmas tree, saying, here's, you know, here's someone nice who's in my life now. My life has changed because I had previously been in a relationship that was very public. And sadly, it turned out toxic. We broke up in 2016, or excuse me, uh, early 2017. So this was like something new and positive that I wanted to share with everyone, but I was apprehensive about showing her face or anything. So all I showed was her back. I have no idea where the bad dragon tree. is. I talked about I what we did when she visited. It. We made some brownies together. We did this, we did that. Very, very basic stuff. I'm not making this up. It's documented. You can look this up on the internet. I wonder if you guys have come across this. There were people, my haters, made up an entire fabricated story about nope. that was not someone I was dating. That was an escort <laughs> that I was paying. The money that I was bringing in on streams, I was paying for a European escort and flying this escort across the globe to spend Christmas with me. All right? right. Well, they the, had evidence. What, 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 what does that have to do with anything, though? Um, but, well, dude! Okay? Dude! They had okay. evidence of it. Documented evidence.
What does this have to do with anything? Thank you, Adam, for saying the thing that we're all thinking of. What does this have to do with anything? He's literally only bringing this up to disprove, to debunk the trolls. But everything up to the, up until this point has been Phil being unable to prove any of his cases and being a piece of shit. So he's literally saying, look at those guys over there. They're being wrong and negative. Well, but... Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Sorry, I'll give it back. It's, I... Damn it, Sarah. Oh, look at this. There's a whole social media account of it, of the escort. Here's the logs of plane tickets. Here's the recipe for the, the brownies. It's well documented. Everyone said I was guilty. I maintained my innocence for about three, four months as she continued to visit me and we had our relationship blossomed and all of that. Eventually, she moves in with me, okay? What ends up happening is, guess what? The whole thing was fake. It was right. all my haters. They had made and, the whole situation up. Well, now, hold on, because because you're talking about the narrative, the narrative is that your detractors actually cleared you of it, cleared you of that and said like, no, this doesn't add up, right? They, they're looking for they're looking for evidence of this thing adding up. And they're, they're after the fact. And, and they're the ones who who apparently put the evidence out that said like, hey, this is not this is not the case. That's right? fair. We're, what happened was for three, four Yo. months, they're making my life a living hell, just like with this WWE champions thing. Phil is guilty. You know, look at all this evidence. It's all there. It's outright. And then basically when she moved in with me, well, now what are they going to do? Now they have the narrative has to change. Okay. So now they figure it out. It's fake. They, you're right. They did research. They found out it's these two people in Europe who apparently they do this. So the detractors cleared your name. Thank you, Phil. Thank you for admitting that we did good. All right, cool. This all the time with other streamers. There was even a possibility they were going to try to extort me for money, try to get them to shut up about it or something. Okay. So to give you some perspective, did anything change positively when that was disproved? No, nothing. They were on to the next thing already. They had already created two, three more narratives that they went on to. This is something concrete, ex almost exactly parallel to the situation. All this evidence, corroborating evidence, proving that it was real, it was real, it was real. And then all of a sudden, oh yeah, we found out it was fake. Oh well, move on to the next. Thank you so much, DD. I do appreciate that. It, okay, you you probably know him, Craig. Did you watch the Secret Limited video about the hundred thousand dollar? I sure uh, did. You watched it. Secret Limited is someone who once a year makes a very negative video about hey, all my mistakes. Look at that. Into one video. This. This shout out to Secret Limited is going to be immortalized now because DSP said it and it's in a stream and a bunch of people watched it. There's going to be like 100,000 people who have watched this stream and they're going to get to this point and they're going to be like, Secret Limited, who's that guy? And they're going to go over there and they're going to literally watch that fucking, uh, that entire fucking thing. And they're going to do it for the next year and the year after that and the year after that. It's going to be great. They made a video documenting publicity. this. They called it the Escort Saga, okay? The thumbnail for the video you gotta was, get was me, dust. my ex, I don't know why she was in it, and the escort's face, supposedly who it was. This gets disproven three, four months later. Did my detractors say, sorry about that, Phil. May have called, but yo, we made a big mistake. Let's forget. No. You wanna know what he did? This is the same guy who made the WWE Champions video. He took the face of the escort and put a horse's head on it, and he said, my wife looks like a horse. He never took the video down. It's he never the fucking apologized. internet, though. DS, I know. Come on. <laughs> when these things get, get proven wrong, oh. Oh, months the next, it's just the next thing. I will say, wow, I will wow. wait, so what does this have to do, do with it, it though? Because I will disprove anything and they will just move on to the next. It will never end. That's what I mean. So, so it's the internet. So who fucking cares then? So then, so then why even bother? Why bother with any of it? And that's the attitude I take. And now, Adam, you just hit it dead on the head because this is the attitude I take. Look at this. this was Adam is so internet, done right? with this. I was just supposed to be a guest. On he knows show. how stupid this is. Ever come out and have it be like this on my streams. We don't have this. That's why Bro, I wanted to see Adam is so you done. Actual answers on this stuff. You watch the show, and that's the last thing I'm talking about, it, right? So I, don't, I, this is off my streams. I'm just, I'm making content. I just want to be left alone. They won't leave me alone. They're the ones who, who continue the narrative. I'm with Adam. It's the internet. It's gonna go on forever. So then, why even bother? Why disprove anything? It's on to the next anyway. So once I disprove WWE champions at great personal risk, okay, on to the next. And by the way, now something might happen to me because I. <sighs> So that's why I don't care about it anymore. I've really become, in the 15 years I've been a content creator, I've become so desensitized to this stuff. I just, it's like, what's Is the next one? I literally, if, you, if you truly don't care, then you, you won't bother sending him a screen cut, screenshot. Because it doesn't matter to you then. It doesn't matter either way. If well, anything, if I, if I, send, cares. If I send Craig the screenshot, it would be out of like respect that he gave me his time today on the show. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, but that, then, that's, that's something that's, to think about. That's so yeah, if you don't give him the screenshot, then I guess he didn't respect his time. That's actually pretty cool, Phil. I'm glad that you admitted that. I'm glad that if you never send the screenshot, it'll uh, it'll have been because you have no respect for Craig. A lot of trust. And you know what? I have massive respect for Craig. You know what? I'm willing to eat crow. I'm actually willing to eat crow. Craig, I gotta apologize to your fucking ass, and I'm gonna fucking tweet at you too. I'm gonna be like, I'm sorry for fucking doubting you.
I still think they use this for drama and clicks, but goddamn, I gotta fucking apologize to you. I will eat that crow. I will gladly eat that crow. I will humbly eat that crow. Caw -caw! Too, because again, I'm not saying Craig would ever do anything dishonest or, or yeah adam me. carried it i'm telling you there's been time but this exact Craig at least happened, gave the follow-up this is so the much game. more than fucking double burger dude I, I haven't i'll say this i haven't done anything to to uh dissuade your trust or lose no, your yeah. trust so no. you know uh, look ultimately this is your call but the offer's there and i know you said you didn't want to do anything you know with your phone i'll take this. that l Respect i'll that. definitely fine, take that l that by by leaving we love taking open, that l doing this after the show you know what there's still allowed the opportunity up. You know, it, it goes back to the picture different didn't happen. Like if somebody mm -hmm. sees you pick up your phone right now on stream, you were to then email it to me right now on stream. And it was this this was to happen literally right now in real time as people were watching. It's, it's on his done. bucket list. It's, it's on his bucket done. list. <laughs> but Seriously, it's yeah, like number three yeah, yeah, on Craig's yeah. bucket list for that to happen right it, now. It, well, I'm just but, saying. But, once again, I think this is all done. It's all done. It's all done. Um, all right, let, let's let's continue on, man. Um, <sighs> Bro. Phil, hmm? how the fuck did you not know the camera was on? You know what I'm talking well, about. I, I, was, I wasn't going to talk about this, but I, I, I did. What the fuck, man? I mean, come Why? on. Sadly, when it happened, I, I tried to, to, to spin fuck? it. I tried to spin it in a very positive light, and I, I rolled with it. It's one of the rare times where I learned in my life, you roll with it, and it'll go away. It never went away, but at least people, you know, it's just something funny <laughs> now, right? Imagine if I had reacted to that the same yeah, way I reacted to this time you don't play. Like, that would have been the end for me. Like, if you, this guy, what's he going to say? He didn't do it or whatever. Of course, yeah, it happened. It's something stupid. But you, the truthful story, sadly, is not happy. Okay? Um, here's the truth. I've, I've told it before, but never in this context. So in 2016, it was probably the second worst year of my life. Everything was falling apart in my personal life. I, I moved out here to Washington. I used to live in Connecticut my whole life. I moved to Washington Dude. in 2014 with my then-girlfriend. Okay, I got to ask. Does he somehow or another add even more specifics to the story? Because I feel like this em gets embellished every single time over and over and over again. Is this about to be his 1992 moment? And we're just going to tell it and we're going to add like more spices to it? Yes? Oh my God. Almost, but no. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see what he does. Our relationship was great. Over the course of two years of systematic harassment on the internet, being swatted, doxxed, all this stuff, her family members being harassed, my family members being harassed, our whole relationship fell apart. Okay. In 2016, I was living with her and we had two separate lives. It was like two roommates rather than a romantic relationship. It was messed up. Like we were supposed to be together and we're really not. Um, it got to the point where she went off and had her own life. She had her own friends, her own job. I was doing my thing, but no one knew this. Everyone thought everything was fine. We, we pretended we smiled, whatever. No one knew that. I was depressed. I was really messed up in the head at that point. The way that I saw it was this room was the only place in the house where she never went. She never came in here. Okay. So this room was like my safe space. I know that sounds stupid, but it was like, uh, this is the one place I can be away from that. And I can have my own safe place. Bro, and she came into that room when you were playing with 2B. We were playing near Automata. It wasn't your safe space at all. We still haven't did it, right? <laughs> and in particular, I couldn't tell you the specific day what had happened, but I, I guarantee you it was something awful that happened, an argument, a fight, whatever it was. And I came in here and back then, my, I was very different than today. I'm professional. I have layouts blocking the screen and everything. Back then, I just had, you know, my, my you, you dashboard. Got a, like a couch in the corner? That you exactly. Could go, do that, had, go do that this, now? Yeah. So I had the, the camera had been left on from the day before. Back then, I didn't do face cam like I do today. Today, this is a common thing to have the face cam on every single stream. Back then, it was a rarity. I only did it for, like, FromSoft games where I was going to get really upset. People like to see me rage on camera, right? So that, again, that meant that dark side feel character. Wait. Um, I left it on. And so I come in here, and I'm feeling like shit. I feel awful, like probably depressed, awful thing. And I, I you know... I beat one off. I don't know if I want to ever imagine that. DSP was so angry and depressed, he went into his room and beat one off during stream. Is that supposed to make it better or worse? Board. Oh my god. Are we really adding that to the soundboard? What was the last thing I added? Oh, yeah, that was the last thing I added. It was uh, Cobra huffing. And it makes you fucking sad. <laughs> that was the last thing that I added to the soundboard. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And it makes you fucking sad. And it makes you fucking sad. 
Okay, okay. I want to I want to hear this again, but I want to hear this in regular time. I want to capture. I can snip off the parts I need. I'm feeling like shit. I feel awful, like probably depressed, awful thing. And I, I you know, I beat one off. <laughs> oh, I got to hear that. Oh. Probably depressed, awful thing. And I, I, you know, I beat one off <laughs> to relieve myself before a stream. And I, I you know, I beat one off <laughs> to relieve myself before a stream. And I, I you know, I beat one off <laughs> to relieve myself before a stream. I'm going to have to have that a follow notification, I think. And I, I you know, I beat one off <laughs> to relieve myself before a stream. It's going to be like somebody follows like big ups for the follow. And I, I, you know, I beat one off <laughs> to relieve myself before a stream. Yeah, that's definitely a keeper. We we love that sound bite. I don't know why. It's almost better than the artificial growth. Wait, does the things play on this? Okay, it does. I've been having these on pause for like a, a whole bit. So I, I do apologize. If anybody was like doing follows or anything, I do apologize. Black Mage six 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 five two cheered fifty big. Yeah, we're clipping in. These bitties are the only meaningful interaction I get from my wheelchair. Now show me butthole. What? Okay, but this is just divine. Exquisite. Vikes ten eleven cheered one hundred. Wow, that's a lot of positivity. On these play. Okay, that's it. Oh my God, it's this one. It's lagging. No. We're about to skip this. We're about to skip this. No, get out of here. Thank you for the. Thank you for the fifty bits. Uh, Black Mage six six uh five two. Cheer 50 bits. Uh, these biddies are the only meaningful interaction I get from a wheelchair. Now show me butthole. I'm not showing butthole. Thank you. Uh, Vikes for the 100 bits. I appreciate it. Kamino Shipai for the 500 bits. I will play the song in its entirety later. And Vikes again for the 100 bits cheer. I'm sorry. I had these off for like the entire time because I've been like hyper focused on this. I don't want to have that playing as I'm doing this. Like I, I wanted to have it completely disconnected. But I do a I appreciate the support. I really do. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, if I do hit 1,400 followers on Twitch, which we're, I think, 10 away, maybe a little bit less than that, uh, I will be doing the guaranteed 24-hour stream. We're going to plan it out ahead of time. So just a little bit of a, you know, hint, 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 plug, plug, plug. If anybody's interested in following, twitch.tv forward slash AMG1337. all over the internet. And I, oh, the camera was on, huh? <laughs> so it was depression. Oops. It was part of it. It was definitely part of it. Like... Obviously, you don't sit down in front of a, you know, a, a, you know, why would you even do that? I mean, what an idiot to do that, in a, even in a situation, but it was probably something so horrible, you know, another argument. There's many of those. So you said the, the camera was on, um, and then you started the stream and then did that, or like you were prepping for a stream, but the camera was on, so it, it just happens? Yes. So basically, I, I turned have on a question. Uh, oh, I'm, yeah. sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm just yeah. trying to walk my through <laughs> okay uh what was the lead time between starting the stream and uh completion because that's pretty fucking impressive <laughs> i'm just gonna say not wow. long not long man <laughs> it was you know i would turn on the stream i call it the pre-stream roll or whatever so you had no, to i don't I, I, I really don't care i really don't care i really don't care uh, <laughs> the pre-stream the pre-stream pre roll Oh, oh my god. god. Oh lord. All right. So it's a normal thing. <laughs> no, it's not. I did obviously no. It wasn't. You got a name for it, Phil. You no, got no, a name no. for it. The time that I run, that I turn on the stream to let people come into the stream. Oh thank god. The oh jeez. Okay. That's not a routine I do every day. That's... No, no. <laughs> I mean, Absolutely. it'd be a hell of a pre-show. I'm just saying. Like, you, so here's, here's you the could probably, thing. Here's hey, the... hey, you can monetize. <laughs> as our friends from Geeks and Gamers say, you could monetize the haters. You could, you could, right. you could start. You could start a wicked OnlyFans, <laughs> Phil. I'm just saying, a wicked OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, I, and, and, and here's the narrative. Here's the truth of the matter. First of all, it took place on YouTube, not on Twitch. All right. There was maybe, <sighs> maybe 20, 30 people there when it happened because I just turned the stream on, right? And it was right, you know, laptop in front of me or whatever. <laughs> cameras on. So embarrassing. But what's the narrative now? Dark Side Phil masturbated in front of thousands of people, including small children, on the internet, live on Twitch, and didn't get banned for it. Is that okay? I don't know. Well, CNN rehired Tubin after he jerked it in a freaking <laughs> Zoom meeting. So, I mean, things can happen, dog. No you know? Thankfully, surprise. the camera was not coming down. That would have been really, really bad. Thank God it was way out of the angle. No one wants to see it. Okay. Oh, so it doesn't, it doesn't show anything? Because I, I, I haven't seen it. And oh, I don't no, no. It's, it. just, it's actually like from the neck up. And it's kind of just like me tilting my head back. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. 
right, so. it's, it's just my old, my old face. It's just my old hey, man, face. there's it. been worse videos of, of prominent YouTubers with their heels above their heads, and uh, it's, it's, it's it's been worse. But I'm like, that's, 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 that's the issue a lot of people will always have with me. This is that's, like that's worthless right now. Right. Right. Why am I ever going to live that down? If everybody thinks here's where I live, here's where I learned from. That's going to always, no matter what these idiots say about me, that's always going to be my most embarrassing moment. Uh, you know what? Hold on, I'm going to give you some advice. All right, I want to give you some advice right now. You need to own it, and you need to have a, a box of tissues behind you. As a, as a fucking joke, dude, troll yeah. back. Yeah. Here's the thing. Here, I, I, I hear what you're saying. However, again, you have to understand something. We're joking about it. It's funny to joke about it. But actually, it's representative of a really bad time. You know what I'm saying? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, sure, sure. The thing my wife doesn't ever want to talk. And they like me. No, wabu, this wabu. is, this is, I have to. Don't fast forward. Why? This is stupid. She met me after, and yeah. she still likes me. She married yeah. me after that. So obviously she's, she doesn't want to talk about it. It's like, why am I going to monetize Phil, the most Phil, embarrassing Phil, moment? Phil, you know? you beat, beat, <laughs> damn it, that would have sounded so bad. Yeah. Uh, I was going to say beat your demons, but <laughs> in this context, <laughs> it's, good. it's like, shit. I mean, conquer your demons. You know what I mean? Like, you're like, I don't want to, I don't want to like go there, but it's like, no, fuck that. Just, right. Like, face it and, and you know, conquer your demons. Like, I didn't mean to make that pun. That was unintentional, but it was so good. Um, but, but you know what I'm saying, right? I'm trying to like, you yeah. say you don't want to go there, but like, right. conquer it, dude. Own it. Own it. Own it. Own that shit. The problem is, again, when you focus on a focal point like that and that it becomes your end all be all, I don't want that to be what I'm remembered for. It probably will be, but I want people who come to my content every day to remember that awesome stream they had or that cool game playthrough that we did. I don't want them to think about the guy who, who had an old face beat off on stream. Like, it's so stupid. And it's such a dumb thing that I've moved past. I'm not in that part of my life anymore. I'm so much happier now that I don't need to dwell on the past anymore. I don't need to think literally about wanted to have a fucking emo. I'll say this. To it forever. If you're not going to monetize it, we will. Later tonight, the Beat Your Demons t-shirt will be available on the store. <laughs> oh my god! Is, no, no, that's terrible, yes. dude. Totally good, totally good. Yes! I, I, I thought it was really funny. All right. Oh my goodness. So th there's a few things that I want to circle back, um, back with Beat you. Beat Your Demons. You looks like you're frozen. Did we, did we lose him? I hope not. Oh, well, if, if, he, if, he, if he drops, well, he can come back in. Um, yeah, he does look frozen and such. But... I, was t I was just kidding. I, of I mean, course. I, I couldn't help the puns. They, they wrote themselves. Uh, Phil, Phil, uh, make sure you pop back in. I'm sure that he will. Uh, I, I doubt that he quit uh, because he would have. He would have been dropped from the thing. It's definitely an internet issue of some. Yeah, some, yeah. Some corp, must so be frozen. I, I do not think that he. Uh, that he quit or like that. Fast so forward Phil, to this point. Uh, I'm not whenever, gonna. Whenever you're ready. I don't want to uh, listen to all of it. But there are a few things that I want to. I want to circle back on. Um, mainly on the. Uh, on the 5k okay looks like he dropped so he'll he'll pop back in i, I do want to circle back on the business expense because i feel like uh phil kind of started that question a little bit and we didn't really get you know the idea of i don't know man like it's, it's, if we if we can have a little one-to-one -one here i feel like there's just so much here that doesn't add up you know man i i i mean i, I don't believe him uh i mean i i, I don't i there's just too many too many Yo. things i mean i i caught him lied and then he admitted like a minute later that i was right it's like man that your whole credibility was already shaky and right i don't know i mean i, I I'm, I'm not saying this now because Daddy's he's not here i mean you guys have been very blunt he to his face i'm not gonna like you know if he he hears me it's not like i uh, i mean i straight up told him i didn't believe him about that joke that he made and it's just like dude that, that's such bullshit, you know so well, um while we have a second, hopefully Phil's going to rejoin us. Um, I, I did want to thank everybody for your super chats today, and I see a lot of people yeah, buying yeah, merchandise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, thank, it's, thank, oh, thank, 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 thank like, you. And there's there's shit, and you and I, I wasn't being easy on him, and I, I wasn't going to because I'm. I, I said earlier, you know, I'm an honest asshole, dude. Like if you're, if I don't know you, and I'm like, and there's there's shit, then you you know it's a serious situation. Like I'll I'll get serious. Like yeah. this is this is the most serious show we've ever had on on this channel, right? Our, we we're constantly laughing. I'm like when you said you were going to bring him on you read his email that he said you could read publicly and it seemed like he just wanted to be uh joining and doing a regular show and it, it kind of evolved through the weeks of it's going to be an interview and, and now we we've done this this interview today and i mean phil it was says, it was tough right well i'll say this uh, phil just emailed me and he said uh hey i'm still here i might be getting ddos not sure so what? I, I will say this um look we do have might be getting um, ddos so while Get we have a second, Phil's not with us, i'm actually going to invite somebody to the chat right now um um keemstar is going to join us to give his side of the thing and when uh when when phil hops in um, oh my god you know we'll see i like i said i don't want to make this weird for phil but but i do think that while we have a second we'll, we'll bring keemstar, in. Uh, keemstar has the link and uh he should be joining us any minute um, oh my god this is getting this is I, I, I will say this i will say day. this guys i, I appreciate everybody staying, staying with us and while we have you for a second i want to remind you guys we do have some other guests coming up including uh mark the cyborg and uh, james rolf the angry video yeah hey, yeah coming, coming blah, 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 next few weeks if you guys are blah blah uh, blah uh, side scrollers and uh support us over there but joining <laughs> us now i gotta say i really didn't mean to make that pun beat your demons it was just so funny I, could, I couldn't stop laughing and i i, I geez all right. Uh, All right. Keemstar is joining us. Hello, Keemstar. How are you? Nice to meet you. Good. It's okay. nice to meet you. You guys have uh, absolutely crushed this. I I think you've done more than a fair job. 
uh, with Phil here, and especially like how difficult he is. But I, with him talking about the fifty thousand uh, dollar offer, I preemptively made sure to have like the Lol Call podcast. I just really wanted to get on to say my piece because he's just dishonest. He and I, I think you guys experienced this, right? He had an opportunity to clear his name so easily. And he just put it off and made excuse, made excuse, made excuse, and then goes on to bring up some other situation with hookers and some other lies. And it's like every content creator has been lied about, right? But in sure. this one issue where he could just prove his innocence so quick and he doesn't take advantage of it, then it's like, and <clears throat> I told him, it, it's just making you more sus. Uh, like that, it's making me trust your story less that you're not like, you know what? I want to fucking prove this shit. Like, I'm All sick right. of these lies. Let's prove it, you know? Well, I'll say this. Look, Keem, we appreciate you hopping on. Phil has rejoined us. Phil said he didn't want to be on the show if you were on it. Um, so I'll say, can we invite you back on after Sh after we're done with Phil? Sure. Uh, sure. Absolutely. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. We're, we're going to bring Phil back on. We don't want to make things weird. So uh, appreciate you understanding, man. And uh, you have the link. I'll DM you when, when we're ready. Okay, buddy? Sounds good. Thank you, Keem. Appreciate it, man. All right. Uh, boof. All right. Phil, welcome back, man. Sorry, we had a second. We wanted to, he had reached out and he wanted oh, to share I his saw. side of it. So, so we, we, we appreciate you running with it, man. So, um, so let's continue. Everything okay? I don't know. I have absolutely no idea what just happened. My I have no idea, man. Back up, and I don't know if it was my ISP or if I've just been DDoSed. I would not put it past them to DDoS me at this point. Um, I've never, to my knowledge, my IP address has never leaked this one. But if it happens again, I guess we kind of know, right? Well, I hope that's I, not We kind of know. I hope not either because that's a lot of work for me. I have to call my cable company then to get it fixed. It's not. Right. Uh, All right. Uh, let, let's, let's circle back on some stuff here, man. Um, and did I miss anything? Things... Did I miss well, anything? Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's a few things that I feel like we kind of went through and I feel like we need to we need we do need to kind of address and I want to circle back to like the business expenses because we talked about the 5k we talked about that and uh, but we didn't really get an answer right like mm -hmm. and this kind of all ties in together the idea of like as somebody who works online I've been doing this for a long time as well I understand that spending 5k on anything is a lot and the idea of a mortgage being a business business expense that's not necessarily true you, you mm -hmm. can you can from a Again, tax perspective know. you can well allow me to tell you because from a tax perspective you can you can uh, take the square footage of your office space in your house and you can that feet. can be deductible right and you can use that as a business expense uh, you can take the internet I don't know do those things, but, but your entire house your entire mortgage is not is not something that can be a a business expense right so with, yeah, with i didn't think all that was legal i don't think that's legal right it's not it, it, it's not the way it goes um but with all that said i feel like there's with with all, everything lined up right there's still a lot like are you spending that money on food or what are you spending that money on on it because you can pay for you know meals out and things like that as, as long as you technically talk about business um you know and do, do on that hundreds there's of no times feet. where you go out you go out to a meal it's and you say, only well, we're gonna have a business meeting and it's just you and your wife talking about whatever right um the only it's, shoes it's down there. Things, There's nothing else. Through once again, just like, shoes. What what do what are your month to month business expenses? What are you paying for as a streamer who works twelve hours a day? Kind of walk me through this. Uh, well, again, I could tell you what I'm doing now. I mean, we're talking. What people are referencing is something from like 2019, I think. Right? Is that a tax return for my? Well, uh, uh, but, but I don't know about today. I want to know about today. Like your expenses that you have on a month to month basis. What what do those look like? Are there are your okay. expenses? You know what? How about no? This? It has. Time? Wait, sure, hold up. Let me yeah. double check. Hold this, up. This should be fun. Uh, hold up. Wait. Right, let Phil, me. Phil is off, and you know, like, I wonder what he's. This, this could be a surprise. We'll see what happens. I, so. I'm an old man. Okay? Yes. No, she has underwear. She has underwear. Paper. And I write. I had to double check to track things. No one knows this, right? Now, hold on, Phil. Before, I, before <laughs> I you show check. anything, I want oh, to make sure. Show. Okay. I have underwear. Show There's anything. underwear I down there. Thing. What I'd like to do I have striped ones is kind of go through one. here. Because people say every day, where does your money go? That's what you, Essentially, that's what you're asking, right? Where yeah. does the money go that's coming in? I will 100%. Uh-oh. You guys are shopping. Tell me. No, you're, exactly good. You're, you're good. You're good. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Keep going. Um, here we go. I'm going to go through. This. I'm not exaggerating. Line for line, this is what I'm paying this month. And this is where all my money goes. Plus a few other things. Okay? And this is literally all of it. Um. I have a subscription to Hulu. It's ten dollars a month. Business what? expense. Okay. Definitely not a business expense. I'm just saying this is where my money goes. This is everything. I'm serious. I'm gonna cover it all. Okay. Sure. Um I have my internet. I have two internet lines that I pay for. They're very expensive because they're unlimited Why? internet. It's you know, it's not an hourly rate. It's like you have to pay a ton of money. Um hourly? Who pays for hourly internet? No, not hourly, I said unlimited. Oh, I, I thought you said okay. Go I'm, ahead, I'm sorry, I meant to say data rates, not hourly. My Got bad. It. data rates. You know how much you use. It's you know, it's not an hourly rate, it's like you have to pay a ton of money. It's on an hourly rate. You have to pay a ton of money. Um, and then he's like, wait a minute, what? Hourly? Who pays for hourly internet? No, not hourly. I said unlimited. Oh, I, I thought you no, said No, you I didn't. Okay, you I'm on. sorry. I meant to say data rates, not hourly. My Got bad. It. Data rates. You know how much you use. Okay. Um, uh, I yeah. have. Hulu is new because he didn't say. I thought he specifically said he didn't have Hulu. He has a. He has something else. Unless he just recently got Hulu, which is really stupid either way. Like, why do we have. Hulu. My dues here, where I live, I, I live in a, a community, 
uh, condo facility community, so it's the dues, monthly dues. Mm -hmm. Um, I've got. Let's see here. I uh, mean, Game Pass. But but you're you're reading off personal expenses, and that's no one's business. Right. I'm reading off everything. It, it, I don't care. I'm reading off well, everything, so you know where my money goes. Because this is the only, this is what they want. They want to know where all my money goes. I'm gonna tell you right no, now. No, I, I don't think that's the case. I think it was about the five thousand dollars, the business expenses that they were like, "What is going on with this? Like, how how is this the case?" So you're you're now giving them more shit when you're you were very uh, seemingly very nervous about giving anyone any more information Yo, that isn't public. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm just trying to. Before you continue, it just mm -hmm. seems like this is counterintuitive for what where you have uh, said your your stance is on like revealing public information. So like, well, I'm not gonna tell you any any account name. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I understand. Yeah, I get saying. that. But still, it's still personal stuff that it's like, all right, well, uh, I don't understand what. That's not what the subject was about. Right. It was about the business expenses. Right. These aren't these aren't business expenses that you're reading off. But he doesn't know stuff. how to correct. Well, some them, of this, so. well, some of this would be considered business, and some wouldn't. You know, like I was just gonna say, Game Pass. That's. But what's the point? Is is kind of where I'm leaning. Like, what what is the reason for giving us your personal expenses? Because people want to know where my money goes. Uh, you're asking your, me your business, your the business okay. expense money. That's what they're that's what they're talking about. Well, that's what I've seen well, that on the internet. That's what I've seen that people are upset. There's the the business expenses, the five thousand, and then like I don't know where this like half a million thing is or what that even is but there's some some questions yeah i don't know i don't know. I, I heard <laughs> I, i've seen i didn't look into that much because i i have multiple shows that i'm i do and you know i couldn't dedicate too much to uh learning about you so uh, i figured i'd come and just hear from you you know but like oh. not, not, that's from what i've seen it's the Ooh, business it's expenses that, that's what people okay, want to know about like where how are you spending that much money on the business here's the thing if you were to nickel and dime every single transaction i do when it comes to like video games and stuff like that i don't think it gets it close to that i think it's i, I don't know how it was divvied out in those you know in that report or whatever they used for the bankruptcy i don't know how it's calculated uh, you know i'm not my bankruptcy attorney i'm not my cpa i know it's done right because i went through it with the bankruptcy judge line by line so is I that know is that correct. where that, that mm -hmm. uh no you didn't at least you didn't do it publicly but that's where the 5k comes from and you definitely were not spending 5k on average over those six months that you were given the only reason why 5k even came up i well actually i don't even know maybe you had a heavy exp expense month or something but the 5k literally made no sense large number comes from is the bankruptcy number like how much debt you had oh I, i'm just maybe, i'm maybe. trying to take a oh i felt i mean you you know right i mean if that's what i don't know the total number of debt seems like a pretty right big now. moment in your life that you would you would know i know i didn't i never you know it's not a milestone oh man i'm so happy i got half a million dollars off my bank i'm not oh, saying no. it's a it's a good milestone no but... it's a horrible milestone so i want to move past and forget and get you know Put in the past but i don't know maybe that's what that number is but again i don't know i don't i can't go line item by line item i don't know mm. uh, it's from years and years go ago. back to the response when he says he does not know how it's that much me hear that See, i don't know how it's calculated do when it too much to see or what that even is but that's what they're talking about that's specific? what i've seen on the internet that's what i've seen that people are upset there's the the business expenses the five thousand and then like i don't know where this like half a million thing is or what that even is but there's some some questions half a million yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I heard. I, I've seen. I didn't look into that much because I, I have multiple shows that I'm, I do, and you know I couldn't dedicate too much to uh, learning about you. So uh, I figured I'd come and just hear from you. You know, but like uh, that's from what I've seen. It's the business expenses that that's what people want to know about. Like where how are you spending that much money on the business? Here's the thing: if you were to nickel and dime every single transaction I do, when it comes to like video games and stuff like that, I don't think it gets it close to that. I think it's. I, I don't know how it was divvied out. You should know, Phil. I don't know how it was divvied out. I don't know how I spent all that money. Well, bro, you kind of do need to know how you spent that money. Because that's the problem. You can't even justify half of that. In those, you know, in that report or whatever they used for the bankruptcy, I don't know how it's calculated. Uh, you know, I'm not my bankruptcy attorney. I'm, you know, in that and stuff like that. I don't think it gets it close to that. I think it's, I, I don't. I don't think it's close to that. Yo, that's actually a good ear, David. I do. When it comes to like video games and stuff like that, I don't think it gets it close to that. I think it's, I don't know how it was divvied out. I don't think it's close to that. I don't know how it's divvied out. Bro. Bro. Really? In those, you know, in that report or whatever they used for the bankruptcy, I don't know how it's calculated. You know, I'm not my bankruptcy attorney. I'm not my CPA. But you're the one who feeds your bankruptcy attorney and your CPA. You should know how much is everything. How would you not know what your expenses are? This is so fucking ludicrous. I know it's done right because I went through it with the bankruptcy judge line by line. So is that, I know is that where that, that, uh, and this is his defense. His defense is 
I was with somebody who had authority. We went through it. They approved it. Therefore, it must be correct. Bro, you're the one who's spending the money. You submitted the information. You better hope it's correct. Because if it's not correct, you committed a crime. And that's kind of part the problem. If you're saying, well, I don't know, maybe, you know, maybe it was 5,000. Maybe I don't know if it was that much or whatever. It's like, dude, 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 really? The large number comes from is the bankruptcy number, like how much debt you had. Oh, I, I'm maybe, just, I'm maybe. trying to take a, oh, I felt, I mean, you, you would know, right? I mean, if that's what you I don't know the total number of debt. seems like a pretty big moment in your life that you would, you would know. I know I didn't I never you know it's not a milestone oh man I'm so happy I got half a million dollars off my bank I'm not oh, saying it's a it's a good milestone no but... it's a horrible milestone so I want to move past and forget and get you know put in the past but I don't know maybe that's what that number is but again I don't know I don't I can't go line item by line item I don't know uh it's from years and years ago and uh oh uh oh guys what? you still there yeah okay you're froze good. again you're good. You're good. You're good. okay well they call um, me Mr. Freeze okay. so okay but yeah, like I can't, I, you know, I don't have that. I don't know. I, I would assume, this is my assuming, that that data includes anything that's considered associated with the business or not. I don't know. Uh, again, I can, without going through it, because I'm not going to go through all of it anyway. That would be exposure to talk about all that stuff, I feel. Um, okay. <sighs> A couple things that no one knows. I guess I have to. I don't want to do this. I, I really don't want to do this. But, you know, again. I, I Phil, Phil, you do what you do what you're comfortable with, man. I think that's the biggest thing. Is I really don't, don't want he is so he really wants to spin a very specific narrative so he wants to give the information that he thinks is going to absolve him and he's like i i really didn't want to do this bro nobody's asking you nobody's actually asking you and the information you're going to provide is not going to help your case you cannot make the five thousand appear out of nowhere like let me go put the paper away i'm going to tell you okay hold on all right let me put the paper away guys look at him adam's just like nah i'm done this is fucking okay. stupid all right, I don't like, I don't want to talk about shit, but I, I have to. Okay, no, hold up, wait, 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 pause. Is he about to attempt to cry? <laughs> no thought, no cat thought the sun reveal was coming. Okay, I'm playing this at normal speed. I want to hear DSP at normal speed as we hear this story. It sucks. Well, that no, you no don't. Mission, you, you said you said like 30 minutes ago you don't give a shit, and it doesn't make a difference. So yeah, pick pick a point. Pick. Dude, oh thank thank you, Adam. Thank you, because he knows what's about to come. He knows it's about to be shenanigans, and he's like, bro, 30 minutes ago you said you didn't give a shit. And you're not, we said you're good to do whatever you're comfortable with. And you don't have to do any of this shit. So what he's about to do right now is going to be absolutely fucking disgusting. Pick a place to stand. Yeah, I know. I don't. Either, I... either you don't give a shit and you're going to move on and let the haters hate you no matter what because there's nothing you could do or try to appease them. It's not, it, you can't be somewhere in the middle where you're I like, I might appease you. I might Adam, actually do this. I'll think about it. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, Adam, I don't care one about one or that. the other. I care about you guys. I care so you about, care about viewers, you. I care about, right. these I care about you. Who you. so much nasty stuff about me. At least have a place to listen and hear my side. You know, that's what this is. And I appreciate you guys so much for giving me this time. I really do. I'm sorry to get emotional now thinking, you know, but you know, Yo. Right, I'm just gonna, fuck this. I'm gonna do it. All right, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna do it. A few fuck it. No We're doing it live. Shit, okay, so it doesn't really put anyone under the bus or anything. I've been involved in a few different, you know, legal things over the years. I've been involved with medical issues, my own health and my wife's. <laughs> no way. No way. It's literally a. It's been tough. It's literally. The, it's been tough. No fucking way. Oh my God, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to actually lose it. All right. And it's not stuff I should talk about with my audience. I don't want my audience to come to my stream and be like, I want to give you a tip because I found out that you have maybe a medical issue or something going on. That's none of it. No one's business. I don't, I, you know, I've said to my, let me explain. I said to my audience, if you're going to come to a DSP gaming or a DSP react stream, please come support me because you like me and my content. Okay. Don't come support me because you want to stick it to the haters. I don't want that pity party. Keep that, you know, you know, let them celebrate whatever. Come and just support me for my content. If how many times has he said the best was to show how how great he was doing and sticking it to the haters? And that's how we did the best streak. 
What? If I tell you stuff that's going on that, that are expenses, you know, medical expenses, legal expenses, you know, and it's, ha I mean, I, again, I'm not going to tell you, I, you know, I have some medical conditions. Okay. Well, then, then, then this is your forum. Forget. Like this is your forum, Phil, right? If, if there's some sort of like medical condition that is, that is causing you to live, you know, paycheck to paycheck or, or stream to stream, it, you, you pride yourself on transparency. I can't think of anything more transparent than just, than just telling your audience you have, you know, uh, something going on. And like, you know what? People are people and they'll understand that. Like, if, if God willing, I came out and, and, you know, I had cancer or, or something bad happened, I would- It's not that. It's definitely not that, okay? I don't want to make right. anyone think that the, I'm trying to, again, this is not a pity party here. Right. It's not that. It's that I have so, a, a few chronic lingering things that come back over the years and then, you know, yes, there's a medical cost. There's deductible, of course. You know, you have to pay to a certain amount. Uh, in a nutshell, I've been involved with a few legal things and I've been involved with some medical things, okay? And essentially what's happened over the years is I can't really pay them because of the financial situations that I've been in. Okay. And did you pay any of those? Did you pay any of those things as business expenses? I, I again, I believe, and I don't know if this is true. I or not. believe. Isn't it true that certain, like your health insurance premiums and stuff is covered or is, is, is a tax deductible? I don't know. Again, I get asked this by my tax guy. I do. He says, your, warrior, tax, warrior. your tax guy was asking you this. He said, I just got an email the other day that said, we need your breakdown of what you pay for premiums. If you had any medical expenses, if you had. You're like how he was about to go into the, like the sad boy segment and like how quickly he recovered from it. Look how he's not crying anymore. And he's not trying to cry now. Look how quick that was. And any of this, we need all this to file your taxes. If, in fact, if you want an actual sad boy moment, this is an actual sad boy moment. The, this was the him fate of like forcing the tears out. And was you'll, you'll know that you'll always be a legend in the world of entertainment to me. Keep going as long as you can above all else. Be sure that at the end of the day that you're happy. Love and appreciate you, man. Take care. And the reason that I read that to you guys is because I want, I just want you guys to understand that that means the world to me when I get a message like that. Like, it's been tough. You know, my life has been tough over the last decade. It has. And when I read a message like that, I'm sorry that I'm tearing up like a baby. But when I read a message like that, it makes me feel like it was worth it. You know, like <laughs> all the shit that happened to me and all the stress well, and the, the mental shit do. that I go like, through on a daily lonely. basis I want to just sometimes, stream and um, that it's worth it because there's people time, out there have a good game. who got something out of all of this. You know, it wasn't just some dickhead in front of a camera, uh, you know, doing stupid videos that it actually I meant something to life. people. And that means the world to me that... There's people out there that, you know, for a decade that they've been watching me and they've been they've been following me and they've been watching my life evolve and how I've become a better person, you know? Actually, I like this version better. This version is actually uh, secretly my favorite version. If you haven't seen it before, you're about to see it. It's uh, from a great content creator, Give Blood. The greatest version. I love this version. That I read that to you guys because I, want, I just want you guys to understand that that means the world to me when I get a message. Like, that. like it's been tough, you know. My life has been tough over the last decade. Yeah. And when I read a message like that, I'm sorry that I'm tearing up with a baby. But when I read a message like that, it makes me feel like it was worth it, you know. Like all the shit that happened to me and all the stress and the, the mental shit that I go through on a daily basis, sometimes. Um, that it's worth it because there's people out there who got something out of this, you know? It wasn't just some dickhead in front of the camera, <laughs> uh, you know, doing stupid videos. That it actually meant something. And that means the world to me. That there's people out there that, you know... It means the world to me, dudes. That's like low-key my most favorite version of that story. It's just that one. Uh, if you've never uh, looked at Give Blood... Give Blood has a lot of very specific clips and specific videos. And more importantly, sometimes they have very secret, very sus streams. And sometimes I get notifications, not notifications, but I'll get like, oh my God, their stuff is gone. I know that they have another channel too. It's like Give More Blood. That's right, Give More Blood. But this one had like a, good, a lot of good ones too. King Cobra, welcome. Let's rock, yes. 
Welcome. Let's rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can do something with that. You can do something with that. It's possible. It doesn't so, sound right, dude. I don't know. Again, again, no, listen, please. Welcome to the now, here's the problem. I don't want people going on my tax guy. You know what I mean? He knows what he's doing. He, he, Thank you for the problem. But he clearly doesn't because you've been in tax <laughs> it doesn't issues. Sound like it. No, like, no, no. My tax issues are no, not no, no, working no. before this shit. They really are. I used to have tax issues with the old. Hold up, no. Guys, believe me. You got to believe me. No. Hold up. This Adam, person please. I have now has fixed everything. Okay? okay. I'm not throwing anyone under the bus. This guy is great. And I want people to understand that. Okay. But basically, okay, I have a few ongoing things. When you don't have credit anymore, okay, but you still owe, some things can get erased, some things can't. All right, by a bankruptcy or whatever. And I'm in a situation where I have ongoing costs that I'm on payment plans for. Mm -hmm. Okay? Not, oh, a credit card. I can't get a credit card. I have no credit. My credit sucks because I have bankruptcy. No, my, I, I have payment plans. So, for example, I incur a legal cost of several thousand dollars. Okay, Phil, you don't have to pay that today. You could pay it slowly over time. Here's your payment plan. All right? With the IRS, I owe them back taxes. Phil, we understand. As long as you're in repayment status, you're paying this amount every month. This is, you know what I mean? So that's where my money goes. I'm embroiled in all these ongoing things behind the scenes that this absolutely is not new info. no one needs to know about. Medical stuff, legal stuff that I'm going through and tax he's stuff. Been, and people, where does your money go? He's been dangling that stupid medical shit for quite literally four years now. I don't want to hear it at this point. He's been hoping and praying that at some point he's going to reveal, guys, I have this mysterious medical problem, and this is going to be the reason why I haven't been able to reveal to you for a long time because the trolls would have used it to uh, against me or something. I don't fucking know. And then just think about I don't this. care about your dumbass fucking rashes and your I'm gout and your hand days, cream. You know? None of it. I and don't I care. My stream here. You Probably has eczema. More eczema. My wife and, my, and me are feeling so much stress with this going on. And, you know... We didn't go on a honeymoon. We got married. We haven't been on a trip since 2019. We haven't done anything. Phil, I get it. We, we understand, which is why, you know, we talked about therapy. We've talked about all these. I under, we right. understand, mm -hmm. right? We, we've talked about all these things. But you, you still haven't, like, you still haven't answered the question. I'm going to ask you this really directly, okay? On a month-to-month -month basis, mm -hmm. how much money are you spending on WWE mobile games and or any other mobile games on a month-to-month -month basis? Are, are you spending on iTunes or any sort of mobile device? Okay. Just a, just a straight Yo. dollar amount. This, and this, whatever this it is, month, it's okay. Okay. Do you want? Okay. This month, I have spent probably ten to fifteen dollars. I don't believe it. That is an honest answer. I don't believe it. And by it. the way, it wasn't on WWE Champions. Okay. What was it on? Just curious. Well, here we go. Because you know, if I tell you, they're just going to blow it up. They're going to. No, okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. If, if, they if are, you they say already said it's a okay. new game. It's a Street Fighter game. Ah, okay. You don't have to say it. He says, oh, they already know it's a new game. It's Street Fighter. Bro. But let's just pretend for realsies that you could have just hid that. You could have just not told us and people would just speculated. But if they already know, that means the trolls already pulled up accurate information. So now you basically confirmed if people find a relatively similar account on, on this new whatever. Whatever the fuck he's playing. I, 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 I legit Street Fighter, whatever. If they find that account, then they're just going to be tracking it for money. So DSP can never play or can never spend any money on it. Street Fighter Duel, I don't fucking care. It's whatever. It's Street Fighter 1. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Is it good? What, what, it's all right. It's one of those, you build a team of fighters, they fight against each other. It's not, you don't even have to play. Oh, it's like, it's like RP, tap RPG crap. Similar, yes, yes. Okay. And I, I, you I, know, I, that was just for experimental purposes. I'm not playing it a lot. I'm playing every once in a while. You know, I spend a few, I'll spend a dollar and get a bunch of stuff, you know? So I spent a couple dollars here or there. And of course, I will get destroyed for saying that, that I spent $15 on it, you know? I will. I'm going to get destroyed for it. So but, let me, let me, let me kind of move this along. We've been going for a long time. And thank you again, Phil, for your time. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. We're going, we're approaching four hours. I got, I got a few things that I, that I want to make sure we hit on before we go. Four um, hours. Before we, you know. My God. So, I've been existing um, for one, so long. Um, Keem is here. And Keem has said that he will be respectful and and uh, he would love to talk. I think this Look is a tremendous face. opportunity. Look at how to bury grumpy whatever hatchet looks. or whatever it is you guys He's have. He's got a and, scowl and on his face. Defense. I think this is a tremendous opportunity. Are you open to that? Already if you grumpy. I'm on the show to talk. I'm not doing business with this man under any circumstances. Yeah, you established that. That's fine. That's not yeah. what he's saying. Yeah, I'm not trying to broker a business deal or anything like that. But but feels like an hour, bro. I'm curious what he wants to talk about. I'm not being on his stuff. I'm, I refuse. Okay. So. Well, let's. Okay, I'm going to so, bring him so, on. Wait, wait. So you're okay with him coming on to talk? 
as long as he's not going to sit here and insult me or to, you know you guys have already asked me so many questions i don't want him right. interrogating me too it's your no show, that's his. that's that's not right. i mean Kim, you know I, I, he's watching obviously so it's like that's not the case we're, we're the interviewers he 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 and he just said it he agrees yeah he agrees so look we're gonna bring him on and, and like i said i think this, this is not a tremendous opportunity for oh friction. yeah i i can completely believe how much money his fucking idiots gave him on the pre-stream i'm so glad that they did that I'm so glad that they were so blind, they were so stupid, that they were unable to comprehend the questions that were being asked. Simple timeline questions. Simple fucking questions that DSP cannot answer because he's so fucking afraid of his life because the trolls are going to come out with, like, fucking rocks and shit and just stone him to death or something. I don't even fucking know. But he was so afraid to answer any of those questions, and they're like, Phil, we totally believe you. Here's a bunch of money. It's like, bro, you're only hurting him further. Because now it's like, yeah, man, people really don't care. It's like, okay, but what if there were a couple of people that actually looked at it and they were your fans? And they said, wait a minute, this actually makes sense. Why isn't Phil answering any of this? Why isn't Phil doing any of this? What if he ended up driving away some smaller people? You don't know. None of us knows. But apparently it's going to help him out in like the short term. He's going to have a view boost for a while. I think it'll be probably for the next couple of days until it gets too boring and people just nope the fuck out. Uh, and then we'll go back to normal and it'll eventually be maybe not this month but it'll be next month we'll probably do the begging because that's when the taxes actually have to get paid there's an opportunity to build a bridge so let's do this real quick keemstar welcome back to the show how are you thank you gentlemen i appreciate it and phil thank you uh for letting me on to talk to you directly um i do mean what i what i said here in the chat that i will be respectful uh i'm not here to interrogate you but i i desperately want to represent my point of view and this situation between me and you. Um, because what I've heard listening to this podcast or this interview or whatever you want to call it is you describing problems that you have in your life, um, paying bills, being harassed by you know your detractors or whatever. And I actively went out of my way to solve major problems in your life. And me and you are not friends. In fact, before I put together this business opportunity for you, me and you were fighting back and forth. It started mm -hmm. with you on your podcast out of nowhere um reacting to me retiring when i turned 40 and you said well that guy's evil and you know all these horrible stuff and blood money whatever you said about me because you don't you don't like my show drama and many of your detractors uh picked up on right away that the reason why you don't like my show and you don't support me is because we covered the the fapping uh situation in 2016. Yep. Oh, that's yep. really yep. untrue I, oh, oh, dude you covered it fairly. Go ahead, respond, okay. you covered it fairly you didn't even really harp on it one of your guys contacted me behind the scenes and said, do you have anything else to add? Do you want to be on the show? I was like, no, you covered it fairly. I don't think you were unfair at all. That's not the case. Thank you, because I don't think I was unfair either. You know? No, not at all. Who told you that? That's bullshit. That's, you want, that's the detractors that's making what, shit up. That, I didn't know. Everybody, everybody jumped to that conclusion why you had such a hateful uh, you know, response to me retiring was because of that. Because no. we have no previous history, Phil. Correct. I, I've, I've never talked to you. The only interactions I've ever had with you is just covering this one story about you. Mm-hmm. And just, you know, this is a great example of why I wanted to bring you on, because there's clearly a, a miscommunication somewhere along the lines, right? Clearly. So, you know, uh, Phil thought Keemstar started this, Keemstar thought Phil did this. All right. So. Yeah, it's so obvious right now that the reason why Phil is completely agreeable with this is because he's put into a mode where he can't confront Keem. He can't shit talk Keem, and it's not in his element. He has zero control of what's going on right now. The only way that he can, like, dodge out of this is quite literally pull the plug. So he can't shit on Keem at all because he knows that he has way too much writing on the line. Are we, we're in a better, we're in a better place, which is great. Think about it logically. Move on. Think about it logically. He gave a lot of shit to Keem way back when, even though he had no beef with him. Why? Because DSP was a hateful person? Maybe. Who knows? But I mean, the only thing that he had covered at that point was just him jacking off. From that, you sure. know, um, I see a clip and it's on Phil's stream. He's reacting to my retirement and he's saying I'm this horrible, evil person, da 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 da, and he doesn't support me. And I responded. Hold on, hold on. Kim, Kim, is, that, is that true, Phil? I don't like, know. I'm sure I've criticized him. I don't know specifically what he's talking about yet. Okay, continue. I, I, don't, I don't know exactly what was said. I'm going off of memory, but it was something along those lines. The clip gets sent to me by multiple people. Yeah. Um, so I respond to Phil because the only thing I know about Phil is him being a wall cow, right? Him on stream begging for money to pay rent and stuff like that. That's all I know about him. So I responded to him on Twitter, which I thought was pretty clever um in gaming terms terms and i explained to him that like we are roughly the same age we've been doing youtube for like 15 years each we started at the same time 
and I'm retiring now, and I don't ever have to work again. So I have completed yeah, I'm glad this video game of YouTube. And I said to yeah, Phil, Phil's just you're still fucking on done. level he wants one. Out. All right, you're still on level He's one. Looking you're for restarting, the door. you know, level He's looking one at over the data. and over again. Like, look at how many times he looks over to this other screen. Why is he even looking over to this other screen? Why? Just pay attention. A video game and you're getting nowhere. You're still at the point where you're begging people on stream to, to pay your bills and whatnot. And I thought that was a good response, right? Even though I am talking trash and, you know, we, we got a little drama going on for Twitter and whatnot. You know, I thought that I was actually giving you good advice. And, you know. Well, for, uh, yeah, I was going to say that. that um, is that advice or is that more like I, in, that, in that text form? That felt like a, a backhanded smack uh, right. with, you know, internet Twitter battles you know a hundred percent a hundred percent but it's also advice right my point in those twitter yeah. videos was that phil needs to do something different <sighs> you know imagine you're playing a video game you're on level one and you try the same technique over and over again all right and you're dying and you have to restart the level over like you're never going to beat level one and that's the situation that phil has been in right and I, I Phil, what are your thoughts on that? Do you do you feel like there's any truth to that or do you feel like that keemstar is out of his you know out of his way to uh kind of make you look a fool uh well, first of all, uh -oh. you know, the best way to give life advice is to, you know, say it in an insulting way, for sure. I mean, that's very, makes everyone very receptive to it, correct? You know, right. well, do a fair point, but slap, Bill. Slap let, him, let him finish game on Twitter. Um, is there some truth to it? Yes. OK, but here's the thing. If you have a criticism of me, then criticize me fairly in a way where, you know, maybe I have a chance to have a conversation. Instead, you just go to your platform and you say something nasty about me on there. I'm a tiny little guy. You literally hide on your platform every single time you want to talk about anybody. And the moment you're off your platform, you can't talk any of this shit. The safety's gone. Okay. When I say something on my stream, who hears it? A couple hundred people? Yes, my detractors then echo it. They extrapolate it all over the internet. Boom, it's amplified, correct? But I'm the little guy. You are a big guy, Keem. You're huge. You have a giant reach on the internet. Do you not understand that the stuff that you say and do has repercussions for everyone around you? You're, you seem to be someone that... You don't, you're not self aware. You don't understand that when you say something like Whoa, that, now I have to live with that the shit. The fucking projection. On in, I, ah, ha, ha, you're on level one. Ha ha ha, Phil, level one. Yo, you've been for 15 years, you're just on level one. Do you think I need that? I already have enough shit in my life going on. So much stuff. I don't need Mr. Big Time punching down on me, which is what you do. That's why people don't like you, man. I like, didn't how see do you it. not understand that. I, I didn't see it that way. I saw a clip of you talking all kinds of shit on me, like unprovoked, and I just responded, talking shit back, but also but giving you advice. That's the way I saw it. Anyhow, after that incident took place, um, months went by, and this bothered me because I saw the solution the entire time that Phil needed to do something different, all right? I am a person that recognizes entertainment. I really, really get it. You gotta understand, Phil, you have haters, you have distractors, so do I, but I have more. I have more than uh, oh. Wings of Redemption, DSP, yeah. and combined. I have way more haters, but I'm still successful. And I still have new business opportunities and I'm still making money. I was supposed to retire a year ago and I'm still doing new stuff and, and being successful in this platform because I understand this business very, very well. And even though you have that hate, you know, they are viewers, they are your customers. The detractors are your customers. The haters are your customers. And they're more loyal than the people that give you money, that donate on your stream. The people yeah, that hate you are way that you're more talking about that's like you can't pay for that shit right dsp you are so fucking stupid you have no idea how much the detractors help you out and i know the simple solution is well if you add dsp to fail you should fucking stop covering dsp pro i don't care if he fucking fails or not i literally want to watch this clown show until it's no longer funny and dsp can't figure it out he can't pick up on these just these simple points and he sits there, he cries, and he whines, and he mauls, and he bitches and moans. And it's like, dude, come on. Your fucking detractors watch your shit more than your fucking fans. They microanalyze everything. I mean, look at how many people are here. 2,500 people are here. I, it's just, it, it, it's, you have a legitimate fan base. Those haters, those people that don't like you, are your fans. And... I want it to solve this issue for not just you, but Wings and Boogie. I looked at all of you guys. You're lolcos, right? You have more haters than like Look at supporters. Me. He hates the right? label. But really, they're all fans. He wants to respond they to the label. They're all obsessed with you and watching he your hates content that nonstop. Label. The solution really is to get the three of you to do a podcast. All right. Those haters <clears throat> are going to watch. They're going to absolutely love that these three guys have come together to make content. Now. Between the three of you, you guys don't have the business sense to like really figure this nope. out and make this thing actually happen. But I do. All right. 
and you guys don't even understand how valuable valuable you are as individuals as entertainers because you look at the numbers and you're looking at everything and like oh well i've fallen off and you know that's the mindset that you have right but i have a different mindset for each and one of you that you guys are amazing entertainers but just not in the way that you want to be right you're low cows but there's so much value there by putting the three of you together and you know each one of you would own 25 percent of this podcast all right we never got to have this conversation so i, I do want to have it now even though i know you're not going to do it all right i would also own 25 i would do the Look business aspect of it he's so I've had mad many this. success selling podcasts um to exclusive deals with spotify and other companies multi-million dollar deals all right i wanted to put the three of you together for this show i would do the business side of the things and i knew that all three of you would be in a situation where you didn't really trust me or you're like, oh, I don't know if this is going to work and you'd have a lot of doubts. So I was just going to take my own money and and take one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, give you each just to start off before we even filmed an episode, 50 grand up front to let you know that I was serious. And I believe in this concept and this idea. Now, I call Boogie first. I instantly get on the phone with Boogie. All right. He loves the idea. He understands it. He gets it. He reaches out to Wings. Wings is down. And now it's time to talk to DSP. Boogie, the way I understand it, called you, contacted you, and told you what was going on, right? He DM'd me on Twitter, and we had a brief conversation back and forth in DMs. And, and he told you that I wanted to do a podcast with the three of you, right? Uh, yes, I had no idea. That's what you were trying to contact me about, because we never talked. But he said that there was this idea for a podcast, correct? So you so, did know. <laughs> so, so Boogie told you or didn't tell you? Boogie told me that he and, and Wings had spoken to Keen, mm -hmm. and that Keen wanted to do a podcast with all three of us. No money or anything was discussed. He just say, you know, he, he wants to do a podcast with all three of us. I didn't know that's what Keen was trying to reach out to me. I, I said maybe that's what it was. I didn't know because I never spoke with him. Phil, hearing this, hearing Bro, this, and, this and changes hearing the, the, story. Uh, the business opportunity that was laid out, I don't even know if it's still there or not, but uh, what are your thoughts right now given what Keen has said to you? Thoughts? Like, yeah. you mean? Yeah, just, you just, I, I, yeah, thoughts. Yeah, the thoughts that you have, Phil. What are the thoughts that you got in your fucking noggin? As he's, as he's laid this out, like lay, lay out your feelings based on what Keemstar has, has laid out for you. I have, I have absolutely no problem phone doing anything off. with Boogie he, or Wings. In fact, I like how that his phone went off. I have. What? There's my phone. Why did my phone go off? I have absolutely no problem doing anything with Boogie or Wings. In fact, you know, I had the conversation with, with uh, Boogie back and forth a little bit more later in the year. Would he be interested in maybe doing a podcast with me or me behind his show or whatever? You know, whatever it may be. These guys, you know, I covered. I did a react about Wings last year about his documentary. Fucking Matt Jarbo's um, in the chat. You know, that me doing a collab with them, just doing a fun podcast, is not out of the question for the future. But your issue is with Keemstar and his business principles. Correct. Okay. So understand. So e even if there's an opportunity for you to remove yourself from mm. quote unquote level one and and potentially have an opportunity further down the line to potentially sell the podcast to something and, and put fifty grand in your pocket initially, that's that's a one hundred percent no go for you. Oh man! See, I didn't know that was. Okay. You put me on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's what we this, do. That's this, an interview. Yeah, this is that's... a discussion that cannot be just made by me. It has to be made by my wife. You know. Oh, we have to fuck talk about off this, about this your wife! You were literally Sorry, talking about if I'm, there was can 50k. I criticize you fairly if I'm, if I'm reasonable? Dude, he was literally talking about he was talking with his wife, and the 50k could help him out, and he thought it was good, but they didn't know about it. And now it's like, if the 50k was there, would you take it? And it's a hypothetical, and Phil hates hypotheticals. Because the only a Sith deals in absolutes, and this guy can't deal with it because it's not an absolute. And don't, you know, not under the belt. Something can, or another. Something, something, something dark side. Sure, something, something you can say complete. whatever you want about me. Sure. But um, I just want to represent how I feel about the situation. I'm not done, but go ahead. Okay. Yeah. So, team, you are someone who, when you look at your history on the internet, it's very interesting. And I'm actually, Bro. damn, I'm impressed with what you've done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I watched a documentary about you. Yo, is he literally about to try and set up Keem, you're a piece of shit. I feel like that's what he's trying to do. Last year, you started off trolling people in Halo. I mean, holy shit. And you turned that into an empire of money on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. That's so admirable. And if anything, one of the things you absolutely need to be praised for is your determination. You were shut down time after time. False copyright strikes, real you know, real sh takedown requests, all kinds of shit. People wanted you off the net, right? You're still there. You never gave up. Damn, oh, that's a success geez, story. Phil, it sounds so familiar, dude. fucking scummy. Yeah. I guess. It's a, it I guess. Sounds like you. I guess, man. I, 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 I don't. It's really true. We it just like we just heard your story, and you. It is. Craig's absolutely right. Okay. Now, at the end of the day, all right. When you look at what Keem has done and what I have done, 
I'll probably be forgotten. I'll just be a fart in the wind, right? Yeah. I got 100,000 videos on the internet. No one's going to remember Dark Side Phil besides the guy who who jerked off on stream. And, yep. you know, probably this WWE Champions thing will go away eventually, just like everything else. Who cares? But Keem, you know, has a big body of work. He's known. But when you look at wh how Keem made his money, okay? Again, I'm going off documentaries and things I've seen. I mean, Keem, you have to openly admit that there were a lot of things that you've done that you probably have no issue with whatsoever. You always feel from your perspective, because there's always two perspectives on everything, right? Holy shit, <laughs> Phil. I got to say, this is fucking rich coming from you right now, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. No way. No way. <laughs> fucking Adam. You're, get, you're getting your information from the detractors that Keem has, and that's where you're basing this on, when this whole episode, you have been talking about how much shit your detractors have made other people think about you. Like, do you hear yourself right now? Indeed, I do. That's the nature okay. of the beast. That's how YouTube works, man. That's how all this works, right? Fuck, man. You're right. So, <laughs> from what I've he heard and seen about Keem, you know, I I call them a misery broker. All right, Keem, on a on a day when you have a good day, it's because someone oh else has a bad God, day. Oh my God, Adam, please. Someone else has drama going on. Someone else has horrible things happening in their life. It's your good day, man. It's time for you to blow that up, and then you interject like a like a shoe shoe wedge. Get into that life. Get into that drama. Right? You gotta be a part of it. And now get them on your show so that you can pull this out to be not just a one time thing, but now it's going to be pulled on for weeks and weeks. If there's something. Phil, do you know the internet at all? Do you know the internet at all? Yes, I do. Do you see who's who's successful on the internet? I mean. Yes. Yeah, I, I I would probably be more successful if I talk shit on people, but like I don't, and you know I I do what I can because that's just where I, I'm at, you know. So it's like you can't you can't be upset when people use the algorithms for their advantage, which the Keen seems to have figured out. You're right, and at one point I was. At one point I was a really stupid. You're right. You're right. Man, I, I feel I, like I'm out content that's not harmful to anyone. I'm just doing gameplay. I'm dicking around on the internet here with my viewers, and this guy gets over and he's doing this drama content. People are saying it's hurtful. You know. You're right. At the same time, you have everyone has what's called a moral compass, correct? And you know, I've I've been talking about this on my streams recently. I was raised a Roman Catholic. All right, I'm not religious anymore, by the way. So this is not what like an excuse. What does religion have to do with anything? With certain morals, all right, and values. And to me, Adam, call the him only out. way that I call can get out, over Adam. on the internet and make and get or, or just get over in life is by stepping on other people. I'm not going to step on those people. I would rather be. The I don't think that's what I don't think that's what Keem's doing when he's when he's making videos. You know, I I, I see, yeah. D-Day Cobra, shout out to him. I saw him in chat earlier, you know, and, and tweeted us out. Thank you, buddy. Uh, mm. He he talks shit on anyone. Like, he, he'll freaking, you know, he monetized the haters better than anyone I know. Right. Well, I've talked to him personally off, off air, and he's a fucking great guy. And, like, has a good moral compass to me. I don't think talking shit about people on the internet somehow changes who you mm. are. Right, as, as your moral compass. I mean, you dropped. You said moral compass. And it's like, come on, dude. Like exactly, yeah, Shia, a As a Christian yeah, who doesn't practice, Phil, listen, that's literally right, what if, he's saying. Me running drama alert is like a taking advantage of people's misery, right? Because the way I understand it, for how you're explaining it, is like uh, a YouTuber will get canceled, and then I cover the story on my platform, or you know, you had the fappening, right? And I cover the story on my platform that I'm making money off of other people's downfalls, right? That's the way you see it. Yes. Well, there's there's people on YouTube that run documentaries on important things that happen on the internet. They're also in the same situation, correct? What do you mean by that? They're what making kind of money. Nope. They're making money on a newsworthy story. Right. On so the internet. Like factual reporting of things that are happening, like a news network. Like, what do you mean? Of course. And then I inject my opinion on on these stories as well. But there are YouTubers, right? They're they're commentators, and then there's mm. commentators that do like documentary style stuff that cover drama on the internet. You're saying that every single one of them. Uh, is accepting blood money because they're 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 voicing their opinions on what's going on. Well, simply voicing your opinion is one thing, Keem, but let's take a look at your history here. There's been let's take a look at your history. Where you've actually He's literally doing it again and extrapolated drama in situations where it didn't really exist. There's evidence of this. People have admitted explain to that. Explain yeah, that. Yeah, tell me tell me more. I don't, I'm not aware of these. The documentary I watched last year uh, about June the King made this one, and mm -hmm. I guess there was a situation with a YouTuber, and I forget if he was a Minecraft YouTuber or another YouTuber, and. You know, originally he appeared supposedly as an upfront, honest guest on Team Star Show covering this drama. I think it was allegations that he had been with underage girls or something like that. Okay. Come I to think, find out I think, later I on, think. the whole, or at least part of it, was orchestrated between the two behind the scenes. Like, I guess he wanted to get back at someone, his ex or, or his current girlfriend, okay. and Team participated in that, that I, setup situation. I. I have no idea what you're talking about. That doesn't even sound legit whatsoever. I have no okay. idea what you're you talking about. You have the right about. to deny it. That's fine. But, you know what? It's out there. Just so you know, that's well, it's out there, man. But What's I just want to say, I just want to say, like, you participated in supporting a YouTuber, all right, that covered a story on my misery, right? If I supposedly did something wrong, you watched and supported another YouTuber doing exactly what Dromler does. It's a good point. Well, like, and, and on top of that, mm -hmm. and just to kind of reiterate this, like, once again, 
Phil, you're telling Keemstar that he has the right to deny that because he's saying it didn't happen. Even though you're saying there's a mountain of proof in this documentary, right? Yo, and the same thing is, is being said to you right now about you know, your WWE legends and everything like that. And you have the right to deny it too, even though there's this a mountain of evidence wild. to documentaries online. Correct. But the, the difference, Keem, to respond to your point, sorry, there's a lot of points that just came Dude, up. Dude, he is just squirming the entire time. This guy has no clue how to attack without literally being called out for being hypocritical. He has no angle he can approach because he knows there's no angle he can approach. Because everything he has done up until this point has been hypocritical. Yeah, he's breaking. The dude is breaking. No matter, no wonder why he was flustered earlier today. No wonder why I tuned into that pre-stream. He was like literally doxing people that were accidentally tipping him. And he, they were saying it was anonymous and he was calling out their real name. No wonder why. Because DSP literally got shooken and stirred. Uh, the documentary is not just negative stuff about you. Okay, you understand? The documentary My is actually God. covering your entire history. I learned a lot of things about you that I find very admirable and very positive by watching that. It really did cover I, I have a lot of the uh, stuff that's happened. A lot so of respect you know for you. Stuff, actually, how do you know it's factual? A lot I'm just of curious. Respect. It's on the internet, so it must be true. I know. I, Phil, real quick. I mean, I see documentaries on DSP, but you on the show said half of the stuff's not even true. So right. I'm confused. Is the internet 100% trustworthy or not? Because when it's about me, it's all facts. Right. When it's about you, it's all lies. I'm, yep. I'm confused. Yep. It's not all fact, and it's not all lies. It's it, it, it's always somewhere in between, right? Shade of gray, dude. That. We're not stupid. We're not born yet. Shade of gray. When you watch that documentary, you got to kind of suspend your disbelief. Say, hey, okay, believe it or don't, right? Make your own judgments based so on So you chose to believe this one when it came to Akeem? Uh, in, in, in a couple particular cases. I'm not saying that that one documentary is the only thing I've ever heard about Keen. There's been lots of people who've... That's what you're really a lot so far. So lots that's what I'm going on. Can we come lots to the conclusion that me and you both have a bad reputation? We're controversial figures, but one of us is wildly more successful? Oh, I'm not, I don't even say I'm successful at all. So okay. I, yeah, yeah. I don't even think that's what you're saying. Okay, I think yeah, you know what? I agree, Phil. Continue with what you were talking about leading up to this. You I agree. To, to Boogie Wings and DSP. Uh, 50 grand on the table to start the podcast. Continue. So knowing how to help all three of them all right and then also creating a business opportunity for myself right you know it, it is all these things combined um and not only just helping tsp wings and boogie and myself because this is a brilliant idea but it's also helping every single person that's in this chat right now it's also helping every single one of your haters every single one of your guys's actual supporters everybody wants this content this yep. is a win this um, is a golden yeah. opportunity so I gotta agree. And, and I gotta actually agree with Keemstar here. This is actually what I've wanted. Somebody to actually, actually fucking pin him down and ask questions. And somebody to back up that person to make sure that DSP isn't doing any kind of weed whacking and shit and just going all over the place. I didn't hear a helicopter story and he stopped doing the whole 15 years ago thing because he actually had to answer the questions directly because he kept fucking squirming around. The reason why this was five hours long is because he doesn't know how to give a straight answer to anything. He has to have everything sugarcoated and a certain fucking framing and everything. Wanting to reach out to help you, I found you to be so incredibly difficult to work with. Boogie already contacted you and told you that this was about a podcast. I publicly tweeted, reach out to me, $50,000, and you ignored me. Then we finally start talking in DMs, and your response is, well, email me, because I want to set up a call. We're already talking in D DMs on Twitter. Why can't we just jump on a call and talk right away? We're already communicating. You tell me to go email you. That's, I, I, that is so weird from my perspective. If I reach out to the biggest YouTuber on the platform, um, uh, Mr. Beast, and I text him, hey, we gotta get on the phone. I gotta talk to you about something. I'm gonna talk to him within 12 hours. And this is a wildly more busy guy than you, Phil. All right. And that's the biggest YouTuber on the platform. This is how content creators communicate with each other. We don't, oh, email each other. Like we have managers to do that stuff. We have lawyers to do that stuff. I have a team of people that will get in an email. I don't get in an email ever. I'm never in a Gmail ever. You know, <laughs> this is, what are you talking about? Emails. It was so disrespectful to me when I'm just communicating you in Twitter DMs, we're talking back and forth and you're telling me I have to email you in order to get on a call. I was so confused by that, but I play along, all right? I think I, one of my people may have emailed you or something, I got a phone number. We, we set up a scheduled time when we're gonna call and we're gonna talk about this and I call you during the scheduled time and you don't answer the phone. And then I get a message back saying, oh, I'm sorry, you know, I was streaming. I told you I work at this time. Well, even if that is true and you were streaming, Mm -hmm. That stream is not more important than my phone call and my opportunity. It's not. Phil, what do you think about that? Do you think that's accurate? You have a, you have an opportunity to put five figures in your pocket and and you 
Can I get, give us your mindset there? Because I, well, I it's, don't. It's all semantics because who the cares how you talk to me, whatever. First of all, Craig knows how to contact me. He contacted me to be on this show. It was pretty straightforward. Wouldn't you say, Craig, it was pretty easy to reach out to me? It wasn't yeah. hard to reach me, was it? No, I emailed you. Yeah, it was easy. And when we, we were able to talk back and forth pretty reasonably with no issue, correct? I don't think we ever had an issue, right? No. I think what we're hearing well, here is... Well, hold on. You, you think Craig is... is a big YouTuber, though? Come on. Look at this guy. Oh, no, no. I'm not even saying... Hey, once upon a time, buddy. Once upon a time. This has nothing to do with size. This has to do with just being reasonable. If someone has a business... Would I leave the stream, team, stream for... Hell yeah, I would. You kidding it. me? But instead, you go to your Come giant on, Sneed Valley Bank. on Twitter and you just scream... Even if it was for 500, ESP, I'd leave the fucking stream. $50, on the line. It's Fuck hostile, it. It's for 50 bucks? It's Hell yeah. So you, you, got, you got triggered and were on the defensive That's immediately bucks, when you saw man. that from Keem. You did not see that he was actually reaching out to help. You know, no, even not though at all. I didn't even know people had to tell me my chat so, was happening. So according to like what I've just heard, you were talking shit about him retiring and he jokingly responded and, and kind of slapped you a light, a lighthearted slap with a glove, but said, you know what? I'm going to hook you up anyway. That's the vibe I'm getting. And you were stuck on that. What year was this, by the way? Just because I kind of have a. So this was recent. R yeah, roughly a year ago. Wow. OK. No, I, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a little, little further back. I mean, if you feel like right now for five dollars, yeah, that is the time of like you're trying to find that for... way past this We're almost spot there. that We're you're almost in. Almost done. And I don't mean, I don't mean to like call and anything out. At some point, out, I'll have a like snack that's being I'm, stuck on I, level I need one. A Scooby snack. Right, and it, and it feels like I mean, shout out to Kim for like actually reaching out after you were talking shit. Like, and that's not that's that's not something that happens. And if he was right. truly trying to help you out, like that's that's kind of surprising. I, I yeah, if someone was talking is. shit about me and I had a, and I was as successful as Keem, I'd been like, fuck this person. I wouldn't even acknowledge them. Especially as you say, it was just some small time. I don't remember what wording you chose that you weren't even successful in your own mind. Mm -hmm. But him talking shit to me isn't a personal thing, right? It's an opportunity for me to make a Twitter video and make some entertainment for my audience. Like when when that's, I go on the internet, that's how you internet right there. Thank you, Adam. He doesn't, DSP has never understood since day fucking one how to navigate the fucking internet. He has no clue. The, Keemstar took an opportunity and he made content out of it, which is what DSP should be doing, but he has no clue how to do it because he's so fucking inept. Everybody literally has to handhold him through everything. He doesn't know how to stream. He doesn't know how to set up Stream Deck. He doesn't know how to uh, set up a new PC. He doesn't know how to set up new capture cards. None of that shit. Everybody has to handhold him every fucking step of the way. The only way this would have worked is Keems are literally would have had to hold his dick the entire way through. That's the only way it would have happened. When I That's go on the internet, internet, I am not thinking about, will people like me? Will people hate me? I'm thinking, let me make a piece of content that people will enjoy watching, whether they like me or hate me or whatever. Let me make some piece of content that people are interested in. That's all I ever think about when I come to the internet is serving viewers. And that's the way he should be approaching this. It should always be serving viewers. Technically, the piece of content that I'm making right now is literally serving viewers. I could have booted up Chrono Trigger tonight and I would have been serving what? Like 30, 40 viewers, maximum, maybe 50. And then people would have been asking me about this. But you know what's better, sir? If I go over this dumbass podcast that everybody's already seen, I haven't even seen it, and talk about it at length. I take a five-hour thing and I make it literally seven hours. All right. Um, but people are going to enjoy it because they just want my dumbass take. You know, I, I don't want... Yeah, just with this conversation, you know? I mean, you came on to you do know, an interview. You know, made You know, it, it was a tough interview. Get out of here. You know, we have we dove deep into through, throughout, you know, what was going on. And you weren't prepared for, I didn't know that Keemstar would be on the show today. I didn't know either. It, yeah, this, is, yeah. this all just, just kind of happened naturally. As, as right, the guest on my all show, right, right, I just service. wanted to ask you if you're cool. Like, I, I would love for this to continue. I just want to make sure you're cool with it. I, I, I'm okay with this, but I mean, obviously, right, cool. we want to get back to the other topics too, right? I mean, we kind of put everything on pause yeah. with Keem. And, we, we, I mean, we, we, sure, but I, I think that I think something good is happening here, right? We're, we're working agreed. through things. We're understanding what, what each perspective is. I understand your perspective, Phil. Which I understand Keemstar's perspective. Um, so I, I got a question for you, Keem. Is this, you don't mind if I call you Keem, do you? No, that's fine. Okay, Everyone calls cool. me Keem. All right, all right, all right. All right. Is the offer still there for this to happen? I mean, if, if Phil was open to it. I would say potentially, but not really, right? You know, I, I took Wings of Redemption and Boogie2988, who were willing to work with me and understood this business opportunity. And I'm setting up a boxing match between the two of them. And I'm going to break the internet with this. All right. This is a awesome opportunity for Wings, an awesome opportunity for Boogie. Um, is this the micro This one? is going to be broadcasted oh God, the micro on one. May 13th. And I haven't even announced this anywhere yet. This is an exclusive. It's going to be free to watch. 
Oh shit. It's gonna be free to watch. And can I, can I ask a question? And this yeah. is why he hated yeah, it. I am the guest, right? Of course. I can't yeah, please ask, yeah. <laughs> I am the guest, right? I, I'm the important one, right? I can ask a question, right? Bro, he's so mad. He's so mad that he literally took this keeps or literally took all the fucking wind out of his sails. It's not even about him anymore. And that's why he's super mad. Dude, that's why he was super mad earlier. It was like, he literally stole his thunder. I, you know, again, I understand your reasoning here. You're saying I'm just making content people want to see, right? There we go. Um, is there any line that you won't cross when it comes to content that you think people want to see that you can make profit on? Is there any line any you won't cross? Do you ever feel Hold that on, morally sec, something is too far? Because I, gotta, I personally I and many sure. others hear this about this boxing match coming I have to okay, look now, under just in case. Okay. okay. Wings of Redemption, Boogie. Two desperate guys. We all know that down on their luck, they could definitely use some money, right? We all know this. Yes. They publicly project that to the internet. They're both, technically, from what we can see and understand, they're kind of unhealthy. Maybe not. Who knows? But you only know what they project. Correct. We're doing booba time. Do you not feel that having two people like this, overweight, possibly unhealthy, doing a boxing match against each other so that everyone on the internet can laugh at them could possibly, just possibly, be either putting them in harm's way okay, or she maybe has everything be considered down there. morally Like, everything is okay. I had to move around just a little bit to Do make sure. Do you not think they're adults that they can make their own decisions, though, Phil? That's I'm fine. Just I mean, anyone can make their own decisions. That's I'm fine. sorry, Kane. Uh, please answer them. Let me respond, all right? Every single influencer boxer, whether they're healthy or not, is putting themselves in harm's way for entertainment. It's a light they're they're all warriors, and they all deserve respect. Wings of Redemption and Boogie haven't gotten any respect. In it, fact, like, it's disrespect. Yeah. Very similar to you, all right? And by doing this, they will get respect. Whether people laugh or not, they are going to get respect for jumping in that ring. But you mentioned that they're unhealthy. Of course they're unhealthy. But I can tell you right now, behind the scenes, and nobody knows this, both of them have actively already lost weight training for this fight. This is a nice. positive thing in both of their lives. And I don't think either one of them have the ability to seriously hurt the other. Do you? Do, do you think they're in real danger by fighting each other? I think these are equal opponents. This is not a serious boxing match, Keen. Good John Valentine, get out of here. Boxing. These are two overweight guys that are going to go. You literally appeared right, right as that happened. No. Yes, you are. No, yes, I'm not. I don't watch that crap. No. You know, you know who is? You know who is going to watch it, Phil? Everyone Everybody. Else. Everyone. Great answer. That's yep. exactly what I would have said. I just yep. don't believe you. It really comes down to what I just said a little while you. ago. When, dude, when when I dude, look at like making content. A hundred percent. When this boxing match happens, I'm fucking watching it. A hundred percent. It's just happening for the internet and doing stuff like this my question is will this serve viewers and i know it will i know so many people are going to tune in i know so many people want to see this and i don't believe you when you say you're not going to watch this i think you are going to watch this fight you're so phil, mistaken you have phil, nothing about me then dude well <laughs> let's let's ask this phil just and this is just my morbid exactly curiosity. everyone includes there was us. an opportunity for you phil to do something physical box whatever i don't know you know whatever it may be that was a kind of a youtuber versus youtuber opportunity would you would you be open to that open no. to uh anything no. like that wouldn't do it no, that's that's not what I'm about. I'm, I'm on the Internet to share my passion for games, to have a cool social interaction, Your passion with, you know, for my, games, my, viewers, my fans, whatever you want to call them. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm it's not here to make a, a mockery games. of myself I or, think my you know, do gone, a publicity man. stunt. I don't do that kind of stuff. You know, people will say I do whatever. It's your perspective. For my perspective, yeah, the Cyrex versus Music Biz Party. That was like really, stuff. Stuff. really, really hard to top. Of grandeur or anything like that. It's still going to be fun to watch. I'm still going to have a blast. You know, it's so stupid to me. That's fine, Phil. If I could um finish why i'm frustrated and, and explaining myself Continue. because like look this all started with me retiring and you having you know a bad opinion on me and then us having that metaphor of you know you being on level one like i i really did retire like a year ago i pretty much did retire now i'm doing dlc but i'm not paying for the dlc the dlc is paying me you know and i'm doing more and more and more and more stuff in this space because i just love it so much and it comes from a place of you absolutely loving what you do and loving these video games I don't, you know who else likes video games? Wings and Boogie. Yeah, that's true. He is playing Wolo on a podcast. Damn, how many G Fuel? Would, would be a good thing you guys talk about games, giving your opinions, talking about current events and whatnot. You don't. No, he's going through Gatorade. Thing. How many Gatorade did he sip? I would love to do a show with those guys. I, I'm friendly. What are we crazy so like on his third one? So when I couldn't get a hold of you and I called you multiple times, I was iron once bladders. Ignored, it was multiple, multiple times. I kept calling, I kept calling, I kept DMing you, and you said, "Oh, I'm streaming now." And da da da. A couple weeks went by. By the way, and that's false what he's saying, but I'll let him keep going. It's fine. Whatever. What? You believe it as fact, you know. No, no, no. We want to hear your perspective. Did, that's what we're did, doing here. Did he, did he not call you multiple times? He called me at least once, maybe twice, but I think it was just once. It could have been twice. He the amount of times that you've said during this interview that you don't really remember is shocking. Because I don't document this stuff. Why do I but, the, but But how can you say with such certainty that it wasn't you or that he didn't call or that all these things, if, if constantly... I, I'm just I'm just calling it out. Right? You know, I'm not trying to come at you, but... 
that I've just noticed that a lot. So the now you Kriggler say it actually killed maybe twice. The Could killer it have been three times? Could it have been four times? It definitely wasn't three notice? or four. It was one or two. It was How do I know? Three or four. I just, you know. Well, I specifically re remember when he called me during a stream, and I'm like, who's calling me? And then when I went on a break, I opened my phone. I'm like, I don't, I, I, this must be him because I don't have his phone number. I'm assuming this must be him because, of, you know, you get locations tied to phone numbers or whatever. And I'm like, <laughs> why is he calling me when I gave him these specific times to call me? He's calling me when I said I was busy. But why even then, Phil, that? Phil, <laughs> you may be busy, but there's a call worth potentially 50 grand plus more on the backside of this that could take... 10 minutes i mean and, and once again your your true fans will understand look i had to get on a phone call this is a really important business call i appreciate you guys and you know what they're gonna stay there with you they're gonna stay there watching because they want to know what's happening they want to know more about this like the idea of not taking a call just because you're streaming like your fans will understand that man no and again i didn't even know that was him i didn't have his number you know i'm checking yeah, keen is just break or over with this because um, but the fact that this guy can't he's he just the times to call fucking is around so first he won't he just wants off he, he's tired here. of hearing the bullshit I had to DM him he wouldn't contact me i had to dm him he would not talk further in the dm about what this was until i demanded it i'm like dude just tell me what you're talking about to see if i'm interested i don't want to get on a call with you unless you just say what if he had said something i'm totally not interested in at all i'm just like no we're not even bothering with it he wouldn't i had to like pull strings to get him to even say okay i want you to be like a host on a show and then he wouldn't even talk any further he demanded a phone call i'd give him my number i'd give him the specific times to call he calls the wrong times well, right? I guys, mean, according, guys, according to I what just, I hear from Keem, hold on, I just want to say this real quick. According to what I'm hearing from Keem, he had, he was going to put up $150,000 to do a show with, with, you know, three guys. Like, that's a risk. That's him investing a lot of, of, of his income Keem to try just to help these wants guys, us for, over including with. yourself. And I he think a phone this. call, uh, wanting to do it over Phil a phone is call is like, full of hot I, I just, air. that's nothing in comparison to what he's trying to do. All right, I just need to say that, Keem. And, and, and Phil, listen. You now want to know why I don't like the phone call idea? Why I wanted it in writing? Which we in just a why? second, keep sorry, go ahead. Phil, now that we're talking about this and we're communicating for the first time back and forth, all right? I can tell just by how you're reacting and what you're saying back to me that you actually understand that this was a great opportunity. And that's why we needed to be on the phone is so we could actually communicate. We could hear each other's voice. We could talk this thing out. You can ask me questions. This is the same problem that DSP had specifically with renting out his old property where he refused to because they were trying to communicate via phone for the people who are going to do the renting and he refused to he just wanted to do it all by email it's like bro I get it if you're doing contracts and shit but it doesn't hurt to contact via phone it showcases how Phil is just he's too ingrained in a certain way to do anything. It's it's kind of lame. The 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 text conversation, the the emails back and forth, all right? That's not like really how business gets done. That's how contracts get done. That's how managers communicate back and forth and do deals. But like when we're at the very beginning of an idea and we're trying to figure out what we're going to do with this business, it has to be like real communication back and forth in a phone call like it is right now. Mhm. Mm so that's okay. why that's why it was so important for me to get on the phone with you. Okay. Do you, under, well, do you, do you agree or disagree? Does it make sense to you, Phil? What, what, what I was going to say was sure. the reason I wanted it in writing was very simple. All right. Again, you have to understand, Keen, you have a lot of stuff that's said about you on the internet. You know that. You've, we've agreed to that. But right? so do you. I'm Correct. so sick of hearing but that from you. Totally you know, it's so but frustrating if I'm going to deal that. with this guy, if I'm going to deal with, with this guy, if I'm going to deal with this guy, I want our conversation in writing. Because what's to stop me? From Adam is just done. He's he's fucking done. The next thing I know, he, he is so he's over all of this. Phil, that's and like me being that's like me going to Craig. Like hell no, I hear all this shit about Phil. I don't want him to come up here and start fucking wanking it on the show live. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's like me believing what the, is on the internet when I think this was actually oh pretty, it was a tough, but it was a good show. You know, and it was a chance for you to come clean and like really try to tackle some of the shit that's out there. But it's like you're you're using the same kind of shit that people have been using against you, but you're using it against Keemstar. It doesn't make any sense. I don't listen. I yeah. don't trust you, you do I hear it. You do see I don't it, right? Trust him. I do but, not but, trust Kane. But once you again, don't sorry. know me. We've never right. even talked. How, how do you? Yeah. How do you not trust the man when oh, you're getting your information from the internet? The internet is not a real place. Like, I can I, tell I, you this. I do business with the biggest content creators on <laughs> this entire planet. All right. I don't just run a show called Drama. I develop video games. I represent YouTubers. I get them brand deals. I, you know, one, one of my companies represents the, the biggest streamer on the planet. I have a long business history with FaZe, Mr. Beast. Like, where, like, you don't know anything about me. You, you don't. Right. But if we had a conversation and you got to learn about me and what I've done, and the business opportunities that I've created for this industry He's, for the last DSP, 15 years, your opinion he, he doesn't of believe me any would of this. Wildly different than you his watching a he has drama a stink face. document. He has a perpetual stink face on him the entire time because he doesn't want to listen to this guy.
documentary about me, something that you be you're, you're against. Like you know, this is blood money. It was but that's where you got your information from. It was. It was a, It talked a lot positively about you. Why do you think I watched a drama video about you? That's not what I watched. So it talked. It talked positively about me, but by watching it, you had a negative view of me. Yeah. Uh, that doesn't. It's not. Yeah. Like, I actually. I yeah, Phil. You mentally, but. I don't know after all the, it's not just that there's other things too. other people that have said things about you and their dealings with you i have to kind of be protective of myself and my business and my family was there I, ever I, I was there ever a story involved with you i do i feel there's a risk that i could be you know hang, hung out to dry somehow i know you, that i know that there's multiple multiple things that i've done wrong in my career like a, a thousand percent i have said outlandish things um in the attempt of making entertainment and entertaining people um you know, in 2015, one of the biggest things. Yeah, he thinks uh, he's on my team's level. Got a story that's wrong, and that's I went how DSP feels it. Falsely accused someone. He feels these of, two are uh, equal. Of being a pedo. They're not. Identity. It wasn't even the same guy. And the thing is, I don't even like Keen. Keen's fucking stupid as hell. But Keen has a point, and he has money. Sorry, Phil, but you kind of have to listen to this guy. If he's doing it right, and you're doing it wrong, and Adam knows, Greg is just checked out. All right. I, you know, if you look at that story and actually look into it, the person that exposed Keemstar for that and brought that to the internet was Keemstar. I exposed myself for getting it wrong. I right away tried to make, you know, it right with that guy, offer him 20 grand. This is like back in 2015. If you actually look into any of this stuff about me, you're gonna see Keemstar saying wild effed up stuff and he's definitely wrong, but you're gonna see Keemstar making mistakes and trying to make amends for it. If you actually take the time to look into it. Now you're on this show asking these audience, this de detractors, uh, these gentlemen running this podcast to treat your story and what's said about you fair. I should have gotten the same respect from you or at least a respect to get a phone call just so we could better know each other. Phil, but do that, you... But that ahead, didn't Bill. happen. And okay. if I could finish, because I'm almost sure, done yes, with representing you know, my point in all this. I called him multiple times. I couldn't get a hold of him. It, it rubbed me the wrong way right from the beginning when he was trying to send me to an email, which made no sense to me. Um, and I think two weeks roughly went by and I went on YouTube and because I was looking up DSP stuff, um, you know, doing research for the podcast, um, the algorithm like sent his live stream in my feed. So I tune into it hmm. and I'm telling you the minute I tuned in, I saw Phil begging for money to pay rent and utilities. And I just lost it in his chat. I'm like, I cannot believe that like you're doing this right now. Two weeks ago, I was trying to get a hold of you offering you the, the the greatest opportunity you've ever been offered in your entire career phil if this podcast was a success <laughs> all right everyone in the chat it's not that and, great. And, and you are looking at fifty thousand dollars it wouldn't be fifty thousand dollars this podcast would make millions it would be a wild success it would be a brand this is something that would be clipped on TikTok, uh youtube shorts instagram people would talk about this just like you're being clipped on your little live stream now except for we would have an opportunity to monetize it Phil, do you uh, do you understand? He can't. Kind of the, uh, he's he's you know, just in complete like he's he's in complete denial about it. He doesn't want to listen to a goddamn word Keem is saying. He's already mentally checked out. Dude didn't even give a shit. Phil, yeah, Phil ain't having it. He won't have any of this shit. Given an offer, explain to him that this is an opportunity. Takes none of it, bro. I swear to God, I hope to God Wings and Boogie end up like benefiting tremendously from this dumbass fight i hope they don't well i hope there's a lot of shenanigans that happens from the fight i hope they ga get gas really really early i hope one of them trips and falls and maybe craps themselves and i hope they walk away with some money and then i hope that fucking wings spends the money very very quickly on dumb shit and boogie spends the money on dumb shit and then i can laugh at them again but dsp literally gets given an opportunity and does nothing with it fuck him i don't even care I think what Keem is saying, he has he has this business business experience, right? He yeah, they'll get gas you quickly, like within you turn the other seconds. Way. But there's a lot of things that that you're saying today. You're talking about, um, you know, Keem uh, making mistakes. Exactly, uh, he knows things, business. Uh, I fucking business hate Keem. Way. I don't that like it. I don't like yourself. his content. And, and the things that you're saying are he are has very, sense. Uh, I mean, it's it's like holding a mirror up to yourself. If DSP like wants money, Keemstar could have gave between it. Between Keemstar making mistakes, you've made mistakes. Things that we touched on during this podcast, right? You do understand the similarities between between what your argument is for not wanting to work with him and the reason why you have so many detractors. Sure. What I, what I would say is the difference between me and Keen, outside of wild amount of popularity difference, is that if you take a look at the body of work that I've done in the 15 years I've done it, all right? Don't you would say, say has Phil ever really outright with anything he's done actually concretely hurt someone to the point where like, you know, wow, 
what a heinous person. People will yeah. say that about King. They will say that about King, okay? And at the end of the day, when I have to make business decisions about who I'm going to associate with and who I'm not going to, I, that's a factor. And it's a, it's a moral factor for me. Um, it has nothing to do with Keem's business sense. Keem, you are a great businessman. Everyone knows that. I think you would actually run the podcast very, very well. I do. Uh, I would love to do this podcast with Boogie and Wings. I have a problem with you morally, dude, with the content you put out. I do. And I'm going to let, let him respond. Let him respond to that. Listen, you just said that you've never hurt anyone, right? And you talking trash doesn't hurt me. That's just an opportunity, right? But when you treated me the way you did behind the scenes, <laughs> this sounds like bullshit coming from me, but you hurt me. I was offended. I was hurt. Like, why? Why are you treating me like this? Why, wh why can't you treat me like a man? And we, why can't we have a conversation? If you came to the conclusion that, no, I don't want to do this. This isn't right for me. That's fine. But you really showed me no respect at all. It was so disrespectful how you were treating me, making me email. I have to call at a certain time. Uh, I'm calling and you're not answering the phone. And then when people were asking, your, your fans asking online, why didn't you do this podcast with Keem? During this whole time, I, I forgot to mention this, he was still talking bad about me publicly. Team, you just said it. Like, just what you just described is probably the main reason I have a problem with you. You are someone who has no self-awareness, and you think that you're the most important thing. You... Bro. Really? Oh, my God. Tell me somebody calls him out on this. You tweeted on your Twitter that I should contact you about a business opportunity. No one does that. They contact the person about the business opportunity directly. We all do it. We Everyone. all do it. Yeah, it's, it's the internet, Phil. Phil it's like, the internet, man. Yeah. You said you've been doing this for 50 <laughs> We uh, We all do it. And it's just Adam chimes in, we do it. And then Craig says, we do it. 15 years, but like, do, do you not understand the way algorithms work? The way anger is addictive and how people are hooked on crazy shit? Go ahead. I want no part of that drama. I don't Phil, want to be Phil, on a Phil, podcast you... that is going to be about that. I don't want to be involved with someone that's not, who... That's not what he, he was... He's, I don't even know what the podcast was going to be saying. about. He's being egomaniacal. I have to just listen Phil, to what he I'm said. not. King, Phil. you just said my whole life should have stopped because you wanted to contact me. Really? I did not say that. My whole life. You no, just he said, didn't say that. Answer the call at any time. He didn't you know, say that. Call, Can I give you some context? Can I give you some context? From the time I wake up to the time I go to bed, every single day, I talk to at least 20 different content creators. And I, this, this is true. This is not an exaggeration. You know, I, I run an influencer boxing, uh, you know, happy punch. We represent fighters that, that do boxing. Uh, I have all my staff. Um, I have... Uh, YouTubers and content creators that we represent business-wise with brand deals and, and stuff like that. Hyper and then I run Tromlet, right? So I have to get on the phone with different content creators to validate stories or get people's takes so I can, you know, inject that into the story to make sure that, like, what I'm reporting and what I'm talking about is accurate and have a, a full perspective, right? How all this business operates, right, between content creator and content creator is like Twitter DMs. It's like, it's like, it's like a tweet, yo, DM me. Yo, let's hop on a, a phone call when we're talking about contracts and stuff then you have lawyers you have managers they're in emails emailing each other back and forth but the con yeah, look at how, how look at how done dsp is he's not even paying attention he's not he's just waiting for fucking keemstar to stop talking that's how disrespectful this dude is content creators which we are both content he creators. doesn't even care we are on the same level I'm he doesn't care higher than you you're not higher than me we have a mutual respect as content creators we should be able to be in twitter dms and then get on a phone call and you didn't treat me like that. You treated me like dirt. This is not about me thinking I'm God. This is about how you treated me in those Twitter DMs. Keem, you, you, I gave you the times to call. You called at different times, and we never had another interaction ever again. How was I disrespectful to you? So when, when they ask me, is this opportunity um, you know, still available? When I say, I say maybe because like, I, don't, I don't know how I could work with you. You are very, very difficult to work with, to even communicate with uh, firsthand. Um, because I didn't drop everything to talk to you, I'm difficult to communicate with. Even though I have what are you dropping? publicly listed ways to contact What are you me. dropping? Please explain to me what you're dropping. Like, wh what is so important that's What are you dropping? You're you fucking pre-stream podcast? My, my job. I'm here six days a week, full-time streaming to make a living. But this job that I'm about to offer you would pay wildly more and solve all these problems that you have going on. First of all, you don't know what it's going to solve. That's a huge assumption. Second of all, I didn't know what the thing was because you never told me. You didn't call at the time you were supposed to. Didn't, didn't we're going give you, we are going in a loop. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, it, it's happened a lot on this episode so far. Uh, right. So look, I think let's let's leave it here. Right. Um, a bridge yeah. has been gapped. You know, we 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 brought a bridge together. Right. I don't know if, if something's going to come from this. <sighs> team and Phil and there's obviously still friction there, and that's fine. Uh, but I'm I'm glad you guys had an opportunity to talk. And, uh, and exactly. I think more than anything, that's the thing. The entire time Keem showed up for this, he just disrespected him over and over and over and over and over again. And he's wondering, like, yeah, man, 
I, there's a reason why I won't work with you because you know you're a piece of shit. It's like, you know what? This is the reason why a lot of people don't want to work with you because you kind of treat people like second class citizens. You don't even give them the time of day and you want people to give you the time of day and respect you for what? For being an asshole? Well, great, Phil. You made a ass of yourself in this entire interview. I think I can, with 20 minutes to go, I can definitively say DSP has taken a major fucking L in all of this. I, you know what? I want to check out. What is DSP doing right now? Hold up. What, what the fuck is DSP doing right now? I need to know. Uh, disp gaming. Blah, 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 blah. How was he doing the level one podcast later than usual? Let's start working on that together. Oh, put too much thought. Look at the level one uh, podcast, guys. Aura. He's doing so good. Remember. Thank you to Full of Aura. He's doing and great, way, guys. He's having fun. Down to level and one. Maybe you're a newcomer. I maybe a few of you. I doubt there's very many of you that are newcomers. He literally, yeah, you, you newcomers, he literally, uh, literally, literally lost you're three oh, subs. Fun. So and made 39 so bucks. So wow. 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 Wubsy. 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 Wow. Wow. We're chilling. We're so vibing, cool. We're, relaxing. we're having a good time. This is what I like. This is the content I, I like one. on the internet. Okay. This is what I want to keep doing for the rest of my life if I can. Correct. I want to hear this. So that being said. Hey, I love that podcast. Um. What was I saying? Oh. What was he saying? Um. Now I got distracted. <laughs> I really did. I got distracted. What was I saying? I completely lost my train of thought. Shit. What was my what was I saying? I was shouting out full of aura. <sighs> oh crud. Well, I, I lost my chain of thought. Son of a bitch. I'm getting too old for this. Sucks. Oh. No, I was saying I know I was saying that I was telling those guys this is the kind of content I like, right? Correct. But I don't remember what the next point was I was gonna make. <laughs> Phil, you know, you're learning more about, you know, business in 2022, 2023 and how, how interactions, you know, and the importance of being quick and nimble and, uh, and things like that along here. Cause that's in reality, that's how business works now. So let but me put before, it this way. If it, if it weren't, if it weren't keen, cause again, I already had a negative association in my head of who keen is. I had really very nothing. little interest in doing any work with nothing. him. If it was someone else, maybe I would have, but you know, that's the association I had. I had a moral issue working with the guy. So it wasn't a big deal to me that he was reaching out to me. Before I leave, cause I'm pretty much done. I, I've expressed everything that I want. I appreciate it. Can I give you some criticism? Me? Bill, is that okay? Yeah, because I came in saying that I'd be respectful and I wouldn't dunk on you or any of that stuff, but I do have some criticism that I desperately want to express to you. It's as, long to as, it's, as long as it's respectful. Yeah, the Medicare super chat. I'm going to do this. For those of you who miss it, Medicare had a super chat. It was uh, this. I am legit stunned by how much uh, damage DSP inflicts on himself by being stubborn and not understanding opportunity cause. Great interview, by the way. Nice work, Craig and Adam. Uh, a literal guy on his deathbed, cancer man himself, jumps in here and tells that DSP is an absolute fucking abject failure because he sits there and he hurts himself. Cancer man himself. Uh, we want, you know, can I have some prayer hands in chat, please, for uh, Mr. Metacor, Metacor, uh, Mr. Jim Bob himself. I, I'd love some prayer hands in chat, please. This in the most respectful way, and, and then I'll go. And of course, you can respond. But um, I don't condone people harassing you, people doxing you, people going into your your private you know, life and, and doing all this horrible stuff that they've done. But I believe the reason why this has happened is because people don't hey, trust you. Metoker. You right. don't come across as trustworthy. So when you're on stream and you're asking to pay utilities and rent and all that stuff, the audience is getting frustrated and they look at you like you're a scammer and they want to know where this money is going. Well, how is he always in this situation? What is he spending his money on? <clears throat> and, and that is the motivation to dive into your personal life. You had an we opportunity a dancing, on this show uh, and I watched it to just pull up the screenshot and show the WWE account and you didn't do it. Your internet cut off at that point when your internet cut off and you were DDoS and you were gone off stream, the opportunity is now gone. It's gone. Because while your internet was out, you could have made a fake screenshot, all right? You're never, ever going to be able to prove what your WWE account was or is ever again. Because people will say, he just photoshopped it. He just made it up. You're never going to be able to prove that. that. anyway. You had deal. one opportunity to do it right away with these guys, and that was it. And you didn't take advantage of it. Because I personally, watching it, and so did the audience, thought that you were lying. And if, mm -hmm. and if you are lying, if it is true, and, and you're not being honest... I, if I were you, this is the best advice I could give you, right? Is just be like, look, this was my account. This is that. I would ask for a clean slate and I would do things different because this 
restarting level one over and over and over again is the root of all your problems, if that makes any sense. I appreciate the input. It's not true, so I, I'm not going to do that. But I appreciate the input. If it were true, I would fess up to it. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much for having me. Yeah, on. He's Keen, fine. Thanks. Appreciate it, man. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll appreciate you hopping on. Really appreciate it. Definitely. All right. Um, hey, Phil, I, I, you've been throwing curveballs today, which I did not see coming. Right? I did not see them coming at all. Story but I, of my I, life, Craig. Story of my life. Hey, yeah. Yeah, I, story of my life, Do you no, want to keep I, going? I, I've got till around 4 p.m. We could keep going. I, if you have more questions, I'm down for it. So, well, um, hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me say this. I, I, let me ask this before we continue. Is is any of this even worth at this point? Because this is like 15 extra minutes. I want to see the last of this. Sonic movie. So maybe what I could do is once a week. Should I, I listen to I this? People said it was split up into four parts. So maybe week one, I, I review yes. episode, or parts one and two. Week two, I review parts three uh, and four, right? Let's so see I the rest of this. Spread it out over the next couple of weeks. I think I'm going to see the rest sense. of this before I clock out. So I'm thinking, okay? And then, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the movie this week, The Whale for next week, and then we think about what's the next movie that Saying I Saying it's worth it. It's how does it get Suicide better, Street? Emperor? Uh, Apollo... 360XD re-upped his membership. You ever beat the secret boss of Final Fantasy IX? Okay, I, I'm i already fucking I reached out 10 PM out for that. me, and I haven't had dinner, and so I, I can't go much longer. I'm give, give us 15 starving. minutes. Let's go 15 more minutes. Okay. Good. And if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Once again, we, uh, we stream Monday through Friday at uh, 11 a.m. Central Time. Uh, we have some great interviews coming up. Once again, Mark the Cyborg, James Roth, the Angry Video Game Nerd. Come and follow me, and uh, you can see down there, and Adam as well, and obviously uh, Dark Side Phil as well. Um, okay, so... Phil, I reached out. So we only have like 15 more minutes. And once again, I appreciate everybody hopping in, being a part of the day, being a part of the stream. And, and all your super chats have been amazing. Uh, I want to let you know that that uh, we will we will definitely take a look at them. I don't think we're going to read them on stream. Uh, but during our post show over at patreoncom scrolls, we'll bring uh, Blabs and uh, Travis in, and we'll continue on while uh, so Adam can go get some uh, food. But um, I wanted to play some audio. This is actually I reached out to several of your detractors, Phil, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought it would be fair to have allow them to ask questions. So I wanted to play this for you, and uh, you, and we'll just kind of go from there. Okay, does that sound good? Sure. Fire away. Are, are, I mean, are you okay with that? I don't know who they are. I don't know what they're saying, obviously. So. Well, this uh, is from this is from It's a Gundam. Are you, are you familiar <laughs> with that name? I'm familiar with the name, and I'm definitely familiar with the voice. Okay. Well, you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna know the voice. So here you go. This is a question from him. Hey there, Philly Cheesesteak. Guess who it is? Your favorite YouTuber. We're best friends. Remember Philly that time you thought it'd be funny to put a restraining order on me, Philbert? Well, Philly, my question is, what the hell did you spend five hundred thousand dollars on? You didn't pay off your house. You didn't pay off the condo. You didn't pay off any car you own. You're in debt. What did, where did the money go? Why did you take business loans? What did you use the business loan money for? You never improved your content. You've been using the same camera for nigh on 5,000 years. No, and I, I can already see Phil. Phil is right now thinking, he's like, wait a minute, that's not true. I got a new camera now. If it wasn't for like, the Dutch brothers sending you a new web camera or like LEDs in the background, you'd have. <laughs> Thank you so much, Gundam. I have no idea. Thank you, Papa Gundam. Go. Thank you, You're Papa like a Gundam. In San Francisco. If I went to the man, I said, Mayor of San Francisco, where did all that money go? That hundred twenty million dollars you defunded the police with and put into black communities. Where did it go? You know, Phil, you screwed up. You never should have been a YouTuber. You should have been a politician in San Francisco. You would have gotten away with it, baby. If it wasn't for those uh, meddling detractors. Is it going to end at some point? No, it's it's, over now. it's <laughs> actually not too late. I mean, politicians tend to be older. Mm -hmm. Look, that was, that, was a, that was a long question. I think my, my first question after that is, what <laughs> I is think he, we what, handled that, though, already. Oh, we my God. Well, well, but now the, the, the 500,000. That's the oh, first shit, time that's that how figure, where, oh, yeah. that no, I, I mentioned it earlier, and we talked about it. And, could it could be the bankruptcy? And, I'm not sure. And I asked yeah. him and if it was a, if it was the bankruptcy, and I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you taken out any business loans? And if so, what were In they the past, used for? He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Look at him. Look Everything at him. That I no, knew, all that debt no, that got written no. off was credit cards and stuff. No, but you I had two about... fucking loans. You had two fucking micro loans. One of which was a business loan. I know a lot of people like to do the 13 credit cards. It wasn't. It was actually 11 credit cards and two small loans. I'm trying to think. Oh, I had a personal loans, not oh. business loans. I've never taken out any kind of loan officially in the name of the business or anything like that. I love when everybody says the 13 credit cards, like, bro, okay. it wasn't 13 else, credit like, cards. You know, I don't know. It's very rarely do you have an opportunity to kind of interact with. Did he, uh, have, did he used to be on the Howard Stern show? His voice is so familiar to me. He used to be. The, was he that clown guy? 
We need that clown know. guy. He sounds just like him. He, he was a clown guy. Like no, oh man, big ups for Phil pointing out that uh, Gundam may have been the clown guy on the Howard Stern show. The Howard Stern show that he brought up all of his material from, and that's why he was able to attack the Jews. Because, you know, Howard Stern did the jokes, right? He made fun of, like, the black people and the Jewish people and the women's, and they had them, like, fucking sucking down hot dogs uh, when they were naked and shit. That was pretty cool. Uh, but then you look at Howard Stern today, and he's quite literally pussy whipped. And I'm saying that factually as an opinion, you asshole. You're actually like a piece of shit, and your content sucks dick. I don't know. He's one of the many detractors who make videos about me. I've literally never watched a video of his, so I okay. don't have anything to say. Do you think that uh, by not watching his videos, you're like, do you think that if you were to spend time watching their videos, you'd be able to uh, react and, uh, you know, you have, you have a reaction channel. Don't you think there's an entire niche market of, of you reacting to uh, negative content about yourself? Perhaps in the future, yes. Now that I'm doing that, it's only been in operation for a month. It's something that I would consider dabbling in in the future. The thing is, as I, as I, there is something with these these attractors. The more attention you give them, just the worse it gets. It, it eggs them on to do more. So my opinion ooh, is, people ooh, are not new, coming ooh. to my channel to see this. They don't care about that. They want to see gameplay. They want to see whatever. I don't want to inundate them with that stuff, so I don't address it. You know. Okay. Maybe, I was going to say a new a show idea: reaction. the detractor reactor. Yeah, hey, maybe, maybe we do a whole good. show where I react to I got, I, I've given you two good show names so far. I did this react is... to the original This Is How You Don't Play last year. So just we want to talk about talking two sides of the fence of how it's completely unfair how I'm treated. The guy tried to take it off the internet, so I couldn't react to it. Wow. Wow. Everyone else had done it. But when I went to do it myself, oh, uh, no, you can't do that, Phil. Like, what are you talking about? It's fair use. You, you got to download that. it. got to download it next time. Well, so, someone gave it to me. So, can we talk about that though, real quick? Have you ever, have you ever uh, tried to remove uh, reactive content from for your business that if people have reacted from reactive FDS? content? So you're saying someone actually watching my content and reacting to it, or or posted or just posted clips of it? The only time that I have tried to ever take anyone down was straight up ripping the raw content and illegally reposting it with absolutely no transformative work whatsoever added to it. Careful, Phil. Raw DSP went down, so that could be construed as you getting rid of raw DSP. The moment that someone's there and they're talking about it, that's transformative. I know, because I, you know, everyone does it. The, there's a judge that made a ruling on that. The only way that really legally you should be able to take anything down is if they just, right, right now, if they rip this raw podcast from, you know, side scrolls and put it on their channel, no context, no commentary, that's illegal. Everything else is fine. So no, I've never tried to do that. Um, at all to anything that's reactive content or reacting content like that. No. So I, I understand that, right? And technically, legally, you are correct, right? But this goes back to like, this is the internet and the internet, I, I know yeah. that, that people are gonna take take this episode and like, if I'm sure Gundam and Keem and, and all sorts of people are gonna go and they're gonna make they're gonna make content based off of this content. Hi, Craig, and, how and you doing? How legally, you doing, Craig? Right? But, Ultimately, that's going to help the show. That will benefit. Yep. That's true. That's the other thing. This is actually going to ultimately help. And you know what? Low key, I'm actually kind of sold out. Or I'm sold on the idea. Depending on who he interviews, I actually might be okay with this. Side scrollers, uh, because more people know about side scrollers, right? So, um, mm -hmm. you know, I, I just feel like I, I feel like I've, I've kind of zeroed in on on what's what's happening. Like, Phil, the the internet has has changed and you haven't necessarily changed with the internet or you know the whether it's the things that we've talked about today the, and the loneliest dinosaur uh, so there's a big opportunity for you to adapt and change with the internet you, you've changed some formats you've changed some you know changed your, your, your content and such but the internet still is adapting and it's adapting literally exponentially Wait. fast and it's something that um you know needs to be done if you're going to be you know uh, a detractor who is impressed by how you handled this grifter having keemstar on was brilliant God damn. A, a relevant relevant content producer uh online and i don't know i i would just love to hear your thoughts on that that's just a, a reoccurring theme that i've he that i've heard today well i of course what i'm going to say is well today i changed and i'm much different and he said that a million times already on the show right i mean i really am trying to be different and more receptive to criticism and being open like the react stuff i'm doing right now that i just started no, doing you ain't. Month, that's something i was so against for so many years and that's 
the running pattern with me. I'm stupid. I'm ignorant. I say dumb stuff. Then someone finally says, hey, Phil, wake up, stupid head. Check this out. And I just, oh, actually, there is some meaning to doing that. You can add context. You can add, you know, your own perspective. You can make a react that's not just being dumb stuff, but instead intelligent content. And now I know that. I need to keep doing that. I, I feel like I'm getting better at it. Uh, I, it's a work in progress, just like everything in life. And with, with any person who's trying to grow or evolve, it's a work in progress for me to become more open-minded. I, I feel I'm a lot better at walking in other people's shoes now. I'm a lot better at listening to other perspectives and suggestions for improvement. You're right. I need to adapt and be open-minded to change in the future. Correct. Phil, I, I got to say, oh, um, why is it took a lot of balls to come, come on the show like so and, and handle their questions. If anything, uh, so. that's well, the one I have it, like, actual positive proud. thing I it's hear like, is that Phil never gives up. Phil bad, is the bad, unbreakable bad, rock bad. that the people crash against. He's still going to be here at the, <laughs> at the end. You know what I'm saying? Like, I put up with all of it. And I'm, I'm not going anywhere, man. I'm going to keep making content. I'm not going to give up on it. I love it. You know, it's my passion. It really is my passion. Best job I've ever had. And I'm, I'm happy to be here with you guys and be honest with you as much as I could. Um, you know, thank you. You, you know? guys were great hosts. I know it sounds like we're ending now. It was a great, you know, great opportunity at least to get my perspective. Is there out. anything more after well, this? There's we, 10 we minutes. Coming out. We still got a few more minutes because I want Adam to be able to get food. But yeah, I'm, I'm is there so anything fucking that you feel hungry that you need to touch on before we leave. I'm we so goddamn today? hungry. Is there so, there's so much. I mean, we could go on for hours and hours. The things people have said about me grooming my ex-girlfriend. It, it, is so that what ridiculous. you want to focus on, though? He, well, he asked you specifically. Is there well, anything that you want to bring up? Okay, well, let's, let's do this. Phil, would you be open to coming back on again? Sure, absolutely. Okay, cool. Yeah, we, we, we could do like a part two and, Keep uh, watching. and just kind of I'm hit on more hungry. of those things, right? So I want to everybody's time. All right, well, let's do this. Let's we'll schedule a part two for some time down the line, right? And and, uh, so and you know, get you on for a part two. But uh, in the meantime, what what is the one thing that you wish you could address right now that we haven't addressed today? Oh my gosh. You know, well, the first thing uh, you just said was that grooming shit. Like, is that what's up with that? Because I, I don't course, like it. It's blatantly false. It's my ex I met, she contacted me. I never contacted her. She contacted me via YouTube DMs when they were a thing. That's how long ago this was, over a decade ago. She was an adult, a legal adult. We spoke for months before we ever started dating. People say I met her when I when she was like 16 and I groomed her for years. I never even spoke to her until she was, she was 18. It's a complete and bold faced lie. Okay. You started dating Another, after she I'm was. I'm sorry 18. that I have to bring this up, but I talked to my wife about it. I want to get this Wait. out in the open. People say that I'm some kind of a horrible woman abuser and basically i i groom these women and i bring them into my you know it's my personal life my wife and i met online casually talking for a few months before we ever started dating or anything like that okay um basically she was in a really bad place in her life an abusive relationship she got out of that relationship but when she did then we started talking a little bit more romantically and then things pursued people made stuff up and said that i basically stole her from her ex and that he's a victim it's funny because when you look on the internet they will find all this public information about Bro. me and my personal life they'll find my bankruptcy they'll find all these Bro. things did you ever find the restraining order that she had against her ex because he was hitting her yo 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 this is out of left field. Why are you even talking about this? This is not stuff that you should be talking about. Right? But, you know, right? make him look like a good guy on the internet, right? Which is what they've done. My detractors have actually done this. They've gone into her personal life with her family. She has nothing to do with me or my content. Yeah, Stop. he's using his wife as a me, shield. That's one thing. Leave my family. Leave my, my everyone out of it. Make fun of me. Put the brunt on me. It's one of my biggest regrets as a content creator. I never meant for oh. anyone to get hurt doing this. Never. I, I don't... feel awful that my wife every day. Dude, and the fake crying comes back again. He was trying to do this the last time, and he failed, and he forgot he was supposed to be crying, and now he's literally fake crying again. I don't care about your dumb, fat bitch of a wife. I don't care. She can work at Kroger or wherever the fuck she's working at. Let her fucking work. Let her do whatever the fuck she wants. She's not part of your content. So stop inserting her. Stop it reminding us about your second income. I don't care about your fat bitch of a wife cat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that she's a fucking roly-poly horse of a wife. I'm so sorry. But I don't care. Stop mentioning her. He's feeling awful about things going on. Like, why are they saying these things about her? Why she has nothing it? to do with any of this. Leave her out of it, all right? Look at him. Just all this stuff. I mean, uh -huh. I'm sure there's a million other things. There'll be a part two. We'll get to it then. But those are two things that have always been hor pretty sound horrible to women. If anything, you will never, ever, one million percent, you will never find Andigo. someone on the internet saying that Phil was in a sex scandal, Phil was abusive to women in the past. I have never done that in my life. One million percent. I, You know, and it, but they want to say it. And, dude... Oh my god. Let me look at what he's doing a uh, fucking live. This is so dumb. Is he done? His stream is done, right? Okay, let's fucking reload this so I can see the last fucking 10 seconds or whatever this fucking dumbass stream. I, I didn't, didn't even care to fucking 
check out too. All right, how did this end? Good lord. It's always just nothing content. What are we doing? That is super chases. A cameo is more fun. It's it's literally the same thing. All right. Last question. I will take one more question tonight. One more, and then we're I'm out of here for the night. One more question. That's it. So who will get it? This has been a two-hour show, which is perfectly fine. It was my whole late stream. Or not, because no one is asking me a question now. I guess maybe we're done. No questions? No one's tagging me. Am I tired? I Not really. I, I'm actually less tired than I thought I would be. I did have a coffee during the break, so. Cam Killer says, is this the last question? I guess it is. I guess it is. All right. Cam Killer's question was, was it the last question? The answer is yes. Guys, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this late night version of the Level 1 Podcast. Like, as usual, if you're watching this on demand on YouTube, if you can leave comments, uh, like the video, perhaps consider a super thanks, whatever. Helps a lot. Thanks for watching. I hope you like the show. What a what an interesting day. What a different kind of day. Now we get back to normality what for a, a while day. here, which is great. It'll be good to have normal stuff what after all that drama. Day. It'll be good to have normal stuff for a while, right? And then probably come back to uh, you know, to to this again another month or two months or whatever when the part two show happens. Uh, Purple pickle. Thank you for the super chat. I don't know what you're talking about with Rachel. Thanks for the super chat. All right, guys. Thank you so much. All right, and. For the final and, time, I could say this, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. It's the dumb fucking St. Patty's shit. Get out of here. That, I'll just go back over here for a second. You guys realize tomorrow is actually St. Patrick's Day? So that means tomorrow is it, and I have to do something different. And by the way, I do have something different. I just have to set it up. Thank I have time God. To do Can't tomorrow. wait. So there is no podcast tomorrow, so I actually don't need that. You get it set up for maybe uh, when, uh, Saturday, right? <clears throat> All right, guys. Thank you great Wait, there's two no great streams tomorrow? today even though my streams were super late the 90 minute decompress this level one podcast were very fun i had a great time with all of you i hope that you guys enjoyed please um i thank you all do anything thanks for a great day i see you tomorrow for get back to normalcy with regular gameplay sound good i hope you all enjoyed the show please and uh please what i'll see you tomorrow peace out everyone good night lean? i don't even have to lean that was just it Actually, it. Peace out, everyone. Uh, there was another super chat afterwards, like two dollars from fucking idiot man, purple pickle yum yum or whatever his fucking name is. Pretty cool. Whatever. And it really irks me the wrong way. So. I understand. Right. Is right. the interview worth well, look, sitting I, I think through? this is a great place to stop. You know um, what? Like I said, let's let's I gotta say, I'll email you. This definitely was worth. Not, I won't DM through. you. I promise. <laughs> I'll, I'll email you, and we'll set up a part two. Uh, I think that there's there's still a lot to cover. But I know that I speak for everybody when I say we appreciate your time, we appreciate your patience, we appreciate, um, you know, taking the time to allow us to kind of poke and prod. And I, I know you, you, you know, I had no intentions of this being like an interrogation oh, interview. Hopefully, Tron. you didn't feel like it was an yeah. interrogation interview. Uh, but hopefully, you feel like we we're fair because I feel like, uh, like I said, I try to be fair to, uh, fair to me, fair to uh, whoever we're interviewing, and fair to the audience. So uh, hopefully, you feel that was the case. I, I do. Ultimately, I would hope that once you know we've had all these episodes of the interrogation that i can just be a normal guest i love you guys man. i used to be a huge screw attack fan back in the day you were playing a video two days ago of a magfest where we're, we're peeing on shaq fu i was in that video that's how long i've been a fan of screw attack i just want to chill with you guys yeah. and have a normal show i don't want your whole show to be the dark side phil show this is have the gun uh, hope hopefully yeah, we'll we do be able to get gun. to that point <laughs> <laughs> i love it for sure oh man um, well, once again, if you guys are new, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. We're going to end the stream here. Once again, make sure you guys subscribe for part two. Uh, but we're going to continue Before with- Before we end, hold on. I just want to say to everyone who supported yes. today, uh, thank you so much. I don't know how we're going to handle it. We've been going for five hours. This mm -hmm. is, we, I didn't, I had no idea what to expect. Uh, it's pretty crazy, but I really do want to say thank you to everyone yeah, out there uh, who, whether it was, you know uh, our show or not, this is, I mean, like kind of like what they just said it's not what what our show is we shoot the shit about video games talk about weird cultural stuff it's a lot of fun um i feel like craig and and phil were talking and craig wanted to give phil a, a platform to basically the rest gets you know, paid while i don't your, even make your peace 
Uh, so I just don't, I don't know when uh, number two will be, but uh, normally we, we, we read all our super this. chats do, throughout it, and it didn't feel appropriate to do that today because I, I'm sure there's a lot of them that are, are probably really good super chats, but there's probably a lot of them that are really uh, would would throw things to the side. Uh, we know about everything that uh, is going on on the internet. I feel like Craig did a fantastic job of putting questions I'm together. Just that was, all, to that was his journalism degree, man, by the way. I mean, man, fantastic. He That's actually used I'm it for the first for. time in his life. Congratulations, Ooh, by the way, Craig. All right, nice. Uh, so thank you very much for your support. I really appreciate you all. All right, please. No, we're not Craig. stepping yeah, on you and, and uh, doing Ojo Live. Get, get out of here, Black Man. Show thank you earlier. Uh, Phil, you can it, bounce we're whenever the you like. Uh, but, but we're going to... Uh, stick around, man. Listen, support good people making good content. These are good people. Your other hosts are good people. I would love to do a post show with you guys, too, if you want. <laughs> These guys are good people. You don't even know what this dude does. You literally have no clue what fucking Adam Cridler makes as content. Just stop pretending. I'm here. Okay, sounds good. Well, well, we'll continue the post show over there, uh, over at patreon.com slash side scrollers. You guys can go over there I mean, not and uh, support the show there. We appreciate it. Really popping in. I hope that you guys come back tomorrow. That's the big thing. You can have a great show, but okay. I want to see you guys I tomorrow and uh, join this, this amazing little positive community. All right, that was, that was great. They do their little sign-offs and everything. All right, great. I have endured five hours of this and then the pre-stream and everything else. I'm fucking done. I'm done. I've actually survived everything. Holy shit. I can't believe it. I did not eat. I am hungry as hell. Uh, but we did it. Thank you, everybody, for hanging around and dealing with all this shit. You could have been doing anything else. You could have actually just been doing anything else when you stuck around for this. And I got to thank you for that. I also want to say big ups for those who did give me follows. I, I am going to shill one more time. We're literally literally one follower away from the uh 1400 follower goal yes uh once we are at 1400 uh it will be a, de a definitive lock-in for the 24-hour stream uh i probably get a follow at some point later tonight so it'll be okay and uh when that is i'll uh, post it up and i'll let people know uh we'll do a a time thing i'm thinking it'll probably be on a weekend uh, we will do the 24 hour, probably the 30 hour stream. That's probably what's going to be. I'm going to take an extra day off when that happens too. So that way I'll have a recoup. I'm going to cry in the cry. Wait, cry in the car later? Oh my God. Don't do that. But I appreciate it. We love and appreciate you. Well, you know what? I love and appreciate you guys too. <laughs> the Emperor, shut up. Stop saying it gets better. We're already done. We're literally done. A decompress if you will i wanted to have a decompress uh yesterday yesterday today oh my god i literally forgot today is now friday so tired i'm so actually fucking tired i was supposed to play chrono trigger and i totally forgot to play chrono trigger uh oh well oh yeah oh yeah you know what if uh piece of piece is uh streaming yeah we can raid him i'm ready to call it a night we crafted I might be on uh, Minecraft for a little bit. Just for a little bit. Oh, dude, he's fucking streaming. No way. Oh, shit. Sorry. I literally uh, yanked my keyboard. Just hit the watch, but call it. We can fucking raid peace. No way. Poggers. We're going to set up the raid. Uh, it's a really dark screenshot, dude. I appreciate everybody coming by. DSP interview two straight from the horse's mouth. I don't know if we're going to get that. Also, a tiny DMP redeem. Oh my God, please. I'm so tired. I'm so tired, Karma. Please. You sent me a glory and miserable survivor's DX link. What am I doing with this? Oh, I apparently can't. Oh no, I have to be logged in. I can't. Okay. Karma, you can't tell me that I got to look at a game and I can't look at the game because it it's like a booby game or something come on we can't look at booby games maybe a tiny peek at the booby game we'll, we'll take a tiny peek all right what is this game it's a uh, is it a very oh my god it is the sus game oh my god it's hyper sus it's actually hyper sus i don't know if i want to show this if only i could show this very pixelated can i scroll down i can scroll down no, I can't scroll down that far. Okay, okay, okay. Um, 
Shit, it's gonna auto play all the things too if I'm not careful. All right, this is the game that Karma is advertising for me to look at. It's adult only. If I scroll up, it's literally a lady who's like half naked because she got like battle damage on her armor. And it's by Mango Party. I don't know what that means, but we gotta be very careful. It's very sus. It's a, uh, oh shit. Okay, I don't know. You didn't see much. It's okay, it's pixelated guys. You can't see anything. Uh, we'll add it to the wish list among other such nonsense, but for $9, I don't know. I, I'll see if I can find a way of pirating it, obviously. The image above, nah, she's got some fat tits though. Real talk, for real, for real. It's on it. Nah, you didn't see anything, Kino. <laughs> you didn't see anything. It was uh, not suspicious. It's a game for cultured individuals. Okay, uh, I am done. I'm not going to ask, I'm not a big ass for $9. I can't even stream it even if I wanted to. And I actually do want to, I'd love to stream a game like this. It looks uh, right up my alley uh, for obvious reasons. Obviously. I don't know. It's very suspicious reason. It's like one of those vampire survivors, except, you know, not quite. It's uh, more lewd than anything else. We're going to get vampire survivor clothes. There are going to be so many of them. DMP. No, no more DMP. You guys suck dick. You guys are always telling me, and look at this, and look at that. Bro, what does and get to do with what he wants to do? Never. You guys are always bullying me. Again, you're bullying me again. Chat's full of bullies. What's the name of the game? The name of the game is uh, ba -ba -ba, Glory and Miserable Survivors DX. Here. Okay, I'm going to bed. I'm going to send you guys over to Pieces stream. If you were so kind and you want to subscribe, not subscribe, to follow uh, my Twitch, you can totally follow. And if you do, I, it'll be totally worthwhile. I, I promise you. I'll eventually boot up and I'll complain about how laggy my stream is. That promise I can make to you. All you have to do is follow at twitch.tv forward slash ang1337. I usually stream there as long as I'm not feeling like shit. I'm feeling like shit right now, so I'm not going to be streaming tonight. But what if I did? It'd be pretty cool. Okay, uh, I'm done. Uh, do we have an ending song? We might have an ending song. I feel like we have an ending song. Do we have an ending song? I, you know what? I didn't prep anything. No. We didn't prep any music. Wait. No. We might have one song, and it's literally from Mario Kart, and it'll be super uh, super short. Maybe. No, we don't. Fuck. I forgot to download it. That's okay. We'll uh, we'll play. You know what? SOS seems like it'd be a good. No, it's not your song. I'm not playing that. No, actually, I know what I'm playing. I'm playing Buck Bumble. Only because somebody mentioned on the That Being Said podcast, the Buck Bumble song. And I remember it all the time. And we love Buck Bumble. Yeah, Buck Bumble, let's go. All right, see you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Probably multiplayer games. I don't know. It'll be decompression.
to the boot to the bum to the base bum to the boot to the bum to the boot to the bum to the base bum to the boot to the bum to the boot to the bum to the base bum to the boot to the bum to the boot to the bum to the base bum to the boot to the bum to the bum to the bum to the bum to the base bum to the 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 base 